I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs a hundred thousand times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a horse, translate, and we got train. For this one, I think I'm going to make Choo Choo Charles. Let's remove all this stuff, and then we'll add a back part like this. Now let's color these pieces in, and we'll add the circular parts on the front. Now let's add his face, and we'll give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add some detail on the side, and we'll give him some legs like this, and now let's add them on the other side. Next, let's add his wheels, and finally we'll add a few details on the top. And I think we're done, let's see it in game. I'm not gonna lie, I expected him to be a lot bigger. I wonder what baby Choo Choo Charles looks like. He's kinda fast actually. I was just hoping he was bigger, this is kinda disappointing. Let's ride a Choo Choo Charles. Okay, I think there's a problem, it looks like I'm flying. He's actually kinda fast though, so this is cool. Let's spawn an army of Choo Choo Charleses. Now let's stack them. Never mind, it won't let me stack them, they keep kicking each other off. I wonder if they'll fight each other. Nope, it appears Choo Choo Charles doesn't fight. Choo Choo Charles in Minecraft is kinda boring. Alright, I'm going to give Choo Choo Charles a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's really small. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating, and we got Buff Green. For this one, let's make the Hulk. Let's remove this stuff, and we'll make him a little bit taller. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully green. Next, let's give him some purple shorts, and we'll make them look ripped on the bottom. Next, let's give him some neck muscles, and we'll add his green hair. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll give him some eyes, and a nose. Now finally, let's add a little more detail. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he is really big. Our first mob was too small and now this one's too big. Okay, he walks really weird too. What is this? Also, his legs are missing texture, but I'm not fixing that. Let's go find Hulk in the deep dark. Okay, his head is kind of going everywhere. That kind of looked weird, I won't lie. Now let's see if the Hulk can beat a gorilla. Okay, he literally one-shot him. What about 10 gorillas versus the Hulk? Okay, some of the big ones just aren't fighting. Yeah, that was still too easy for the Hulk. I guess I'm gonna have to step in. That did a lot of damage. How did that not kill me? Okay, the Hulk is too powerful. Alright, I'm going to give the Hulk a 7 out of 10. His animations are broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Squid. For this one, I think I'll make Squidward. Let's make his legs smaller, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's color him fully blue, and we'll give him a head. Now let's add his smile, and we'll rotate his nose. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll color in his shirt. Now let's add some details to his shirt, and we'll give him some tentacles on his hand. Now let's add his tentacles on his legs. And I think we're done. Let's see this in game. What are these things? I wonder if Squidward can kill them. Okay, this is the weirdest fight I've ever seen. Who will win? Like for Squidward and subscribe for the dinosaur Bruh. things. Okay, Squidward died. That means you have to subscribe. We never even really looked at Squidward, but I think he looks good. I'm not sure why the gray thing is attached to his nose, though. That looks better. His legs look kind of weird when he walks, but I guess that's fine. Let's spawn an army of Squidwards. Why do they always aim their bow at me in creative mode? It's time for the Squidward army to get revenge on the dinosaur thing. Okay, what is the dinosaur doing? Now all the Squidwards are just shooting each other. Okay, at least none of them died in a 30v1. Alright, I'm going to give Squidward a 9 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate, and we got Tall Duck. For this one, I think I'll make Daffy Duck. Let's rearrange his body parts, and we'll make his body a little bit round. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head. Next, let's give him a beak, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll add some eyelids above that. Now let's add this white part on his neck, and we'll rotate his left arm like this. And now we'll rotate his right arm like this. Next, let's color in his feet. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, his arms are completely messed up. I'm not even going to try to fix that. I don't know what's going on. Let's spawn a baby Daffy Duck. Not much better, honestly. He looks good if you ignore the arms, though, I guess. Let's spawn an army of Daffy Ducks. I don't understand how their hand ended up all the way over here. Wait, are these buffaloes? Nope, they're bisons. Let's see if a Daffy Duck jockey can beat a bison. I don't know if the bison fights back. I love how the baby is just following them around. Wait, they killed the bison. Honestly, I didn't think the Daffy Duck jockey would win. What is he still shooting at? Alright, I'm going to give Daffy Duck a 6 out of 10. He looks good, but he's really broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translating, and we got Will. For this one, I'm going to make Killy Willy. Let's make his legs bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's add the red thing on his chest, and we'll give it some teeth. Next, let's shape his head, and we'll give him a mouth. Now let's add some teeth to his mouth, and we'll give him an eye in the middle. And now let's add some eyes on the outside. Next, we'll give him some hands, and finally, let's give him some feet. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. He actually looks pretty good. Of course, I put both feet on the same side. I think I'm gonna turn off these particles. They look kinda weird. Okay, that makes him look a lot better. Let's see a Killy Willy 
riding another Killy Willy. This is perfectly normal. Let's spawn an army of Killy Willies. Okay, that's a lot of them. All right, I'm going to give Killy Willy an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Iron Golem. What will we get? And we got Chief. For this one, I think I'm going to make Master Chief. Let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color his body green. Next, let's give him his mask, and we'll color the outside green. Now let's add the yellow part on the inside, and we'll add some gray details to his mask. Next, let's put more details on his legs, and we'll also add some to his arms. Now let's give him some feet, and let's add some texture. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I think this is the first time today there's been no problems. Okay, never mind, I messed up his shoulder. Let's spawn an army of Master Chiefs. Oh god, that was almost bad. Now let's see if the Master Chief army can beat a Squidward army. Okay, I kind of already knew they could, I just wanted to see it happen. What about the Master Chief army versus a Hulk army? I only spawned a few Hulks to give them a chance. Okay, maybe I spawned too many Hulks, it's not looking good. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of the Hulks even died. Alright, I'm going to give Master Chief a 9 out of 10, he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got Lion. For this one, I'll make Simba from the Lion King. Let's change the shape of his legs, and we'll color his body orange. I think we should remove his udders. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll start giving him some hair, and we'll extend his hair down a little bit like this. Next, let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his nose. Now, let's give him some eyes, and some eyebrows, and we'll also draw his mouth. Now, let's give him some whiskers, and we'll add his feet. Now, finally, let's give him a tail, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Kinda weird how his head follows me, though. Somehow, I managed to make the cow look intimidating. Let's see a baby Simba. I don't know if he's supposed to have all this hair as a baby, but I think it's fine. Let's see if Simba can beat an actual lion. Never mind, there aren't any lions in this mod. I guess a tiger will do. Okay, that was fast. Yo, he's emoting on him. If I was Simba, I wouldn't take that personally. Let's spawn an army of Simbas. And now let's stack them on top of each other. This is definitely interesting. I wonder why you can't find this in vanilla Minecraft. Alright, I'm going to give Simba a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating... And we got blocks. For this one, let's make a Roblox character. Let's make his arm bigger, and we'll color his legs in green. Now let's color his arms yellow, and we'll color his shirt blue. Next, let's make his head yellow, and we'll make his head a little bit round. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's bend his arms a bit, and we'll do the same for his legs. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, we should probably make it nighttime. I kind of forgot that his arms would be up like this. This looks kind of weird. But other than that, he looks good. I've added many things from Roblox, to Minecraft, but surprisingly this is my first time adding the Roblox Steve skin. I wonder what the baby Roblox character looks like. Yeah, his head is way too big, let's delete this. Let's spawn an army of Robloxes. And now let's see if they can beat Master Chief. Okay, there's no way Master Chief is winning this. He's killing them so slowly. Roblox is just too OP. Now let's see if they can beat a Rhinoceros. Okay, the Rhino is ready. He's going crazy on this guy. Yo, he's fighting three at the same time. Since when did the drowns join the fight? Okay, it appears they're stuck. Oh, the Robloxes are turning into drowns. I was so confused. Okay, this isn't working. They won't leave the water. Alright, I'm going to give the Roblox character a 7 out of 10. I don't really like his arms. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got Space Fox. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ratchet. Let's remove his front legs, and we'll move his body to make him stand on two legs. Now let's color his shirt, and we'll also color in his pants. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add his eyes, and some eyebrows. Next, let's give him his hat, and we'll add his arms. Now let's give him some gloves, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Alright, he doesn't look too bad. Never mind, there's something wrong with his head. Okay, what is this? This is worse. Okay, I fixed his head. Yo, he's going crazy on Daffy Duck. I think he's holding that chicken, I honestly can't tell. Let's see if Ratchet can take down a raccoon. Yo, the raccoon is going kinda crazy. Okay, Ratchet won that somehow. Let's spawn a Ratchet army. Okay, they need to stop doing this, what is this? Now let's see if the Ratchet army can beat a raccoon army. Okay, I can only make them fight one single raccoon, that sucks. Alright, I'm going to give Ratchet a 7 out of 10, he was kinda broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Toad. For this one, let's make Toad from Mario. 
Let's delete his back legs, and we'll shrink his legs. Now let's make his body smaller, and we'll color his shoes. Now let's color his pants, and let's also color his body, and his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes, and we'll add his hat. Now let's add his blue shirt, and I think I'm gonna change his mouth. Now let's add the circles on his hat, and finally we'll give him some arms. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is wrong with his legs. Of course something is wrong, when isn't it? Okay, that's fixed enough for me. Other than the foot problem, he actually looks pretty good. Let's see a supercharged toad. The charge actually kind of fits him, it's not bad. Let's see if a supercharged toad can one one shot a crocodile. Okay, I guess it can. Let's spawn an army of toads, and let's see them fight an actual toad. A really weird looking toad. Okay, the toad had no chance, he got one shot. Although all the other toads died too. Alright, I'm going to give Toad a 7 out of 10, he looks okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. Translating, and we got Talking Dog. For this one, I think I'll make Brian from Family Guy. Let's delete this stuff, and we'll make him a bit shorter. Now let's color him fully white, and we'll extend out his face. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll add his ears. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his red collar. Now let's add the gold dog tag underneath, and we'll give him some fingers, and some feet. Now finally, let's add his tail, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. Not sure why he still has an ear though. That looks a little bit better. Oh yeah, we should go to the nether. Okay, here is Brian in the nether wearing some really big pants. Let's give him some different drip instead. That looks a lot better, now he's ready for battle. Let's spawn an army of Brian's. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the baby Brian. He just looks weird. Now let's see if they can beat the Mothman. Okay, I'm not sure what the Mothman is doing, he's kinda just eating shots. Never mind, he's going crazy now, what is this attack? Wait, he's gonna win this. Okay, he just retreated with 3 left. Alright, I'm going to give Brian an 8 out of 10, he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. What will we get? And we got mouse. For this one, I think I'll make Jerry. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll extend his body up. Now let's color him brown, and we'll give him a new head. Now let's extend out his mouth area, and we'll give him a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him some ears. Next let's draw his whiskers, and we'll color in his belly. Now finally let's give him some arms, and that doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Okay, that doesn't look that bad. I have no idea why he's sideways though. Also the way he is walking is kinda weird. Whatever, this is fine I guess. Let's see a baby Jerry. He's not much smaller somehow. Now let's see if Jerry can beat Ratchet. Okay, Jerry had no chance, he died in one second. Maybe he just needs a bodyguard. Okay, what is going on? I guess not even the bodyguards can save him. Let's spawn an army of Jerry's. Okay, Ratchet is still just killing them. I'm just gonna let it happen. Jerry doesn't look that great anyway. Alright, I'm going to give Jerry a 6 out of 10. He looks alright. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got Aardvark. For this one, let's make Arthur. Let's color his shirt yellow, and we'll color his pants blue, and we'll color in his hands. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some ears. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and some nostrils. Now let's draw his glasses, and we'll give his shirt a white collar. Now let's give him some red shoes, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. I found the Simba Tower and it's gotten significantly smaller. Anyways, Arthur looks fine. His face looks kinda goofy though. Let's see a baby Arthur. I think he looks better when he's smaller. Let's watch Arthur get chased by Master Chief. Wait, I forgot that Master Chief is the Iron Golem. Let's watch Arthur get chased by the Roblox character. Now Arthur could actually win because Roblox is going to burn. All Arthur has to do is move, which it doesn't look like he's doing. Okay, Arthur just barely got away, only to die to a tiger right after. Let's find an Arthur village. Okay, there's just no Arthurs in this village. I guess I have to spawn some of my own. Okay, maybe that's too many for a village. Alright, I'm going to give Arthur a 7 out of 10. He looks kinda weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translating, and we got weekday. For this one, I'm going to make Wednesday Adams. Let's remove her hat, and we'll change the shape of her head. Now let's add her hair, and we'll give her some eyes, and a mouth. Now let's make her arms and legs smaller, and we'll color her shirt brown, and let's also color her pants. Next, let's add her braids, and we'll give her a white collar. Now let's add her hands, and we'll add the white spot on her dress. Now finally, let's give her some shoes, and I think we're done, let's see her in game. Okay, I think there's something wrong with her arms, and also her feet. Okay, that's much better. I had to give her different arms, but they honestly look better. Let's see if Wednesday can beat a whatever this thing is. Okay, it doesn't look like they're able to fight because of this house. Let's just get rid of this. Okay, this doesn't look fair for the flying worm. I don't even think the flying thing was able to attack. Let's try Wednesday versus an elephant. Okay, it looks like she somehow got the elephant stuck. Okay, never mind. 
fine, she died. But how could you expect her to beat this giant elephant? Let's spawn an army of Wednesdays. Now let's see if they can beat Master Chief. Okay, I don't think they want to fight. Let's fix that. Okay, now Master Chief is taking a lot of damage. And the Wednesdays won that one easily. Alright, I'm going to give Wednesday an 8 out of 10. She looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither. What will we get? And we just got X. For this one, let's make Alphabet Lore letter X. Let's delete everything except one of the heads. And we'll shrink it down like this. Now let's color it white. And we'll rotate it in the shape of an X. Next, let's add these purple things on the top, and we'll give him some eyebrows, and some eyes, and we'll also add his mouth. Now finally, let's add the purple things in the back, and we'll give him some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, he still has the wither shape around him, but other than that, he looks pretty good. Okay, now he's just attacking these ratchets for no reason. Let's change that, let's see if he can beat the void worm. Okay, I have no idea what's going on right now. This is kind of like a Pokemon battle. I'm not sure if the void worm does anything though. Wait, never mind, what is he doing? Okay. There's more void worms now. What is going on? I don't think X has any chance of beating this. The void worm is too powerful. Yeah, X is getting destroyed. I guess the void worm is the most powerful mob. It even makes these cool portals. Now let's see if the void worm can beat the Hulk. I don't even think the Hulk has a chance because the void worm is flying. Never mind, Hulk did a decent amount of damage. Okay, the Hulk is kind of stuck now. Okay, now there's actually more than one Hulk. What happened? They actually killed the void worm. But to be fair, it took four Hulks to do it. Alright, I'm going to give X a 9 out of 10. He looked really good. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate. And we got snail. For this one, I'm going to make Gary from Spongebob. Let's remove all this stuff. And we'll color this blue. Now let's make his body a little bit wavy. And we'll add his eyes. Next, let's give him his shell. And we'll color the bottom of him a different color. Now let's color his shell. And we'll add these blue spots on it. Now let's draw his eyes. And we'll rotate his eyes sideways. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Oh yeah, he goes in the stone. I think he actually turned out really good. I like how he keeps waddling back and forth. Okay, we need to get away from the stone. Let's spawn a baby Gary. Oh yeah, that's not possible. Why are they all running away from me? Let's spawn an army of Garys. And now let's see if I can beat the Gary army in a fight. Oh god, they're all surrounding me. Gary is pretty fast for a snail. Also, his hitbox is really messed up. How am I not hitting them? Wait, they're actually doing damage to me. Who knew Gary was so violent? Alright, I'm going to give Gary a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating. And we got Box. For this one, I think I'll make Boxy Boo. Let's make his legs smaller, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head. Now let's add the top part, and we'll color his mouth. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's draw the star on his body, and we'll give him some hands. Now let's add his legs and his arms, and we'll add these openings on the side. Now finally, let's add the lid. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arm. Wait, leave the sheep alone, what did he do? Okay, that still didn't fix his arm. Alright, that's pretty much fixed, we'll just ignore when he gets angry. Boxy Boo really hates these chickens. Let's find Boxy Boo in the deep dark. Wait, he's emerging through the wool, how is that possible? I'm actually surprised with how he turned out, he looks really good. He's definitely scarier than the actual warden. Let's spawn an army of Boxy Boos. Who will win, Gary or this army of Boxy Boos? Wait, Gary actually escaped. Now let's see if the army can kill me. Wait, this is kind of scary. Oh no, I hit a dead end. Alright, I'm going to give Boxy Boo an 8 out of 10. He looked really good, but his arm is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Peach. For this one, I'm going to make Princess Peach. Let's extend her dress down, and we'll color it pink. Now let's color her head, and we'll give her a mouth, and some eyes. Now let's add her hair, and I'm actually going to change her eyes a bit. Now let's add her crown, and we'll add this thing on her chest. Now let's give her some gloves, and we'll add these red parts on her dress. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with her arms. But other than that, I think she looks good. It almost looks like her arms are backwards, this is so weird. Princess Peach, stop aiming the bow at me, I'm not Bowser. Let's spawn a baby Princess Peach. I literally try this every time, why? Let's spawn a Princess Peach army, and now let's see if they can kill Boxy Boo. They don't seem to be fighting them yet. Boxy Boo is literally just killing them for free. What about the Princess Peach army versus an Iron Golem? Okay, now they're fighting. They're actually going to kill the Iron Golem. Rip Iron Golem. And Boxy Boo is still just killing them. Alright, I'm going to give Princess Peach an 8 out of 10. She looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got P. For this one, I think I'm going to make P from Alphabet Lore. Let's remove the entire body except for a leg. 
and we'll color it pink. Now let's extend out the top part of the P and we'll make it a bit round. Next let's outline it fully black and we'll draw her mouth and next we'll draw her eyes and let's add a little bit of shading in the eyes and we'll add some eyelashes. Now let's outline her body in a lighter pink and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh yeah, I think it has to be nighttime. I love how the fire is so tall. It looks so funny. Okay, that is better. Well, I don't know about better. The way she walks looks really weird. But what can you expect? She's literally just a leg. Let's spawn a baby pee. I wonder how the baby will walk. Oh my god, that is so weird. This is way too cursed. I'm not spawning any more babies. Let's spawn an army of peas. Okay, I accidentally spawned more babies. Now let's see if the pea army can beat an iron golem. This looks so funny. The iron golem is being beat up by a bunch of peas. The iron golem literally had no chance. No iron golems were harmed in the making of this video. Alright, I'm going to give P a 9 out of 10. She was really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translating. And we got Stitch. For this one, we have to make Stitch. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll extend out his body. Now let's color him fully blue, and we'll make his head a bit circular. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll draw his eyes. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll give him teeth. Now let's add his belly patch, and we'll give him some ears. Next, let's add his arms, and we'll rotate his arms a bit. Now let's give him some legs, and I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Wait, where is he? Wait, what? How is this happening? Why does he keep popping up and down? I have officially created the most cursed mob, what is happening? Okay, I fixed the issue, but his legs are really separate and I'm not fixing that. Other than all that weird stuff, I think he looks good. Look how high he can jump, that's crazy. Let's see if Stitch can eat a slime. Okay, it doesn't really look like he's eating it. I wonder what Stitch looks like when he's swimming. Okay, he instantly went back to land. This looks so weird, what is happening to his legs? I just noticed that he looks so funny when he's walking. Alright, I'm going to give Stitch a 7 out of 10, he looked good but he was too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Alay. What will we get? And we got Halt. For this one, I'm going to make Halt from Roblox stores. Let's remove his body, and we'll extend this down a bit. Now let's color him fully dark blue, and we'll make the bottom of his body a bit ghost-like, and we'll do the same thing on the back in a different color. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll outline his eyes. Now let's add a bunch of different color around his body, and we'll do this a few more times. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, why does he still have an arm? Okay, somehow now he has two arms. Okay, I fixed his arms, they're gone now. I've literally never had that happen before, but other than that, I think he looks really good. Out of all the doors entities I've made, I think this is my best. Let's spawn an army of Halts, and let's watch Halt bring me some diamonds. This is so weird, because usually Halt is against you. Let's see a baby Halt. Oh, I just gave him the spawn egg. I don't think he's going to find any of those to give me. Alright, I'm going to give Halt a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate. And we got Orange Dog. For this one, I'm going to make Jake from Adventure Time. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs skinny. Now let's color him orange, and we'll make his body round. Next, let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his arms, and we'll rotate this part in a bit like this. Now let's make his body a bit rounder. Now finally, we'll give him a tail, and I think that turned out good. Let's see him in game. Okay, why does he have two legs? Go away, Holt. Like, how does this keep happening? I don't get it. Okay, the legs are gone, and this shouldn't happen again. But other than that, he looks really good. Seriously, stop following me, Holt. Let's see a baby Jake. Yo, he's walking so fast. I love how his arms just stay there and don't move at all. Let's spawn an army of Jakes. And let's watch the entire Jake army follow me. Okay, not so many of them are following me. This is so weird. What do they want from me? Alright, I'm going to give Jake an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a ghast. Translating. And we got Silver Bird. For this one, I think I'll make Lugia. Let's remove his legs. And we'll make his body a lot smaller. Now let's give him a neck. And we'll add his head. Now let's add the blue parts on his head. And we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his mouth. And we'll draw a blue belly patch. Now let's give him some legs. Next, let's give him a tail. And we'll add his wings. Now finally, let's add the blue parts on his back. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Whoa, he is really big. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. There is one problem with him though, he literally just doesn't move. It makes him look so menacing when he's flying around though. Let's find Lugia in the nether. Oh, there's one literally right there. This is so weird because normally Lugia would be found in the water. I guess this is a special Lugia then. Let's spawn an army of Lugias. 
It's hard to spawn them because they're so big. Okay, I think there's a few too many Lugias around here. Let's catch a Lugia and a Pokeball. I don't think it's working. What about a Master Ball? Nope, still won't work. Alright, I'm going to give Lugia a 7 out of 10. He can't move. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Turtle. For this one, I think I'm going to make a Koopa. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll shrink his legs a bit. Now let's move his head, and we'll color his shell. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll try to shape his head. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his nostrils. Now let's add the white part of his shell, and we'll add his shell. Now let's give him some arms, and some fingers, and we'll make his belly curve out a bit. Now finally, let's add his shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks really good. Okay, his head should not be moving like that. Yeah, we'll just ignore his head, because other than that, he looks fine. Let's spawn a baby Koopa. Of course, his head is floating. He's a pig. I've never seen a head float this high before. This is crazy. You know what we have to do. Let's spawn an army of Koopas. This is Mario's worst nightmare right here. Let's ride a Koopa. I've never looked at this in first person before. This looks kind of cool. And out of all the mobs I've made that you can ride, this one doesn't look that bad. Other than the fact that his arms literally just don't move. Oh, and all their necks are broken when they follow me for some reason. Alright, I'm going to give the Koopa an 8 out of 10. His neck is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Iron Golem. Translate, and we got invisible. For this one, I'll make John Cena because you can't see him. Let's make this bigger, and we'll color his body. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll shape his head a bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a nose, and some ears. Next, let's give him a hat, and we'll give him some blue shorts. Now let's color his legs, and we'll color his arms. Now finally, let's add his shoes, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Guys, I actually think he looks really good. Alright, it was a joke because he's invisible, but I actually think he turned out pretty good. He's a little short though. Okay, his neck is not supposed to move like that. Let's see if John Cena can beat an army of peas. Well, it shouldn't be hard because they're all on fire, but he's actually losing pretty hard still. Okay, somehow he lost to the burning peas. Maybe it's because they could see him. Now John Cena should be able to win this easily. Okay, I can't tell if John Cena is winning or not. Oh, there's Iron. I think he's still lost. I guess John Cena isn't a wrestling champion in Minecraft. Alright, I'm going to give John Cena a 7 out of 10. He was okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vex. Translating, and we got 60. For this one, let's make a 60. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll flatten him into a big rectangle. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll add another plane to finish this. Now let's erase all this stuff, and we'll draw the outline of his eyes. And now let's color his eyes white, and we'll outline them in orange. Next, let's add his teeth, and now we'll add a red part around his mouth, and we'll just erase a little bit of it like this. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, he's sinking in the ground. I love how he's just holding a sword in his mouth. Honestly, this looks so weird in Minecraft. Let's spawn an army of A60s. Okay, why did I do this? This might actually look scary in the nighttime. I'm not going to lie, this would be actually scary if it was in the game. Imagine just being attacked by these guys at night. Let's see the A60 army fight John Cena. Wait, John Cena actually killed one of them. I love how he's just staring at them, but he can't actually reach them. Okay, he's just fighting random mobs now. I don't think the A60s are going to die anytime soon. Alright, I'm going to give A60 an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a panda. What will we get? And we got Big Cat. For this one, I think I'll make Big the Cat. Let's add his white mustache, and we'll color him purple. Now let's extend out his ears a lot, and we'll rotate his ears like this. Now we'll extend some parts of his face out like this, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll color his body purple. Now let's add the dark purple stripes on his body, and we'll give him his belt. Now finally, let's add his shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Oh my god, he's rolling. Of course, I forgot to color the back of his head. Okay, now his face is just in the wall. Alright, I think he actually looks pretty good, but he keeps rolling. Why is he doing that? Let's spawn a baby Big the Cat. Okay, this is Small the Cat, and he's rolling too. Why do they keep rolling? I wonder what it looks like when I give him bamboo. Okay, now it just looks like he's standing up. Okay, I guess the baby one just doesn't do anything when I feed it. He literally just eats infinite bamboo. Wait, did this one just grow into an adult already? How is this possible? It's been like two minutes. Alright, I'm going to give Big the Cat a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Stew. For this one, I think I'm going to make Stewie. Let's move back his legs, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's make his head into an oval, and we'll color his head. Next, let's color his body red, and we'll add his yellow shirt underneath. Next, let's give him some eyes, and we'll draw his nose and mouth, and we'll also add his eyebrows. Now let's draw his hair, and we'll add his arms, and now let's give him a hand, and finally we'll add his shoes. 
Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. I think I made him a little too big though. Okay, his legs look really weird. We'll just ignore that. Let's spawn a baby Stewie. Oh yeah, that's not real. Let's see what Stewie looks like when he explodes. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted him to explode. Let's see a supercharged Stewie. This is the first time the supercharge actually fits him. Other than the fact that it has four legs and he doesn't. Let's see if he can beat a cat. Wait, he's actually not running away. Okay, never mind, he's still scared. I thought Stewie was different. Alright, I'm going to give Stewie an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translating. And we got triangle. For this one, let's make Phineas because he has a triangle head. Let's shrink his legs. And we'll make his body smaller. Now let's turn his head into a triangle. And we'll rotate it down a bit. Next, let's give him some eyes. And we'll add his hair. Now let's give him some ears. And next, we will draw his mouth. Now let's make his arms smaller. And we'll draw the stripes on his shirt. Now let's give him some shorts. And finally, we'll add his shoes. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, there's a lot of things wrong with this. First, I forgot to make his pants part of his legs. And his arms are messed up. And his head is just kind of floating. And also, his mouth just looks weird because it isn't attached to his head. Okay, most of those things are fixed now. Other than the mouth, the mouth is staying the same. Let's see a baby Phineas. Okay, he is so fast. I'm actually surprised the baby isn't broken. Let's spawn an army of Phineases. And let's see if they can beat John Cena. I feel bad for John Cena. He hasn't won a single fight yet. And it doesn't look like he's winning this one either. Yeah, he had no chance. There's too many Phineases. Alright, I'm going to give Phineas a 5 out of 10. He was broken and he just looks bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Evoker. What will we get? And we got Doctor. For this one, let's make the Plague Doctor. Let's color his body black, and we'll color his shirt dark gray. Now let's color his head white, and we'll add his hood. And now let's add the beak on his mask, and we'll rotate it down a bit. Now let's give him a neck, and we'll extend out his neck part a bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add some shoes. And finally, let's make his shirt look a bit ripped down here. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm lying. For some reason, his eyes make him look like an alien. Let's watch him kill a villager. Oh yeah, he summons A60s. I forgot about that. I wonder what the plague doctor thinks about blue sheep. Okay, I guess he likes red sheep better. Let's spawn an army of plague doctors. And let's see if they can beat John Cena. Oh my god, look at all the spikes coming out of the ground. Let's see the spikes come out of the ground again. Oh, that was a jungle villager. Okay, he's already dead. I'm just bullying these mobs now. Look at all the A60s flying around. Okay, the A60s are starting to die now. RIP. Alright, I'm going to give the Plague Doctor a 7 out of 10. He looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a warden. Translate. And we got Big Smile. For this one, I think I'm going to make Huggy Wuggy. First, let's change his body shape. And we'll also make the legs longer. And we'll do the same for his arms. Now, let's shape his head into a triangle. And we'll color him fully blue. Next, let's give him a big red smile. And we'll color the back of his mouth black. Now, let's add some teeth. And we'll give him some big scary eyes. Now, let's add his blue bow. And we'll give him some yellow feet. Now, let's give him some hands as well. And finally, we'll spike up the top of his head a bit. I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. There's a slight issue when he walks though. Honestly, it kind of makes him scarier. Why are they all nodding their heads? Let's see one crawl out of the ground. Oh god, that is way too cursed. Let's spawn a bunch of Huggies. Their walk is so messed up. Huggy Wuggies versus the Wither. Oh, they're already getting angry. Get him, Huggies. That literally did no damage. Yo, they just launched him. Oh my god, the Huggy Wuggies look so weird when they Sonic Boom. Come on, Wither, you can do this. Oh my god, the Wither is getting destroyed. That was fast. Huggy Wuggy is a lot more powerful than I thought. Alright, I give Huggy Wuggy an 8 out of 10. He looked good, but he's broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translating. And we got Captain. For this one, I'm going to make Captain America. Let's color his body fully blue, and we'll give him some red gloves and shoes. Now let's add the star on his chest, and we'll draw his belt, and let's add the red and white part on top. Now we'll color in his face, and let's draw his mask. Now we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and let's give him a little nose. Now we'll add the A on his head, and let's give him his shield. Let's just draw the star in the middle, and we'll extend his shoes out a bit. Okay, I think he looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's spawn a baby Captain America. He doesn't look too strong. Let's see if Captain America can save this villager. No, you're supposed to fight him, not join him. Well, he kind of saved him, I guess. Okay, you can stop chasing him now. Okay, I've had enough of this. Really? This guy won't even do anything? Well, I'm sorry, villager. Good job, Captain America. Let's spawn a Captain America army, and let's see if they can defeat the Iron Golem. Wow, the Iron Golem is actually killing a lot of them. And they won. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be, though. Alright, I give Captain America an 8 out of 10. I think he turned out okay. It's time for the next mob. 
The next mob is a piglin. What will we get? And we got scary bear. For this one, I think I'm going to make Freddy Fazbear. Let's delete these things, and we'll color him fully brown. Now let's extend his mouth out a bit, and we'll color the top part a lighter shade of brown. Now let's color the inside of his mouth, and we'll draw his eyes. Now let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll add his black nose. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll add his top hat. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add his belly patch. Next, let's give him a bow tie, and we'll make his arms and legs animatronic-like. Now let's give him his microphone, and finally we will add his feet. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks good. We definitely have to go to the nether though. Okay, he's not shaking anymore. And this one has boots, although they don't really fit. What happened to his teeth? Why are some of them smaller? Let's spawn a baby Freddy. Yo, he's so tiny. Look at how fast he's running. Honestly, baby Freddy isn't even scary. Let's spawn a Freddy army. I think you should take the helmet off. It doesn't really seem to fit. Let's get chased by all the Freddies. Oh god, they all have their crossbows ready. I don't think they'll be able to get me here. Wait, how did this guy get across? Wait, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh god, they're all getting across. I definitely didn't almost die. Alright, I give Freddy a 10 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an evoker. Translate and we got poison. For this one, I think I'm going to make venom because venom is kind of like poison. Let's color his body black and we'll color his head as well. Now let's shape his head so his mouth is open and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's color his mouth in red. Next, let's give him some teeth and we'll extend out his big tongue. I think that looks good. Now let's draw the spider on his chest and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, that looks pretty good. His tongue looks kind of weird though. I'm not going to lie. Let's see venom fight a villager. Oh wait, it's a swamp villager. Oh yeah, venom won't even fight him. The vexes just do it. Let's see venom will drop a totem i don't know why i did that i already knew he would drop one let's spawn a bunch of venoms oh these ones have a flag venom army versus a villager oh my god that was crazy look at how many vexes they just spawned i need to see that again wait he lived never mind oh no the vexes are dying venom versus captain america who will win all right they don't fight i'm gonna give venom a 9 out of 10 he looks pretty good it's time for the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translating and we got wrestler for this one i think i'm going to make the rock specifically from this picture. Let's extend this out a bit, and we'll color his shirt in black. Now let's give him some blue jeans, and we'll add his fanny pack. Now let's draw the belt around his body, and we'll give him a gold chain. Now let's color in his head, and we'll also color in his hands. Now let's draw his face, and I'm going to try to make him do the thing from this picture. Let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll draw some eyes underneath. Now let's draw his mouth, and finally we'll give him a nose. Okay, that looks a little weird. Let's see him in game. Alright, that looks okay. Okay, I really should not have tried to make his face look like that. But other than the face, I think he looks pretty good. The Rock versus Venom, who will win? Okay, Venom literally stood no chance. Come on, you can do it. Let's spawn an army of Dwayne's. Okay, that actually could have been really bad. The Rock army versus Venom army. Oh my god, Venom got destroyed. Rock army versus Captain America army. Okay, these guys literally stand no chance. The Rock is too powerful. What about the Rock army versus Huggy Wuggy army? Okay, they killed one. This fight might actually be close. Come on, Huggy Wuggy, you can defeat the Rock. One more left. And they actually did it. I guess the Rock isn't that powerful. Alright, I give the Rock an 8 out of 10. His face looked a little weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got Dark. For this one, I'm going to make Darth Vader. Let's color him fully black, and we'll add his helmet. Now let's give him some red eyes, and we'll color parts of his face gray. Now let's add the thing on his chest, and we'll give him a black cape. Let's also color his helmet darker black, and we'll color his hands gray, and we'll do the same for his feet. Now let's give him a red lightsaber and i think that turned out good let's see him in game okay that actually looks really good his legs are going through his cape though but other than that he looks good let's spawn a baby darth vader i honestly think the baby looks better let's spawn a bunch of darth vaders and let's see if they can defeat the rock the rock is going crazy the rock might actually win never mind he killed a lot of them though look at this guy just standing up here avoiding the fight now let's see if the vader army can defeat huggy wuggy or maybe they just won't fight him oh never mind he seems angry oh god he just destroyed that guy Okay, these guys don't even seem to care. This fight is boring. Alright, I give Darth Vader a 10 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. Translate. And we got Cowboy. For this one, I think I'm going to make Woody. Let's color his pants blue. And we'll color his shirt yellow. Now let's color in his face and his hands. And we'll give him some hair. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll draw his eyes underneath. Next, let's add his mouth. And we'll extend out his nose. Now let's give him his cowboy hat. And we'll add his cow spot jacket. Now let's add the star on his chest. And we'll give him a belt. Now finally we'll add his boots, and that looks kinda weird, let's see him in game. Yeah, his face still looks pretty weird, but honestly that's just how he looks anyway. Let's see if baby Woody looks any better. Oh, there are no baby pillagers. In that case, let's spawn more Woodies. Why are they all aiming their bows at me? I'm kinda scared. Woody versus one villager, who will win? 
Oh god, they're all shooting each other. And now half of them fell in the cave. How did one of the woodies manage to die? Another one died. Oh my god. Finally, that was embarrassing. Alright, let's give them a real challenge. So many of them are dying from their bows. Okay, they actually killed him. They're not as bad as I thought. Alright, I give Woody a 7 out of 10. His face looks really weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin brute. Translating. And we got strong. For this one, I'm going to make Mr. Incredible. Let's color his body red. And we'll color his hands black. And we'll do the same for his shoes. Now let's add his underwear. And we'll put the orange stripe above it. Now let's add the Incredibles logo on his chest. And we'll color in his head. Now let's give him some hair. And we'll draw his mask. And we'll add his eyes. Now let's give him a smile. And we'll make him a little bit more buff. Okay, that looks more like his son than him. But let's see it in game. Yeah, that doesn't really look like Mr. Incredible. But if I was making his son, then I'd say I did a good job. Oh yeah, we have to go to the nether. Now that's much better. Let's go to the bastion and try to find Mr. Incredible. There he is. Along with Freddy wearing a helmet that covers his eyes. Let's see if he will fight Dwayne Johnson. Oh, he actually did a lot of damage. Let's spawn a bunch of Mr. Incredibles. And let's see if I can survive this time. Oh god, I'm still on one heart. Oh, they all stopped chasing me. Let's see if I can win a 1v1 against Mr. Incredible. Okay, he does a lot of damage. Wait, why are more of them attacking me? Oh god, that's not good. Alright, I give Mr. Incredible a 5 out of 10 because he doesn't really look like Mr. Incredible. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a giant. What will we get? And we got green mustache. For this one, I think I'm going to make Luigi. Let's color in his blue overalls, and we'll add the green to his shirt. Now let's add his yellow buttons, and we'll color in his white gloves. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll extend his nose out a bit. Now let's add his green hat, and we'll put some hair on the sides. Now let's give him some ears, and we'll add the L on his hat. Now let's finally extend his shoes out a bit, and that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Oh, Okay, he looks pretty good. I don't know why I keep remaking the giant though, he literally does nothing. Literally all he can do is stand here and take damage. I wonder if the rock will attack him. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like giants. Oh no, the rock is sinking. And so is Luigi. Wait, who will die first? Okay, it's looking like Luigi wins this one. Can iron golems even drown? Okay, I'll just leave you down here, I guess. I give Luigi a 7 out of 10, he's kinda boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a guardian. Translate, and we got monster. For this one, I'm going to make Mike Wazowski. Let's delete all this, and we'll give him some legs. Now let's color him fully green, and we'll draw his big eye. Let's color his eye green, and we'll give him a big mouth. Now let's add some teeth, and we'll add his arms, and let's copy that over. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, he looks really weird. He also cannot stop jumping, it seems. That's better. Okay, now he's really fast. I'm really not sure if this is what Mike Wazowski is supposed to be like. I prefer him jumping on land better. Let's spawn an army of Mike Wazowskis. Look at them all bouncing around. Imagine if this was a real mob. I wonder if he'll chase me in survival. Okay, I should not have done that. Mike Wazowski versus Darth Vader. Okay, they don't fight, I guess. I wish I made the Elder Guardian a big Mike. Alright, I give Mike Wazowski a 9 out of 10 because he was funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither Skeleton. Translating, and we got Freeze. For this one, I think I'm going to make Frozone. Let's color his body blue, and we'll give him white gloves. Now let's add the pattern on his chest, and we'll change the shape of his head. Next, let's color in his head, and we'll extend his goggles out a bit. And let's add the blue stripe. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add his facial hair above it. Now let's give him a nose, and finally we'll color in his boots. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. I just realized I put Frozone in the desert though, which is kind of the opposite of where he should go. Let's go find him in the nether, because that makes even more sense. And here are some Frozones in their not-so-natural habitat. Let's spawn some Mr. Incredibles to go with these guys. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. I thought they were friends. Alright, let's spawn a bunch more Frozones, and let's see if this many Frozones can defeat the rock. It's not looking good for the rock right now. Dang, the Frozones won. Now let's see if I can survive the Frozones. Oh god, I'm very slow on the soul sand. No, why is the skeleton helping them? I don't think they can get me up here. Never mind, I was wrong, they found me. Alright, I give Frozone an 8 out of 10, he doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie piglin. What will we get? And we got trainer. For this one, I'm going to make Ash catch him. Let's color his pants blue, and we'll color his shirt black. Now let's give him white sleeves, and we'll color his hands in his head. Now let's add his blue jacket, and we'll add his blue and green gloves to his hands. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his mouth. Now let's extend his hair out on the side, and we'll give him his hat, and let's add the green symbol on the front. Alright, that looks decent. Let's see him in game. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. He kind of looks like an old man with that hair. It seems I also forgot to extend his jacket to his back. Let's watch Freddy Fazbear turn into Ash. Wait, why is he running? Okay, that was perfectly normal. Let's spawn a baby Ash. Baby Ash looks so much worse. Let's spawn an army of Ashes. And I have to try this. Oh god, the babies are so fast. Wait, Ash, this is a mistake. I'm not a Pokemon. Alright, I give Ash a 7 out of 10. A lot of things went wrong. 
It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a wither. Translate. And we got evil clown. For this one, I think I'm gonna make the joker, but as a wither. Let's color the bottom of his body purple. And we'll color his heads white. Now let's add a smile to the first head. And we'll also add his eyes. Now let's do the same on the two other heads. And we'll add green hair to the middle head. And we'll extend it out on the sides a little bit. And we'll also add a little part on his forehead. Now let's copy the hair to the other two heads. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Okay, I really don't know what to say about this one. The middle head looks like the Joker, but the other ones, not so much. Joker, chill. What did the chickens do? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably one of the most cursed mobs I've made. Let's see if the Joker can defeat Captain. Captain America. Never mind, they don't fight, I guess. What about the Joker versus Dwayne Johnson? Okay, I think the Joker is stuck. Let's help him out of here. Okay, this isn't even fair. The Rock literally didn't stand a chance. What about the Joker versus Huggy Wuggy? Huggy Wuggy is kind of getting destroyed. I won't lie, I think the Joker is going to win this one. This fight has been going forever. Wow, I guess the Joker is the new most powerful mob, and he even left a rose for us. Alright, I give the Joker a 6 out of 10. He was kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an LA. Translating, and we got Little Monkey. For this one, I'm going to make Diddy Kong. Let's get rid of his wings, and we'll add a few legs. Now let's color his body brown, and we'll extend his mouth out a bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his red hat. Now let's give him some ears, and I'll draw his little red shirt. Now let's color his hands and belly, and we'll give him a little brown tail. And I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong here. At least when he stands, he looks fine. Well, kind of. Yeah, that is definitely a problem. Let's see if he can collect these diamonds for me. Well, at least he can do that. Okay, that made his arms look even worse. Let's spawn an army of Diddy Kongs. This noise is so weird. Let's tame as many of these Diddy Kongs as possible. And now I have my own army of Diddy Kongs following me. Let's watch them all fight over this one diamond. That was kind of cool. It was like a Diddy Kong race. Now I'll throw a bunch of diamonds. And I'll fly away so they can't bring them back to me. Wait, these guys are actually kind of fast. Oh, it looks like they found more. Alright, I give Diddy Kong 5 out of 10. He was just too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got purple scare. For this one, I think I'm going to make Gengar. Let's delete his body and back legs, and we'll move his head down. Now let's color him light purple, and we'll add some tiny arms on the side. Now let's add the spiky parts on his head, and we'll give him some red eyes. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him some angry eyebrows. And finally, let's give him some pupils. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I don't know if that looks good or bad. I have no idea why his face is off center. Oh god, why does his head move like that when he's walking? Let's see if Ash can catch Gengar. Okay, I don't think he's interested. Let's see if I can catch Gengar. Nope, it's still not working. Let's spawn an army of Gengars. Okay, now Ash is interested in the Gengars. Let's see a supercharged Gengar. Oh god, they're all on fire. I don't know why I keep doing this. It never works. Let's see if Gengar can kill Ash. Yeah, I don't think that's what happens in the show. Alright, I give Gengar a 6 out of 10. I don't know why his face isn't centered. It's time for the next mob. The next Next mob is a wolf. Translate, and we got mystery. For this one, I think I'm going to make Scooby-Doo. Let's remove this part, and we'll extend his body out a bit. Now let's color him fully brown, and we'll add his blue collar. Now let's draw his black nose, and we'll give him a few black spots on his body. Now let's change the shape of his ears, and we'll color the middle pink. Now let's add some eyes, and we'll rotate his tail so that it's pointing upwards. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, what happened to his tail? This is the first time I've seen a mob's body part completely disappear. Wait, never mind mind, I found it. We're just gonna act like that didn't happen. To be honest, this guy's way too small to be Scooby-Doo anyway. And let's make him even smaller by spawning a baby. Yeah, that's probably the right size. Okay, why is his head floating? I'm just gonna ignore that too. Scooby-Doo is cursed. Let's tame a Scooby. I don't have any Scooby snacks, so hopefully a bone will work. Okay, now his collar doesn't fit as well. Go kill Captain America, Scooby-Doo. Okay, Scooby actually almost died. Hopefully this will repair him. Let's hop in the mystery machine, Scooby. Okay, this isn't the mystery machine, but it's the best I could get. Look at his tail just floating over there. Alright, I give Scooby a 4 out of 10. He was just too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Agent. For this one, I'm going to make Perry the Platypus. Let's remove his head, and we'll drag his body out a bit. Now let's make his legs a bit smaller, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's add his beak, and we'll color the beak orange. Next, let's give him a couple eyes, and we'll draw his eyebrows. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll add his hat. Now let's add the black line on his hat, and we'll give him a tail. Now finally, let's extend out his feet, and I think he looks good. Let's see it in game. That didn't turn out too bad. We'll just ignore the creeper parts on his hat. I'm pretty sure he stands on two legs when he has his hat on, but whatever. Let's see how he looks when he explodes. Surprisingly, that doesn't look too bad. Now let's see supercharged Perry. 
Yeah, something is clearly wrong here. Let's spawn an army of parries. This is Doofenshmirtz's worst nightmare. I wonder if Perry the Platypus can swim. Oh, he can. I don't know why I did that. It just looks like he can swim. I'm going to give Perry the Platypus a 10 out of 10, even though his hat is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. What will we get? And we got fast. For this one, I think I'm going to make the flash. Let's color his body red, and we'll draw his mask. Next, let's color in his skin, and we'll give him a mouth and some eyes. Now let's add his nose, and we'll add the little flash symbol on his ears. Now let's draw his belt, and we'll add the flash logo on the front of his shirt. Now we'll draw some yellow lines on his suit, and finally we'll extend out his shoes. Alright, that looks good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good. He's not very fast though. Maybe he needs some motivation. Alright, he got a little bit faster. Still not fast enough to be the flash though. Alright, that was pretty fast. These villagers stand no chance now. Okay, never mind. He keeps missing his hits. Let's spawn an army of flashes, and we'll give all of them speed too. Now let's see if they can defeat the iron golem. Oh my god. The iron golem actually had no chance. Let's spawn more iron golems. I mean, it was closer this time, but the flash is still one. All right, I'm going to give the flash a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate, and we got crown. For this one, I think I'll make King Bob. Let's remove all this, and we'll make his body a lot bigger. Now let's give him a few tiny feet, and we'll color his feet black. Next, let's color his body yellow, and we'll give him some blue pants. Now let's add his cape, and we'll color the edges of the cape white. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll color them green. Next, we'll add the straps from his goggles, and we'll give him his crown. Let's add the purple part on top, and we'll add the gold outlines on the side. And I think we're done, let's see it in game. That actually looks really good. Other than the goggles, there's something wrong with the straps. I don't have any bananas, so I guess I'll just give him this. I don't think he wants it. Let's spawn a King Bob army, and let's watch them all chase me. This looks so much less annoying than actual silverfish. It's King Bob, so of course we have to build him a throne. What is he doing right now? I guess they don't like the throne. Let's see the King Bob army versus Iron Golem. I don't think this is a fair fight. Let's spawn more King Bobs. Yeah, they're not even fighting back. Okay, they're starting to do damage. Yeah, the Iron Golem still won. I give King Bob an 8 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate, and we got Lobster. For this one, I think I'll make Larry the Lobster. First, we'll remove the hair. Next, let's make his legs smaller, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now, let's color him red, and we'll give him a head. Next, let's give him some arms, and we'll add a claw to his hand. Now, let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's give him two yellow eyes, and we'll add the antenna things to his head. Now, let's color his shell darker red, and we'll give him some blue shorts. Now we'll give him some abs, and finally we'll add his lobster tail. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. What is going on here? I did not expect there to be a baby Larry on top. And something seems to have happened to his face, the texture is all messed up. Let's go find Larry in the nether. And here we have Larry the lobster with a baby on his head again. Honestly, he would look really good if one of his eyes wasn't missing. Let's ride Larry the lobster. This always looks really weird. Let's spawn an army of Larrys. Look at the babies, they look so weird. I wonder if Larry will lift some bedrock. Never mind, I thought he was strong. Alright, I give Larry the lobster a 9 out of 10. He would be a 10 if his face wasn't broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the warden. Translating. And we got green. For this one, I think I'm going to make the green rainbow friend. Let's shrink his body and head, and we'll make his arms face upwards. Now let's color him fully green. Next, let's make his mouth look like it's open, and we'll color the back of his mouth black. Next, let's give him a bunch of white teeth, and we'll copy these to the top. Now let's give him a tongue, and we'll extend his tongue out a bit. Next, we'll extend out his eyes, and we'll make his eyes circular. Now finally, let's draw his pupils, and that looks good. Let's see it in game. I don't know how I feel about this one. There's something about the way he moves that is very terrifying. He's also very tall. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm not going to lie, he kind of looks like a cactus monster. Let's find green in the deep dark. Of course, we have to see him emerge from the ground. I'm not gonna lie, that might be scarier than the warden. I wonder how this thing looks when it's angry. We'll give him a sheep that he can't hit. I'm sorry, sheep. Okay, that wasn't that cool. Let's spawn an army of greens, and let's see if the Flash can beat them. Oh, he's running at him. Yeah, the Flash will not win that. I give the green rainbow friend a 10 out of 10. He's honestly scarier than the warden. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got rich. For this one, I think I'm going to make Elon Musk. Let's give him a dark blue suit, and we'll make it open a bit. Next, let's give him some eyes, and some eyebrows, and we'll give him a nose. 
and we'll also give him a mouth. Now let's add his hair, and we'll change his mouth so it looks like he's smiling. Now let's extend his suit down a little bit more, and we'll give him some hands. Now finally we'll extend his shoes out a bit, and I think that looks good, let's see it in game. That doesn't actually look that bad. The texture is broken, but that happens all the time honestly. Elon, can you stop pointing the bow at me please? Now because we have Elon Musk, we have to make a Tesla. I mean this kinda looks like a Tesla. Now can Elon drive the Tesla? Nope, I don't think so. Let's spawn an army of Elons. That is way too many pillager flags. And now let's watch Elon Musk kill this innocent citizen. Like usual, they're doing a better job at killing each other. I don't know, I actually think none of them died this time. What about Elons versus an Iron Golem? This is looking pretty even right now. Never mind, the Iron Golem is dead. Alright, I give Elon Musk an 8 out of 10. He turned out good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Guardian. Translate. And we got red. For this one, I think I'll make the red angry bird. Let's remove all this random stuff, and we'll color him fully red. Now let's color his belly light brown, and we'll draw his massive eyebrow. Now let's add his eyes underneath, and we'll give him an orange beak. Now let's draw the circles around his eyes, and we'll add his tufts of hair to his head. Now finally, let's give him a few black tail feathers, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Now I know I could have made the red rainbow friend, but I just made the green one, so you get angry bird instead. I don't know how this stuff keeps happening, like why is there white on his head? Oh, he's moving way too fast. He seems to be avoiding the pigs though. No, you're supposed to hit the pigs, that's what angry birds do. Let's see a baby one. Oh, there is no baby guardians. Let's spawn an army of red angry birds. Is this how angry birds actually move? I'm not even sure. Let's see angry bird army versus green rainbow friend. Oh, he is not happy with these guys. Oh god, rip that angry bird. The angry birds aren't really fighting back. Wait, I wanna see something. Now this is truly terrifying. What if we give speed 2 to an angry bird? I don't think it really sped him up that much. Alright, I give the red angry bird a 7 out of 10. He was kind of broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translating, and we got wreck. For this one, I think I'm going to make wreck it Ralph. Let's extend out his body, and we'll make his arms bigger. Now let's color his shirt orange, and we'll color his arms and his head. Next, let's color his pants, and we'll give him a couple eyes. Now let's draw his curved up smile, and we'll give him a big nose. Next, let's add his hair, and we'll spike it on the sides a bit. Now let's add his ears, and we'll add the neck of his shirt. Next, let's draw a few buttons, and we'll add his brown overalls. Now let's give him some orange sleeves, and we'll make his fists a bit bigger. Now finally, let's give him some feet, and I think we're done. Let's see it in game. I mean, he doesn't look too bad. Okay, his face looks kind of bad, but it was really hard to make. Let's see Wreck-It Ralph versus the Flash. Dang, Wreck-It Ralph is a tank. Let's spawn more Wreck-It Ralphs. I'm not letting this spawn a million of them like last time. I think we could spawn more of them though. Oh god. Alright, I think that's a good amount. Now let's see if they can beat the green rainbow friend. Oh my god, the green rainbow friend does not die. It took them like a hundred hits to kill that guy. Alright, I give Wreck-It Ralph a 9 out of 10. It would be a 10 if his face looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. What will we get? And we got Pan. For this one, I think I'll make Peter Pan. Let's color his shirt green, and we'll color his pants a darker green. Now let's color his head and his arms, and we'll make his sleeves curve like this. Now let's give him a belt, and we'll draw the bottom of his shirt. Next let's give him some eyes, and we'll curve his eyebrows up a bit. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add his nose. Next we'll give him some orange hair, and we'll add his green hat. Now finally we'll add the feather on the top, and that doesn't really look like Peter Pan. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. As always, something is broken though. I wish I made his face look more like Peter Pan, because the rest of him looks good. Let's spawn a baby Peter Pan. The head is a little bit smaller, so it kinda looks better. Let's spawn an army of Peter Pans, and let's see if they can survive the Flash. Unfortunately for this Peter Pan, it looks like the Flash only wants him. That was an accident. What kind of traits does Peter Pan have? Okay, never mind. I thought Peter Pan was able to fly. I guess not. Alright, I give Peter Pan an 8 out of 10. He looks okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bee. Translate. And we got flying cat. For this one, I'm going to make Mew. Let's remove the legs. And we'll add a head. Now let's color the head and body pink. And we'll add his legs. Now let's add his arms. And we'll rotate his arms and legs a little bit. Now let's add his spirally tail. And we'll give him two ears. Now let's add his eyes. And we'll extend his nose out a bit. And I think that turned out pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that doesn't actually look bad, but the eyes are off-center somehow. Out of all the Pokemon I've made, Mew definitely looks the best. The sounds he makes is really weird though. Let's see a baby Mew. Oh my god, it's literally so small. This is probably an accurate size for a bee though. Let's spawn an army of Mews. Okay, the sound has gotten way worse. What if I attack a Mew? Oh god, this is not good. The sound has gotten even worse now. It sounds like a tiny airplane trying to take off. Let's see if Mew will fight the green rainbow friend. Okay, seriously, why is he attacking the cow? No, not the baby. 
Okay, they don't attack him. This is boring. Alright, I give Mew an 8 out of 10. It turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating, and we got Caveman. For this one, I think I'll make Fred Flintstone. Let's make his arms and legs a bit bigger, and we'll color his shirt orange, and we'll make it look ripped on the bottom. Now let's color the rest of his body, and we'll color the bottom of his mouth a bit darker. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a long nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a bit of black hair. Now let's change his mouth because this looks weird, and we'll draw his blue tie. Now finally, let's add some black spots to his shirt, and that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh yeah, these guys burn. That's better. I think he's a little bit too tall. What if we spawn a baby? Yeah, there are no baby skeletons. Let's spawn a Fred Flintstone army, and we'll give him some cocoa pebbles. Isn't he the guy on that? I'm not sure. Let's spawn a dog. I heard cavemen and dogs used to get along. Okay, maybe I was wrong. The dog does not seem happy with him. Oh no, Fred Flintstone got stuck. Alright, I give Fred Flintstone an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got Super. For this one, I think I'm going to make Superman. Let's color his body blue, and we'll draw his underwear. Next, let's put a yellow belt above them, and we'll draw the Superman logo on his chest. Now let's give him some red boots, and we'll color in his hands and his head. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll add his hair. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll draw a mouth underneath. Now finally, let's add his red cape, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Why are his hands blue? I mean, obviously I meant to do that. His head is also red, like spider eyes or something. Let's spawn a baby Superman. This is definitely a kid in a costume, not Superman. Superman versus the Flash. Or not, the Flash doesn't fight them. Superman versus Peter Pan. There's no way they're catching him. Superman versus Wreck-It Ralph? Okay, that one was just not fair. I wonder if Superman can hold any weapons. Nope, he's more interested in the villager. I wouldn't go that way, Superman. I told him not to. I give Superman a 7 out of 10. He was kind of broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a snow golem. Translate, and we got frozen. For this one, I think I'll make Olaf. First, let's change the shape of his body a bit, and we'll extend the side of his face out. Now let's color him fully white, and we'll give him a couple of legs. Now let's draw two buttons on the bottom part, and one button in the middle. Next, let's extend the front of his face out, and we'll give him an orange carrot nose. Now let's add his tooth underneath, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's add the little hairs on top of his head, and finally we'll color his arms to match his hair. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, yeah, I think we need to remove his hat. That looks... interesting. I'm not sure why his arms are floating, but other than that, he doesn't look too bad. Olaf versus Superman. Oh, he's destroying Superman. Never mind, that was embarrassing. I just noticed his feet are in the ground. Let's spawn a bunch of Olafs. And now let's see if they can beat Superman. They're hitting each other with the snowballs. Wow, they actually did it. Wasn't that hard considering Superman was on fire, but... Alright, I give Olaf a 7 out of 10. He was okay. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a llama. What will we get? And we got opposite. For this one, I think I'll make Wario because he's the opposite of Mario. Let's color his body purple and we'll add his yellow shirt. Now let's color his head and we'll make this thing his nose. Now let's give him a couple of eyes and we'll draw his big smile. Now let's add his mustache above it and we'll give him some angry eyebrows. Now let's move his ears and we'll give him some hair. Next, we'll add his hat and we'll draw the W on the front. Now let's draw his hands and we'll give him some green shoes. Now finally, let's Warioify the chests. And that looks pretty cursed. Let's see it in game. That is not what we want. That looks a lot better. Well, I don't know if better is the word, but it is what we were looking for. Let's see a baby Wario. I like this one a lot better. Let's spawn a bunch of Warios. I hate the noise they make. And let's see if they'll fight me. Okay, really? He's just spitting on me. Upon further review, I don't think llamas actually fight you, but will they fight the Flash? No, they won't. I give Wario Llama a 6 out of 10. It's not that bad considering how cursed it is. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translating, and we got skateboard. For this one, I think I'm going to make Bart Simpson. Let's make his body a little bit smaller, and we'll make his head taller. Now let's color his shirt red, and we'll give him blue shorts. Next, we'll color the rest of his body yellow, and we'll give him some sleeves. Now let's add his neck, and we'll give him a little nose. Now let's draw his eyes, and we'll give him a little smile. Now let's add his spiky hair, and we'll give him some blue shoes. And I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, there is definitely a major problem with this. I guess you're just not allowed to move the arms on a husk. What about Baby Bart? Yup, we have the exact same problem. And his neck is massive. Why? I guess we'll just spawn more Barts. And let's see if these broken Barts can beat Wreck-It Ralph. It is not looking good for Wreck-It Ralph. Wow, I don't even think that many Barts died. 
Okay, I'm done with this. I need to get it off my screen. I give Bart Simpson a 1 out of 10 for effort. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate. And we got Tusk. For this one, I think I'm going to make an elephant. Let's remove these ears, and we'll color it fully gray, and I don't think elephants have udders. Now let's extend the trunk out a bit, and we'll curve the trunk down like this. Now let's extend out his tusks, and we'll copy that over to the other side. Now let's give him some eyes. Those don't really look like elephant eyes. And we'll give him some big ears. I think those ears are good enough. Now finally, let's give it a tail. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Yeah, that looks like an elephant. Not a very accurate size, though. I'm pretty sure this is the same size as a baby elephant. Let's see what the baby elephant looks like. That doesn't look too bad, honestly. But elephants aren't usually in a taiga forest, so let's find a savanna. This is the smallest savanna in the game. Whatever. At least our elephants are in the right spot now. I don't think elephants are supposed to moo though. Let's spawn an army of elephants and let's milk an elephant. Perfectly normal, right? I love a nice bowl of cereal with elephant milk. Honestly, I think Mojang should add elephants without the elephant milk though. Alright, I give the elephant an 8 out of 10. I thought it was pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. Translate, and we got Shadow. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shadow the Hedgehog. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll add his eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll add his hair things on the side of his head. Now let's draw this thing on his chest. Next, let's give him some hands. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, his arms look really weird when he's moving. But other than that, nothing seems to be broken. Let's spawn a baby shadow. Never mind, that isn't real. Let's spawn an army of shadows. And let's see if they can beat the iron golem. Oh my god, the iron golem is going crazy. Come on, shadow army, you can do it. And they actually did it. Because Shadow is supposed to be fast, let's see if he can catch a villager. Oh, they're not actually chasing him, they're just shooting. Let's give them all speed too. These guys are way too fast now, this is scary. Alright, I'm going to give Shadow an 8 out of 10, he looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translating, and we got Knight. For this one, I'm going to make Meta Knight. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's extend out his feet, and we'll make him a bit circular. Now let's color his body, and let's draw his helmet. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a sword. Now let's draw his wings. Now finally let's add texture, and I think that looks really good, let's see it in game. Okay, I think something is wrong with his feet. Okay, that looks a lot better. His body isn't really attached to his feet though, so that's weird. Let's see a supercharged Meta Knight. Yeah, I don't think he looks that good supercharged. Let's just blow him up. That's better. Let's spawn an army of Meta Knights, and let's see if I can beat them in a fight. This would be scarier if they actually attacked me and didn't just blow up. But since they blow up, I can just do this. And now they're all dead. Well, almost. Alright, I'm going to give Meta Knight a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Shy. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shy Guy. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll move his head. Now let's make his legs smaller, and we'll color him fully red, and we'll add his mask. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll add his mouth. Now let's draw his belt. Now let's give him some arms. Now finally, let's add some texture. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Alright, that actually looks pretty good. Somehow the pigs always end up looking good. He even looks normal when he walks. Let's see if the baby has a floating head. Yep, his head is still floating. But I don't think it looks as bad as it normally does. Let's spawn an army of shy guys. And now let's ride a shy guy. How is he able to carry me when he's so small? I have an army now because they're all following me. His right arm over the mask looks so funny. Let's see if shy guy can beat Meta Knight. Okay, I'm pretty sure they don't fight. Let's ride a Shy Guy with speed too. Okay, this doesn't make him much faster, honestly. Alright, I'm going to give Shy Guy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate, and we got Starter. For this one, I'm going to make Quaxley because he's my favorite starter in the new Pokemon game. Let's move his body. Next, let's color him white. And we'll color his beak yellow. And we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his hat. Now let's draw the symbol on his hat. Next, let's make his arms smaller. Now let's color his feet blue. And we'll add some texture. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arms. Okay, that only made the problem worse. Okay, I don't know how to fix this. This is good enough. Alright, his head moves really weird as well, but other than that, I think he looks fine. Okay, I'm lying, it's definitely not fine. Let's spawn a baby Quaxley. Okay, this is even worse, what is wrong with his head? I'm getting rid of this one. Let's see if I can catch Quaxley in a Pokeball. 
Okay, this joke really isn't funny. Let's spawn a Quaxley army, and let's have them all follow me. I finally have my own duck army. Subscribe to join the duck army. Alright, I'm going to give Quaxley a 5 out of 10. I like him, but he's too broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating, and we got Strange. For this one, I think we'll make Doctor Strange. Let's give him a neck, and we'll add his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth, and we'll also give him a beard. Now let's add his nose. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his cape. Now we'll add the eye thing on his chest. Now finally, let's add texture. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. His cape looks kind of weird because it doesn't move though. I also think I added a little too much texture to him. But other than that, he looks good. Let's see a baby Doctor Strange. This is the first baby that isn't broken. This is funny though, he looks like a kid in a costume. Let's spawn an army of Doctor Stranges. And now let's see if they can beat Shadow. Oh, they don't fight. Now let's see if they can kill this villager. Okay, now Shadow is killing them. This 1v1 is crazy. Okay, Shadow had no chance using a bow. I love how far back the army is compared to the babies. They literally just gave up because they were too far. Alright, I'm going to give Doctor Strange an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Picklin. What will we get? And we got Wizard. For this one, I think I'm going to make Harry Potter. Let's make his head smaller. Now let's color his clothes. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll give him a mouth. And a nose. Now let's add his hair. Now let's add his glasses. Now let's give him a tie. And we'll give him a belt. Now let's add his shoes. And finally we'll add texture. And I think that looks fine, let's see him in game. This doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look like Harry Potter. Oh, and I also forgot to color his back. Oh yeah, we have to find him in the nether. Oh, he has a gold chest plate now. I wonder if I can give him a wand. Nope, I don't think he wants it. Let's spawn a baby Harry Potter. This looks kind of weird. At least his head isn't floating. Let's spawn a Harry Potter army. And now let's see if they'll fight Shadow. Oh yeah, I have to make them shoot each other first. Okay, Shadow literally died in a millisecond. What about a Shadow army versus the Harry Potters? Okay, the Shadows just aren't fighting them. Yet somehow they are winning. Okay, I think the Harry Potters won this one. Alright, I'm going to give Harry Potter a 6 out of 10. He doesn't look like Harry Potter. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translate, and we got slow. For this one, I think we'll make Q from alphabet lore because he's slow. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll make him into a rectangle. Now let's color the rectangle, and we'll add the rest of his body up here, and we'll fully outline him in black. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll color it in darker brown. Next, let's add these spots right here, and we'll give him his eyes. Now finally, let's outline his back as well, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. I don't think there's turtles in the nether. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. He's literally moving like a snail right now. Let's see a baby Q. Oh my god, he is ridiculously small. I can barely even see him. How is this possible? Wait, these Qs are swimming in the water. Let's spawn a Q army. And let's give them slowness so they're even slower. They're barely even able to move now. This is crazy. Now let's lure them all towards me. I've been standing here for so long and they still haven't made it over. They kind of look like sushi rolls from this angle. Alright, I'm going to give Q an 8 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bee. Translating. And we got Rush. For this one, let's make Rush from Roblox doors. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body thinner. Now let's extend his body out a bit, and we'll extend out the sides to make him look circular. And we'll also do this on the top and bottom. Now let's add his dark grey mouth, and we'll add his eyes, and his nose thing. Now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add some teeth on the bottom as well. Now let's add some detail to his face, and we'll make it a bit darker under his teeth. And I think that's good, let's see it in game. Oh, that is not what we want. Okay, that looks better. Honestly, this might be the scariest mob we've made yet. The way he flies is terrifying. Let's see a baby rush. Okay, that's not as bad. At least it looks like I could beat this one in a fight. Let's spawn an army of rushes. And let's see if I can get away from them. Oh god, I'm still on half a heart. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, he's not as scary now that I know how slow he moves. This would still be terrifying if I saw this in the game. Alright, I'm going to give Rush a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got Wise Old. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoda. First, let's remove his feet and legs, and we'll shape him more like Yoda. Now let's give him a head, and I'll color his shirt gray, and his head and feet green. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll color these gray, and I'll extend his second arm out so I can make him hold a lightsaber. Now let's make his ears, and we'll give him a couple eyes. Now let's give him some eyelids, and a nose, and a mouth, and we'll color him brown underneath his coat. Now we'll finally give him a green lightsaber, 
I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. That isn't right. That looks more like Yoda. Look at how he's walking. Why does that kind of look good? Something is wrong with his lightsaber though. I'm not sure what happened there. Yo, when did Yoda learn how to jump like that? I wish I could spawn a baby Yoda. Yoda versus a magma cube. Oh, he's running away. Oh my god, they both ate it. Yoda army. Honestly, the sound they make kind of suits him. All right, let's spawn a bunch of magma cubes. Use the lightsaber, Yoda. Okay, I think these guys are too big. I don't know why I like seeing them eat the magma cubes so much. It just looks so weird. All right, I think I'm gonna give Yoda a 10 out of 10. I think he looks amazing. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translating, and we got Train. For this one, I'm going to make Thomas the Tank Engine. First, let's get rid of all of this. Next, we'll extend the back up a bit, and I'll color him blue. Next, I'll give him some wheels, and I'll add a little black roof on the back. Now, let's color in his face, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth. Now, let's add his nose, and next, we'll add the train thing on his head, and we'll add another one in blue. Now, we can draw some windows, and we'll put the red outlines on the bottom, and finally, I will draw the number one on his side. Okay, that looks pretty good let's see it in game all right we have to make our way to the end oh my god i'm pretty sure there's something wrong with his head yeah i don't think it's supposed to be floating like that all right that looks much better imagine finally making it to the end in your world and then you see this instead of the ender dragon honestly this is a good replacement though i won't lie oh he's perching i love how he flips just like the battle bus enderman watch out there's a train coming through the endermen are not happy anymore what happens if we spawn a bunch of thomases oh god that's too many i can't break it oh no well this might be a problem. Where are they all going? Goodbye, Thomases, I guess. It's better for them up there anyway. That way my FPS is safe. I'm going to give Thomas a 9 out of 10. He looks really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. What will we get? And we got green onions. For this one, I think I'm going to make Shrek. First, we'll color his head in green. Next, I'll color his shirt a tan color, and we'll make his pants brown. Now, I'll draw his vest over his shirt, and we'll give him his belt as well. Now, let's make his hands green, and I'll give him a big nose, and we'll draw some eyes above of that. Now let's give him some eyebrows, and we'll give him his mouth. Now we can add his ears, and I'll turn them sideways a little bit. Now finally, I will add his shoes, and that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Doesn't sound like Shrek though. If I was this chicken, I would watch out. Oh no, Shrek is angry. I'm sorry, chicken. Let's watch a Shrek emerge from the ground. Wow, this is exactly how I remember it in the movie. Alright, let's spawn a bunch of Shreks. And I think they need someone to fight, so let's give them one sheep. I wonder who will win. This will be close. Oh, the sheep almost had them. But seriously, let's spawn one wither and see how fast they kill it. Oh, that explosion made them mad. Time for a warden death ray. Honestly, the wither might win this one. They aren't doing that much damage. Oh, never mind. The wither seems to be stuck. Dang, not even one Shrek died. Alright, I give Shrek an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an enderman. Translate. And we got siren. For this one, I'm going to make siren head. First, I'll shorten his legs. Next, I will give him a torso. Now, we can make his head into a stick. And I'll color him a coppery color. Now, let's add the first siren and we'll color it black and add the teeth. Now I'll rotate it sideways and I'll copy it over to the other side. Now let's add texture to his body and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Yeah, that's definitely Siren Head. He's not too scary in Minecraft though, to be honest. I mean, when he's chasing me, it's definitely worse. Even though his head starts floating. Yeah, there's no way he'll get me now, buddy. Let's go check out the end. Oh yeah, there's 5,000 Ender Dragons. And because of all the Ender Dragons, only one Siren Head spawned. Nice. Alright, that should do the trick. There's a lot more Siren Heads over here now. Alright, let's see how long I can survive oh god there's already an army behind me oh god they're all teleporting to me guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to look at you i guess they don't accept apologies oh no i'm on half a heart no i almost made it through the portal i give siren head a 7 out of 10 he was kind of boring it's time for the next mob the next mob is a silverfish translating and we got tiny green for this one i think i'm going to make plankton let's get rid of all these layers and we'll make this part into his body now let's give him a couple of legs and we'll color all this green next let's draw his yellow eye and we'll give him a red pupil now let's draw his angry eyebrow and we'll give him a wide open mouth now let's give him some arms and in the picture i'm looking at they're up in the air so let's rotate them up now finally we can add the antenna type things to his head and that looks good let's see him in game wait that actually turned out really good i have no idea where he's going though i think he's off to find the krabby patty formula well then we'll have to bring him to the crusty crab plankton i think the krabby patty formula is in this chest i guess he doesn't want it anymore i think they all died from excitement what just happened did i just lag back in a single player world all right let's spawn a bunch of planktons and and let's put them against one Shrek. Who will win? Shrek doesn't even seem to be bothered by them. Never mind. Run away, Plankton. All right, I give Plankton a 9 out of 10. He looks better than I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got fast. Last time I made a fox, I made Sonic, so this time I'm going to make Tails. Let's color him in dark yellow, and we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's add the white hair at the bottom of his face, and we'll give him some big blue eyes. Now let's 
draw his nose, and we'll add his white gloves. Next, let's draw his shoes on the back legs, and we'll extend them out a little bit. Now let's color the back part of his tail white, and we'll copy it over because he has two tails, and I think that turned out good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Tails versus a chicken, who will win? Dang, Tails killed him instantly. Can Tails use a sword? I'm not sure, honestly. Sword Tails going crazy. Wait, no, you dropped the sword. I guess chicken is a better weapon than a sword. Let's spawn a bunch of Tailses. And let's spawn a rabbit. Which one will get it? I don't think they can reach it. Let's lower it down a little bit. I honestly didn't think they could get it from there. Alright, Tails, what are you gonna do now? Wait, how did he hit that one? Oh no, they're going crazy. I don't know how he got up there. That jump is pretty high. Alright, I give Tails an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate. And we got scared. For this one, I'm going to make Bunso Bunny. First, let's rotate his arms, and we'll make his ears flop down. Now, let's extend the front of his face out, and we'll color his head yellow. Now, let's draw his scary mouth, and we'll give him some teeth on the sides. Next, we'll add his cheeks, and let's draw these green things along with his eyes. Next, we'll color the rest of him yellow, and we'll add his green overalls. Next, let's give him his symbols, and we'll add a hat to his head, and let's color the hat green. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with him. But honestly, it makes him look more scary, so I'm alright with it. We're just gonna ignore the floating ears. How does the baby look? Yeah, the ears are still floating. This is very cursed. Might as well just feed them to the Tailses. This one guy is trying to get away. Alright, we'll spawn an army of Bunzo bunnies, because why not? Why are they just slowly hopping towards me? Now this is scary. I'm being surrounded. Alright, I give Bunzo Bunny a 4 out of 10. Too many things were broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Starfish. For this one, I am going to make Patrick Star. Let's remove the hairs, and we'll make his legs a lot smaller. Next, let's shape his body into a star, and we'll color him fully pink. Now we'll give him some arms, and we'll draw his green shorts. Next, let's give him big eyes, and we'll add his giant smile, and we'll give him a pink tongue. Now finally, we can add the purple flowers on his shorts, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good considering it's a triangle in Minecraft. Let's find some in the nether. And here we have a bunch of Patrick standing on the lava. Once again, this is kind of weird considering he lives underwater. Let's ride a Patrick. Yo, this looks really weird. Let's spawn an army of Patricks. Yo, it's baby Patrick. And there's also a Patrick with a pig man on top. Let's go, Patrick army. I don't think I remember this part in the show. Alright, I give Patrick a 7 out of 10. He kind of looks weird in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. What will we get? And we got Hungry Clown. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ronald McDonald. First, let's turn the hat into hair, and we'll color it fully red. Now, let's remove his nose, and we'll color his face white. Next, let's give him a red nose, and a big red smile, and we'll draw his eyes. Okay, that actually looks kind of scary. Now, let's color his shirt in yellow, and we'll put red and white stripes on the sleeve. Leaves. Next, we'll add a white collar, and we'll draw a red zipper down the middle. Now, we'll color his pants yellow too, and we'll give him red and white striped socks. Now, let's add his red shoes, and we'll make them black on the bottom. Okay, that turned out kind of scary. Let's see him in game. Somehow, this is the scariest mob I've made yet. Ronald McDonald's versus Iron Golem. Yeah, not so scary anymore. He wasn't even supposed to be scary to begin with. Oh no, the golem is coming for him. Let's spawn a huge Ronald McDonald army. Wait, will these guys fight a villager? Nah, they don't even fight. Why is the Iron Golem so mad at them? Alright, Ronald McDonald versus Shrek. That is a fight I never thought I would see. Uh, Ronald, you got something behind you. Oh no, Shrek is angry. And that's one Ronald down. Alright, I give Ronald McDonald an 8 out of 10. I think he looks good, but he's not supposed to be scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a polar bear. Translate, and we got Honey. For this one, I'm going to make Winnie the Pooh. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll draw his red shirt. Now let's change this part of his face a bit, and we'll give him little black eyes, with some black eyebrows above. Now let's draw his pink tongue, and a red smile on the sides and finally we'll give him a little black nose and i think that looks good let's see it in game he doesn't look too bad kind of big for winnie the pooh though what about the baby the baby is definitely a better size all right let's give him some honey that's weird it doesn't look like they want it all right winnie the pooh versus tails who will win oh god tails is already running away and tails already outran him i think i have a solution for that okay never mind i guess tails is just too fast let's spawn a winnie the pooh army that is just not the sound i would imagine winnie the pooh makes okay surely this tails can can't outrun them. Okay, he died instantly. Time to get chased by a bunch of Winnie the Poohs. Okay, these guys are really slow. Alright, I give Winnie the Pooh a 7 out of 10. He didn't turn out too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating, and we got Red Puppet. For this one, I think I'm going to make Elmo. Let's color his head and body red, and we'll move this part of his head down a bit, and we'll pull this back a bit so his mouth is open. Now let's color his mouth in black, and we'll do the same on the bottom and top part. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll color his nose orange. Next, we'll give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple of black pupils. 
All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks good. Not sure why the back of his neck is white though, but Elmo has a bow and he came ready for battle. I'm really not sure that's what happens in the show. All right, let's see a wolf versus Elmo. Dang, the wolf is angry. The wolf is running sideways. Elmo better run. This wolf is crazy. That wolf is hungry for Elmo's bones. Okay, he hit him. Oh, he hit him again. And the wolf is running away again. Oh my God, he finally got him. And he didn't even get any Elmo bones. All right, I give Elmo a six out of 10. He's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pink ball. I think for this one, I will make Kirby. Let's delete the body and we'll move the head down. Now let's delete his back legs and we'll extend the front legs out like this. Next, let's color his legs in dark pink and we'll color his body in a lighter pink. Now let's give him some tiny arms and we'll draw his little red mouth and let's give him some blue eyes. And finally, we'll draw his pink cheeks. Okay, something looks wrong. That looks much better. Let's see it in game. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Not sure what's happening with his body right now though, but even his walk didn't turn out too bad, honestly. Let's spawn an army of Kirby's and now let's spawn a baby Kirby. Oh yeah, Kirby's versus one cat, who will win? I don't know why they're afraid of one cat. Let's see a charged Kirby. Oh god, they're all gonna die. I don't think the charge really fits Kirby. Let's see if it can blow up a Shrek. Not even close. All right, I give Kirby an eight out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got money video. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mr. Beast. Let's give him a black shirt and we'll color in his arms and his head. Now let's give him gray shorts and we'll color his legs as well. Next, I'll draw the Mr. Beast logo on his shirt and I'll give him some green eyes and some brown eyebrows. Now let's do his hair and we'll give him some white teeth. And now let's draw his beard. Okay, his mouth looks kind of like buck teeth, so I'm going to change the color. Now, finally, we can give him some shoes. And that looks all right. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look too bad. It honestly just looks like a random guy, though. There's no proof this is Mr. Beast. Maybe he'll give this random villager money. Oh, wow. He's chasing him to give it to him. How nice. Wait, no, he wasn't supposed to do that. All right, let's see if Mr. Beast can raid a village. I guess Mr. Beast really doesn't like villagers. Maybe baby Mr. Beast is better. Oh, no, baby Mr. Beast is fast. That just made things worse. All right, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast versus Iron Golem. That was fast. Mr. Beast Army versus Iron Golem. Oh no, the Iron Golem is cornered. Dang, they actually won. Should I let him in? Of course I'm gonna let him in. Dang, they left fast. Alright, I give Mr. Beast a 7 out of 10. He's basically just a player skin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translating, and we got water. For this one, I think I'm going to make Squirtle. Let's color his head and arm thingies blue, and we'll also color his legs. Now we'll add a white outline around the shell, and I'll trace over the shell with different shades of brown. Alright, just one more color left. That looks pretty good. Now we'll make his head a bit bigger, and we'll give him some purple eyes, and we'll add white to the outside. Next, let's give him some tiny eyebrows, and we'll give him a smile that doesn't look weird at all. Now let's make a spirally tail and that looks good let's see him in game okay let me know if you guys see the problem it's kind of hard to spot i don't really know how this happened so i guess we'll just ignore that but other than that he looks fine how does the baby look i was hoping the baby was the size of a regular squirtle because this guy is clearly too big all right squirtle army okay i have to fix the floating thing okay that looks a lot better squirtle use bubble beam or whatever move he has oh wait i have to catch him first nope the pokeballs still don't work I wish I had made him smaller because right now he's bigger than Blastoise. All right, I give Squirtle a six out of 10. He just doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. What will we get? And we got professional. For this one, I'm going to make Matt from Wii Sports because he's good at everything. First, let's change the size of his nose and we'll color in his head. Now let's give him his beard thing and we'll draw his mouth. Next, let's give him some eyes. And now we can color his shirt in orange as well as the sleeves. And we'll make his pants dark gray. Now, finally, we can put the rest of his beard and we'll try to make it look a bit spiky. All right, that doesn't look bad. Let's see it in game. I mean, honestly, he doesn't look too bad. What about baby Matt? Yes, this makes perfect sense. Let's see if Matt can beat me in tennis. I think he's losing. Matt versus Mr. Beast, who will win? Well, Mr. Beast is burning, so this is actually a fair fight. And Matt actually wins. I mean, of course he won. He's mad. Let's find a village full of mats. And they're everywhere. They even have a Matt farming over here with something gold on his beard. Let's spawn a Matt army. And let's see if Mr. Beast can kill them now. Nah, Matt is just too fast. Where is Mr. Beast even going? He's just given up because Matt is too good. Never mind, he's just going for this one while he sleeps the one place you can beat him i'm sure he just wants to give him money i'll let him in never mind i was very wrong all right i give matt an 8 out of 10 he turned out pretty good it's time for the next mob the next mob is a pig translate and we got angry for this one i'm going to make the king pig from angry birds but with a full body 
Let's color the pig fully green, and we'll make his nose a slightly lighter green. Now let's add a couple of nostrils, and we'll give him his eyes, and a couple eyebrows on top, and a little mouth underneath. Now let's add his green ears, and we'll make a crown in the middle of his ears. Let's add the spiky parts to the top, and we'll draw some blue jewels in the middle. And that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. That looks pretty good. It was pretty easy to not mess this one up though, to be fair. Let's spawn a baby pig and see how it looks. I think I like it better because of the giant head. Alright, let's spawn an army of angry birds. I don't think they're very angry. Let's spawn a pig army. Now we won't know which one is actually the king. What is Elmo doing in the water over here? Alright, let's make Shrek fight the pigs since the angry birds won't do it. Okay, that's just mean. I have a better idea. Let's see if we can hit any pigs. No, he moved out of the way. Okay, attempt number two. No, that was so close. These chickens don't go very far. Okay, this is my last bird. Let's get a running start. Come on. No, he moved last second. I guess I'm just bad at Angry Birds. Alright, I give Angry Birds Pig an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate. And we got Funny Dog. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Goofy. Let's remove the hair, and we'll shape his body. Now let's color his shirt orange, and we'll color his pants blue. Next, let's shape his head, and we'll color his mouth. Now let's color the back of his head black, and we'll color his mouth as well. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his front teeth, and we'll add his green hat. Now let's give him his ears, and we'll color in his gloves. Now let's add his jacket, and finally we'll add his giant shoes. Okay, I think that looks really good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I didn't really expect this to happen. That looks a lot better. Okay, his walk animation is really cursed. Let's go find Goofy in the nether. And here is Goofy in his natural habitat. This is kind of scary, to be honest. Let's ride a Goofy. Oh my god, why is it all green? This is perfectly normal. There is nothing wrong with this. Look at them all emerging in the back. Let's spawn an army of Goofies. Wait, I forgot there could be baby Goofies. They look so funny. There's even a baby Goofy on top of another Goofy. Follow me, Goofy Army. Why do they lean back so far? Look at how the babies move. It's so funny. I'm going to give Goofy a 7 out of 10. He looks good, but he's broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating, and we got Hairy Monster. For this one, I'm going to make Sully from Monsters, Inc. Let's color him fully blue, and we'll add a lighter belly patch. Now let's add some purple spots on his body, and I'll give him a little nose. Now let's draw a smile, and we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, I'll extend his eyelids out a bit, and we'll add a couple horns on the side. Now let's add his lizard-like tail, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, he looks pretty good. I keep forgetting to texture the top of the legs though, but other than that, I don't see any problems. I don't think he's a fan of that chicken though. Let's see if he'll go through the store. No, Sully, you're going the wrong way. Oh god, he's angry. What did the horse do? They're killing the horse for no reason. Let's go find a Sully in the deep dark. I think that was the first time it looked kind of normal. Honestly, Sully could have been the warden. They look really similar. I think he's angry at this baby zombie, but he can't find him. Oh, never mind. Sully versus Goofy, who will win? Oh, Sully's just killing other people instead. Sully is going on a rampage. Never mind, rip Goofy. Alright, I give Sully a 9 out of 10. He was almost perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. What will we get? And we got lightning. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Thor. Let's color his head and his arms, and we'll color the rest of his body blue. Now let's add his hair, and we'll drag his head up a bit and give him a neck. Now let's add his cape, and we'll color the cape red. Next I'll give him some blue eyes, and I'll add his eyebrows, and his mouth. Now let's add his beard, and we'll give him two shoulder pads. Now let's add his gloves, and we'll add a pattern on his shirt and pants. Now finally I will give him his hammer, and I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I don't know why the textures keep messing up. Oh, and both of his shoulders are the same shoulder. but other than that, he doesn't look too bad. Let's see baby Thor. If you would move, that would be cool. It's literally just Thor, but smaller. Let's see if Thor can get struck by lightning. Doesn't really look like it. At least he lived. Let's spawn a bunch of Thors, and let's see if they can defeat Sully. I forgot, they don't fight back. Rip Sully. Let's see if the Thors can defeat the Iron Golem. Dang, the Iron Golem's getting destroyed. He's not even one-shotting the Thors. That was an easy win for the Thor army. Alright, I give Thor an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate. And we got lasagna. For this one, I'm going to make Garfield because he loves lasagna. Let's remove all of this and we'll shape his body and head. Now let's color him fully orange, and we'll give him a couple of arms. Now let's extend his face out a bit, and we'll color this lighter orange. Next, let's give him a pink nose, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's extend his eyelids out a bit, and we'll give him his ears. Now let's give him a tail, and finally we'll add black stripes all over his body. That looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Yeah, that looks like Garfield. I'm not sure about his walk though. Since when did Garfield learn how to jump like that? Actually, it's not that weird. I'm pretty sure cats can jump high. I don't know about 
fat cats though. Let's spawn a baby Garfield. Oh yeah. Let's see if Garfield will eat this lasagna. Dang, he ate it in one bite. Let's spawn a bunch of Garfields. I love the noise they make when they hit the ground. Let's watch these Garfields eat a bunch of magma cubes. I think these guys are too big. Wow, the Garfields are devouring these magma cubes. Alright, I give Garfield a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translating. And we got Chef. For this one, I think I'm going to make Gordon Ramsay. Let's color his shirt white. And we'll color his pants black. Now let's color his head. And we'll give him some blonde hair. Now let's color his arms. And we'll give him some blue eyes. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll extend his nose out a bit. Next, let's draw his mouth. And we'll give him a little collar on his shirt. Now let's add the buttons to his shirt. And finally, I'll give him a little chef's hat. I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Alright, that doesn't look bad. The textures are always broken. I don't understand why. Honestly, he kind of just looks like a chef, though. He's only Gordon Ramsay if you know he's Gordon Ramsay. Where is he going? Let's see if Gordon Ramsay can cook a five-star meal. Okay, he's going to gather his ingredients like a real chef. Okay, I'm starting to think he just doesn't want to cook. Let's spawn a baby Gordon Ramsay. I wonder if this one can cook. It doesn't look like it. Let's spawn a bunch of Gordon Ramsays. Surely one of these guys knows how to cook. Oh, wow, they're making a steak. That was pretty good. Oh, they're making a chicken, too. Oh, I guess it's done. Wait, guys, this is raw. Oh god, they're all angry at me. Alright, I give Gordon Ramsay an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. What will we get? And we got rainbow. For this one, I'm going to make the blue rainbow friend. Let's make his arms a bit smaller, and we'll do the same for his legs. Now let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's add his crown, and we'll color it yellow. Next we'll add the spiky parts on top, and we'll add his eyes, and let's put the circle inside this one, and we'll add the X to the other one. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll put the drool on the side, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good, I think. Honestly, I don't even know what Rainbow Friends is. I've just seen a lot of comments telling me to make it. Let's see if Blue can beat Gordon Ramsay. Easily. Let's see if Blue can beat Thor and Gordon Ramsay. Still too easy. Let's see if Blue can beat Sully. Yeah, Blue literally had no chance. Let's spawn an army of Blues. Oh no. Oh god, this is bad. I think I spawned a little too many. There's so many of them, they can't even move. Sully's not even fighting back. He knows he's doomed. Never mind. Wow, he actually almost beat them. Well, he almost beat like 3% of them. I'm going to give Blue a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got space. For this one, I think I'll make Buzz Lightyear. Let's color his body white. And we'll add his purple mask. Now let's color the rest of his face. And we'll give him a big smile. Now let's extend his nose out. And we'll give him a couple blue eyes. Now let's add his eyebrows. And we'll color the top part of his space suit. Next, let's add the purple lines on the bottom. And we'll add some green lines all around his body. And finally, let's color his shoulders black. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this looks kind of weird. Honestly, it looks like somebody wearing a Buzz Lightyear costume. Let's see if Buzz Lightyear can outrun Gordon Ramsay. Okay, there's two Gordon Ramsays. How did that happen? It's not looking good for Buzz Lightyear. Never mind, he actually managed to get away. Wait, there's another Gordon Ramsay chasing him. Let's see a baby Buzz Lightyear. This is definitely a better size because Buzz Lightyear is a toy. Let's find a Buzz Lightyear village. And here's a bunch of Buzz Lightyears in their natural habitat. There's even a Buzz Lightyear farming over here. And these two are having a conversation. Oh, I think I interrupted them. What happens if I ring the bell? Wait, did I do that? Alright, I give Buzz Lightyear a 10 out of 10. I don't know why, but I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. Translating. And we got King. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Lord Farquaad. Let's color his shirt red, and we'll give him dark gray pants. Now let's add his red cape, and we'll give him a belt. Now let's color his hands dark orange, and we'll color his head. Next, let's give him a mouth, and we'll extend out his nose. Now let's give him some green eyes, and we'll give him a couple of eyebrows. Now let's extend out his hair, and we'll add his hat, and we'll color his hat fully red. Now finally, let's add his belt buckle, and I think he looks good. Let's see him in game. That looks pretty good, I guess. I think his head is a little too big, though. Let's see a baby Farquaad. Oh, that's not a thing. Let's see Lord Farquaad versus Buzz Lightyear. Oh god, he has an axe. Lord Farquaad, relax, he did nothing wrong. Buzz Lightyear is actually kind of fast. Alright, that was boring. Let's see if Lord Farquaad can raid this village. Oh no, Blue is angry at him. It seems like Buzz Lightyear is not wearing the right clothes. Oh, and Blue literally just gave up. Lord Farquaad sucks, he hasn't even gotten a kill. Come on, break down the door. Okay, I'm done with this. Alright, I give Lord Farquaad an 8 out of 10 because the textures were kind of messed up. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got family. For this one, I think I'm gonna make Peter Griffin. Let's color in his head. Next, we'll color his shirt white. And we'll give him some green pants. Now let's add his brown hair. And we'll give him a couple of eyes. 
Next, we'll draw his mouth, and we'll extend his nose out a bit, and we'll also extend out his ears. Now let's draw his glasses, and we'll color in his arms. Now let's give him a belt, and we'll add a gold belt buckle. Now let's draw the buttons on his shirt, and finally we'll give him some shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. I don't really know what to say about this. Honestly, I think he looks really good, but the actual Peter Griffin looks way different. Let's spawn an army of Peter Griffins. And let's see if these Peter Griffins can defeat Blue. And they don't seem to be doing too good. They keep shooting each other instead of Blue. Okay, they actually won. A lot of Peter Griffins were lost though. Let's give them an easier fight. Let's put them against Buzz Lightyear. Okay, one of them somehow died. RIP Buzz Lightyear. Guys, stop pointing the bow at me. Alright, I give Peter Griffin a 9 out of 10. He looks good, but he doesn't look like Peter Griffin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an evoker. Translate, and we got villain. For this one, I think I'll make Gru. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color his shirt dark gray. Next, let's color his pants black, and we'll color in his head. Next, we'll give him some blue eyes, and we'll add some eyebrows on top, and a mouth underneath. Now let's extend his nose out, and we'll color in his hands. Next, let's add the zipper to his shirt. Now let's add his scarf, and we'll extend it down on each side. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Oh my god, what happened to his neck? Other than that, I kinda like him though. Let's see Gru versus Thor. There is a major height difference, which is weird because Gru is approximately 14 feet tall. Okay, I guess they don't want to fight each other. Let's just see Gru fight Buzz Lightyear. It looks like Gru is summoning his minions, although I don't think this is how they look. Let's spawn an army of Grus. Now let's see them kill a Buzz Lightyear. I love seeing all the spikes come out of the ground. Let's see them fight a bunch of Buzz Lightyears. Oh my god, that was the loudest sound in the game. Wait, some of them managed to get away. Oh no, watch out for the Vex. Never mind, he's retreating. Alright, I give Gru a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translating, and we got purple. For this one, I'm going to make Waluigi. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll color his shirt purple. Now let's color his head, and we'll give him some big white teeth. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll give him a couple of eyes. Next, let's draw his eyebrows, and we'll extend his big nose out, and we'll color it pink. Now let's add his pointy chin, and next we'll add his hat and we'll put the upside down L on top. Now let's color his hands, and we'll add his overalls. Now finally we'll add his orange shoes, and that looks good, let's see it in game. Oh wow, that actually looks pretty accurate. Why is a chunk of the hat missing every time the mob has a hat? Let's spawn an army of Waluigi's, and let's see if they can take down Blue. I don't think they're fighting back. I thought Waluigi was supposed to be a bad Luigi, but he won't even fight. Never mind, this one poisoned him, and he also poisoned himself. It looks like Blue wins this fight. It took the poison like 30 seconds to damage him. Alright, I give Waluigi an 8 out of 10, his face is kinda scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Drowned. What will we get? And we got Trooper. For this one, I think I'll make a Stormtrooper. Let's color the body fully white, and we'll add the black eyes, and we'll also put some gray spots on the head, and we'll also add some lighter gray parts underneath. Next, let's color his shoulders black, and we'll do the same for his hands and other parts of his body, and we'll add a few more details, and I think we're done, let's see it in game. Okay, he doesn't look bad. Oh, I didn't know drowns could burn. That's better. Let's see a baby stormtrooper. I think the baby looks a lot better than the big one. Of course, we have to spawn an army of stormtroopers. Oh, he's got a trident. I wonder how good his aim is with that thing. Oh, this one has a fishing rod. That is the least intimidating weapon. Stormtroopers versus Buzz Lightyear. Yep, he's hitting the other stormtroopers with the trident. Oh, the babies are getting close. Oh no, Buzz Lightyear is stuck. Why is this guy holding a shell? These guys choose really bad weapons. Alright, I give the stormtrooper an 8 out of 10. He turned out how I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate, and we got Bug. I think for this one, I'll make Bugs Bunny. Let's color his body gray, and we'll change the shape of his head a bit. Now let's make his ears a bit bigger, and we'll color the bottom of his head white, and we'll do the same to his hands, and we'll color his belly white as well. Now let's color his ears, and we'll give him a couple of eyes, with little black pupils. Now let's extend his front teeth out a bit, and we'll draw some little whiskers on the side, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Why are his eyes crooked? I really don't know how that happens. Honestly, he's way too small to be Bugs Bunny anyway. Let's see what the baby looks like. Honestly, the baby looks better. Let's give Bugs Bunny a carrot. Okay, it's not possible. Good. Baby Bugs Bunny cannot stop eating carrots. What are you looking at? You don't get any more. I wonder if Bugs Bunny likes golden carrots. 
Yep, he also likes golden carrots. What about rabbit stew? He's not a fan. Let's spot a bunch of Bugs Bunnies. And let's watch them all chase me. You don't get any carrots. Go away. Alright, I give Bugs Bunny a 7 out of 10 because he was broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating. And we got scared. For this one, I'm going to make Shaggy. Let's make his head smaller. And we'll give him a neck. Next, let's color his shirt green. And we'll color in his arms as well. Now let's make his legs a little bigger. And we'll give him red pants. Now let's color his neck. And we'll extend his hair out a bit. Now let's give him a couple of eyes. And we'll add some eyebrows on top. Now let's extend his nose out a bit. And we'll give him a little smile. Now finally, let's give him a couple of shoes. And that looks good. Let's see him in game. Yep, the texture is messed up like always. And honestly, this doesn't even really look like Shaggy. Shaggy versus Scooby. I'm pretty sure they don't fight. This is weird. Run, Shaggy. Oh god. Maybe he'll calm down for a Scooby snack. Nope, rip Shaggy. Let's spawn a Shaggy army. Now let's see them fight a wolf. Come on, there's so many of you and you're still running. Oh, it looks like the wolf wants Bugs Bunny instead. Alright, I give Shaggy a 5 out of 10. He was very broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an axolotl. What will we get? And we got lost. For this one, I think I'm going to make Dory. Let's delete the legs, and we'll change the shape of her body and head. Now let's color her body blue, and we'll color in her fins. Now let's color this thing blue, and we'll color her tail thing black and yellow. Now let's add some black spots on her body, and we'll give her a couple of eyes, and we'll make her eyes purple. Now finally, let's give her a little smile, and I think we're done. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look bad. At least it looks better than when I made Nemo. Let's spawn one underwater instead. I don't know why the fins are floating. I'm pretty sure Dory is already in the game. Oh, Dory is a cannibal, I guess. And Dory literally only ate the imposter. Let's catch Dory in a bucket. Wait, this is how finding Dory begins. I'm sorry, Dory. Swim back to the ocean. Dory is not taking my advice. Let's spawn an army of Dorys. Oh yeah, I forgot they would eat all the fish. Whatever, Dory looks better anyways. Dory is literally swimming on air. Alright, I give Dory a 7 out of 10. She could've looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate. And we got Salamander. For this one, I think I'm going to make Charmander. Let's delete his back legs, and we'll change his body shape a bit. Now let's make his mouth look open, and we'll color the back of his mouth pink. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple nostrils as well. Now let's add a couple of teeth, and we'll add his belly patch. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll add his tail. Now let's put the flame on top of his tail, and finally we'll give him some tiny eyebrows. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, this just doesn't look like Charmander. I think this is the Digimon version, honestly. He looks kind of like the car insurance guy. And of course, the texture is broken in random places. Let's see a baby Charmander. I don't know why I always try to spawn a baby creeper. Let's spawn a Charmander army. Now let's see if Charmander can defeat an enemy Squirtle. Wow, this fight is amazing. Pokeball test. Nope. Let's see the supercharged Charmander. How is he burning? He's literally a fire Pokemon. This is probably the best the charge has looked on any custom creeper. Charmander, use self-destruct. Oh no, he killed the other charged creeper. Wait, that dropped a creeper head though. Alright, I give Charmander a 6 out of 10. He looks kind of strange. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate. And we got turtle. For this one, I think we'll make Bowser. Let's extend out his body, and we'll shrink his arms. Now let's color his body yellow, and we'll add his mouth. Next, let's color his head green, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his nose, and we'll color the inside of his mouth. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll add his horns on the side of his head. Now let's add his hair, and we'll color in his belly. Next, let's add his shell, and we'll put the spikes on his shell. Now we'll add a bit more detail, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. Ignore the low effort spikes on his back. But other than that, he definitely looks like Bowser. Let's spawn more Bowsers. Let's see the Bowser army versus a bunch of zombies. Oh no, this Bowser is getting targeted. Okay, that was too easy. What about Bowser army versus the Warden? Dang, they're not even letting the Warden move. Oh no, one of the Bowsers died. The zombie is trying to help him. Okay, they beat the Warden as well. Let me just fix you guys up a bit. Alright, I'm going to give Bowser a 9 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Translating. And we got King. For this one, I'm going to make King DDD. Let's shrink his body, and we'll move his head. Now let's color him blue, and we'll color his feet yellow. Now let's add his beak, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's color his mouth, and we'll add his shirt thing around his body. Now let's add his coat, and next let's give him some arms, and we'll make his hammer. Now let's add his hat, and finally let's add the white part on the back. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I can't believe that this is a pig, it looks so different. I honestly think this one turned out really good. Let's see a baby DDD. Okay, what is with baby pigs and floating heads? 
We'll just pretend that baby pigs don't exist. Let's spawn an army of King DDDs. Okay, we have to get rid of the babies. And now let's ride a King DDD. This is really weird. I love how the other ones are just following me as well. I think they are trying to kill me with the mallet. Guys, relax, I'm one of you. Alright, I give King DDD an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a warden. What will we get? And we got figure. For this one, we have to make figure from Roblox stores. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll make his legs longer, and we'll do the same on his arms. Now let's make his head smaller, and we'll color him a brownish color. Now let's make the circle on his head, and we'll make the outside a bit more circular. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll color the back a bit darker. Now let's add the bones on his chest, and I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, that actually looks really good. We'll just ignore that his legs look really weird when he walks. But other than that, he looks good. Let's go find figure in the deep dark. Usually it's Seek rising out of the ground, this is so weird. Let's spawn even more figures. And now let's see if they can beat an army of Bowsers. Okay, there's way too many of them. They are destroying the Bowsers. Oh, at least the Bowsers killed one of them. Let's get chased by the figure army. Okay, this is way scarier than the Warden. Yeah, I literally had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give figure a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translate. And we just got G. I guess we'll make G from alphabet lore. Let's delete this stuff, and we'll make him into a little rectangle. Now let's color him purplish, and we'll extend this part out. And now let's add this part, and we'll add a longer part on the back. Now let's rotate it in the middle like this, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's give him a mouth. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, why is he flying? Honestly, I don't even think he looks that bad while he's flying. So we'll just pretend that this was intentional. What about a baby G? Yep, he's still flying. This is so weird. Let's go find G in the nether. Okay, he's still flying in the nether. That's interesting. Let's ride a G. Yeah, this is definitely not normal. Let's spawn an army of Gs. Oh, and there's even some Gs with pigmen on top. Follow me, G army. At least the babies don't really look like they're flying anymore. Alright, I'm going to give G a 7 out of 10. He wasn't supposed to fly. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating. And we got Ray. For this one, I think I'm going to make Man Ray. Let's make his legs bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color his head blue. Now let's color his body red. Next, let's give him some eyes, and a mouth, and now we'll add the things on top of his head, and we'll add his neck, and let's extend it out on the sides like this, and I'm actually going to change his eyes. Now let's give him his underwear, and we'll add the lock on his belt, now let's give him some gloves, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. I don't think his head is supposed to move like that though. Let's spawn a baby man ray. Why do I keep thinking there's baby skeletons? Let's spawn more man rays, and let's see if they can defeat Bowser. Bowser. Yeah, they're all shooting each other. At least Bowser is taking some damage. I think it's still possible for them to win. And they actually did it. Okay, they're still fighting each other. Alright, I give Man Ray a 9 out of 10. I think he turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got long. For this one, I'm going to make Ferb because he has a long head. Let's make his arms smaller, and we'll extend his head out a ton. Now let's color his head in, and we'll give him purple pants, and let's color his shirt as well. Now let's add his nose, and we'll give him some eyes. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll give him some green hair. Now let's draw his shirt, and we'll add his belt. Now finally, we'll give him some shoes, and we're done. Let's see Ferb in game. Oh, he has a flag. Okay, he doesn't look that bad, but I don't remember Ferb being hostile. Why is he aiming a bow at me? Let's spawn an army of Ferbs. Okay guys, chill, stop aiming at me. Now let's see if the Ferb army can beat Bowser. If the Man Rays could do it, then the Ferb army should have no problem. Okay, Bowser is already kinda low. I'm sorry, Bowser. Yeah, they did way better than the Man Rays. Now let's see if I can beat the Ferb army. I actually might be able to, they can't hit me. Oh, one of them actually died. They're actually all killing each other. Okay, I'm dead, they started hitting me. Alright, I'm going to give Ferb a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got pig, that's weird. For this one, I think I'll make Peppa Pig. Let's make her body super flat, and we'll move her head and flatten it. Now let's make her body curve up, and we'll color in her shirt. Now let's color her head, and we'll move her ears. Now let's add her nose, and let's give her some eyes, and we'll draw her mouth underneath. Now let's outline her face, and we'll also outline her shirt. And now let's add her shoes, and we'll give her some arms. Now finally, let's draw her tail, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, this looks really strange. I think it's the fact that she's supposed to be 2D in a 3D game. Also, her head moves really weird, and so do her feet. Okay. 
Let's spawn a baby Peppa. At least it doesn't have a floating head like the pigs, but it still looks cursed. Let's spawn an army of Peppas. I wonder if I can get them to follow me. Okay, this is really weird. I love how her arms just don't move, but the rest of her body does. Get out of here, sheep. Alright, I'm going to give Peppa Pig a 5 out of 10. She does not look good in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translating. And we got smart. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mega Mind. Let's add a lower part on his head. And we'll color his head blue. Now let's color his body black. And we'll give him some eyes and a mouth, and we'll add his nose. Now let's add some blue parts to his shirt, and we'll give him a cape. Now let's add the cape around his neck, and finally we'll add his shoes. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with his arms. I've never seen this happen before, this is so weird. But other than that, I don't think he looks that bad. He kind of reminds me of when I made Squidward. Let's spawn a baby Megamind. Aw, oh, I was hoping his head would be really big. Let's find a Megamind village. And here we have a bunch of Megaminds and Bowser in their natural habitat. Let's see if Megamind can beat Ferb. Oh wait, Bowser is helping him, that's not fair. Alright, now this is a fair fight. Well, I don't know about fair. Megamind has no weapons. But maybe he can beat him with his massive brain. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm going to give Megamind a 7 out of 10. His arms are broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pie. For this one, I'll make Pac-Man, because he's shaped like a pie. Let's remove his body, and we'll move his head down. Now let's make his mouth open, and we'll color his head yellow. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll color his mouth black. Next, let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a big nose. Now let's give him some shoes, and we'll add his arms, and finally let's color his hands. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, this looks interesting. I don't think his arms look that good because they're frozen. And he doesn't really look like Pac-Man because he isn't a circle. But there are no circles in Minecraft, so that's fine. Let's see a supercharged Pac-Man. Oh no, he's going to burn. Alright, this just doesn't fit him at all. Let's spawn an army of Pac-Mans. And let's see if they can defeat this cat. Nope, they're all running away. I guess this cat is the same thing as a ghost. I wonder what Pac-Man looks like when he explodes. Is he supposed to be able to do that? Alright, I'm going to give Pac-Man a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like him. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a salmon. Translate. And we got carp. For this one, I'm going to make Magikarp. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll color him orange. Now let's color in his fins, and we'll color his back fin white. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll color in his mouth. Next, let's add his whiskers, and we'll give him a few fins on the side. And that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, I should probably spawn him in water. Honestly, I'm surprised with how this turned out. He looks really good. I'm not sure why I translated a salmon though. Let's spawn a Magikarp army. Is there a baby salmon? No, there isn't. I wonder if these guys will fight an axolotl. No, but the axolotl will fight them. Let's try to grow him into a Gyarados. Okay, this isn't working. I guess Magikarp is boring in Minecraft as well. I almost forgot the Pokeball test. This doesn't even make sense. How am I throwing snowballs in water? Alright, I'm going to give Magikarp an 8 out of 10. He looks good, but he's boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Hoglin. Translating, and we got Dinosaur. For this one, I think I'll make Rex from Toy Story. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's color him green, and we'll give him a neck. Now let's make his mouth look like it's open, and we'll color his mouth black. Next, let's give him some teeth, and we'll give him some eyes, and some nostrils. Now let's add his tiny arms, and we'll color his belly. Now finally, let's add his tail, and I think that looks fine. Let's see him in game. Okay, why is he shaking? Oh yeah, I have to go to the nether. That's better. Okay, his head is definitely not connected to his neck, but honestly, he could have looked worse. Let's see a baby Rex. Okay, the head problem is even worse. Let's spawn an army of Rexes, and now let's see if they can beat Bowser. Okay, they aren't fighting him. Never mind, they're fighting him now. Okay, I think I spawned a few too many for Bowser to have a chance. What about Rex army versus figure? Oh my god, they're surrounding him. Okay, the Rex army couldn't beat figure, but it was actually close. Alright, I'm going to give Rex a 6 out of 10. He's a little bit broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. What will we get? And we got bear. For this one, I'm going to make Yogi Bear. Let's color him fully brown, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's extend out his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a mouth. Next, let's add his ears, and we'll give him a green hat. Now let's add his tie, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. Let's see a baby Yogi Bear. 
This could be Boo Boo. Let's spawn an army of Yogi Bears. Now let's see if they can beat Bowser. I've put Bowser against way too many armies. I feel bad. And it looks like the Yogi Bears are gonna win. Yeah, that was too easy for the Yogi Bears. Now let's see if the Yogi Bears can kill Megamind. Oh, Megamind has desert clothes on. I don't think they're gonna be able to catch him. Yeah, Megamind is just too fast. Wait, no, don't go back. That wasn't very smart of Megamind. Alright, I'm going to give Yogi Bear an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate. And we got purple. For this one, I'm going to make the purple rainbow friend. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now let's color him purple, and we'll make his weird looking legs. Now let's give him some toes, and we'll copy that to the other side. Next, let's add his arms, and we'll give him a few fingers. Now let's extend out his head, and we'll make it a little bit round. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, and we'll add some black pupils inside. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Out of all the mobs to break, somehow this one isn't broken. Surprisingly, I think he looks really good. Okay, these vines need to get out of the way. What about a baby purple? Oh yeah, frogs don't have babies. Let's see purple eat this slime. Never mind, he's not hungry. Oh, never mind, he just attacked him. He looks so weird when he's swimming. Let's spawn an army of purples. Wow, purple jumps so high. The noise they make is really interesting. Let's see if purple can take down orange. Okay, I don't think purple knows how to fight. Let's spawn a bunch of slimes. Okay, they're all too big. I love how there's no animation, the slime just travels to their mouth. Alright, I'm going to give purple a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got Crash. For this one, I'm going to make Crash Bandicoot. Let's color him lighter orange, and we'll extend his ears out a bit. Now let's add his teeth, and we'll give him a little nose. Now let's color his neck area lighter orange, and we'll extend this down to his belly. Now let's give him a couple eyes, and we'll add his eyebrows. Next, let's draw his pants, and we'll give him some shoes. And now let's add his gloves, and finally we'll give him some hair. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see him in game. Oh, that's not right. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I honestly can't tell if this looks good or not, actually. Why is he going in the water? Let's see a baby crash. Oh my god, his head is so big. Come on, sit down. I know you want to. Okay, never mind. I guess he wants to kill these chickens. Yo, he's trying to trick shot them. I wonder what he looks like with speed 2. Oh, he's sitting now. Yo, he is so fast with speed 2. Let's spawn a crash bandicoot army. And let's see them all try to kill this chicken. They're so confused. They have no idea how to get up. Let's help them out. Oh my god, they all jumped at the same time. Alright, I give crash bandicoot an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a bee. Translating... And we got I. For this one, I think I'll make eyes from Roblox stores. Let's delete all this, and we'll completely change his shape. Now let's color it dark purple, and we'll make the body circular. Now let's extend it out a bit on the sides, and we'll draw his eyes, and we'll make a bunch of different color pupils. Now let's extend out the sides a bit more, and that doesn't actually look that bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, why is this thing chasing me? I don't know what to say about this one. It looks kind of scary. Let's spawn a baby eyes. Okay, that's not as bad. Let's spawn an army of eyes. It looks kind of like an army of viruses. Let's see if the eyes army can kill me. They're just slowly chasing me. This is so weird. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It looks like an army of futuristic security drones. Oh no, I'm getting hit. Alright, I'm going to give eyes an 8 out of 10. It looks really weird. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. Translate. And we got Link. For this one, I'm going to make Link. Let's color his shirt green, and we'll color his pants white. Now let's color his head, and we'll color his arms. Next, let's give him some hair, and we'll add his eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him a nose. Next, let's add his hat, and we'll give him a belt. Now let's extend his shirt over his legs, and finally we'll add some shoes. Alright, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, he looks alright. I don't really think his face turned out that good, honestly. Let's go find him in the nether. Okay, yeah, this looks really bad. What about Baby Link? Yeah, that's not much better. Let's spawn an army of links. Wait, why are they all running away? Oh, I think they're scared of the zombie piglin. At least they look a bit better with swords. Let's get chased by the link army. Okay, they're all killing each other. Oh my god, there's so much fire over here. Now all the links are burning. Alright, I'm going to give Link a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate, and we got Squirrel. For this one, I think I'm going to make Sandy from Spongebob. Let's color her body white, and we'll make her head smaller. Next, let's extend out her cheeks, and we'll color her head. Now let's give her some eyes, and we'll add her mouth. Next, let's draw her squirrel teeth, and we'll give her a nose. Next, let's add her ears, and we'll add her helmet. Now let's draw the flower on her helmet, and we'll draw the acorn on her shirt. Now let's give her a tail, and finally we'll add her shoes. 
Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in-game. Honestly, that looks pretty good. I'm surprised nothing went wrong. Her helmet is a little small, but honestly, she looks really good. Let's see a baby Sandy. Definitely a better size for a squirrel. Let's spawn an army of Sandys. And let's see if they can beat a zombie villager. I don't think Sandy really wants to fight it. Even though they ran away, the Sandys still won the fight. Let's bring Sandy to her home underwater. Wait, how is she drowning? She has her helmet on. I guess squirrels don't belong underwater. Alright, I'm going to give Sandy a 9 out of 10. She turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translating. And we got egg. For this one, I'm going to make Dr. Eggman. Let's extend out his body, and we'll make his legs a bit smaller. Now let's color his shirt red, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll add the goggles on his forehead. Now let's give him some gloves, and we'll add some extra details to his shirt. Now let's extend his shirt down a bit, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think we're done, let's see him in game. Honestly, he turned out really good. Nothing is broken on him too, what is going on? Dr. Eggman vs. Tails, who will win? Okay, I don't think they fight. Let's see if Dr. Eggman can stop this zombie from eating Sandy. Okay, that was too fast. Now let's see if Dr. Eggman is strong enough to beat the Warden. Okay, Dr. Eggman isn't that strong. Let's spawn an army of Dr. Eggmans. Now let's see if this army can beat the Warden. Okay, they're pushing him in the water. Dang, the Warden is going crazy. Okay, the Warden just forgot how to hit them. Alright, I'm going to give Dr. Eggman a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Alien. For this one, I think I'll make the Alien from Toy Story. Let's shrink his body, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's move his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's color his head green, and we'll give him three eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him some ears, and we'll also add the thing on his head. Now let's draw his belt, and we'll add the logo on his shirt. Next, let's give him some arms, and we'll add his fingers. Now finally, we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good. Let's see it in-game. Okay, surprisingly, this actually worked. His body is a little bit glitchy, but I think he turned out really good. Now let's see if the baby is broken. Okay, we'll just pretend that this doesn't exist. Like, why is his head floating? Let's spawn an army of aliens, and now let's see them chase me. This is kind of scary, they're moving fast. What if I give them speed too? Oh my god, they're way too fast, I'm going to get abducted. This is way too cursed, Mojang, please never add this. To be fair, I don't know why they would. Alright, I'm going to give the alien a 10 out of 10, he was really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got alphabet. For this one, I think I'm going to make F from alphabet lore. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll drag this up. Now let's color him black, and we'll add another line facing horizontal. Now let's copy this down, and we'll give him some teeth. Now let's add his eye, and we'll rotate his other eye. Now I think I'm going to make his eyelids a bit bigger, and I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, that actually looks kind of good. He doesn't even look too bad when he's moving. Even his jumping doesn't look that bad. Let's see if F can swim. Oh, he's swimming fast. Let's watch F eat the slime. Okay, he trickshotted him. Now let's spawn an army of Fs. They all keep jumping. Now let's spawn more slimes and watch them eat them. Why does it always spawn big slimes? Okay, it doesn't look that cool when they eat them. Alright, I'm going to give F a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a ghast. Translating. And we got door. For this one, I'll make ambush from Roblox doors. Let's remove all the legs. And we'll shrink down his body. Now let's shape his body a little bit. And we'll color him white. And we'll give him some eyes. And a mouth. Next, we'll add his teeth. And we'll add some green spots to his face. Now we'll color the bottom of him darker green. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my god, this is scary. He keeps coming towards me. Let's go find ambush in the nether. Okay, I don't see any ambushes flying around in here. Honestly, I think this is better than the actual ghast. Let's spawn a baby ambush. Okay, why did I think there's a baby ghast? Let's spawn an army of ambushes. Okay, this is way too many. If I saw this, I would never go to the nether again. Let's try to fight the ambush army. Oh, I actually killed one. Okay, I'm literally just stuck in this cave. Alright, I'm going to give ambush a 9 out of 10. He was very scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. 
what will we get? And we got adventure. For this one, I'm going to make Finn from Adventure Time. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color it white. Now let's color his shirt blue, and we'll color his legs darker blue. Next, let's draw his face, and we'll give him some eyes, and a little smile. Now let's add his ears, and we'll color his arms. Next, let's color his legs as well, and we'll give him some shoes. Now let's add his backpack, and we'll color it green. And finally, let's add some straps. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Oh, we spawned in an amethyst cave. Honestly, this actually looks pretty good. Somehow, I'm pretty sure there still hasn't been a broken mob this entire video. Let's spawn an army of fins. Okay, I can't take him seriously with the bow, he just doesn't look hostile. Let's see if the fin army can beat Dr. Eggman. Of course, they're all shooting each other. Okay, Dr. Eggman is taking some damage, but will it be enough to kill him? Dang, the Finn army actually won. I guess I underestimated their bow skills. Alright, I'm going to give Finn a 9 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate. And we got mushroom. For this one, I think I'll make a Goomba. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll give him a few legs. Now let's color his legs brown, and we'll color his stem a lighter brown. Now let's add his head, and we'll make it curve up a little bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we will add his angry eyebrows. Next, let's give him a mouth, and finally we'll add a few teeth. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Wait, where did he go? Oh yeah, silverfish like to go into the stone. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He doesn't really have a walking animation, but I guess that's okay. I think he really likes this wall. I'm trying to stomp on him, but it's not working. This must be a special Goomba. Let's spawn an army of Goombas. Mario better watch out, this is a lot of Goombas. Let's see if they can defeat Dr. Eggman, cause that's the closest thing we have to Mario. It's not looking like they have any chance of winning. Although this one is really good at running. Wait, how did he kill him from there? Yeah, Goomba is probably not the strongest Minecraft mob. Alright, I'm going to give Goomba an 8 out of 10, he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Red. For this one, I'm going to make the Red red rainbow friend. Let's remove his hair, and we'll shrink his body. Now let's make him a bit shorter, and we'll give him some arms. Next, let's color his body white, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's give him a head, and we'll color his head red. Next, let's make his head a bit round, and we'll give him some eyes, and let's color his pupils black. Now let's draw the shirt under his lab coat, and we'll add his tie. Now let's give him some hands, and finally we'll give him a couple shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with his legs. But other than that, I think he looks good. Oh god, why does it take so long for his legs to turn? Let's go to the nether. And here we have a red walking on some lava. Okay, seriously, what happened to his legs? It's like they're backwards or something. I mean, now they're on the right side, but somehow that made it worse. Okay, that's close enough. We're just gonna ignore that. Let's ride a red. Wait, this is the wrong fishing rod. Okay, this looks weird like it usually does. Let's see a baby red. Okay, baby red just has no legs. Let's spawn an army of reds. Okay, red army, follow me. Isn't this weird? Because red is supposed to tell me what to do. Alright, I'm going to give red an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a vindicator. What will we get? And we got fighter. For this one, I think I'll make Goku. Let's color his body orange, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add his nose, and we'll extend his hair out on the sides, and we'll do the same on the top. Now let's color the neck of his shirt blue, and we'll also add his belt. Now let's color his arms, and we'll draw the symbol on his chest. Next, let's add a bit more details to his arms, and finally we'll give him some shoes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Okay, that is definitely not what we want. Like seriously, how does this even happen? Okay, that looks a lot better. Well, I don't know about better, his face looks kinda weird. Let's see if Goku can catch Sandy. Dang, Sandy is really fast. Oh, he finally got her, I was about to give up. Let's spawn an army of Gokus, and now let's see if they can beat Dr. Eggman. Okay, Goku is way too powerful, Dr. Eggman had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give Goku a 7 out of 10, he could've looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got fire. For this one, I'm going to make Charizard. Let's color his body fully orange, and we'll turn these spikes into his ears. Now let's color his head orange, and we'll make his mouth light red. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll also add his eyes. Next, let's color the sides of his wings orange, and we'll make these gray parts orange as well, and we'll make the black parts dark aqua. Now let's color his belly lighter orange, and we'll add his tail. Now let's color the bottom of his tail, and finally we'll add some fire to the end of his tail. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Although I have no idea why he has two tails. He didn't even have a tail in Blockbench. Also, his neck looks different as well, that's so weird. 
weird. Let's see if we can catch Charizard in a Pokeball. Alright, it's not working. Charizard is probably more of a Master Ball type anyway. Okay, Charizard is perching. Just imagine he's breathing fire right now. Alright, I'm going to give Charizard an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating. And we got Seek. For this one, I think we have to make Seek from Roblox stores. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's also shrink his legs, and we'll make his arms smaller as well. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's draw his eye, and we'll expand his face out on the side a little bit. Finally, let's add some red spots on his body, and we'll put a few on his legs. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. We'll just act like I didn't forget to texture the bottom of the head. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. I think his proportions are kind of off though. Yo, why is he attacking the sheep? What did the sheep do? Let's find Seek in the deep dark. And of course, we'll watch him emerge from the ground. Oh, he's kind of stuck in a block. This would be way more terrifying than the warden. Imagine you're walking around in a cave and then you see this thing chasing you. Let's spawn an army of Seeks. And let's see if they can defeat the Wither. Oh no, they're already surrounding the Wither. Oh my god, the Wither is getting launched. Yeah, the Wither literally has no chance. I don't think the Wither even killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Seek an 8 out of 10. He could have been better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Creeper. What will we get? And we got Penguin. For this one, I think I'm going to make one of the Penguins of Madagascar. Let's remove his head and back legs. Now let's make his body bigger, and we'll color his body white. Now let's color his feet orange, and we'll extend his head out a bit. Now let's color his sides and back black, and we'll add a bit more detail on his head. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll extend out his beak. Now let's color his beak orange, and we'll extend it out a bit more. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll color his arms black. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he actually looks kinda good. For some reason his face seems really accurate. Although I don't think penguins live in the jungle, we should bring him somewhere colder. This is much better. Let's spawn an army of penguins. And of course we have to see a supercharged penguin. How are you on fire with all the snow around you? Honestly, you can barely even see the charge because of the snow. Let's blow up a penguin. Rip the bunny. I wonder if the penguins can beat a cat. Okay, the cat isn't even chasing them. This is stupid. Alright, I'm going to give the penguin an 8 out of 10. I think he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got Sasquatch. For this one, I think I'll make Chewbacca. Let's color him fully brown, and we'll extend out the bottom of his face a bit. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a nose, and we'll add his mouth underneath. Now let's add the strap across his chest, and we'll do the same on his back. Next, let's make some parts of his body darker brown, and we'll add some detail to his head. Alright, I think that looks good let's see it in game all right something about him looks kind of weird i think his mouth looks more like a dog than anything although i'm pretty sure chewbacca is part dog or something so i don't know let's spawn a baby chewbacca okay i don't really like his big head let's spawn an army of chewbaccas and let's see if they can beat seek okay i don't think the chewbaccas are fighting seek what about chewbacca army versus dr eggman dr eggman is getting destroyed dr eggman was no match for the chewbacca army all right i'm going to give chewbacca an 8 out of 10 he doesn't look too bad it's time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. Translating. And we got orange. For this one, I think I'm going to make the orange rainbow friend. Let's change the shape of his tail. And we'll also make his body smaller. Now let's color him orange. And we'll rotate his body. Next, let's make his legs smaller. And we'll finish his tail. Now let's give him some arms. And let's make his mouth look like it's open. Next, we'll color the inside of his mouth. And we'll give him some teeth. Okay, these are way too big. That looks better. Now let's give him some eyes. And finally, we'll give him some fingers and toes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys see the problem here. That should be good enough. Okay, his head definitely does not work though. I guess wolves bend their head a lot. Let's spawn a baby orange. It's the same thing with a bigger head. Let's try to tame orange. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong here. Now he just has a big red square and his tail is broken. Let's spawn an army of oranges. And let's see them take down a skeleton. Okay, the skeleton got eaten in like two seconds. Come on, orange. Take down the warden. Oh no, that was fast. Alright, I'm going to give Orange a 6 out of 10. He was kinda cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Cookie. For this one, I'm going to make Cookie Monster. Let's make his arms bigger, and we'll also make his legs bigger. Now let's extend out his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's make his head a bit bigger, and we'll make his mouth look like it's open. Now let's color the back of his mouth black, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him some feet, and finally we'll give him some fingers. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. He needs to put down the bow though. I wonder if I can give him a cookie to make him stop. 
It doesn't look like he's interested in my cookies. What if we give him a Sandy instead? Okay, Cookie Monster's aim is really bad. Come on, Cookie Monster, you can do it. Okay, that was a nice shot. Dang, never mind. Cookie Monster, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Let's spawn an army of Cookie Monsters. Now let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, nobody wants to fight Seek. Let's see if they can beat Orange. Okay, Orange didn't even have a chance. At least he killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Cookie Monster a 7 out of 10. He was kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate, and we got Tree. For this one, I think I'll make Groot. Let's make his body a bit bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms and his legs. Now let's color his body brown, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's color his head as well, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add the branches to his head. Now let's add the branches on his shoulder, and we'll give his body some green details. And I think we're done, let's see this in game. Okay, this is one of the worst mobs I've made yet. He just literally has no detail. Okay, he's stealing the grass block. Wait, where is he going? Let's go find Groot in the end. Okay, there's way too many Groots in here. I wonder what he looks like when he's angry. Okay, it's just the usual floating head. Let's get chased by an army of Groots. I gotta heal the full health first. Okay, how are they already hitting me? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Groot army, relax, I'm sorry. Charizard, please help me. Okay, they caught me. Alright, I'm going to give Groot a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good in Minecraft. The first mob is a warden. Translate, and we got 10 demons. For this one, I think I'm gonna make a 10-headed demon. Let's start by deleting some of the stuff we don't need, and then I'm gonna make this part of his body a little smaller. Now let's add another part on the bottom, and we'll start to give him some new feet, and let's copy it over to the other side. Now we'll start to give him some new arms, and we'll give him some hands on the bottom as well. And now it's time to start working on his heads. Let's start by making this cube a lot smaller, and we'll give him an ear like this. Now let's start to shape the bottom of his head a little more demon-like, and finally we'll give him some eyes. And now we need to color this guy in, because obviously we aren't going to use these colors. So let's color his whole body light red, and we'll color his eyes a lightish yellow. Now let's give him some brown eyebrows right here, and we'll give him some scary teeth like this. And now let's just add a bit of texture all around his head, and let's copy this head all around his body until he has 10 heads. Okay, so we only have 6 heads, but it's all we can fit, so it's going to be a 6-headed demon instead. Alright, now let's add a cloth type thing so he has some pants, and we'll just start adding some texture all around his body. Now let's add a belt on top of his clothes, and finally we'll add a bit more texture. And I think this guy is looking really good. Let's see him in game. This is how the six-headed demon looks in game. This guy actually looks really good. I also added a fire trail when he walks, as you can see, and that makes him look especially cool. The six-headed demon is really powerful, and he gives you potion effects before he even attacks you. Then when you get attacked by him, it sets you on fire and summons a lightning bolt as well. So basically killing this guy is going to be really difficult, just like the actual war. The six-headed demon also comes in two colors, as there is a soul fire demon as well. Although I think the red one looks a lot better. If you right-click the six-headed demon, he gets really angry as you can see, but I'm pretty sure that's just his reaction to you not subscribing. Overall, I think the six-headed demon looks really good, and he's probably one of my favorite mobs of all time. So because of that, I'm obviously gonna give him a 10 out of 10, he's just too good. Next, we'll translate a villager. What will we get? And we got one day. One day that's coming up is Halloween, so I think I'm gonna make a reaper with a pumpkin. Head. Let's delete some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll make his legs a little bit smaller. Now let's move his body up, and we'll make his legs longer as well. Next, let's give him a neck, and we'll start giving him some new legs. Now let's give him a shoe like this, and that's looking pretty good, so let's work on his arms. Let's bend his arms out like this, and we'll give him a little hand on the end of it, and now let's copy this over to the other side. Next, let's work on his pumpkin head. We'll shape the head into a pumpkin like this, and next we'll start to add a carved out face on his head as well. Now let's add a little stem on top, and this is looking pretty good, so let's give him some color. First, we'll color his shirt black, and we'll do the same for his pants. Now, let's color the pumpkin completely orange, and we'll color the stem green as well. Now, I'm gonna overlay his shirt a bit to make it look kind of torn up, and we'll do this on the arms as well. Now, finally, let's add his reaper scythe, and this guy's looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the Halloween guy looks in game. That's what I ended up naming him, Halloween guy. But yeah, he actually looks pretty good. I will say the shaders make his clothes look a little bit boring, though. There was way more color in block bench. But to make up for it, I made him make witch noises, which makes him seem pretty scary. The witch noises aren't the only scary thing, though, because when the Halloween guy sees you, he instantly turns it to night and strikes lightning all around him. His attack is also pretty scary, as he literally just teleports around you until you're dead. The good news is, he's not nearly as powerful as the six-headed demon, though. He gets two shot by him. If you kill the Halloween guy, he drops his scythe, which is definitely not just an iron hoe. It's the scythe that he's holding for sure. And overall, I think the Halloween guy definitely looks good, and his abilities fit him really well, so because 
because of that, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. The next mob is a pillager. Let's translate this. And we got It Was Terrible. The first time I made one of these videos, I made Sonic and it looked really bad, so I think I'm gonna make Sonic. So first, let's make his body a little bit smaller. And next, we'll completely change the shape of his legs like this. Now let's give him his shoes as well. And we'll rotate this leg a little bit more and copy it over to the other side. Now let's make his arms a lot more skinny like this. And we'll rotate this part up a bit and also give him a hand. And I think this body looks good, so now let's move on to his head. First, we'll add a little mouth area like this. And we'll add the rest of his head on the back like this. Now let's add an area for his eyes on the top. And we'll also give him a nose. Alright, now let's give him some ears on the top. And we'll just add his hair on the back as well. And we'll copy this hair over to the other side. Okay, now I think it's time to give this guy some color. So let's color most of his body this blue color. And then we'll color some of his body parts a different color as well. Now let's give him some white hands. And we'll also color part of his shoes. And let's make the other part of his shoes red like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes. And we'll just add a little bit of texture all around his body. Alright, I think this guy looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sonic looks in game. He looks way better than the original Sonic I made. Sonic is also really fast, obviously, and I gave him a Sonic-like animation when he runs. It's basically just a Naruto run, but we'll just ignore that. When Sonic attacks an enemy, I also gave him an animation of him rolling up into a ball, which looks especially cool if he's hunting for coins. Ignore what happens when you put a bunch of coins in a row, though. This is weird. If you kill Sonic, he drops Sonic boots, which when worn, gives you speed 4, basically turning you into Sonic. This is also what happens if you hold out one of these rings, so Sonic adds a lot of speed to the game. Sonic is also able to beat the Halloween guy in a fight, which is not really what I expected. I thought he would do worse. The six-headed demon is still undefeated, though, and probably will be for a while. Overall, I think Sonic looks pretty good in game, so I decided to give him a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a piglin. What will we get? And we got feel tired. If you feel tired, it's probably your bedtime, so I'm going to make a clock man. Let's start by removing his ears, and I'm gonna split his legs into two like this, and I'll also bend them as well. Now let's give him a shoe, and we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll also bend his arm a little bit, and we'll copy this to the other side too. Now this body is looking good, so let's work on his head. First, we'll give him a neck to connect it to his body, and we'll make this cube a lot bigger, because this is where the clocks will be. Now let's also add his hat on top like this, and I think that's looking good, so it's time to color him in. I'm going to color his body dark gray like this, and we'll make it slightly darker for his pants. Now let's color his shoes and his hat as well, and finally we'll color the clock this color for now. And now it's time to start adding the clock. And let's add the hands on it like this. Now we'll add a few more details to his suit, and we'll give him a trench coat like this. And let's add a belt over top as well. Now finally let's give this guy some texture. And I think that turned out good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the clock man in game. It turns out he is a large clock man, so I made sure I changed that on his boss bar. But he does look pretty cool in game, although his head is kind of big compared to the rest of his body. When the clock man gets in a fight, he changes the time of day every time he hits an enemy. This ends up making it really weird when he fights the Halloween guy. The clock man also drops a suspicious clock when he dies, and if you right click the suspicious clock, you can instantly change the time of day as well. This definitely is way too OP of an item though, as it basically makes beds useless. But it's still cool because it mimics his attack. But yeah, that's all there really is to the clock man. There aren't many features that come with him. I still think he looks pretty good though, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got bath. Bathroom. For this one, I think I'm going to combine a toilet with a zombie. So first, let's change his body into the base of a toilet, and we'll start to build the shape of a toilet like this. Now let's add the toilet seat right here, and we'll also add the back of the toilet. Okay, now that the toilet is done, we need to connect his body parts to the toilet. So first, I'm just going to give him a bigger leg like this, and we'll copy this over to the other side. And now let's make his arm a little bit different, and we'll rotate it to the side so it doesn't clip through his leg. Now let's copy that to the other side as well, and it's time to work on his head. I want to make his head look like it's made out of water. So let's make the shape of a mouth like this, and we'll give him some water drops on the side, and also some eyes over top. Alright, now it's time to add some color, so let's color the toilet completely white, and we'll color his head blue to match the toilet water. Now let's color in his mouth and his eyes, and we'll also recolor all the zombie parts because they look a little messed up. Now let's change the color of his hands to match his head, and finally let's give him some texture. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see how it looks in game. This is how the toilet zombie looks in game, I can't tell if it looks good or bad. I think it's just the default zombie zombie clothes, they don't really match the hands and the head. The toilet zombie is also somehow really fast, which makes no sense, because I'm pretty sure I made him slow. And if you kill the toilet zombie, instead of dropping rotten flesh, he drops wet flesh. Which even though it seems cursed, it only gives you water breathing, so it's actually kind of useful. There is also a king zombie, which is way more powerful than the default ones. The king toilet also shoots water balls at you, which may seem like it isn't dangerous, but that is definitely not the case. If you kill a king toilet zombie, he drops a king's crown.
brown, which is definitely not an item from one of my previous videos. It's also not supposed to be red. I don't know what happened. But overall, I think the toilet zombies are a pretty cool addition to the game. So because of that, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a skeleton. What will we get? And we got in Belgium. I'm pretty sure they invented waffles in Belgium. So let's make a waffle, man. Let's start by removing all this stuff. And we'll move his arms away because we don't need these right now. Now let's shape the middle part into a waffle like this. And we'll just add a little bit of detail to make sure this looks like a waffle. Now let's make the top part of his arm a little bit bigger like this. And we'll add a bottom part to his arm as well. And let's copy this arm over to the other side. And now it's time to add some color to our waffle man. First, I'm going to color both of his arms a really dark gray. And we'll also color his body waffle color. I'm going to color the lines on the waffle a little bit darker so they stand out. And now that looks pretty good. So let's just rotate his arms. And I want to make him holding a fork and a knife. So first, let's add a fork in his left hand. And we'll color the fork fully light gray like this. Now let's add a knife in his right hand. Now let's add some texture all around him. And I think this guy looks too plain. So I'm going to give him some eyes like this. And I'll also give him a mouth down here. And finally, let's add some eyebrows on the top. And I think this guy is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the Waffle Man in game. He definitely looks pretty interesting. I especially like how it looks like he's swimming in the air when he flies around. It's pretty funny. The Waffle Man isn't really a hostile mob, but you are able to tame him using cocoa beans, which I picked as an item because of Belgian chocolate because our translate was in Belgium. If your Waffle Man dies, he drops a waffle, which when you eat it gives you strength and regeneration for 15 seconds. That isn't the only feature the Waffle Man has though, as you're able to ride the Waffle Man as well. He is quite slow though, so an elytra is probably better. Overall, I think the Waffle Man didn't turn out that bad, but he's definitely not my favorite, so because of that, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got glass of milk. Okay, this one is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna make a glass of milk. So first, let's remove all the stuff we don't need, and let's rotate the body upwards so we can make it into a glass of milk. First, I'm gonna add an outline all around it that is going to be the glass, and we'll just put some parts at the top like this. And next, I wanna make this glass of milk alive, so I'm gonna give him some feet on the bottom, and I'm gonna start working on some arms for him as well. Let's also bend the arm a little bit like this, and we'll copy it over to the other side. And finally, let's just add a straw on the top, and now it's time for us to add some color. First, I'm gonna color the milk in white like this, and I'll make the straw a little bit darker so it doesn't blend in. Now it's time to color the glass, so let's color it a dark bluish color, and we'll also color his arms and legs a really dark gray. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to give our glass of milk a face. So let's add some eyes like this, and I'm also gonna give him a little mouth underneath. Now let's add a little bit of texture to this guy, and I'm also gonna change the straw to red so it stands out a lot more. Okay, I think that is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is our glass of milk in game. He kind of looks like something you would see in a milk commercial. I don't think you want to drink this guy though. I doubt he tastes good. I will say his running animation looks pretty funny though. It's exactly how I would imagine a glass of milk running. The glass of milk also randomly does a backflip because that totally makes sense. Just ignore the fact that he doesn't spill at all. If you throw splash potions at the glass of milk, it does nothing because milk clears effects. And you can also clear effects by right clicking him if you tame him with sugar. This means you'll never have to drink milk again if you have this guy, which is exactly what he wanted. I'm going to give the glass of milk an 8 out of 10. He's not the best mob, but he's definitely pretty cool. Next, I'll translate a pig. What will we get? And we just got light. For this one, I think I'm gonna make some kind of light golem. First, I'm gonna rearrange his body parts like this, and let's take his body and make it a lot bigger because it's a golem. Now, let's change the shape of his head a bit to match his body, and we'll give him some arms like this. I'm also gonna give him a massive fist on the bottom as well, and we'll just copy this over to the other side. Now, let's add some horns on the top, which I'm going to make into lanterns later, and this is a pretty good body, so now let's add some color. First, let's color his whole body a stonish color, and I'm going to draw a yellow area, which is going to be replaced with a glowstone texture later. So let's put another yellow area on his hands, and I'm also going to give him some eyes, which will be yellow as well. Now let's add a few more darker parts like this, and now that I've added texture onto him, he looks way better. But we still need to make the top things into lanterns like this, and we'll also give him some torches on his shoulders as well. Now let's change his eyes a little bit, because they look kind of weird, and I don't think that looks too bad. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the light golem in game. I have no idea why he is orange. Okay, I actually have to turn off the shaders for this one. It's because I made it so the light golem emits light, which as you can see, makes him pretty useful to have with you in the caves. If you want to spawn the light golem, he is crafted using four glowstone blocks and a pumpkin. I have no idea why you get to keep two of them though, that's weird. And other than providing a light source, the light golem also fights hostile mobs. He also strikes lightning every time he attacks them because he is the light golem. And this actually makes him pretty OP. Not good enough to kill the six-headed demon though, nothing will ever be. Overall, I think the light golem looks kind of strange. The glowstone is definitely kind of weird looking. So because of this, I decided to give the light golem a 6 out of 10. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate, and we got education. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna make the teacher golem. First, I'm going to make his 
body a little bit different of a shape. And let's add some shoes to the bottom of his legs like this. Next, I'm gonna give his arms an extra limb so that we can bend them. And now it's time to add some color. So first, we'll color his shirt a lightish blue. And we'll color his pants dark gray and his shoes will be brown. Okay, now let's add a vest all around his body like this. And I'm gonna color the vest brown just like we did for his shoes. Okay, now that's looking good. So it's time to add some details to his shirt and we'll give him some hands. And I wanna put one of those pointer things in his right hand. So let's do that. And in his left hand, I'm going to give him a book. So let's mirror this and move it a bit. And now we'll just give him some glasses like this. Now, finally, I think it's time to give him some texture. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is the teacher golem in game. I will say he looks a lot better than I thought he would. Overall, he just looks kind of weird with the clothes though. It kind of looks like he's from a monster school video. Similar to spawning the light golem, you need four bookshelves to spawn the teacher golem instead. The teacher golem can be especially useful to craft if you need to study because every time you right click him, he tells you a random fact from Google, which was originally named back rub according to the teacher golem. The teacher golem is also able to fight though, as he gives you a random potion effect every time he attacks you. But will that be enough to beat the six-headed demon? It actually is, but that's only because he's somehow immune to his attacks. I guess he's just fighting smarter than the six-headed demon. Overall, I think the teacher golem doesn't look the best, but his features are still pretty cool, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a creeper. What will we get? And we got don't go. That's basically telling us to stop, so for this one, I'm going to make a living stop sign. First, let's remove his back legs because we don't need them. And we'll shape his body into more of a stop sign body like this. Now let's move his head up a bit and we'll shape his head into a stop sign. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now it's time to work on his legs. And let's just add a piece that connects to the body like this. And we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm going to give him some arms. And we'll make these arms bend out towards the front like this. And let's copy this to the other side as well. And I think that's pretty good. So now it's time to add some color. First, let's color the stop sign completely red. And then we'll color his body a light gray, kind of like a stop sign bowl. Next, I'm going to put a white outline around the stop sign like this. And we'll add some text that says stop over the top of the sign. Now let's color his hands and feet a bit darker gray. And we'll start to add some texture like this. And I think that's looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the stop sign man in game. For what it is, he looks pretty good. The stop sign man's running animation also looks pretty funny, just like the glass of milk. Since the stop sign man was made from a creeper, he has a random chance of exploding every time he attacks something. The stop sign man also temporarily freezes you when he attacks you because he wants you to stop. If you kill a stop sign man, he drops a stop sign, which is a weapon that pretty much does the exact same things that his attack does, so you can become the stop sign man. It's also a surprisingly good weapon to use against the stop sign man as well. Overall, I think the stop sign man is pretty funny, but he's definitely not one of the best mobs, so I decided to give the stop sign man a 7 out of 10. The next mob is a strider. Translate, and we got sponge. For this one, I'm going to make spongebob. First, I'll remove the hair. Now, let's make his legs shorter, and we'll make his body sponge-shaped. Now, let's color his body yellow. Now, we'll add his pants, and let's draw his white shirt. Now, let's give him a red tie. Now, let's give him some arms. Now, let's give him some eyes. That looks good. Now, we'll draw a smile. Now, we'll give him two big teeth, and now we'll give him a big yellow nose, and we'll just add some black shoes, and now we'll just fill in his socks, and I'll give him his sponge holes. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see him in-game. Hold on. I don't think that's right. Okay, that looks a lot better. He even has a baby SpongeBob on top. Look at all these SpongeBob's chilling in the lava. Kind of weird if you think of it. Let's ride a SpongeBob. Oh my god, this looks so weird. The other ones are following me too. Let's spawn a bunch of SpongeBob's. Wait, this one has a pig man on it. What? All the SpongeBob's are following me now. I have an army. Look at how weird it looks when he walks in the lava. All right, I give SpongeBob a 9 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Ravager. Translating, and we got buff green. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make the Hulk. Let's remove his ears and nose, and now we'll color him fully green. Now let's draw his hair, and we'll give him a smile. Now let's draw his eyes, and we'll give him some green pupils. Now let's give him some angry eyebrows, and that looks good. Now we have to add his shorts. This is actually taking a long time. Now let's make his legs a bit smaller, and we'll make the bottom of his shorts look ripped. Okay, that looks good. Let's see it in game. All right, why do I keep messing this up? There we go. Honestly, this looks better than the actual Hulk. Let's find a village and start a raid. And the raid is starting. Let's find the Incredible Hulk. I didn't know the Hulk was a villain. I don't think he even knows how to get up the mountain, so I think the village is safe. Hulk versus Iron Golem. Who wins? What is going on with his head? Wait, Iron Golem actually won. What? Here you go, buddy. You deserve it. Just kidding. I'm spawning more Hulks. Wait, this guy is going for the villager. Chill. Dang, the Iron Golem actually almost won that. I give Hulk an 8 out of 10. I think he turned out good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a parrot. Translate. And we got Fruit Bird. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make Toucan Sam. Let's color him fully blue, and we'll extend his beak out a lot. Now, let's color his beak in yellow. I'm actually going to change the color. I think he's too bright. Now, let's add all the colors to his beak, and we'll draw him some eyes. Now, we'll color the front of his belly white, and I'll make his three 
tail feathers, and we'll color this one purple, this one red, and this one yellow. Now let's finally make his feet orange, and I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. He actually turned out good. Hey Toucan Sam, what is so good about Fruit Loops? Alright, how do we tame one of these guys? I think I have to give him a cookie. Oh, that is not good. I apologize to the original Toucan Sam. He's doing the Fruit Loops dance. Uh, Toucan Sam, where did you go? Alright, let's spawn an army of Toucan Sams. Okay, this is not a noise I wanted to hear. I'm sorry, it has to be done. Wait, I accidentally killed the one I tamed. Oh well, I'll just get a new one. Alright, I give Toucan Sam a 10 out of 10. I think he's really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Wither Skeleton. What will we get? And we got Puppet. For this one, I'm going to make Kermit the Frog. We'll start by coloring him green. Next, I'll change the shape of his head a bit. Now, I'll make it look like his mouth is open. Okay, we probably need to lower this a bit. Now, let's give him his eyes, and we'll draw the pupils. Next, I will color in his mouth, and let's make the outside a darker red. Now, we'll put a ring around his neck, and we'll extend the little things out a bit. Okay, that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this guy actually looks pretty good. I don't know what happened to his eye, though, but other than that, he looks pretty solid. I wonder what it looks like getting chased by one of these. Oh god, there's nowhere to run. I'm actually gonna die. Let's go to the nether fortress, and here is some kermits in their natural habitat. Now, let's spawn a bunch more kermits, and now we'll see what it's like being chased by these guys. Wait, why is the gas getting involved? Oh god, this is a dead end. Why is this so scary? Kermit is not supposed to be scary. Oh god, we're in a blaze spawner. Wait, Kermit, stop. Oh no, I'm being hit. Why did I choose to go this way? Alright, I give Kermit a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. Translate. And we just got yellow. For this one, I'm going to make Homer Simpson. First, I'll remove the hat and nose. Next, I'll change the shape of his head. Now, I'll make the head yellow. And we'll color in his mouth. Next, I'll give him his nose. And we'll give him some eyes. Now, I'll make his mouth curve a little bit. And we'll move his shirt up a bit. Next, I'll color his pants in blue. And I'll give him his white shirt, and we'll color his arms in yellow. Now I'll fix the collar of his shirt, and I'll give him some black shoes. Okay, that turned out good. Let's see him in game. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I lied. He looks very strange. I also put both of his shoes on the same foot by accident. I don't have any donuts, but will he eat cake? Nope, I don't think it's working. Let's spawn a Homer army. That's pretty much all we can do. Homer is kind of boring. Homer army versus Iron Golem. What will happen? Oh god, he's destroying them. Come on, Homer. Fight back. No, don't look at me. You're not fighting me. This is so sad. Rip Homers. Finally, one of them poisoned him. Alright, let's bring the Hulk in for help. Not even the Hulk can stop him. I give Homer a 6 out of 10. His fighting skills were not up to par. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a cat. What will we get? And we got Rocket. For this one, I'm going to make Meowth because he is Team Rocket's cat. First, we'll color him in dark white, and we'll make the bottom of his feet brown, and we'll do the same for the end of his tail. Next, we'll make his ears a different shape. I think those look pretty good. Next, we'll add the hairs that stick out from his face, and we'll put the thing on the top middle of his head as well, and we'll give him a couple of eyes, and a pink mouth. Okay, I think we need to change a few things. That looks better. Let's just add some teeth, and we'll make his pupils a bit thinner. Okay, that looks good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty decent, and we'll spawn a baby. That looks more like Meowth. Let's tame a Meowth. Meowth dance? As you know, we have to do the Pokeball test. It's still not working. Alright, Meowth versus a Creeper. Who wins? Dang, the Creeper's not even gonna try. Time to spawn a Meowth army, and let's tame them all. Why is this one so hard to get? That somehow gave us an advancement. Now we have a teleporting cat army. Fight the Creeper, guys. Alright, I give Meowth a 7 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a horse. Translating. And we got speed. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make Knuckles. Let's color him fully red. Now let's make his neck a bit smaller. Let's get rid of these ears, and we'll color his face in. Now I'll give him a little black nose, and I'll draw his blue eyes. Now I will put his smile on the front of his mouth, and I'll give him a little bit of hair. Okay, this kind of looks like a poodle. Now I'll draw his white collar, and I'll give him his white knuckles. Next, I'll give him a couple shoes, and we'll color this part green. Now finally, we just need to color in his tail. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Alright, I figured something weird like this would happen. Floating knuckles, I guess? At least the babies have legs. They look so weird because of the different horse types. Alright, it's time to tame a flying knuckles. And now we have our own knuckles. Yo, Oh, this guy is kind of fast too. Wait, can I make them all chase me with the golden apples? Nah, none of them can keep up. I wonder how he looks with horse armor. That somehow made him even worse. At least he kind of has legs now. Alright, I give Knuckles a 1 out of 10. So many things went wrong here. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vex. What will we get? And we got Green Dinosaur. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoshi. Let's separate his legs a little bit, and we'll color him fully green. Now we'll extend his nose piece out, and we'll give him a couple nostrils. Now let's draw in some eyes, and we'll make the side of his face white. Now let's add his mouth underneath, and we'll make the front of his body white. Now let's give him some orange shoes, and we'll just give him his dinosaur tail, and we'll just color
color the bottom of it white. Now we can just add his red shell, and we'll add the white outlines on the side. Now finally, we can add the red spikes on his back. Okay, that doesn't really look like Yoshi. Let's see it in game. Yo, that actually looks kind of cool. I have no idea where his other leg went, though. Why does everyone's legs keep disappearing? One-legged Yoshi is better than no-legged Yoshi. Actually, it really isn't, because he can fly. Let's spawn a bunch of Yoshis. I really thought this would be scary, but it looks kind of cool. Look how many of them are trying to get me. Yoshis versus Iron Golem. The Golem isn't so scary now. Never mind, he was able to reach one of them. Are the Yoshis even gonna fight back? What's up with all these mobs? Alright, I give Yoshi a 6 out of 10 because his leg is broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a husk. Translate, and we got Scary Bird. I think for this one, I'm going to do Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's. First, we'll make her fully yellow. Next, we'll give the legs the animatronic look, and we'll copy that to the arms as well. And we'll also add it to the body. Now let's add some fingers. And we'll also add a thumb. Now we can color her feet in orange, and we'll extend them out a little bit like this. Now we'll add the beak. Let's color it orange, and we'll give her some teeth. This is already looking scary. Now we'll add her tufts of hair, and now let's do the eyes. That looks really weird. And now we can finally add the bib with the let's eat text. I know there's exclamation marks, but I couldn't fit them. Okay, this looks really scary. Let's see it in the game. Okay, what happened to the arm? Alright, now our problems are fixed. This definitely looks scary. Looks kind of like a cursed big bird. I apologize to this villager. I don't know why he's naked. Let's look at baby chica now. Oh no, that's terrifying. Let's spawn an army of them. Oh god, I don't like this. Yeah, not so tough anymore. Oh no. I give Chica a 7 out of 10. Something about her face just looks weird. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. What will we get? And we got Faceless Suit. So last time you guys wanted me to make Slenderman, so this time I am going to make him. Let's color his head white first. Now I will make the rest of his body dark black. And now we can give him his tie. That looks good. Next we'll add some hands. Let's copy that on the other side. And now I will give him some fingers. And a thumb. And we'll color his hands in white. And now we can give him some shoes. Let's bring that over here. And we'll color his shoes a dark gray. Now I can add the tentacle things on his back. Let's put one here. And here and here. That doesn't look too bad, let's see it in game. Alright, I had to get rid of the things on his back because they wouldn't work, but I think he looks pretty good. I definitely think Huggy Wuggy was way scarier though. Yep, he still extends his head at me. Let's go to the end. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. You don't want a no clip in here at night. Or any time at all. I don't remember this from the Slenderman game. Just do it, guys. I had to bring them to Slenderman's forest. I give Slenderman an 8 out of 10. I wish the things on his back worked. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Let's translate. And we got Red Plumber. This is going to be weird, but I am going to try to turn the pig into Mario. We'll start by making him fully red. Now we'll make his legs blue, and we'll add his overalls. I'll put the yellow buttons here. Now we can color in his face. I think we can leave his nose, honestly, and add some eyes. Okay, that looks weird. I'm going to make the nose smaller. And now he has new eyes, which look way better, and we'll give him a mustache and some hair on the sides and the top, of course. Now we'll make his hat. This looks really cursed at the moment. It looks much better in red. And now I'll draw the circle where we will put the M. But first, let's give him ears, and we'll make his front front legs red and add some gloves. And we'll color in the boots on his back legs. Now we can finally draw the M on his hat. Honestly, I kind of like it. Let's see it in game. This is definitely cursed, but he doesn't look too bad as a pig. Let's see him as a baby. Okay, his head is way too big. Oh no, there's a bunch of Goombas in the way. No, you're supposed to stomp on it. I think my Marios are defective. Certainly you can't mess this one up. Bruh. There we go. There's nothing down there, but I mean, oh god. I give Pig Mario an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. On to the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got blue vehicle. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the Fortnite battle bus. This is going to be interesting. First, we have to get rid of all of this. Perfect, we're done. Now, I'll extend this out a bit, and we'll color it blue. Now, we can add a front, and we'll give it some tires. Let's color these in black, and we'll add yellow rims. Now, let's start making the windows. I wish I knew there was a shape tool sooner. I was drawing these manually. Now, we'll add some black stripes. That looks pretty sick. And now, we'll put the lights on the front, and we'll draw the grill. Now, we have to add the balloon to the top. I think that looks pretty good. Last thing we have to do is make sure it's connected to something and we'll color these in that looks good let's see it in game all right we have to go to the end for this one. Oh my god why does this actually look really good oh he's perching i like how it just flips upside down okay now we're idling oh now he's back to work where are we dropping don't forget to thank the bus driver he's been working hard i give the battle bus a 10 out of 10 this is honestly the best mob i've ever made okay slenderman doesn't agree with me time for the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translate and we got 
chimpanzee. All right, I know exactly what I'm going to make. I'm going to make Donkey Kong. Let's start by coloring him brown, and then we'll color in his chest. That looks good. Now we'll add hands. Copy that over here, and we'll make his arms slightly shorter. Now we'll give him fingers and a thumb. Now we can color his hands and fingers in. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now we'll make his feet, and we'll color these in as well. Now we can start to shape his face and give him some eyes underneath that. Next, we can add a mouth. That looks really good. Now we just give him some nostrils and add his ears and we'll give him his wavy hair on the top. And finally, we need to add a tie. We'll color that fully red. And now we just need to write DK on his tie. That looks really good. Let's see it in the game. Yo, this is kind of sick. Oh, his tie is gone. Let's see him fight some zombies. Oh no. Here we go. Good as new. Let's find a jungle. Now they're in their natural habitat. I wish I could spawn a baby one like Diddy Kong. Oh, they're dying. They can't get in. Rip skeleton. All right, I give Donkey Kong a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a panda. What do we get? And we got lazy. This is perfect. We can turn the panda into Snorlax. Let's color him in greenish blue first. Now we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's make his face whitish. And we'll do the same for his belly. Now we can add his sleeping eyes, and we'll give him a smile. With a couple of teeth, now we can color his legs the same color as his face. And we'll add little brown circles to them as well. And now finally we can give him some claws, and we'll color them white. I think that looks decent, let's see it in the game. Yo, that actually looks pretty cool. And baby Snorlax? Yo, he's doing a roll. Ignore the missing texture on his head. Let's give them some bamboo. Apparently the small ones don't eat it. I don't know what you're talking about, the head is fine. I'm pretty sure Snorlax is supposed to be sleeping. We have to do a Pokeball test. Nope. Alright, I'd give Snorlax an 8 out of 10. It would be a 10 if he could sleep. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got money challenge. I think for this one, I'm going to make Ryan Trayan. First, we'll color in his skin. We probably want to get rid of this. Now, I will give him a neck. And now, we can give him his white shirt. And we'll add his shorts as well. Let's color these in. And we'll make his arms a bit shorter. Actually, never mind. Let's give him some fingers and some thumbs. And now, we'll make his eyes. I'm not sure if they are blue or green, so I am going to make them green. Now, we'll give him some eyebrows and some hair. Now, let's give him a mouth and a nose. I don't like this mouth. Now, we need to make his hair look a bit better. Okay, that looks good. And now, we'll make him holding a penny. That's a big penny. And let's give him a mouth again. Okay, let's see this in game. Whoa, Ryan, put the gun down. Okay, why do I keep messing the textures up? There we go. Whoa, Ryan, don't shoot the penny at me. Okay, this really doesn't look like Ryan. I don't know if his eyes are green. I think it's time for the great reset. I don't think that's how it works. Oh, no. He's going on a rampage. This man is wiping out the entire outpost. I'm gonna give Ryan a 7 out of 10. It doesn't really look like him. Time for the next mob. The next mob is an LA. Generating text. Okay, it says rich man and some other stuff that we'll just ignore. For this one, I'm going to make Mr. Krabs. First, we'll delete these. Now, we'll make his body bigger and we'll give him his pants. Now, let's add his legs and we'll color his arms red. Now, we can shrink his head and color it in and we'll give him some eyes and we'll make them kind of green. Now, we'll make his face a little bit round and we'll draw his smile and now we can add his shirt collar and his sleeves and finally, we'll draw his belt. I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh my god. I don't know what happened to his arms but other than that he looks good okay his head is also messed up too this must be what the tooth fairy looks like all right mr krabs bring me some money i never thought i'd see mr krabs giving away money oh my god mr krabs what are you in for don't worry i'll break you guys out and these guys too everybody's locked up not you though sorry buddy i'm off to find the crusty crab i mean this is probably good enough and squidward's here already this is perfect all right mr krabs let's get this money i like how he just glows underwater all right i give mr krabs a 7 out of 10 mainly because his model is very broken it's time for the next mob the next mob is a spider what will we get okay i don't really know what a spider demon is but mommy long legs is a scary spider so i think that's close enough let's delete these legs and we'll shrink some of the body parts now we'll color this in pink and we'll rotate the legs now we'll add another part to the legs and we'll color her legs in pink now let's add the blue before her feet and we'll add her feet now let's start making her hair and we'll make it curl down like this that should be good enough now we can add the blue hair tie and we'll start drawing her eyes and we'll give her some eyelashes now we can draw her big mouth and we will put her lips on top and now i'll just draw a little spiral in her hair all right that looks pretty good let's see it in game all right that somehow worked better than i expected i mean the spider's eyes are still there but other than that all right that looks much better i'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out in game i thought for sure something was gonna break mommy long legs versus a wolf okay that was pretty stupid but i had nothing else to put her against mommy long legs army oh my god why are they dying what is this one doing? Yo, this one's doing it too. What is this emote called? 
All right, I'm gonna give Mommy Longlegs a 9 out of 10. I think she turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a giant. Generating. Okay, we got a mouse who nearly had 100-year-old feuds or something. I don't know. We'll ignore the second part and make Mickey Mouse. Let's color him fully black, and we'll give him his shorts. Now we'll add his yellow shoes, and I'll make his face round. Now we can give him his ears. That looks good enough. Now I'll add the skin on his face, and let's give him some big eyes, and we'll just give him black pupils. Now I'll add his nose, and finally we will put the white buttons on his shorts all right that's pretty good let's see him in game let's get a giant spawn egg oh yeah that looks a lot better well almost mickey i don't think we need to see that but from the front he looks pretty good giants don't really do anything so uh why does he make a player damage noise mickey mouse versus donald duck size comparison i don't think this is very accurate let's see if the wolf will attack him i mean he's trying to doesn't seem to be working though it's the mickey mouse clubhouse i think he's too big for the house i'm going to give mickey a 7 out of 10 he's kind of boring it's time for the next mob the next mob is a creeper generating text okay a clumsy guy when i made a team with a race something about dark matter clouds what for this one i'm going to make a fall guys character all right let's delete these legs and we'll move the front ones to the middle now we'll shrink his body and his head let's color him all pink and we'll make his legs smaller now we can give him little feet and we'll just add his arms and i'll just turn the arms a little bit sideways now we can give him some fingers and we'll also give him a big thumb now i can make his head a little bit round and we can start drawing his face and i'll just give him little eyes and we'll make them round on the bottom too all right that's pretty good let's see it in game that looks pretty good i don't know what happened there though or there i guess he's still a creeper on the inside can he do parkour come on you're not gonna qualify or something i don't know i've never played fall guys all right he lost we'll give him something he can actually do come on you just gotta make it to the other side what if i put some sort of bait over there what do creepers like i don't know why i decided on a sheep but we've added a sheep never mind i have an idea yes you can do it wait no oh god he's so close to making it to the end oh no at least he didn't die all right i give fall guys an 8 out of 10 but there are definitely some mistakes with this model that need to be fixed time for the next mob the next mob is the warden what will we get okay we got big powerful man for this one i'm going to turn the warden into thanos all right we'll make his head smaller and let's remove his horns slash ears i don't know what these are well now let's give him a torso and we'll color his body in purple now let's add his yellow belt and we'll color his pants brown and we can add his yellow collar to the shirt and i'll paint the rest of him light purple now we can add the infinity gauntlet and all of the infinity stones and we'll give him some biceps now we can draw his chin and i'll give him some eyebrows and some eyes and finally i'll add his nose okay that doesn't look great hopefully it looks better in game all right i've traveled to the deep dark to spawn a thanos naturally that doesn't look like thanos okay that's much better not sure why he still has ears though i thought we deleted them okay it's finally fixed i went through way too much effort for this dollar store thanos at least we can now see him come out of the ground yo no way thanos is here okay that wasn't that cool let's see if i can beat thanos at least i survived one snap all right i give thanos a 6 out of 10 he just looks kind of weird it's time for the next mob the next mob is a bunny generating okay a horrifying bunny and something about vhs tapes for this one i'm going to make bonnie because he is scary all right let's color his body fully purple and we'll make his ears flop down now i will start shaping his mouth and now let's give him a few teeth okay two teeth is all he gets now we'll give him his black nose and we'll start drawing some eyes we'll make them red on the inside okay that looks scary now we can color the back of his mouth black and we'll make the top part of his mouth lighter purple as well as his ears now we'll do the same for his belly and finally we will give him a red bow tie and we'll make his arms look like they are made out of metal okay that turned out pretty good let's see it in game i always forget how small the rabbits are look how scary those eyes are oh my god baby bonnie oh my god it's so small it's hard to be afraid of something so tiny bonnie army i have to do this i'm sorry guys i think we broke the fox seriously though what is the fox doing let me fix that yo all these guys are emoting over here too all right i give bonnie a 10 out of 10 i think he turned out really good it's time for the next mob the next mob is a frog generating text and we got duck if you aren't familiar with frogs please read the label before you start okay i'm going to make psyduck for this one all right let's delete all this and we'll just get rid of his eyes as well now let's try to shape this into a duck and we'll color it all in yellow now let's give him duck feet and we'll color them a lightish yellow now we can give him a beak and we'll color this the same color as his feet now we can add some little arms on each side and we'll make his lizard like tail now we can add the black tufts of hair to the top of his head and we'll give him some eyes all right that doesn't look terrible let's see it in game oh my god that actually looks good other than the walking animation okay that might not be normal to be fair the walking animation would kind of fit him if it wasn't broken let's see a baby frog oh yeah that's a tadpole let's see psyduck eat a slime okay the slime probably has to be smaller oh my god that is so cursed isn't this an achievement or something 
Oh, I give Psyduck a 6 out of 10. He's just too cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an axolotl. What will we get? I turned an axolotl into a fish, which I refuse to talk about. Okay, for this one, I'm going to turn the axolotl into Nemo. We'll start by getting rid of all these legs, and let's change the shape of his head and his body as well. Now we'll start coloring him orange, and now we'll add the white stripes on the outside. And let's give him his little fins on the side. Now let's outline the white stripes in black, and we'll draw in this fin on the top as well. Now let's add some eyes, and now we can give him a smile. I'm actually going to change his eyes, and we'll put some eyelid type things above them. Okay, this looks strange. Let's just see it in game. Honestly, it doesn't look too terrible. I think he's supposed to be in water though. I realize now that Nemo is already in the game, so I'm sorry buddy, but there can only be one Nemo. I like how Nemo only went for that one fish and left the other ones alone. He's truly just asserting dominance. But as you know, they're supposed to be finding Nemo, so now I've got him locked up. Nemo is right there. Free him, mother Nemo. I don't think that's how it happened. Okay, I'll free Nemo myself. Swim home, Nemo. Or just stay here. That works, I guess. Okay, I give Nemo an 8 out of 10. I'm kind of surprised with how he looked. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. Translate, and we got Golden Scare. For this one, I think I am going to make Golden Freddy. First, I'll delete his back legs, then we'll add his bent legs, and now I'll give him an arm. We'll copy that over here. Now let's add some hands and some fingers, and we'll color him in gold. Now let's rotate his head, and we'll color it all gold. Now we can extend his mouth out, and put another part on the bottom, and we'll add some teeth. Now we'll add his nose, and we'll give him his top hat, and some ears, and now let's add his microphone, and we'll give his arms the animatronic look. Now we can give him his eyes and I'll touch up his face a bit more. That looks really good. Let's see it in the game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He should not be walking like that. Oh my god. I put way too much effort into the face compared to the body. It kind of looks like that horse. It kind of looks like he's riding a wheelchair, to be honest. Let's see a baby one. Oh yeah. Let's spawn a bunch of Freddies in this village and watch them run away from a cat. It's kind of ironic that a guy this scary is afraid of a tiny cat. This Freddy isn't, though. Uh, I think you've got a problem there. He doesn't seem to care. More cats. Alright, let's watch a Freddy blow up. Amazing. Supercharged Freddy. It still has the shape of a creeper. Will we survive a supercharged Freddy with full netherite? Oh wow, that actually did a lot. I'm going to rate Golden Freddy a 9 out of 10. I'm honestly really happy with how his head turned out. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. What will we get? And we got Caterpillar. I think I'm going to make PJ Pugapillar from Poppy Playtime. Let's make his legs shorter and delete his body. Now we'll color this in purple. And I'll give him new legs like this. Actually, this one is supposed to be blue. Now we'll color this one purple. And we'll copy this back a few times. And we'll also copy his feet back too. Now let's color his face in. And we'll add his scary mouth. Now let's give him some eyes. And we'll add some teeth and color his mouth. Now let's give him his tongue. And we'll add his ears. Okay, so I read it his whole face. And I think this looks a lot better. I'm just going to fix his eyes. And that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Oh god, that is not supposed to happen. Okay, that's much better. I removed his walking animation, but it's going to have to do. Oh god, why is he phasing in the ground? Him moving like that is so scary. Time to tame one of my own. And now we'll see PJ versus Golden Freddy. Go after him, I punched him. Bad dog. Alright, now this is scary. This chicken better get out of here. Let's see them take out a fox. They can't catch him. He's emoting on them. Alright, we have to do this. Oh my god, Freddy even joined in too. Alright, I give PJ a 7 out of 10. His model is really broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm going to do a drowned. Translate 300 times. And we got sharp claws. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make Wolverine. Let's color him in yellow. And we'll color in his arms. Now let's add some blue gloves. And we'll give him his claws. Now let's add his red belt. And we'll give him some shoulder pads. Now we can make his mask. And we'll do his mouth area. Now we can give him some eyes, and we'll color in his boots. And now we can add the X on his belt. This doesn't really fit, so this is gonna have to do. Let's see him in the game. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, that's a lot better. Wolverine versus the villagers, who will win? Yo, these guys got tridents. Wait, why does this one have a fishing rod? This guy stands no chance the babies are going to get him. The baby has a trident? What? Good work, guys. As you can see, the baby turned out good too. I honestly think it looks better. Okay, the noise they make is disturbing. Will PJ fight Wolverine? Oh no, they're ganging up on him. They're going for the golem now. They can't be stopped. Why is he targeting the babies? And the iron golem wins. Alright, I give Wolverine an 8 out of 10. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate, and we got tall pink. Alright, for this one, I am going to make Kissy Missy. Let's color her fully pink, and we'll give her big hands and some fingers. Now let's color that in yellow. Now we'll give her some feet, and we'll start shaping her head. Now we can start drawing her mouth, and we'll add her eyes. Let's put some eyelashes above. Now we can do her teeth. And finally, we'll add her blue bow. That looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks scary. And she's gone. She ended up looking very similar to 
Wuggy Wuggy. I wonder why. Oh no. Staring contest. Who will win? She's holding a flower, but instead of using her hands, it's just floating in the air. Alright, let's check out the end. This might be scarier than when it was all Huggy Wuggies. Alright, it's time. This is terrifying. How long can I survive being chased by Kissy Missies? That's unfortunate. Why is the noise just getting louder? I give Kissy Missy a 9 out of 10. This is one of my favorite mobs yet. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a piglin. What will we get? And we got Fox. For this one, I'm going to make Foxy. Let's delete all this. That looks so weird. Now we'll shrink his head, and we'll also shrink his legs and his arms. Now let's color him in red, and we'll color in his shorts. Now we'll make his legs gray, and we'll add his feet. Now we'll put his belly spot, and since he looks like he's falling apart, we'll just color part of him because I'm lazy. Now we'll make his hand floating because it looks kind of detached, and we'll make the hook on his other hand. Now let's start shaping his mouth, and we'll add his nose, now let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add the hair on the side of his face. Now we'll make his eye patch, and we'll color in his other eye, and finally we'll give him some ears. That looks pretty good considering I did it all in 16x, let's see it in game. Why is he shaking? Oh yeah, we have to go to the nether. Why is everything purple? There we go. He's even holding a sword with his hook, how talented. Let's see a baby one. I don't know why, but his head shape is reminding me of Manny from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Let's locate a bastion, and here we will find some foxies in their natural habitat. Let's see if he'll fight Freddy. Okay, you can obviously see who had more effort put into them. Let's spawn an army. Okay, how long can I survive? Oh god, I think I won. I don't think they can get me. Alright, I'm going back in. Oh god, Freddy, help me. You didn't see that. Alright, I give Foxy a 5 out of 10. He kind of looks like a mouse. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. Let's translate, and we got Steel Guy. Okay, I think it's obvious that I'm going to make Iron Man. Let's color him in red, and we'll extend his mask out. Now let's color in his eyes, and I'll add some yellow to his arms. Next, we'll add the blue to his chest, and we'll extend part of his chest out as well. Now let's add some yellow to his legs, and we'll give him his blasters. And let's add some fingers, and a thumb, and finally extend his feet out a bit. Alright, that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, where where did his arms go? Oh yeah, he needs to be attacking something for us to see them. Just use the blasters. Man's really getting embarrassed by a naked villager. Finally. Alright, it's time to go to work, boys. That's not Iron Man. The villagers don't even stand a chance. Iron Golem will take care of them. Never mind, he won't. Iron Man is just unstoppable. I give Iron Man a 6 out of 10. He needs arms. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate, and we got lightning. For this one, I think I'm going to make Pikachu. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll make his nose black. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him his red cheeks, and a little pink mouth. Now let's shrink his ears a bit, and we'll color the top of them black. And now we can add his lightning bolt tail, and we'll move this there. That shape looks pretty good, now we just need to color it in. And we'll make sure the bottom of his tail is brown. That looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, he actually turned out pretty good. Look at the baby one, look how small he is. Pokeball test, why does it never work? Pikachu army, one fox could ruin it all. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Oh, what is he doing right now? I just can't believe how small the baby Pikachu is. It's like a mouse. I give Pikachu a 10 out of 10. I mean, how could you not? It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translate, and we got red web. All right, I think I'm going to make Spider-Man for this one. Let's color him in red. Now we'll make his eyes, and we'll add a black outline. Now let's put some blue on his pants, and let's also add some blue to his arms, and we'll add blue to his body. Now let's draw the spider on his chest. Okay, that might be too big, but I think it looks good. I'm also going to edit his eyes a bit, and we'll make the red on his feet a bit higher. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. Yeah, that's basically what I expected. He basically just looks like a player skin on a skeleton. I don't think he can shoot webs either. He looks like a dude in a costume that you hire for a birthday party. Enough Spider-Man slander, can he beat PJ? He's just running away. Okay, he's not shooting webs, but I respect it. This is actually really close. And PJ wins it. Why was that actually a really good fight? PJ is going in for round two. They're at home now. Spider-Man army. It's kind of like that meme where they're pointing at each other. Alright, I give Spider-Man a 5 out of 10. He kind of sucked. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. Translate. And we got an angry blue guy. Alright, I know exactly what to do. I'm going to make Squidward. I forgot villagers look like this when they're naked. Alright, let's make his legs skinnier. And now his arms. That looks so weird. Luckily, his nose is already perfect, so we just need to color him in. But first, I'll add some tentacle-like feet. Now he's fully blue, or Squidward color, not really blue. And we just have to fill in his shirt. Then add the sleeves and the eyes with different color eyelids on top. 
and reddish pupils. And now we will add a forehead line, not a unibrow. And finally, we put some spots on the top of his head. Almost forgot to add texture. That looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks so good. Let's find a village full of Squidwards. Open up. It's tax season. Wait, Squidward? Squidward must have finally quit the Krusty Krab. He's a farmer now. Okay, this is not okay. Baby Squidward, where's he gonna go? This reminds me of the episode where Squidward moves to like a Squidward only village. Wait, these guys got drip. All right, I give Squidward a 7 out of 10. I would use this over normal villagers. Time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? We got quick. This is perfect. I'm going to make Sonic. I'm pretty sure Sonic is a fox, so this should be easy. So first we'll make him all blue. Now we will fill in his face and his belly. And now we can do the arms. And now the rest of the face. Okay, these eyes are a little bit weird, but it should be fine. Now we add his gloves. And we have to make his back legs different from his arms. And we'll add his shoes. And I think that's it. Let's see it in the game. Yo, he's going crazy. I'm not as happy with this one as Squidward. Kind of looks like Sonic from Wish.com. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see a baby Sonic. Baby Sonic honestly looks better. All right, Sonic versus Squidward. Who wins? Oh yeah, they won't fight. Sonic versus Dr. Eggman. Well, they lay eggs. Okay, let's see if Sonic can collect these rings. No, you're going the wrong way. Okay, I will give Sonic some berries. I rate Sonic a 2 out of 10. He kind of sucked, not gonna lie. On to the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate... Tall scary man? Well, that basically is an Enderman, but I guess we could do Huggy Wuggy instead. I've never played this game, so I have no idea what this guy looks like, but I think his head kind of spikes up like this, and then he has big feet. We have to make him fully blue, and we'll color his hands and feet yellow, and now we'll add some eyes. Okay, that doesn't look right at all. Now we will add the smile. I put different eyes. They still don't look right though, and now we'll add a bow, and he has big hands too. Copy that over here. Change the eyes again, and we can add some spikes to his head. Okay, this looks like a scuffed Teletubby. Okay, I made some changes to the head and the face, and he looks a lot better now. I also gave him bigger hands, and now he looks completely different. Let's see it in the game. That looks pretty scary. Well, I'm not quite sure what Huggy Wuggy does. I would assume he doesn't extend his neck and run at you, but I think that makes him more terrifying. We have to go to the end and see this. There's so many of them. This is actually terrifying. This is actually where the portal in the deep dark takes you. But when you open a gum... Alright, I've had enough of these. I rated a 9 out of 10 though. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, especially after the first one. On to the next mob. The next mob is a chicken. Translate time. Okay, this one actually kind of works. I was going to do my own skin, but I decided to do Donald Duck instead, because Donald Duck has more drip. Okay, we'll start by removing this. We'll make the head a little smaller, and now we'll add a hat. Okay, this hat looks terrible. Now we'll drag the beak down, and we'll draw the eyes. Let's make the beak orange, and now we can add his shirt. Make sure that there are sleeves, and we'll add the bow tie thingy in the front, and finally the yellow stripe on his sleeves. That looks better than I expected. Let's see it in the game. Okay, it looks pretty good in game. Side by side comparison. Who has more drip? What about Sonic versus Donald Duck? Sonic's going crazy. What does baby Donald look like? He's so small and he's following the big one. Let's take Donald to a shipwreck because he's a sailor or something. Not a very good one, obviously. The boat is underwater. I rate Donald an 8 out of 10. He's pretty good. Let's see if the next mob can top that. The next mob is a creeper. What do we get? We got Blackbird. Okay, I'm going to make the bomb bird from Angry Birds because that's kind of a creeper. Let's delete the body because birds don't have that and move the head down. Now let's make the legs smaller. Actually, we'll delete the back ones and try this. I'm not sure if it will break the animation. Now we'll make the head a bit bigger and we'll add a fuse thing to the top. Now let's add a beak and we'll color him all black with an orange beak and orange feet, a little orange on the fuse. Now we just need to do the eyes and we'll make him angry because he's an angry bird. Now we can color his belly and we'll make his pupils stand out a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Dang, that looks pretty good. And the feet actually work. That's surprising. Yep, still blows up. I want to know what this looks like. Oh, that looks kind of weird. All right, let's see a baby one. Oh yeah, there's no baby creepers. All right, let's shoot him at some pigs. Oh, I missed. I will give him a 7 out of 10 because he doesn't work like a regular angry bird. Let's see the next mob. Our next mob is a cow. Translate. We got Nightwing. I've got an idea. I'm going to do Batman, but I'm going to make him a cow instead, so like bat cow. First, we will color his suit in gray. Then we will add the yellow belt. And now we can do the underwear. And we'll make his boots dark blue. Now we have to do the bat logo, which is going to be interesting. That looks alright. Now we have to give him a mask. And we'll leave his eyes and mouth peeking out like this. And now we have to add a cape. We'll drag this out a few. And now we will color his cape black. And we'll extend it out a bit on the edges and copy that to the other side that looks pretty good not gonna lie let's see how it looks in game that looks kind of sick but does he fight like batman nope this is some good batman steak though let's see a baby batman all right the texture is kind of broken but baby batman looks good too just gotta kill his parents kind of inspirational to be honest i can't believe they added the batmobile to minecraft i give bat cow a 7 out of 10 as well on to the next mob the next mob is an iron golem translate and we got hard shell this is perfect i'm going to make blastoise let's shorten his arms and remove this and drag his upper body down now we can delete the nose and add some ears now we can color him all blue 
and make kind of a shell. Now we will color the front of the shell and make the edges of the shell white. Now we will make the shell brown and we will give him a chin and some eyes. Let's add color to the ears and now we can add his cannons on his back. Copy that over and we'll make them both gray. I'm actually going to make his head shorter and more wide. Now we have to redo his face. Okay, this might be the worst mob yet. Let's see it in the game. Okay, Blastoise has seen better days. He's almost 30 years old though, to be fair. But can Blastoise defend the Squidward Village? He can. Well, kinda. I guess we just need to see if he can fit in a Pokeball now. It doesn't look like it. That also seems to have made him mad. Alright, I accept my fate. Let's put him where he belongs with his family. I give Blastoise a 2 out of 10. He just looks weird. Next mob. Next we are going to do a zombie. What do we get? We got Mushroom Man. Okay, I'm going to make Toad from Mario because he has a mushroom on his head. Alright, let's shrink the head and make the mushroom on top. Maybe it will look better when it's colored in. We'll make it white to start though. Next we'll fill in his skin and make his pants white as well. Now we can start the outline of his shirt and we'll fill the rest in with blue. Now we can do his mouth and eyes. Okay, he kind of looks like the epic face. We'll add spots on the mushroom. There we go. And finally we will do his shoes. Alright, this might be worse than Blastoise. Let's see it in game. He also looks bad in game. But Toad is kind of small, so he will probably look better as a baby. Eh, I mean, it's a little bit better. Now let's see Toad as a giant. Oh, apparently giants are different. Now let's see 1000 Toads versus 1 Blastoise. I think it's clear who wins. Run Squidward. I give Toad a 0 out of 10. I would give lower if I could. Alright, let's move on to the final mob. The final mob is a ghast. Let's translate. And I got location. What can I even do? I actually have an idea for this. I'm going to make the earth. Well, the Minecraft one. I don't go outside. Alright, we'll color it like stone first. And now we'll add the dirt layer. Next, we'll add some grass to the sides and cover the full top. We'll also put a small lake on top and add a few trees. Now we can add the deep slate layer. And finally, we'll put some black for bedrock. Now we just need to add a few ores. Diamonds, gold, iron, and some coal. The ores make it look worse, I think, but let's see it in the game. I realize now that this makes no sense. I made the gas the overworld when it should be the nether. Honestly, it looks so out of place in the nether. Well, at least the earth now shoots meteors at you, so it's like reverse dinosaurs or something. Let's see if we can get returned to sender. Nice. Honestly, they should just hire me to retexture all the mobs. I mean, this looks so much better, right? Alright, let's spawn a ton of earths. Alright, I give the earth a 5 out of 10. It could have been better. This is a tropical fish being burned alive, and this is an edible wiener dog. I put every Minecraft item through Google Translate way more times than you were supposed to, and then I made whatever result it gave me. I started with some of the most OP items in the game, netherite armor and tools. I... I don't know who Nasertic is. I drew some flames over the sword, and then I colored it red. This sword looks cool, but I have no idea what it has to do with Nasertic. Next, I did the pickaxe. Take the nurses. That's weird. I didn't really know what to do for this one, so I just drew one of those nurse helmets they wear. I'm kind of confused how this hat is able to mine through stone. Next, I made a shovel, and I got Bill Natry. But I don't know who Bill Natry is, so I just decided to draw Bill, because nothing comes up when you search Bill Natry. For a netherite axe, I got low credit, so I drew a credit card, and I actually thought this one looked pretty good considering it's 16x. This must be Mr. Beast credit card, it's very powerful. For the hoe I got anchor stones, so I drew one of those anchors that they use on boats. I don't think I needed to say that, I don't know what other type of anchors there are. Next I did some netherite armor, veil of the nethers. I tried to make a veil out of the same colors as the helmet, but it kinda looks like a giant netherite nose. For the chest plate I got under the skin. I don't know how to make organs, so I just colored it blue because that's the same color as Steve's shirt and it said skin in the translate. Next I made pants and I got a single platform, so I drew a YouTube logo because YouTube is the platform this video is on. If you're not watching this video on YouTube, I will be reporting you to the police immediately. The last netherite item is boots, and I got a shoe that doesn't fit. I just drew a really big shoe that obviously doesn't fit. This is all the netherite armor in game. Honestly, this is kind of drip, especially the nose helmet. Now it's time to translate some random items. Spectrum index. I don't know what that means, so I just colored the arrow rainbow because that's a spectrum. Next, I did a tipped arrow. Diagonal Diagonal axis. Apparently this is a diagonal axis, I don't know what the colors in the background are for. For a glass bottle I got glass, so I tried to make a glass texture, it didn't look that good. And for a fermented spider eye I got broken eyes, so I just cut the spider eye in half. This spider won't be seeing anytime soon. The eye is already removed, it has nothing to do with him. Next I did a blaze powder. Okay we got dust map. I drew a map 
and then I put a bunch of dust on top of it. This kind of looks like a saltine cracker with some weird gray stuff on top of it. For a glistering melon, I got candlelight, so I drew a candle and it kind of looked like Ferb's nose. And for a clock, I got view, so I drew a window with an epic view on the other side of it. Okay, it doesn't look that great, but the view I'm imagining looks a lot better. Next, I did a phantom membrane, and I got It's a Good Movie. Shrek is a good movie, so I copy-pasted a picture of Shrek's face on top of it. Next, I did both a splash potion and a lingering potion. For the splash potion, I got the medicine is finished, so I drew one of those bottles that they put pills in. And for the lingering potion, I got strong plants, so I drew a plant and put two arms flexing coming out of the sides. I think this is my worst drawing yet. This looks terrible. Now it's time to do some other types of armor. First, I did a leather helmet, and I got a leather hat, which is pretty much what it is, so I made this brim to distinguish it from a helmet. I don't know how to add the brim in game, so I just did this. Next, I made a chest plate and got leather jacket. I cut some space in the middle, added some sleeves on the side, and then I colored the jacket darker. This would actually look pretty cool as an item in Minecraft. Not sure about when you wear it, though. For the leather pants, I got his pants fell down, so I drew a man with his pants all the way down to his legs. And to finish the leather set, I got leather shoes, so instead of just making shoes, I decided to turn the leather boots into rocket shoes, which are much less boring than regular shoes. I also did the gold armor set. First, I made the gold helmet as a top hat, then I made the chest plate as a chest full of gold, next I made the pants as Polish gold, and then I made the boots as just regular shoes. I don't know why the boots always translate to shoes, it's very annoying. I also made both of these sets of armor as a model, don't look at the leather set, my pants are down. Because we did gold armor, it's time to do some gold tools. To sleep. I drew some Z's on the side of the pickaxe to make it look like it's asleep. Next, let's do the axe. Golden axe. Since the word axe is smaller than axe, I decided to make a little tiny axe. This looks like something from one of those mods where they make everything really complicated. For the golden shovel, I got golden cave, so I drew a dark scary cave and put a bunch of spots of gold all over the walls. For a golden sword, I got a golden sword. That's what I just said. And since the translate added an A in front, I decided to make a sword shaped into an A. This is the new alphabet lore Minecraft mod. The final golden tool is the hoe, which I translated to a gold rose, and then I started making some stone tools. The stone axe would not stop translating to stone axe. Why is the translate actually working for once? So I made a battle axe because I can only do a certain amount of translates each day before Google bans me. The stone shovel became a stone face, so I tried to make Squidward's house. This was actually pretty accurate for not looking at the picture. It also kind of looks like this guy. I translated a stone sword and it gave me a stone knife, so I just, yeah. And then for a stone pickaxe, I got he picked me up, so I drew a man picking up a tiny man. I take back what I said earlier, this is the worst drawing I've ever made. The last stone tool is a hoe, which translated to the scale. I drew one of those scales that people use to see their weight, and I think your mom stepped on the scale. I'm sorry to any moms listening. For the next category, I did a bunch of boring items, so I'm going to speedrun those real quick. This is melon seeds as a pumpkin on a tree. This is a spawn egg with permission. This is a book and quill as paper and brush. This is a map as on the other hand. And this is a firework star as to sleep again. I don't know why I keep getting to sleep as a translate. For the prismarine shard, I got the heart as like a prism, so I made the shard into a heart shape. And for the prismarine crystal, I got glasses are important, so I drew a pair of glasses. I think I made the nose part a little too big. These would only fit the nose helmet. A couple other items I did was the popped chorus fruit as don't let it happen, the beetroot seeds as a carrot, and the shulker shell as a really bad version of the Minecraft logo. But one of the most interesting items I translated was the banner pattern. Okay, we got science of love. I drew a heart in the middle and then I added a science code around it. This actually just looks really weird. I don't think it's that interesting. I also made the nautilus shell as the end and a disc fragment as the entire earth. Ignore the placement of the continents. This is definitely an accurate earth. Everybody knows that food is the most important meal of the day, so next I translated some foods. Okay, we got age. I gave the rabbit a gray beard, a monocle, and a walking stick to make it look old. Next, I did cooked rabbit. Cook the rabbit meat. The rabbit meat is already cooked, so I put a fire underneath to double cook it. Hopefully, it's safe to eat a campfire and a metal rod. For glowberries, I got they have fresh fruit, so I drew a person and made them hold the glowberries so they had fresh fruit. And after that, I translated sweet berries and got it is a sweet fruit. So I made a strawberry because those are very sweet. I probably could have just left it as sweet berries. It kind of says it in the name. For raw mutton, I got to cook, so I drew an oven with what is supposed to be mutton inside of it. It kind of looks like the mutton is a tongue and the buttons are eyes. Next, I did cooked mutton and got delicious food, so I decided to draw my favorite food. Man, I love eating these. Comment if this is your favorite food too. There are a lot of foods in Minecraft, so I decided to speedrun the next few. I turned raw cod into a person shoveling transparency outside of their house, and then I made raw salmon into the old Minecraft. 
Minecraft fish. I made a tropical fish into a burning hot fish. I'm not sure how it's on fire if it belongs in the water. And then I made a puffer fish into two puffer fishes. Next, I made a potato and I got potatoes, so I just put more potatoes behind it. And then for a baked potato, I got to be easy, so I colored it green because green is the color for easy. I probably wouldn't eat the green potato. There's definitely something wrong with it. Next, I made a beetroot. Okay, we got black paper. I just used the regular paper texture and then I turned it black. For dry kelp, I got these words, which translates to a small dog, so I decided to draw a little wiener dog. This is definitely not what they meant by hot dog. There's still so many foods to go, so I did a few more, like this raw beef as a club from the cards, this cooked cod as a Wi-Fi symbol, this cooked salmon as... I don't really know what this is, actually, and this rabbit stew as rabbit juice. But it's time to move on from foods and do the rest of them later, so let's do some chain armor instead. Helmet chain. That's what this is supposed to be. It's a helmet chain. Next, I did the chest plate. Heart grinder. I drew some spikes on the top, and then I struggled to draw a heart underneath. I don't know why anyone would want to wear a heart grinder on their chest plate. That sounds dangerous. For leggings, I got porcelain leggings, so I tried to make one of those porcelain patterns on the pants. And for the chain boots, I got shoes and chains. It looks like these guys aren't getting out of jail anytime soon. This is a wood axe with a pause sign over it because it translated to wait. And this is a wood hoe with a mouth and some eyes because it translated to let's talk. I wonder what the wood hoe has to say. For a wood sword, it just kept translating to a wooden sword, so I just left it as a wood sword. And for a wooden shovel, I got work, so I drew a person with a construction vest and helmet and gave them some type of shovel thing. Now I can hire somebody to do my shoveling for me. It probably hurts, though. There are still over a hundred items left to translate, so I started doing more random items next. Bicycle. I drew what is supposed to be a bicycle. I can't tell if this drawing is really good or really bad. I'm going to go with bad. I don't know where the handlebars are. For a recovery compass, I got innovation campus. I drew a picture of what I think is a school. I'm not really sure. I dropped out. Don't do that, by the way, kids. I don't want any parents telling me you dropped out of school. I translated a turtle egg and got I'm sick, so I turned the turtle egg green to make it look sick. And then I made a warped fungus on a stick and got mushrooms grow on trees. So I drew a tree and then I added some red and brown spots to look like mushrooms in a tree. Weird how I'm able to use a tree to control a strider. I made a scoot as a book with a turtle skin cover, and then I made bricks as cream, and then I tried to make a brain out of clay, and I also turned paper into the letter A. This kind of reminds me of something from another video, I'm not sure what. For glowstone dust, I got city, so I added some sky, drew a bunch of buildings, and then I put some yellow windows on them. I wonder if this city is powered by glowstone. Next, I made an ink sack and a glow ink sack. For the ink sack, I got I hid, so I drew somebody hiding behind a desk, and then for the glowing sack, I got a long black bag, so I made a long black bag with a golden handle on the top. Now it's time to translate every die. I'm actually too lazy to do that, so I only translated purple. And it gave me except this. I decided to color the purple die every die color in the game except for purple. See that? Now I killed every bird with one stone. You can't really tell which color is which, though. For cocoa beans, I got soon, so I made a picture from a video that I'm making soon. You can't really tell what's going on. It's a little undetailed. And for pumpkin seeds, I got clock, so I drew a very bad clock. Just ignore the dots that are supposed to be numbers. There are definitely 12, and they are all in the right spot. Now it's time for me to translate some diamond armor. Head. Yeah, that's where the helmet goes. I ended up drawing a messed up looking Bruh. face, and for the actual helmet, I copied it on the front and added some hair on all the other sides. Honestly, I think this helmet looks really good. There is nothing wrong with it. Next, let's do a chest plate. I don't know why it keeps giving me body parts. I decided to just draw an arm because that's what it said. I then copied the arm over top of the chest plate and made absolutely no effort to make it fit. Even though I did that, I somehow got the arms in the right place. Not really sure why they're so big though. Next, I made the leggings and I got rubber. I could have colored the pants rubber color, but instead I turned it into a rubber duck because I'm a duck. I then drew a duck's face in a questionable area of the pants and colored the rest yellow. These are the pants in game, let me know if you would cough. For the boots, I got boat, so I literally just copy pasted a boat on top of the boots. I then made the actual boots boat colored. This is probably the most normal piece of armor I made, even though it shows up as a boat in my inventory. The shield is kind of armor, so I translated the shield. This is a mystery. Because it's a mystery, I just deleted the shield texture completely. It turns out you can't delete textures though, and it just made the shield all black. Alright, now that I've made the shield, I have a full armor set. Guys, let me know if you would wear this. Next, I'm going to be translating some ores. I am a tree. I drew a tree body and added some leaves on top, and then I gave it a smiley face because the tree is alive. Next, I translated an emerald. Monagan? Monagon? 
I don't know what that is. Apparently, Monaghan is a place in Ireland, so I drew a four-leaf clover because that's Irish or something. Guys, never let me draw a clover again. For iron, I got iron pot, so I just drew a pot, which basically looks like a big bucket, so I added some handles on the side so you can tell the difference. Next, I made gold, and I got turned down. I didn't know what to do for this one, so I just made a road sign, but put a down arrow instead. I don't know what roads you can turn down on, but that's not my problem. Next, I translated a netherite ingot, which isn't technically an ore, but it's an ingot, so whatever. I got bad netherite, so I gave it an arm holding a knife with an unspecified red liquid on it, and then I gave him two angry eyes with an upside down smile. After that, I decided to start a hardcore series. Okay guys, so I did some mining off camera. Now I think it's time to build a house. Yo, edit this part out. Alright, now that the house is done, we're going to build a giant ring of biomes around it. I also translated some other ores, so here are those quickly. This is a copper ingot as a suitcase. This is redstone as blackstone. This is lapis as onyx stone. Okay, I think I made the wrong type of onyx. This is Japanese coal. And finally, this is amethyst as a person. Also, I know amethyst isn't an ore, I just thought it fit here. Now that we've translated some ores, we need something to mine them with, so let's make some tools. Okay, we got certify. I decided to draw one of those certificates that they give out at school for good grades or something, and then I added this line which is the text, and I put one of those sticker things in the corner. It kinda looks like I'm holding a hammer. Honestly, I'm surprised my pickaxe still works now that it's made out of paper. Next, I did the sword. Okay, we got sword, but big. For this one, I decided to make a really fat sword because I didn't really know what else to do. Guys, rate my sword from 1 to 10. You'd think you would do more damage because it's bigger. I give it a 0. Next, I translated the axe, and it just translated to ah. For this one, I wanted to make the axe yelling, so I added a mouth on the front, and then I gave the axe a large tongue, and finally I gave it an eye, which has nothing to do with yelling, I just wanted to do it. I can understand why the axe is yelling, I would be too if someone kept slamming me against a tree. For the shovel, I got spade, and a shovel is a spade, so I made the thing from the cards instead. Okay, this looks terrible. Instead of adding it to the top of the shovel, I just drew the spade instead, and it ended up looking much better. This thing would actually look kind of cool if it was a weapon, but it's just a shovel, so it's useless to me. Next, I transferred the hoe. Okay, I got Adam's hat. Who is Adam? I looked up Adam's hat and found someone wearing a yellow hat, so I tried to make a yellow hat, but it was hard because tools are usually made sideways. The only reason this looks like a hat Bruh. is because I know it's a hat. I am also not Adam, so I have to throw this away. I'm not allowed to have it. Next, I made some things that are technically tools. For the bow, I got plastic bags, so I made a plastic bag. That's it. Next, I did a crossbow and it said rainbow, so I added a rainbow gradient over the crossbow five times for all the phases. The crossbow looked normal when I shot it, but I can't say the same for the regular bow. For flint and steel, I got stone and iron, and that is basically what flint and steel is, so I decided to replace the flint with a stone block and the steel with an iron ingot to literally make it stone and iron. For shears, I ended up getting there for. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just turned the shears into a mouth and gave it a tongue and one angry eye. The reason I did this was because people might say therefore in an argument, so he's meant to look like he's arguing. Now for the final tool, I made a fishing rod and I got Midan? Midan? I couldn't figure out what my Dan meant, so I looked it up and saw this picture from a restaurant, so I decided to make the plate with the food on it. I even made it so when I cast the fishing rod, the plate empties. Bruh. Isn't that cool? For the next category, we're going to be translating some foods. First, I did steak, and I got meat. I'm pretty sure steak is meat, so I decided to color it a weird color and add a question mark so it's mystery meat instead. Would you eat this? It kind of just looks like bread with a question mark. Next, I translated an apple, and I got lake. I added a big pool of water, and then I drew this boat with a big red flag in the middle. I will not be taste testing this one because my mom told me not to drink the lake water when I was younger. For chicken, I got you cannot, so I just put a big red X over the chicken, meaning I can no longer eat it. Next, I translated bread, and I got a piece of bread, so I turned it into a slice of bread and put a nice patch of butter in the top corner. For cake, I got pockets, so I made the cake into the shape of pants, and then I gave it two pockets. I kind of forgot that cake is a block, so really the only one I can eat is a slice of bread. It tastes really good, the yellow part really gives it flavor. Next I made a cookie and I got dirt, so I just cut the shape of a cookie out of dirt. My mom also told me not to eat dirt, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's in the shape of a cookie. For the golden carrot, I got a golden beginning, so I made a certificate again because that was the first thing I made in this video. Now for the final food item, I translated the golden apple. Okay, we got liver. I decided to just draw a liver, which is somehow the most normal food out of all of these. Alright, liver taste test. In game, not actually. I would never eat that. Wow, it actually gives me a lot of potion effects. Maybe the liver king was right. 
Alright, now that I've done some foods, it's time to translate a bunch of random items. The first item is the totem, which translated to down the totem pole. For this one, I just made a totem pole, which was kind of hard to do when it's this small. But it doesn't look that bad when you hold it or when you die, so that's cool. Next, I translated the ender pearl, and I got a Japanese word, which translated to shell. It turns out I have no idea how to draw a shell, and I'm not even sure if I got the color right, because I was thinking of the Bruh. gas station. For the eye of ender, I got I do not know, so I cut the shape of a question mark out of the original texture. This this is how it looks when I throw both of these if you wanted to know. For egg I got in bed, so I drew a red minecraft bed around the egg as if it was sleeping. This kinda looks like one of those egg drop projects, so let's see if it works. Nope, the egg still broke. Next I made a snowball and I got viburnum, which apparently is a plant that looks like this. I drew some leaves around it and then turned it yellow to match the little white things on the plant. Next I made an arrow and it didn't seem too happy with me so I just drew an angry face. For a bucket it translated to 2 with a quotation mark which sounds the same as the number so I copy pasted another bucket beside it so there was 2 buckets. Next I made the water bucket and I got a glass of water so I drew a wine glass around the water and added a little spill on top because it was overflowing. Finally I translated a lava bucket and got room so I decided to make a 2D picture of the back rooms. Placing the back rooms on the ground and having it turn into two buckets looks quite interesting, but honestly I kind of like the back rooms art. Not the buckets though, this sucks. For the next category, I decided to make some items that come from the nether in the end. First, I translated nether wart. Okay. I don't know who was released, but it doesn't sound good, so I drew some iron bars around the nether wart and made the ones in the middle look like they were broken and the nether wart is escaping. Next, I made a blaze rod and got this. I decided to make a night sky with some thumbnail colored grass in the bottom, and then I added some stars, and finally I added the sun instead of the moon. For the gas tier I got, there is nothing wrong with yelling. Why are these so scary all of a sudden? I drew a man with an exclamation mark coming out of his mouth to show that he's yelling, and then I put a green check mark over it, showing that it's okay. Next, I made a potion and got house or tent. It's nice that it's giving me options. I decided to just make a little house, and I gave it a door with two windows which looked like eyes and a mouth. Great, now you can't tell what any of the potions are without reading them. Also, I like how the man yelling is in the top left. It's a true work of art. I made a few more nether items but don't feel like showing them, so here's a nether brick as a name tag with a cool and original name on it. Here's a netherite scrap as low sodium. Next we have quartz as a low res emoji holding up a thank you heart. And finally we have a fire charge pointing at you. Now that we've done the nether, it's time to do the end, and there aren't that many items in the end, so first I made a chorus fruit. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll that one. That's better. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just colored it purple because product color, I guess. Next, I made an elytra and got little wing. For this one, I just made one of the wings smaller. And I made both of them small on the model because it turns out you can't edit the wings separately. Next, I did dragon's breath and I got this is a dangerous city. Apparently, Tijuana is the most dangerous city in the world, so I'm going to draw a picture of it. First I added a road in the bottom corner, and then I added this arch and a couple of palm trees. After that I added some buildings behind them, and finally I added some water and some sky in the sky. Next I made some items you find when you make a new world. Okay, we got I will plan. I made the stick smaller, drew a piece of paper, and then I added this arm to make it look like it's writing a plan. I thought it would look better in game, but it doesn't. If you spawn near an ocean, you usually make a boat, so let's do a boat. My car. I don't have a car, so I decided to make my dream car instead. I drew the body, added a spot for the window, and then I gave him his eyes, added some yellow spots, and finally I drew his tires. ka -chow. That was him, not me. In a new world, you usually steal wheat from villagers, so I translated wheat. I don't- I don't know what that is. Apparently that word means health research, so I drew a heart. Next I did a carrot. I got go to school, so I drew a picture of someone's mom yelling at them to go to school. This part is supposed to be an arm, by the way. Also, I am eating someone's mom. Books are usually found in villages, so I translated a book. Okay, we got to reduce. They always tell you to reduce, reuse, and recycle, so for this one I decided to draw the recycling sign. Okay, maybe I should have done something else. What is this? For seeds, I got the enemy, and the enemy of seeds is probably fire, so I drew some fire. Actually, it doesn't seem to be burning them, so I guess it's fine. Never mind, that was the wrong fire. I also ended up making raw chicken, and I got chicken, so I just drew a real chicken, and then I made a sapling, and I got frog, so I drew a bright green frog. I didn't know this is what they meant when I ordered the full chicken. Also, this is the new sapling. Hopefully, it's not poisonous. For the next category, I made some tools. Okay, we got the knife. All I did was make the sword smaller, turning it into a knife. It's funny because this pack now has the biggest sword and the smallest sword. Now let's make the pickaxe. The chicken is ready. I already made a chicken for raw chicken, so I tried to turn the pickaxe into a chicken. 
I drew a beak, added the red thing which I think is called the goiter, and then I gave it some eyes and colored it white. Finally I drew some wings and then I gave it some goofy looking feet. Who knew that chickens were so good for mining? Whoops I burned the diamonds. Next I made the axe. I got x as a binary number so I drew a light pink x and then I gave it some things on the top and finally I added his face. It's alphabet lore letter x if you couldn't tell. For shovel I got iron rings so I turned the top part of the shovel into a ring like this. I'm pretty sure this defeats the purpose of a shovel because all the dirt would just go through the hole, but whatever. Now let's make the hoe. Okay, we got steel shoes. I copy pasted iron boots on top of the hoe and then I changed them a little bit to make them look cool. I also made a couple things that are technically tools. Here's the trident as a ship. Here's the spyglass as me. And for the carrot on a stick, I got remembered, so I made a subscribe oh button in case you forgot to subscribe. The pig is literally chasing me to do it. You have to. Now it's time to make some random items. Listen to the recording. Okay then. Next let's do the heart of the sea, then I walked. I drew some legs under the heart of the sea and then I gave it some red shoes to make it look like it's walking. Next I did a goat horn and I got this is not the end. I drew some end stone, then I added some end pillars and finally I filled in the sky and added a big red X over it because this is not the end. Next let's do the echo shard. This is salt. I drew a ziploc bag and filled it with what is obviously salt, just like what it says. Wait, why are the cops outside? What did I do? I did a honeycomb and got there was no one there, so I added a floor and a wall, drew a table, and then I put this banner thing and added some confetti. This is a picture of one of my birthday parties when I was a kid. Next I made horse armor and I got search now. I decided to just draw the search thing that shows up on Google, but it doesn't really look like it. For the nether star I got not life, and the opposite of life is death, so I drew the grim reaper because he is death. This is supposed to be the scythe if you couldn't tell. For firework rockets I got a sign, so I drew a brown stick, added a wooden sign and then I put some black lines on it which is supposed to be text. I also had to check if a sign shot up in the air and I'm happy to say that it does. I made sugar and I got along the Sawyer River. Apparently this is the Sawyer River so I drew some water then I added some trees and finally I added some sky in the sky. Do you think this looks like the picture? I don't. Next I made a minecart. His name is Football. That's kind of a weird name. I drew a football and gave him a face because he's alive. I also don't really know how to model this one in game so here you go. For a saddle, I got Weedza and Janotsky. Apparently, this means knowledge and skills, so I made a light bulb because that is usually associated with knowledge. It's funny because I know that. Okay, it really isn't. Now that I finished making random items, it's time to make some armor. Metal shoes. Iron boots are already metal shoes, so I just made them a bit darker so they don't look like iron. Next, let's do the pants. Okay, we got iron bones. I drew some white bones over top of the pants, and then I added some darker ones in the back to give it some detail. Next, I made a chest plate. We got creates a sample. For this one, I wanted to make a Costco sample, so I drew a plate in the middle, and then I drew some mystery orange food on top of it. Unfortunately, I got caught laughing though and the sample was actually a Burger King hot dog. For the helmet I got a metal box so I made the helmet into the shape of a box and then I added a line in the middle to make it look like a chest. This is what each individual armor piece looks like in game and this is all of them together. Let me know which one looks worse, the iron armor or the diamond. Now it's time to make some food items. First we'll make a pork chop. I got country so I drew a Canadian flag cause I'm from Canada. We'll just ignore the maple leaf, it looks fine. Next I made mushroom soup. Okay we got mushroom juice. I drew a white juice box, added a yellow straw at the top, and then I drew a picture of a mushroom in the middle. I don't know who would drink mushroom juice, but do what you want, I guess. Since I made soup, I decided to make a bowl, and I got It Suits You, so I drew a black suit, and then I added a red tie on the front. Because I made the bowl, it looks like I have to drink the mushroom juice now. Now it's time to make a honey bottle. Pots with honey. I made a big pot and filled it with honey, and then I made it drip a little bit on the side. Next I made pumpkin pie, and I got a pumpkin, so I drew a pumpkin, that's it. For rotten flesh, I got a bad feeling, so I decided to make my own custom emoji. I added some eyes and some eyebrows, and then I made a weird looking mouth. After that, I decided to make the emoji look more green instead, and then I added some red cheeks for detail. This emoji looks really weird, so I wouldn't eat it. It's also rotten flesh, so I wouldn't eat it anyway. Next I made a spider eye and I got spider, so I just made a spider. Would you rather eat a whole spider or a spider sized spider eye? I hope neither of them poison you in real life. For melon slice I got melon color, so I just, yeah. Next I made a poisonous potato and I got they poison the potatoes. I made the potato smaller and then I drew someone in an astronaut suit which is supposed to be a hazmat suit and then I made them poisoning a potato. Milk is kind of a food so I 
translated milk. I got a glass of milk, so I drew a blue glass, filled it with milk, and then I made it overflowing on the side because I always do that. Because I did the milk bucket, I decided to translate some other buckets as well. Here is powdered snow as touching grass. Here is a pufferfish bucket as a glass of water. This is a salmon bucket as salmon cake. And this is a tropical fish bucket as food and fish. The thing on the bottom is food, if that's unclear. The next bucket I did was a cod bucket and I got promise. I heard you promise to press the subscribe button, so I made the subscribe- Next I made the axolotl bucket as gold fishing, and this is the tadpole bucket as candy corn. Now it's time to make some cave things. First let's do raw iron. Will be discussed. Period. I drew a face with a mouth open and a tongue to show they are discussing something. After that, I added a weird looking eye. Minecraft really changed the caving experience in 1.20. I am burning realistic Pac-Man right now, this is crazy. Next, I made raw copper and I got every time. I drew a clock and then tried to make it pointing at every hour, but that was impossible to do in 16x, so it kinda looks like some kind of anime right. item. Next, I did raw gold and got good news. I drew a newspaper and then I put a check mark over it, confirming that it's good news. For a gold nugget, I got a million gold, so I made the nugget smaller and then copy pasted it everywhere. After that, I made an iron nugget and got money, so I drew a really green dollar bill and then I became rich in Minecraft, ironically with the two worst materials. Next, I made charcoal and got chat with, so I made a chat bubble. And then I did flint and got you can, so I drew a check mark over the flint showing that you can. For the next category, I want to do some mob drops, so first I did string. Okay, we got equivalent. Yarn is kind of like the equivalent of string so I made a ball of yarn. The crafting recipe for wool actually makes a lot more sense now. For gunpowder, I also got money, so I rerolled and got still no money. I just wrote zero dollars on a white background because I didn't know what to do. Next, I did a feather and got the water tank is full, so I drew a water tank and made it full. After that, I did leather and got during the summer. I colored the sky blue, added some thumbnail glass, made a tree, and then I added the sun and some clouds. Next, let's do a bone. Out of class. I drew a floor and a wall, added a desk and a whiteboard, and then I drew a person leaving the class. Next, I did rabbit hide and got a rabbit was born. Kind of the opposite happened, actually. I tried my best to draw a rabbit, and it actually ended up looking kind of good. Now, when you kill a rabbit, you just get a rabbit. You also get a chicken when you kill a chicken, so that's cool. I did a slime ball and got a little tar goes a long way so i found a picture of a road and then i cut the shape of a slime ball out of it to make a tar ball i did magma cream and i got you think about it i thought about it for a while and i decided to draw a brain i'm going to be google translating minecraft items and then making whatever result i get first let's do some diamond things and we got battle of diamonds for this one i didn't really know what to do so i just decided to make the pickaxe look like a battle pickaxe the pickaxe looks kind of fancy but unfortunately it just does the same amount of damage it didn't make it any better. Next, I'll do a sword. And we just got diamond. I can't remember why, but for this one, I just made the sword really fat and undetailed. Let me know if you would use this sword texture. I honestly think this looks really good. Next, I did a diamond axe, and it just gave me some letters that translate to diamond river. For this one, I just put a bunch of sand around the diamond axe, and then I filled in the rest with grass to put the diamond axe in the place of a river. Would you rather PvP with this or the diamond sword from before? Personally, I'm picking the sword. I hate axes. For a diamond shovel, I got my pearl. So I used this filter to make the diamond shovel into the shape of an ender pearl. And for a diamond hoe, I got more weird letters. Apparently, this means beautiful jewelry. I decided to just turn the diamond hoe into a nice diamond ring instead. Honestly, both of these are jewelry if you think of it. It's just I'd rather have one a lot more than the other. Next, I translated a diamond. And we got in advance. Alone is sometimes called in advance. So for this one, I just kept the diamond the same. The only difference is now I owe it back to somebody with interest. Diamond armor is also made of diamonds. So let's translate a helmet next. The jewel in the crown. This is probably the best thing I could have gotten for a helmet because a crown is basically a helmet already. Imagine if I got crowned for like the pants or something. Next I did a chest plate and I got diamond chart. I just made a really big piece of paper like this and then I drew the diamond on the paper. I'm not really sure if this counts as a chart, but it doesn't look that bad when I'm wearing it. Next for the leggings, it gave me diamond diamond. So I had to double up on the diamonds by adding a diamond on top of the leggings and then adding another one that takes up the entire back. I'm not really sure how to make this into an armor piece, so this is what I came up with. Finally, for the boots, I got diamond shoes. And diamond boots are basically shoes already, so I just lowered them down a bit and added some red on the bottom of the shoes so that they can be light-up shoes. Who needs armor trims when you can have light-up shoes
blues instead. They don't actually light up, unfortunately. Now that we've done the diamond stuff, it's time to do some of the other ores in the game. And the first ore is a gold ingot. Bangalore Babu? I don't really know who or what this is, but I know Bangalore is a city. So I just took the Bangalore flag and made it fit inside the texture. Next, let's do an iron ingot. Machine tools. I decided to just draw some kind of machine tool. I don't know, this is what I found when I looked it up. For a netherite ingot, I got nitrate international. And this is a picture of nitrate, so I decided to just draw this picture to the best of my ability. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really look the same, but it also doesn't look good. Both of those are bad. I don't know why I said but. A copper ingot translated to copper, and something that can be made from copper is a penny. So I drew a big copper colored circle and drew someone's head on it to make it a penny. This is for motion picture use only. This is not legal tender. For an emerald, I got ruby, which is actually kind of convenient because a ruby for some reason is an actual texture in the game. And then for coal, I got plan. I took the same piece of paper from earlier and put a bunch of lines on top of it, which are supposed to be a plan. The interesting thing is this still makes sense being used as a fuel. Next, I translated redstone. Okay, we just got redstone. For this one, I decided to change the redstone dust into the shape of a stone, making it a literal redstone. This kind of just looks like I took it out of the ore without turning it to dust. Next, I did lapis and I got the region of Lapland. Apparently, this is a picture from Lapland. So first, I drew some snow, then I added a house on top of it. Next, I put some trees in the background and also added some sky. Then finally, I added the northern light looking things in the sky as well. Who did it better, me or the actual picture? Amethyst isn't technically an ore, but I did it anyway. Okay, we got jewelry. For this one, I made the amethyst way smaller and then I added a chain around it to make it a pendant on the necklace. Now that we've made all these ores, you're probably getting hungry. I don't know what those have to do with each other. But next, I translated some foods. Okay, we got at the bottom. I didn't really know what to do for this one, so I just moved the steak to the bottom of the screen. Next, I did an apple. In surgery. I cut the apple in half like this, and then I put the inside of the apple that is being removed in the middle. I don't know why the apple would go through all this surgery. I was just gonna eat it anyway. For chicken, I got war. So I drew one of those war hats on top of the chicken, and then I gave it a gun like this. And then for bread, I got minus eat. Minus eat is sort of like the opposite of eat, so I drew mold all over the bread because you shouldn't eat mold. It's not gonna stop me though. The next food I did was a cake, and I got it was too much. So I just removed some parts of the cake to make it look a lot smaller instead. And after that, I translated a cookie and I got pie. I took the pumpkin pie texture that is already in Minecraft and I decided to turn it into a berry pie instead. I'm not gonna lie, it kinda looks like the crust is raw. I'm throwing this out. For a golden apple, I got sea of gold. So I drew a sea and then I put a bunch of small golden apples in it. And then I drew a beach on the shore and added a boat floating on the sea of gold. And for the last food item, I did a golden carrot. Okay, we got golden seed. For this one, I just took the regular wheat seeds and turned them gold. Somehow, now this is one of the best foods in the game. After translating all those foods, it's time for me to translate some random items. I don't really know how I got this from Totem of Undying. I decided to just put a really low detail tinder background around the totem. Next, I translated a fishing rod. Is true. When something is true, it's usually associated with the color green, so I just decided to color the fishing rod green. Next, I did a bow, and I got the height. People usually measure height with a tape measure, so I just turned the bow into a tape measure. Guys, it looks like the tape measure isn't working, so I guess this means I'm still 6'7". You can't prove otherwise. For a crossbow, I got do you have. So I just put a question mark on top of the crossbow, so it's always asking if you have one. And then I did an ender pearl, and I got another ship. I decided to turn the ender pearl into a small end ship like this. I'm really just throwing an entire end ship. That's crazy. For the next few items, I'm gonna speed run them. For the eye of ender, I got his eyes were closed, so I made a closed enderman eye. For the XP bottle, I got look in the mirror, so I just drew a mirror. And for the egg, I got I slept, so I turned the egg sideways and drew some Z's to show that it's sleeping. Out of all of these, my favorite is the Eye of Ender. I like how it's still able to find the stronghold even though it's closed. I translated a snowball and it gave me it is snowing. So I added a bunch of snowflakes falling down like this. And since I translated a bow earlier, I also had to do the arrow. Okay, we got house. I drew a square like this, added an arrow colored roof, and then I added a door and some windows. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty bad looking house. It kind of looks like a face. For my next items, I add a theme. First, I translated a potion. He is drinking. You already drink potions, so I just decided to change the bottle into a glass to make a fancier potion instead. Next, I translated nether wart. Okay, we got a person. I used the colors from the nether wart and turned them into a person's face like this. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like the evil version of someone you would find on a vegetable can. 
forest industry. I don't know much about the forest industry, but I do know that it has to do with trees, so I just drew a tree. Next, I translated a gas tier. The voice disappeared. I just added a microphone stand underneath the gas tier because the voice would disappear if the gas tier took over the mic. And now we can make a regen potion using our weird ingredients. I translated shears and got I'm back, and I didn't know what to do, so I just turned the shears around to put the back in the front, and then I translated a bucket and got bro. I didn't even know this counted as a word. I drew some eyes on the bucket, and then I gave it a mouth as well. But now bro decided to drink some water, so next I did a water bucket. We got courtesy. It's considered courtesy to hold open a door for someone, so I made it look like the water bucket is holding open a door. Or he might be holding it closed, which is the opposite of courtesy. For a lava bucket, I got foot skin, which is kind of a weird thing to get, so I just drew a foot instead of the bucket. And an unrelated item here is a flint and steel. Hard coal and iron. I just decided to turn the steel part light to make it look more like iron, and then I added coal over the top of the flint like this. A few more items I did was a fire charge in jail because it was charged with arson, a nether brick that I turned into spinach, a netherite scrap that got turned into a Wi-Fi symbol, and a piece of quartz that is supposed to be a pillow, although it kind of looks more like one of those flower sacks. The next item I translated was bone meal. They eat bones. I'm not sure if dogs actually eat bones, but they definitely chew on them, so I just decided to draw a dog. I can't tell if this looks good or bad. I feel like the face looks kind of like a human. I translated a chorus fruit and got 84 results, so I just changed it into the Google logo because a search engine is where you could find 84 results. And then for an elytra, I got good luck. So I made it into a four-winged elytra because four-leaf clovers are good luck. For the next two items, I did dragon breath and got doctor. So I just drew a doctor's coat around it and also gave it one of those stethoscope things around its neck. And then I did an end crystal and got glass layer. So I just removed the end crystal and only left the glass layer like this. It's still normal on the ground though. I don't know how to change it. I added all 26 letters from alphabet lore into Minecraft. First I made A, and I used an axolotl to make A because A starts with axolotl. Wait, no, it's the other way around. I'm not going to lie, my A looked kind of ugly, so because of that, I added some grill lines on his teeth to really give it detail. And because he is A, I decided to spawn him on an acacia tree. Now you might be thinking I should have put him in the water, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Next I made B, and I made B from a B because, well, you know. Everything about him was looking pretty good, but then I realized B has these eyes that are really annoying to make. So I gave him these messed up eyes, and I also got rid of the grill lines. I don't know why I did that in the first place. B is supposed to be a butterfly, so we'll pretend his wings are flapping because I don't know how to do that. Also, here is a B army chasing me because I didn't subscribe before 500k. Next, I'll be making both C and D. For C, I used a creeper, and C is kind of curved, so I spent 5 minutes trying to perfectly rotate these pieces. I then added his teeth and gave him these angry looking eyes and finally added some noise because noise makes everything better. Next for D, I used a dolphin, and I copied this piece with a squished dolphin's face on it until I had the shape of a D. Huh? I then gave him a sideways mouth and added his eyes which make him look like he has 159 children in his basement. I then put C in the C, even though C doesn't start with C, because C and C are both pronounced C, so it makes sense. And then I put D in the C as well, because he's a dolphin. Now all either of them have to worry about is pirates, and drowning, because apparently C can't breathe underwater. The next letter is E, and for E I used the only logical mob, the Ender Dragon. I had to delete his entire body until I was left with half of his head, and then I turned his head into the shape of an E, and finally added some teeth and his eyes right above that. I don't know how you would be able to kill the Ender Dragon now that you can barely see it, but that's not my problem. Well, actually it kinda is. Next yeah. I made F, and F is a bad guy so I made him a frog because these are the only two mobs that start with F. I gave F these really ugly teeth that look nothing like the original, and then I decided to get fancy and rotate his eyes. Since F attacks everybody, we'll pretend that this slime is E and he is being eaten by F. We'll also make F kidnap D because why not? Next I made G, and I won't lie, I already made G before, so I decided to copy paste him onto a ghast. For some reason G is really big and also flies around which is probably not accurate. Also in the intro, F runs over G, so I tried to make that in the best way I possibly could. But then he shot fireballs at me, so I gave up. Next I'm going to make H and I. For H I used a horse, and he was quite easy to make. I added his eyes and his curved mouth, and then I was done. For I, I used an iron golem, and I decided to make him from a single leg. It turns out that I is also easy to make. All I really had to do was add his eyes and his tiny smile. I put H in a house, and I even rode him, which made me technically flying because H is a ghost. Then I put horse armor on H, just to see how it look. Let's just get rid of this. Next I spawned I in an igloo because what better place for an iron golem to live. I also thought he looked really funny when he walked because he's just a leg. 
The next okay. letters are J and K, and as it turns out, there are no mobs that start with J or K, so I decided to use mobs that might sound like they do. For J, I used a giant, which could be spelt with a J if you're in kindergarten and don't know letters yet. J looks really sus, and I think it's even worse that I decided to make him really big. You also can't really do anything except hit him, so let's move on. For K, I used a cow, and I literally just spelt it wrong in my script, so this fits perfectly. I added this thing on top of its head and gave it some eyes and this bug mouth thing. I then decided to put K with B because they are both bugs. Also, putting them together stands for Burger King. The next letter is LMNOP. Did anyone else used to think that was one big letter? Anyways, there's only one mob that starts with L, and that's the llama. Spit. Llama spit. I made L out of llama spit, which apparently counts as a mob. I then spawned a llama in the game and made it spit on me. I don't know what I was expecting from this, but this definitely wasn't it. For M, I decided to use a minecart, which also isn't a mob. I only used the front part to make him and spent too much time trying to rotate these pieces. I then added his eyes and his squiggly mouth and spawned M in a mineshaft. He doesn't really do much on his own, but you can kind of use him as a car. A very slow car, of course. There are no mobs that start with N, so instead I decided to make him from the nether. I don't really know what my plan was, and I ended up just putting a picture of N on top of Netherrack. At least now when I enter the nether, it looks a lot worse. He also could possibly be the new Netflix logo. This is actually just a cover-up for the fact that I forgot to make N when I was making the other letters. For O, there is only one mob that I can use, which is the Ocelot. O is annoying to make because O is a circle and Minecraft isn't known for its circles. But once I was done the circle, all I had to do was add his eye. After that, I decided to spawn O in Ohio. No, seriously, I don't know how this map even ended up on my PC. I even used H and I to spell out Ohio and then exited the world, trapping them in Ohio forever. For P, I decided to use a phantom. I've also already made P before, so I just copy-pasted her onto a phantom. Since P is a superhero, seeing her fly actually makes sense, but she is still very annoying like a regular phantom. Seriously, stop hitting me, the clip is over. Next, I made Q, and nothing starts with Q, so I used a turtle. I added his big mouth, the little spots on his body, and finally I added his eyes. I spawned Q on the beach, and he was really slow, just like he should be. So I spawned an army of Qs, and then I gave them all slowness, and they literally couldn't even move. Is this me? I don't know. Next I made R, and I made him from a Ravager. I used the Ravager's head as a body, and I gave him his eye, and finally I added his mouth. When I saw him in game, I realized I added too much noise, and he looks like concrete Bruh. powder. Also, for some reason, R randomly has the ability to fly. Wait, no, that's just E pushing him. The next letters are S and T, and for S, I decided to use a snow golem. At this point, I was getting really lazy, so instead of making a 3D mob, I just drew S on top of a plane, and that was it. S is a snake, so I put him in the sand, but then I realized that's not exactly where snow golems go. So I put S in the snow instead, and then I made him have a snowball fight with me. I also spawned an army of them and made them fight a bunch of zombies and they lost. Really badly. For T, I used my favorite mob, a trident. I don't know how a trident counts as a mob, but it's already in the shape of a T, so this was pretty easy to make. Now I look really cool when I'm using Riptide, and I can also use T to strike lightning. But that's basically it. As it turns out, making a custom trident is kinda boring. Next, I decided to make U, and nothing starts with U, so I decided to make him from U, like U is in the viewer. I'm just kidding, I actually used a goat. I rotated these two corner pieces, which ended up looking really bad, and then I gave him his eyes and his mouth. After making U, I also add all the letters to spell my favorite word. Oh wait, I spelt it wrong. Next, I made V, and V is a villager. Once again, I decided to only use a leg to make him, and at first I made a U because I forgot how letters work. I then rotated the two sides and gave him a couple eyes and a tiny mouth. His mouth didn't really look right, but at this point I didn't care, so I spawned V in a village, and there were arms above his head, which I also didn't feel like fixing. The final four letters are W, X, Y, and Z. And and for W, I decided to use the Warden. I'm sorry, Wither. I don't understand why I have such a hard time rotating these pieces, but it ended up like this, and this is the best it's gonna get. I then added four of the exact same eyes to W, and then made a very complicated mouth to put on each side. I would rate W a 0 out of 10 in terms of design, but she looks really funny coming out of the ground. I can even spam Ws in the chat, and then get chased by all of them. Please help. There are no mobs that start with X, so I used the honorable mention from W, the Wither. I shaped him into an X, which was easy, and then I added these purple things on each side. Next, I drew all the details on his face, and then I added these things behind him. Since X is a ninja, I decided to fight him in hand-to-hand -hand combat to see who would win. But X decided to cheat and shoot a bunch of Wither heads at me instead, causing me to resort to ancient fighting tactics to secure the victory. I made Y out of a wolf because I, I don't know anymore, I just picked something random. I rotated these two pieces to make the shape of a Y, and 
and then I gave her two eyes which blend in perfectly with her body and gave her a mouth that looks like it's from an emoji. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore so enjoy this video of me taming a bunch of Y's. The final letter is Z and somehow there is actually a mob that starts with Z, a zombie. So I made Z from a zombie head instead which apparently counts as a mob. Since Z is a planet, I am demonstrating that by standing on top of Z. I even tried to spawn every letter on top of him which didn't work at all. If the creator of alphabet lore is watching this, I'm sorry. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Poppy Playtime 3. The first character I'll make is Catnap, and I'm gonna use a cat. It should be obvious why. First, let's remove this stuff, and we'll rearrange his body parts for now. Now, let's change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll make his legs a bit bigger like this. Now, let's give him some arms on the side, and now let's start to shape his head. Next, I'm gonna give him some ears on the top of his head, and we'll start to give him a big tail right here. Alright, now this is looking good, so let's color him in. First, we'll color his body fully purple, and I'm gonna give him a mouth up here. Next, I'm gonna color in this nose piece, and we'll start to give him some eyes. Now, let's add the moon that he has on his chest. Next, I'm gonna change his face a little bit like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Catnap looks in game. As you can see, this guy looks really happy, which I'm sure means he's very friendly and not at all scary. Catnap is very powerful as he's able to do a lot of damage, and if you get attacked by Catnap, I made it so that he chases you on all fours like this. I take back what I said about him before. He's definitely scary. Catnap has a ranged attack, which is supposed to be him shooting gas, and when Catnap hits you, he will change it to nighttime because he wears the moon pendant. Catnap will also drop this night clock if he dies, which makes it nighttime as long as you are holding it in your hand. If you try to use a bed when Catnap is around, he will destroy the bed so that you cannot sleep, and Catnap is also immune to fall damage because he's a cat, and cats are usually immune to fall damage. Overall, I don't think Catnap turned out that bad, but he also looks a little bit funny. So because of this, I'm going to give Catnap an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make Dog Day, and I'm gonna use a wolf because a wolf is a dog. First, we'll remove some of the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna move his body around a little bit for now. Next, let's give him some new legs like this, and we'll change the shape of his body. Now, I'm gonna copy one of the legs and turn it into an arm, and I'll give him a hand on the bottom of his arm. Now, let's start to change the shape of his head, and we'll give him some spots for his eyes up here. Now, let's give him some big floppy ears on the top, and I think this is looking pretty good, so now let's color him in. First, we'll color his entire body in orangish yellow. Now, I'm gonna give him a mouth like this. Next, we'll color his ears a reddish color, and we'll do the same for his arms and his feet. Now, let's color these divider things a dark gray, and I'm gonna give him a nose like this. Next, let's draw the sun on the front of his chest. Alright, I think this is looking good. Let's add Dog Day to the game. This is how Dog Day looks in game. As you can see, he looks pretty good. Also, just like Catnap, he doesn't really look that scary. He has more of a friendly look. But don't let this trick you, though, as Dog Day has the same chasing animation that I gave to Catnap. I think I'm just gonna stay in creative mode for now. Since Dog Day has the sun pendant, I made it so that when Dog Day hits you, he turns it to daytime instead of night. Dog Day is also able to spawn smiling critters to help him fight since he's the leader. But right now, he can only spawn Catnap because I haven't made any of the other ones. If you kill Dog Day, he will drop a Sun Axe, and the Sun Axe is insanely powerful as it does 19 attack damage and it can also destroy almost any block. Overall, I think Dog Day turned out a lot better than Catnap. I actually like how he looks this time. So because of this, I'm going to give Dog Day a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bobby Bear Hug. And I'll use a Polar Bear because she's a bear. First, let's get rid of a few things. Next, I'm gonna move these parts around a bit. Now, let's give her some new legs. And we'll make her body a lot smaller like this. Next, I'm gonna bend her body a little bit. And I'll just start to give her some arms on the side right here. And we'll just copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna start shaping her head. And we'll give her some ears on the top like this. Okay, that looks good. Now, it's time to color her in. First, I'm gonna color her body a dark red. And we'll color her feet and hands a light pink. Now, let's give her a big mouth like this. And we'll start to add her eyes on the top of the head. Next, let's give her some bright white pupils. And I'm gonna add a few more pink details. Next, let's give her a nose like this. And we'll add the heart that she has on her chest. Alright, I think this looks good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Bobby Bear Hug looks in game. I don't know why, but she kind of reminds me of Freddy Fazbear. It's probably because they are both bears, actually. That would make sense. Unlike Dog Day and Catnap, I decided to make it so that Bobby Bear Hug is passive towards players. And you are actually able to tame her if you feed her raw fish, because I'm pretty sure bears like fish. Once you tame Bobby Bear Hug, she will follow you around, and if you ever get low on health, you can right-click her and you will be healed to full health immediately. So she's pretty OP if you think of it. Bobby Bear Hug will also attack any mobs that are fighting you, and she does a ton of melee damage because bears are very powerful in real life. If you kill Bobby Bear Hug, I made her drop a heart, which just gives you a heart when it's right-clicked. And overall, I don't think Bobby Bear Hug turned out that bad. I actually kind of like this design. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll make 
like Bubba Bubba Fint. And I'm gonna use a Ramager because it kind of looks like an elephant. So first, let's just get rid of all this stuff. And I'm gonna start with Bobby Bearhug's body. So let's change these ears into more elephant looking ears. And we'll change the nose into a big trunk like this. Next, I'm gonna reshape the heart into the shape of a light bulb. And we'll just change his tail on the back as well. Okay, now this is good. Let's give him some new colors. First, we'll color his body a light blue. And we'll give him the same color on his head. Next, I'm gonna color his feet and hands a darker blue. And we'll put this on the end of his tail as well. Now let's color in the light bulb on his chest. And I'm just gonna add a few more details all around his body and i think this is looking pretty good let's add him to the game this is how bubba bubba fint looks in game he looks a lot like bobby bear hug but to be fair all the critters kind of look the same when you don't know what their monster form is like since bubba bubba fint is an elephant i decided to give him a ranged attack which is supposed to be water shooting out of his trunk he does shoot a lot of water though so i'm not really sure how he fits it in his trunk you might have also noticed that bubba bubba fint emits light and that's because his pendant is a light bulb so i literally just made him a light bulb bubba bubba Elephant also can do a ton of melee damage like Bobby Bear Hug, and this is because an elephant is also a really powerful animal, I'm guessing. If you kill Bubba Bubba Fint, you will drop a light bulb, and the light bulb works just like a torch, except you are not able to place it. It's only meant to be held. Overall, I don't think Bubba Bubba Fint turned out that bad, and because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Piggy Piggy, and I'll use a pig because she's a pig. So first, I'm gonna remove all these pig parts, and we're going to start with Bubba Bubba Fint's body. So let's completely remove the trunk and we'll start to make the ears a lot more pig shaped next i'm gonna give her a completely new nose and i'm gonna change this light bulb into the shape of an apple like this now let's remove this tail and we'll turn it into a spirally tail okay now this is good so it's time to change her colors first i'm gonna color her body light pink and we'll color her head the same color now let's color her nose a darker pink and we'll use the same color for her hands and her feet next let's color in the apple we put on her chest now finally let's color in the tail and i think this is looking good let's add picky piggy to the game this is how Picky Piggy looks in game. I don't know why, but her face looks a little bit scary. But other than that, she doesn't look that bad, I guess. I don't know, it's just really weird. Similar to Bobby Bear Hug, if you right click Picky Piggy, she will give you hunger instead of health. And this is good because you no longer need to kill pigs to get food now. Picky Piggy is also really picky according to her name, so I made it so that she attacks regular pigs as she's very particular about what pigs she likes. If you kill Picky Piggy, I made it so that she drops a suspicious apple, and this apple just gives you a couple of potion effects which kind of have me wondering what she did to the apple. Overall, I think Picky Piggy turned out pretty good, but her face just looks a little bit scary. So because of this, I decided to give her a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make Crafty Corn, and I'm gonna use a horse because that's almost a unicorn. So like usual, we'll remove all this horse stuff, and I'm gonna start from Picky Piggy's body. So let's just change these ears a little bit, and we'll start to give her some hair on the top like this. Next, I'm gonna add her unicorn horn on the top, and we'll change this apple into the shape of a flower. Now let's remove this tail and we'll make it into a bushier tail like this. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's change her colors. First, we'll color her entire body white, and we'll do the same thing on her head. Now let's color her hair light blue, and we'll color her hands and feet the same color. Next, let's color in the flower that is on her chest, and I'm gonna color her unicorn horn a bit darker than her body, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Crafty Corn looks in game. I will say she's probably one of my favorite non-monster critters right now. Also, ignore the particles she's emitting. I just gave them to her because it felt like something she would do. You may have also noticed that every time Crafty Corn moves, a trail of rainbow colored blocks follows her because her pendant is a rainbow flower so it only makes sense. Another thing you can do is tame Crafty Corn using some wheat, and after you tame Crafty Corn, you are able to ride her similar to a horse. And this honestly looks really cool when it's paired with the rainbow trail that she has. If you kill Crafty Corn, she drops a rainbow sword, which is just a really OP sword that strikes lightning every time you hit something, and it also has a chance of exploding when using it as well. Just ignore the way it looks in my hand, though. I don't know how this happened. And overall, I think Crafty Corn is one of my favorite critters so far. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Hoppy Hopscotch. And I'll use a rabbit because she's a rabbit. First, let's remove all these rabbit parts. And I'm gonna start from Bubba Bubba Fint's body because it will be easier. So let's just change these ears into long rabbit ears. And I'm gonna change the light bulb into a lightning bolt like this. Now let's give her a completely different looking tail. And now this is good, so I'm gonna change her colors. First, I'm gonna color her body entirely green, and we'll just do the same thing on her face. Now, let's color her hands and feet a bit darker green, and I'm gonna color her tail the same color. Next, I'm gonna add a bit more detail all around her body, and I think this looks pretty good. Let's add her to the game. This is how Hoppy Hopscotch looks in game. She kinda has the same Freddy Fazbear looking face from before, but she still looks pretty good, despite not looking like a bunny. As you can see, 
Hoppy Hopscotch is really fast, and since she's a bunny, I decided to make it so that she can jump really high as well. And if you want some of this jumping power for yourself, you can right click on Hoppy Hopscotch and you will get jump boost for 30 seconds as well. If Hoppy Hopscotch gets in a fight, she strikes lightning on the enemy because her pendant is a lightning bolt, and if you kill Hoppy Hopscotch, she drops these green boots, which when worn will give you permanent jump boost just like she has. Overall, I think Hoppy Hopscotch turned out pretty good, I especially like her ears. So because of this, I decided to give her an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make kicking chicken, and I'm obviously gonna use a chicken. First, I'm gonna remove the chicken like this, and just like the last time, we'll use Bubba Bubba Fint as a base. So let's just get rid of this trunk, and we'll get rid of his ears. Next, I'm gonna make his face a bit bigger like this. Next, I'm gonna change the light bulb into a star. Now let's change his hands into wings, and I'm gonna add the hair that he has on his head right here. Next, I'm gonna give him a new tail like this, and I'm gonna add the beak on his face right here. Okay, now this looks good, so let's start to color him in. First, we'll color his body entirely yellow, and I'm gonna do the same thing on his head. Next, we'll color his feet orange. Now let's color his star a reddish color, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add kicking chicken to the game. This is how kicking chicken looks in game. This is definitely my least favorite smiling critter, I won't lie. But the fact that he's able to fly makes up for it a little bit. It makes him look more unique. It also gives him this cool flying animation, which doesn't actually look that cool. It looks a little bit weird, actually. If kicking chicken gets in a fight, he does a ton of knockback because he has kicking in his name. Also similar to Picky Piggy, Kickin' Chicken also doesn't like regular chickens, but this time it has no reason. He's just a hater, I guess. If you kill Kickin' Chicken, I made it so that he drops a star, and upon right-clicking the star, you will just start levitating in the air until you make it to the stars. And overall, I think Kickin' Chicken doesn't look that good, but I like some of the features that he has. So because of this, I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into the amazing digital circus. The first character I'll make is Pomni, and I'm going to use a villager to make her. First, let's get rid of this stuff because we don't need it. Now let's change the shape of her body and we'll start shaping her legs. Next, I'm going to give her some arms and I'll just add a hand on the bottom here. Next, I'm going to change the shape of her head and let's start to add her hat on the top as well. And I think that's a pretty good body, so now let's start to color her in. First, let's color her head white and we'll do the same for her arms and legs as well. Now let's color in these yellow parts like this. Next, let's color in her clothes and I'll make sure to add the blue spots on the other side. Now let's put these buttons that she has on the front of her shirt like this and now it's time to give her a face. So first, I'm going to add her eyes like this, and I'm also going to give her a strand of hair on each side of her head as well, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Pomni looks in game. She doesn't look that bad. I like how I made her constantly looking around paranoid, just like how she is in the show. We'll just ignore the fact that she's bald on the back of her head though. I'm pretty sure her hat is supposed to cover that. In the show, Pomni throws up on the ground, so I made it so that when she hits you, you get the nausea effect. It is also said that Pomni doesn't like being touched, so I made it so that she runs away from enemies very quickly if she gets attack. In the show, Pomni tries to escape the circus through a bunch of exit doors, so I made it so that Pomni can open doors by herself, just like a regular villager. Pomni also gets teleported to the void if you right-click her, because I just felt like adding that. I don't really know why. If you kill Pomni, she drops her red hand, which gets glitched in the first episode, so if you hold this hand out for yourself, you get teleported around randomly, sort of like you're glitching. And a fun fact about Pomni is that her favorite food is salmon, so you can also feed Pomni salmon. Overall, I think Pomni turned out pretty good, and has a lot of interesting features. So because of this, I decided to give Pomni a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Kane, and I'll use an evoker to make him. First, let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't need, and let's change the shape of his leg and bend it like this. Next, I'm gonna work on his arms, so let's just rotate this piece like this, and we'll give him a hand and copy this over to the other side as well. Next, I'm gonna change his head into the shape of some gums like this, and let's just add some teeth on the top in the same shape as well. Next, I'll give him his top hat on top of the mouth. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's give him some color. First, I'm gonna color his gums bright red, and we'll color the teeth white like this. Next, I'm gonna color in his eyes, and let's color his shirt a pinkish color as well. Okay, now this looks good, so let's just add some detail to his shirt right here, and we'll give him his different color eyeballs as well. Now let's give him a stick, because I forgot to do that. And I think that Kane is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how Kane looks in-game. He actually looks really good. Also, ignore the cakes that are spawning around him. I'll explain that in a second. Since Kane is the host of the Digital Circus, I decided to make it so that Kane is completely in invincible to all types of damage, except for cactuses. Kane is also seen teleporting throughout the episode, so I made it so that Kane teleports away if he takes too much damage, similar to the TV people in my Skibbity videos. Kane also spawns cake randomly around him as you can see, because he spawned a cake out of thin air in the first episode. Unfortunately, there is no bubble to eat this cake right now, we'll just have to wait until later for that. If Kane somehow manages to die, he drops a stick, which can be used to either remove any block you right click on with
with it. Or you can send any mob to the void if you right click them as well. Overall, I think Kane turned out really good. He's definitely one of my favorite mobs I've made. So because of this, I decided to give Kane a 10 out of 10. He deserves it. The next character I'll make is Jax. And I'm gonna use a rabbit because Jax is a rabbit, I think. First, I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. And let's rearrange his body parts a little bit for now. Next, let's make his legs super tall like this. And we'll change the shape of his body to make it a bit taller as well. Now let's give him a neck like this. And I'll just change the shape of his head to make it a bit more round. Now let's just add his ears on the very top. And now it's time to give Jax some arms. And I think this is good, so let's give Jax some color. First, I'm gonna color his head purple. And we'll do the same for his arms and body as well. Now let's color his overalls a pinkish color. And we'll do the same for his legs like this. Next, I'm gonna color both of his hands a yellowish color. And we'll just give him two buttons here. And now it's time to add his face. First, I'm gonna give him a big yellow mouth. And let's just give him some eyes above that. I'm also gonna give him a couple eyebrows above his eyes like this. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Jax looks in game. He honestly looks pretty similar to the actual show. The only difference is that he's obviously made of cubes though, so he could never be as good as the original. It was kind of hard for me to think of features to give Jax, so he only really has a couple. To start, Jax is super tall as you can see, just like he is in the actual series. And you can also see Jax run away really quickly in the first episode, so I made it so that Jax is super fast in game as well. You can also ride on Jax's back for some reason. I'm not really sure why I added this. It just seems like something that he would be able to do. If you kill Jax, you get a rabbit's foot because he's a rabbit, so that's the less evil version of making him just drop rabbit meat. And overall, I think Jax looks pretty good, but he doesn't really have that many features. So because of this, I decided to give Jax an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Ragatha, and I'm gonna use a witch to make her. First, let's get rid of some of the stuff we don't need, and I'm just gonna make her body a lot smaller for now, and I'll just add a few layers underneath as her dress. Next, I'm gonna give her an arm like this, and I'll just give her a hand on the bottom as well. Now let's copy this over to the other side, and next let's work on her head. First, I'm gonna change the shape of it like this. Next, I'm gonna start adding her hair on the side, and I'll just copy these hairs all around her head, and we'll also add her bow on the top like this. And I think this is a pretty good body, so now let's give her some color. First, I'm gonna color her head and her arms in like this. Next, let's just color her hair a reddish pink color as well. Now let's color her entire dress a purplish color, and we'll color the bow on top slightly darker. Next, I'm gonna add the patches on her dress in the same color as the bow. And now let's add a bit more detail, and we'll start to give her a face. Alright, after like five tries, this is the face I'm going with. It still looks weird, but it's the best I'm gonna get. Now, finally, let's add a bit of texture. And I think this looks good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Ragatha looks in game. I definitely think her face looks a little weird. She also makes witch noises, which I'm not really sure if it fits her or not. It's kind of strange. Also, we're just gonna ignore the fact that you can see through her hair. Just pretend the back part here is fully covered. In the show, Ragatha gets attacked and becomes completely glitched out, so I decided to make it so that Ragatha glitches whenever she gets hit, which looks kind of funny more than glitchy. This is also the only feature that Ragatha has because I couldn't really think of anything else. If you kill Ragatha, she drops this red thing from the nether because it was supposed to be her hair. And overall, I think Ragatha looks kind of cursed and she doesn't really have any features. So because of this, I'm going to give Ragatha a 6 out of 10. I just made her face look too weird. Next character I'll make is Gangle. And I'll make Gangle from a skeleton because they're both kind of built the same. First, I'm going to make her head a lot smaller like this. And now let's shape the head into a mask as well. And I think that's good. So let's just work on her left arm like this. And we'll make the right arm similar, but rotate it in a different direction. Next, I'm gonna make her legs a lot thinner, and we'll rotate the bottom part a little bit like this. Now, let's copy this to the other side, and it's time to color her in. First, I'm gonna draw a red spiral for her body like this, and I'm gonna color her arms and her legs the same color. Now, let's add a bit of detail with a slightly lighter red, and next, I'm gonna color in her mask, and now, finally, let's give her a face like this, and we'll also add a little bit more texture to her body as well, and I think that is looking pretty good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Gangle looks in game. Despite being very simple to make, I think she actually turned out pretty good. I will say that having the arms like this is kind of strange though, they don't really move that much. In the show, Gangle has at least two masks, the comedy mask and the tragedy mask. But she falls and breaks her comedy mask at the beginning of the first episode, so I decided to make it so that when Gangle dies, her comedy mask falls and reveals the tragedy mask. You may have also noticed that the comedy mask drops as an item when she dies. And if you decide to wear this comedy mask, you get speed 4 and jump boost 4 because those effects are kind of fun I guess. The mask is also off-centered when you wear it, but we'll just ignore that. It's the only way I could make it fit. Overall, I think Gangle turned out pretty good, and I think her mask is a cool addition to the game. So because of this, I'm going to give Gangle a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Kinger, and I'll use a snow golem to make him. First, I'm gonna get rid of these layers, because we don't need them. And let's make the bottom smaller like this. Now let's add another part on top, and we'll make it way taller as well. Next, I'm gonna copy this part on top, and we'll bend it so he's hunched over a little bit. And now I'm just gonna add a part on the front that is gonna be his coat. Now let's add a piece for his head up here, 
and we'll add another part on top, and we'll also add the king thing on the very top like this. Next, I'm gonna change his neck area a little bit so that he can have his coat, and this looks pretty good. Now, let's color him in. First, I'm gonna color his body a purplish color, and we'll just color in the rest of his coat as well. Now, let's color his head slightly darker than his coat. Next, I'm gonna give him an eye, and we'll copy this over to the other side and rotate them a little bit as well. Now, let's give him a hand, and we'll color it the same color as his coat. Next, we'll add a little bit of detail to his coat like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how Kinger looks in-game. This guy is honestly a little bit larger than I thought he would be. I also decided to make it so that Kinger sways back and forth quickly, because in the show, he seems to be a little bit on edge. Wait, where did he go? Why is he hiding underneath these randomly colored blocks? Since Kinger seems to be crazy in the show, I decided to make it so that when you right-click Kinger, he shakes really quickly, similar to when he did this in the show. This also makes him look kind of funny if you just spam it. If you kill Kinger, I made it so that he drops one scaffolding, and you might be wondering why I chose this random item. And it's because it has a checkerboard pattern on it, and Kinger is a chess piece. Overall, I don't think Kinger looks that bad, but he's also not the best looking mob. So because of this, I decided to give Kinger a 7 out of 10. The next character I'll make is Zubal, and I'll use a blaze to make them because they both have a bunch of body parts. First, let's remove all these because we don't need them, and I'm just gonna make the first leg like this, and we'll just add this hook shape on the bottom of the right leg, and we'll also add a spiral on the top. Next, I'm gonna give Zubal a body, and we'll just copy the spiral for their neck as well. Next, I'm gonna work on making a triangle shape for the head, and I'm also gonna add a left arm like this, and we'll also make a right arm that has a lot less spirals. Now, I'm gonna color Zubal in, so first, let's color the body yellowish, and we'll color Zubal's head in pink. Next, I'm gonna color the rest of the body a bunch of different colors. Now, let's add some spots on Zubal's body like this, and now I'm gonna add a few more parts on the body that I missed, and I think that looks good, so now let's just add their eyes like this, and we'll also add this zigzag thing that comes off the top of their head as well. Now, let's add the Y on the other part of the head, and we'll give it some stripes as well, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how Zubal looks in game. This is how Zubal looks in game. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I was able to make them look good with all the different pieces. I will say the blaze noises are really annoying though, I definitely should have removed them. But other than that, this actually did turn out pretty good. In the show, Zubal gets broken into a bunch of pieces, so I decided to make it so that when you kill Zubal, it breaks them into a bunch of pieces as well. Ignore the fact that they're able to stand back up. You also might have noticed that Zubal drops a Zubal head when they die, and you might be wondering what the Zubal head does. No, you are not able to wear it. Instead, you can eat the Zubal head and you will gain bad luck for a minute. This is because Zubal seems kinda unlucky in the first episode. Overall, I think Zubal turned out a lot better than I thought they would, so because of this, I decided to give Zubal an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bubble, and I'll use a Vex because I made Kane from an Evoker. First, I'm gonna get rid of all this Vex stuff, and I'm just gonna generate a circle like this. Now, let's color this circle a purplish color, and I'm gonna rotate this circle a bunch of different times until we have a bubble. Next, I'm gonna remove some pieces like this so we have some teeth, and let's just color these teeth white so we can see them. Next, I'm gonna add an eye on the side, and we'll color it reddish brown, and now let's just copy this to the other side, and I think that looks good. Let's see how Bubble looks in game. This is how Bubble looks in game. This is probably the least Minecrafty looking mob I've ever made. The teeth still look Minecrafty though. I didn't really add that much detail to them. Since Bubble is supposed to be Kane's sidekick, I decided to make it so that when you right click Kane, he spawns in Bubble, similar to how the actual Evoker spawns Vexes. Bubble is also seen licking stuff in the show, so I decided to make it so that you get licked by Bubble if he attacks you as well. If you kill Bubble, he has a popping animation, which actually looks kind of cool. And you might have noticed that he drops an Ender Pearl, and that's just because it's the same shape as a Bubble. That's really it. Overall, I don't think Bubble looks that bad, but he's a little bit weird compared to my regular mobs. So because of this, I'm going to give Bubble a 7 out of 10. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into Garden of Ban Ban 6. The first character I'll make is Sir Dadadu, and I'm gonna use a Ravager because they're both big and scary. First, let's remove all the stuff we don't need, and we'll start to make the shape of his body. Now, let's start giving him an arm on the side. Next, I'm gonna start to give him a head, and I think this is good, so now let's start to add some color. First, I'm gonna color his body fully light gray. Now, let's color his hands the same color as his head, and now we'll just give him some teeth on the bottom like this. Now, finally, let's start to give him a tie, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sir Dadadu looks in game. He definitely looks pretty scary. He also kind of looks like he's from Monsters, Inc. Does anyone else see that? It's probably just the tie that he's wearing. It makes him look like he's ready for work. Since Sir Dadadu kind of looks like a slug, I decided to make it so that he walks very slowly. But don't let this trick you though, because just like in the actual game, Sir Dadadu is able to move very quickly if he's attacking you. And if you get hit by Sir Dadadu, he will give you all these potion effects, because in the game, he possesses some of the other monsters, so this is kind of the same thing. Subscribe or Sir Dadadu will possess you. If you manage to kill Sir Dadadu, 
he drops a Dadadoo tooth, which does the same thing as his attack does, it possesses things. And overall, I think Sir Dadadoo turned out really good. He looks a lot like the actual monster. So because of this, I decided to give Sir Dadadoo a 10 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the nanny. And I'll use a pig, because the nanny is either a pig or a cow, but I don't know which. So first, let's get rid of these back legs. Now let's start to shape the body like this. Now let's make these legs a lot bigger. Now let's change the shape of her head a little bit. And we'll just give her some floppy ears like this. And I think this is looking good, so now let's color her in. First, I'm gonna color her body a grayish blue color. Now let's color her legs a little bit darker. Now let's color her nose blue. And we'll give her some bright yellow eyes like this. Now let's give her a blue mouth as well. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how the nanny looks in game. I still can't tell if she's supposed to be a pig or a cow. Come on, guys. Which one is it? You have to tell me. Okay, I don't think they know either. In the game, the nanny is seen lurking in one of the first rooms before jump scaring the player. So I decided to make it so that the nanny is mainly found in dark areas as well. The nanny also moves quite slowly, similar to Sir Dadadoo, because this is how she's seen moving at first. But don't let this trick you again, because the nanny attacks you super quickly if you get too close, similar to her jump scare. I decided to make it so that if you kill the nanny, she drops a pork chop. And the reason I did that is because she looks like a pig. I'm sorry if she's a cow, I seriously can't tell. And overall, I think the nanny looks pretty good in game, but her body design just looks a little bit boring. So because of this, I'm going to give the nanny an 8 out of 10. The next character I'll make is Syringion, and I'm gonna use a sniffer to make him, because they both start with S. First, I'm gonna remove all the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna turn his legs into feet like this, and we'll add a leg on top of the feet as well. Now let's start to add his neck like this, and we'll add his head on the top of his neck as well. Now let's start to give him some arms, and now we're gonna start coloring him in. First, I'm gonna color his entire body a bright pink color, and now let's give him a mouth like this, and we'll also start to give him some eyes on the top. Next, I'm gonna add his surgeon tools that he has on each of his hands, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Syringion looks in game. This guy doesn't look that bad. I don't really know why he's turning like this though. This is definitely a problem. But other than that, Syringion looks good. I especially like his face. It looks kind of funny. In the game, Syringion is referred to as the surgeon, so I decided to make it so that he does surgery on you when he hits you. Okay, it's not actually surgery. He just freezes you and starts taking your hearts. I don't know how to make this guy an actual surgeon. Something I also just noticed is that Syringion's arms aren't actually supposed to be in the air like this. His picture on the wall deceived me. If you kill Syringion, he drops a beetroot, and the only reason I made him drop this random item is because it looks like a heart, and he is the surgeon. Overall, I don't think Syringion turned out that bad, but there are a few things that are kind of weird. So because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the naughty ones. And I'll use an endermite to make them, because they are both kind of the same. So let's remove a few pieces like this. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll give him a head on the top of his body. Now let's rotate the bottom of his body like this, and we'll start to give him a tail on the back right here. Next, I'm gonna add some ears on the top of his head. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now it's time to give him some color. First, let's color his body this bluish color, and we'll color the inside of his ears purple. Now let's color his teeth bright white, and I'll actually change the color of his body because it's not supposed to be dark like this. Alright, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how the naughty ones look in-game. Honestly, they pretty much look exactly the same as they do in-game. The only thing that's really different is that we are seeing them in the light, which I'm not sure if that is even possible. The naughty ones are incredibly fast, as you can see, and this makes them actually pretty scary. Well, I don't know about scary, but they're sort of like a buff silverfish. The naughty ones also won't attack you when there's light around, but if you run into one of these guys in a cave, then you might be in trouble. I also gave the naughty ones a jumping attack animation, which is supposed to be like their jump scare, and if you manage to kill these guys, they drop an amethyst shard, and I don't really know why. I just picked it because it's purple. Overall, I think the naughty ones turned out exactly how they should have, so because of this, I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10 as well. The next character I'll make is Kitty Saurus, and I'm gonna use a cat to make her, cause she is partially a cat. First, let's get rid of these legs, and we'll move these body parts and change the shape of her body. Next, we'll start to give her some feet down here, and we'll add some legs on top as well. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of her head as well. Next, I'm gonna give her some T-Rex arms like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Now, let's add some color. First, I'm gonna color her body an orangish color. Now, let's color her feet white, and let's give her some teeth as well, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how she looks in game. This is how Kitty Saurus looks in game. As you can see, she is massive. She also kind of looks more like a dog than a cat, but I guess that's fine. She still looks scary either way. Similar to the naughty ones, Kitty Saurus is also incredibly fast, which makes it basically impossible to escape her. Fortunately, this is Garten of Ban Ban 6 though, so we don't have to worry about her attacking us. Since Kitty Saurus is part cat, I decided to make it so that you can tame her. And I decided to make it so that you tame her with rotten flesh, because it just seems like an item that would be used to tame her. If you tame Kitty Saurus, you are also able to ride her, although I'm not really sure if this is the right place to be riding on top of her. But it's still better than some of the mobs I've made, I guess. 
Overall, I think Kitty Saurus looks pretty good, but she also looks a little bit like a dog. So because of this, I decided to give her a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make Bitter Giggle, and I'll use a pillager to make him. First, let's remove some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll change the shape of his legs, and we'll also change his arms. Now let's start to shape his head a little bit like this, and we'll just color his body fully green for now. Next, I'm gonna split his body into two colors by making this side purple. Now let's add these spots on the purple side of his body like this. Next, I'm gonna give him a mouth like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, and I think this is good. Let's add Bitter Giggle to the game. This is how Bitter Giggle looks in game. I will say this is not one of my best mobs, but he is a pretty difficult character to make, as he has a lot of random parts extruding out of him for no reason. In the game, Bitter Giggle tries to fight Sir Dadadoo, so I made it so that they fight in Minecraft as well. Although it's pretty much the same outcome, there's no way Bitter Giggle will beat Sir Dadadoo. If you right click on Bitter Giggle, I gave him a laughing animation because he likes to tell jokes, and right clicking him also gives him a random chance to tell a joke as well. I sure hope nothing bad happens because of that. If you kill Bitter Giggle, he drops a clownfish because he's funny and clowns are supposed to be funny, and overall I think Bitter Giggle isn't the best looking mob, but I do like some of his features. So because of this, I'm going to give Bitter Giggle a 7 out of 10. Next I made Tarta Bird, and I made him from a horse. You'll see why. I got rid of all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I added his wings. I added Tarta Bird to the game and he actually looked pretty good, but I think there is something wrong with him. Yeah, for some reason he's kind of dirty and water isn't fixing it. I figured out how to fix this and he was actually looking really good, except for this one spot on his beak, but we'll ignore it. I decided to spawn a baby Tarta Bird and this is what he looked like. I like how he just follows the big one around, just like in the game. You're even able to put him on the big one's back as well. Oh wait, I guess he hasn't tamed him yet. In the actual game, you have to ride Tarta Bird, so I decided to try that for myself. Why does he keep doing that when he kicks me off? It looks really weird. I'm honestly surprised with how perfect this looks. I mean, the legs look a little bit weird, but this looks really good. I'm even able to make Tarta Bird jump. This is insane. I decided to give Tarta Bird a 10 out of 10. Honestly, there was nothing bad about him at all. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Nabnalina. I decided to make Nabnalina from an iron golem. I colored her fully black, gave her a mouth, and finally I added her arms. Nabnalina looks really good in game as well. The arms look kind of weird, but I think she's just asserting dominance. It's fine. Also, the legs are missing texture, but you didn't see that. This never happened. In the game, you have to inject Nabnalina with some kind of chemicals to make her come to life, so I decided to try that in game. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be drinking it. I guess she isn't thirsty. Nabnalina honestly looks pretty strong, so let's see if she can take out some pillagers. Okay, the pillagers don't really have a chance. They're getting destroyed. Yeah, Nabnalina didn't take any damage, but we'll give her an iron ingot anyway. She deserves it. There isn't much to do with Nabnalina, so I decided to make her ride Tarta Bird. Okay, I might have done that backwards, but honestly, this is better. Tarta Bird's legs probably needed a break anyway, although I'm not sure if Nabnalina is able to see anymore. I decided to give Nabnalina a 9 out of 10. It would have been a 10, but I can't look past the bra pose. It's too cursed. Next, I made Hijacked Ban Ban. I made him from a zombie. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his mouth, gave him some horns, and added his feet. I added Hijacked Ban Ban to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty scary. He also looks like Venom, or maybe that's just me. I always say things like this, and then they look nothing like it. Let's spawn a baby Ban Ban. This guy's kind of fast. This would actually be scary if it was the real zombie. I decided to spawn a real Ban Ban, and then I tested which one of them is the best Ban Ban. Ban Ban has a sword, so he probably wins this. Yeah, hijacked Ban Ban didn't stand a chance. Ban Ban destroyed him. I spawned an army of hijacked Ban Bans, and then I decided to get chased by them. Okay, he's not really that scary when he chases you at 0.1 miles per hour. The babies look kind of crazy, though. I decided to give hijacked Ban Ban a 9 out of 10. He looks really good. I'm just disappointed that he lost to real Ban Ban. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Tomataki and Chamataki. I hope that's how you say it. For these guys, I used a wolf. First, I made their shell, and then I added the chameleon. I forgot which one he is. And after that, I added the other guy. I added them to the game, and they honestly didn't look the best, yet somehow this one took me the longest to make. They're also not really the right size. I'm pretty sure these guys are huge in the game. But I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? I decided to spawn a baby one of them, and it just made it even worse. Now they are microscopic. In the game, Chamataki attacks you with his tongue, and I'm not really sure how to make that in Minecraft. So instead, I decided to feed him some steak, because I'm guessing he uses his tongue while eating. Tomataki shoots cyan balls from his mouth, so I just, yeah. They can't be making that sound, I feel bad. I decided to tame one of these guys, and then I made them fight a hijacked Ban Ban. Okay, Ban Ban lost again, he can't keep taking L's like this. I decided to give Tomataki and Chamataki a 5 out of 10, they just look kinda bad, that's all. It's time for the next mob.
Kebab. Next, I decided to make Mr. Kebab Man, and I made him from an Enderman because they're kind of built the same. I deleted everything, colored him gray, and then I gave him some arms. After that, I added his eyes, put the bandage thing on the back, and gave him his party hats. I added Mr. Kebab Man to the game, and he honestly wasn't looking that bad. I mean, I don't know if he was looking good, but he's definitely not bad. I like how when he walks, he actually looks good because I removed the legs. In the game, Mr. Kebab Man is supposed to mimic Ban Ban, so I decided to see if he can take out Hijacked Ban Ban as well. Come on, Hijacked Ban Ban, you got this one, no more else. Okay, I'm done with Hijacked Ban Ban, he's never winning a fight. I decided to visit the end to find more Mr. Kebab Mans, and then I did what I always do. It's kind of scary how they just, like, hover to me. I think I made a little too many of them angry. I decided to give Mr. Kebab Man a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he also doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Stinger Flynn. I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him orange, and then I added the spot around his eye. Next, I added his eye, gave him some legs, and then extended the legs out a bit. Stinger Flynn actually looks pretty good this time around. He's a lot better than the old one I had. He is also a lot bigger because apparently Stinger Flynn isn't tiny. Since Stinger Flynn is jumping around like this, I decided to spawn him in the water. Bro was just going crazy on the squids. What did the squids do to him? He honestly looks pretty good in the water. There is one thing wrong though. His legs are definitely supposed to move, but I don't really know how to do that, so it's fine. Stinger Flynn was driving when they were all going to the beach, so I decided to see if he can drive a car. Okay, I don't really think he's able to drive the car. He's not moving. He's also way bigger than the car. You can't even really see it. He doesn't really want to get in a boat either. I guess this guy doesn't like vehicles. In the game, you also get to play as Stinger Flynn, so I decided to give that one a try. He's kind of just vibing. Not much is really getting done. This is boring. I decided to give Stinger Flynn a 9 out of 10. If his legs moved, it would be a 10, but unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Queen Bouncelia. I used a Hoglin to make her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game, and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fix per mob. Since Queen Bouncelia was made from a Hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Queen Bouncelia, I'll make an exception. I decided to spawn an army of Queen Bouncelias, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully, this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Queen Bouncelia an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made an Opila chick. I used a parrot to make the Opila chick, and I decided to make the shiny one, or whatever you would call it. You probably wouldn't call it shiny. It's not a Pokemon. The Opila chicks are so tiny in game, and they actually kind of sound like the chicks from the actual game. I'm pretty pretty sure dodo birds can't fly, so that's kind of a problem, but other than that, they look great. In the game, you have to abduct all the Opila chicks and move them to their beds, so I decided to try that in Minecraft as well. What? Who is this? Where did the Opila chick go? That was interesting, but I mean, it worked. I can also spawn a baby Opila bird, and it kind of looks like the default Opila chick texture. Although this one isn't as cool, all I can really do is feed it a bunch of seeds. Oh, that's not an Opila chick anymore. In Garden of Banban Ban 2, there are 6 Opila chicks, and in the first game, you feed Opila Bird 6 eggs, so there's definitely some interesting birth methods going on there, so let's test to see if this is true. Wait, it actually worked. I decided to give the Opila chick a 10 out of 10. Overall, it looks really good, and you are even able to keep one of these as a pet. Wait, my bad, Opila Bird, I didn't know. Next, I'm going to make Slow Celine. Since Slow is literally in her name, I made her from a turtle. I gave her a big green shell, added her long neck, and then I gave her some bright white Teeth. After that, I added her two large eyes, and I drew a swirl on each side of her shell. I think she turned out pretty good. The eyes and the mouth are really creepy, just like in the actual game. Let's see a baby Slow Celine. I like how it's just a really small version of the regular one. In the actual game, Slow Celine chases you down a hallway, so I decided to add that as well. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. She's just slowly approaching. She is also not looking away, so I guess I have to keep standing still. Because I made Slow Celine from a turtle, I can also put her in the water and she will be fine. Okay, she's not really that slow anymore. Imagine going to the beach and there was just a massive snail swimming around in the water. Probably happens in Florida. I decided to give Slow Celine a 9 out of 10. She looks really good in game, but she's kind of boring in general. It's time for the next mob. In the game, there are 7 different Fiddles crew members, so I made all of those next. I used a strider to make them all, and first I made brown Fiddles. This is the actual color used in the game. I don't really know how this is brown. Next, I made Cyan Fiddles, and there is a giant 
giant version of him in the game, but I don't know how to make that, so instead I just made a giant stack of cyan fiddles. I'm sure the ones on the top are fine. Next, I made emerald fiddles, and this is him in game, and then I made orange fiddles. Orange fiddles only has one tooth, I wonder what happened to the other one. Pink fiddles has two teeth, and apparently he is dead in the game, so I'm just gonna have to. Next, I made red fiddles, and he is my favorite because his eyes just stay like this forever. Like, how is he able to see anything? Here's me riding a red fiddles as well, he honestly looks better than the actual strider. The last fiddles is yellow fiddles, who apparently has a pirate-like appearance because of his missing eye. So because of this, I am kidnapping him in a boat. I'm going to give the fiddles a 63 out of 10, there's 7 of them so they get 7x the score. Next I made Sheriff Toaster, I mean Toadster. I made him a frog because that's probably what he is, I changed the shape of his body, colored him the same color as the McDonald's villain, and made his weird shaped head. Next I added his teeth, and I gave him his badge on his chest. Finally I colored in his belly, and gave him this little hat on top of his eye. I'm not gonna lie, he doesn't really look like he's smiling, instead he looks like the bully from Arthur. His arms are also completely broken, I'm pretty sure I attached them to his legs. Sheriff Toadster probably fights crime, so I'm going to steal no pillow chick in front of him and see what he does. He doesn't appear to be doing too much. He is jumping really high though, he definitely made it through police training. Maybe an army of Toadsters will stop me. I already knew they wouldn't, I don't know why I did this. Oh, I guess Sheriff Toadster is hungry. I'm going to give Sheriff Toadster a 7 out of 10, he looks kinda weird honestly. It's time for the next mob. Next I made Nab Nab. I made Nab Nab from a spider because he kinda looks like a spider. I gave him some long legs and arms, changed the shape of his body, and then I colored him fully blue. After that I gave him some teeth, then I added his tongue, and finally I gave him three eyes. Okay, I don't think his legs are supposed to look like that. I fixed his legs and then he looked a lot better in game. Well I don't know about better, but putting him sideways actually makes him look scary. In the game you get chased by Nab Nab, so I decided to try that in Minecraft. Yeah, this is definitely not something you want chasing you. It just looks so weird because in the actual game he's on the roof and not on the ground. Nab Nab is also supposed to have a birthday hat and I didn't even notice so we'll just pretend I added a hat. Also if you can't tell, Nab Nab is Ban Ban spelt backwards so because of that you should eat Dirk Bus. But I decided to get Sheriff Toadster to lock him up for good. He sure won't be escaping this jail, especially not through the vents. I decided to give Nab Nab a 6 out of 10, he looks kinda cursed. I'm sorry Nab Nab, I meant 10 I swear. Next I decided to make Zulfius. I don't know what Zulfius is, but he's big, so I made him from a ghast. Zulfius is just a circle with a face that looks like it was drawn by a one-year-old, so I decided to do that. The only difference is, I'm not one years old, I think. I added Zulfius to the game, and it kind of reminds me of when I made Ambush. They look very similar. I would have to say that Zulfius is scarier, though. It's something about the amazing art skill required to make his face. I decided to visit the nether to find a wild Zulfius. He kind of looks like a ping-pong paddle, so let's see who will win a game of ping pong, me or Zulfius. I don't think he wanted to play. I wonder what it will look like if I fill the whole sky with Zulfius's. Yeah, this is a pretty good Minecraft experience. I literally cannot hear anything. I'm going to give Zulfius an 8 out of 10. He's a big flying drawing. How bad could he be? It's time for the next mob. Next, I'm making Mini Josh. It is unknown if Mini Josh will be hostile, but I'm assuming he is, so I made him from a silverfish because they are small and hostile. I deleted all of these things, added his legs, made his body bigger, and then I gave him some arms. After that I added his head, colored him fully green, and then I added his eyes. Mini Josh looks like he's sad, so I gave him a sad mouth, and then I added him to the game. I was surprised with how he looks in game, all this waddling looks pretty weird. Also none of his body parts move, which makes him look pretty bad. I decided to spawn Mini Josh with Jumbo Josh, and what happened next was shocking. I'm just kidding, you probably expected this. Next I spawned an army of Mini Joshes, and then I made them fight Jumbo Josh. This is like a Mr. Beast video, 100 kids versus 1 adult. Mini Joshes could actually win this one, there's a lot of them. Never mind, Jumbo Josh seems to be invincible. I decided to give Mini Josh a 5 out of 10, he's kinda missing a lot of things, like moving arms and legs. It's time for the next mob. You're probably wondering where Jumbo Josh came from. I used the warden to make Jumbo Josh, and I gave him a big head, a creepy mouth, and then I added some green texture all around him. Jumbo Josh is massive in game, and he actually looks really good as the warden. Jumbo Josh also tells kids to eat fruits and vegetables to become strong like him, but honestly, I wouldn't let him near your kids. I went to the deep dark to see Jumbo Josh emerge from the ground and then I fed him some fruit and vegetables like he says. Unfortunately Jumbo Josh didn't want to eat the food and instead he wanted to eat me. I would say that I killed him to try and make myself look cool but let's be honest we all know what happened. 
I'm going to give Jumbo Josh a 10 out of 10, and that has nothing to do with him holding me hostage. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Ban Ban. I made Ban Ban from a wither skeleton. I colored him fully red, gave him some eyes and a mouth, and then I added his big tongue. I then gave him his birthday hats on his head, and finally I changed his arms a little bit. Apparently, changing his arms a little bit didn't matter though, because they fully disappeared in the game. Oh wait, they're inside of him. I decided to fix his arms, and this is how Ban Ban looks in game. I decided to visit the nether to try and find Ban Ban myself. Ignore the netherrack, I don't know how this got here. When you think of it, Ban Ban is a devil, so he's supposed to be in the nether. Wait, guys, I was just kidding, I didn't say that. To make things a little more cursed, I decided to replace all the heads on the wither with the Ban Ban heads. Now let's see who will win, the Ban Ban, Wither, or Jumbo Josh. Why is Jumbo Josh not fighting back? Okay, now he's going crazy. Alright, Jumbo Josh couldn't do anything, Ban Ban was flying. I decided to give Ban Ban a 6 out of 10, he doesn't look that great. It's time for the next mob. Next, let's make Ban Bolina. I used a Wither Skeleton for Ban Ban, so I made Ban Bolina from a skeleton. I copy pasted all of Ban Ban's body parts onto her, and then I colored her fully white. Next, I gave her some eyes and drew her mouth, and then finally I added her pink bow on her horn thing. I forgot Ban Bolina also had a problem with their arms, so I had to fix it again. This is how Ban Bolina looks in game, she kinda looks like a weird bunny. I then spawned a Ban Bolina army and made them fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, they're all just fighting each other. Yeah, Jumbo Josh wins this easily. Ban Bolina is cool, but look at me spawning a bunch of crows. I then made Ban Ban fight Ban Bolina to see who would win. I'm sorry, Ban Bolina, I kind of already knew what would happen. I decided to give Ban Bolina a 5 out of 10. It's not because I don't like her, it's just because I don't <laughs> like her. Next, I made Opilla Bird. I used a chicken to make Opilla Bird, and I gave her a long neck, some purple wings, and a yellow beak. I then added these creepy looking eyes to her and added her to the game. Opilla Bird actually looks pretty good as well, but the baby, not so much. At least I don't have to worry about her chasing me though, because she's a chicken. Well, she'll chase me, but she's not gonna do anything, I think. In the game, Opilla Bird is supposed to fall into the ball pit, so I decided to test if she would survive a massive fall in Minecraft. She made it to the ground without taking damage. There is a mini game where you have to feed Opilla Bird six eggs, so I added that to the game as well. Kind of. I tried to swap Jumbo Josh and Opilla Bird's textures around to make a joke, but this just happened. Opilla Bird says laughter is the best medicine, so I'm asking you to laugh at that joke. Do it for her, not for me. I decided to give Opilla Bird an 8 out of 10 because she can't harm me for my opinion. Okay, really? Next, I made Captain Fiddles. I made Captain Fiddles from a strider. First, I shrunk his legs and made his body smaller. Next, I colored him fully blue and I gave him a mouth and some eyes. Then, finally, I added some arms and some hands. Captain Fiddles actually looks pretty good in game, other than the fact that his legs aren't attached. Also, he's a really good method of transportation. Okay, well, he's not that good. He's kind of slow, honestly. You can even spawn a baby Captain Fiddles for whatever reason. His legs are even more broken, but it's fine. It is said that Captain Fiddles is known for his love of music, so I decided to play a song for him. This was really bad, it's supposed to be the Rickroll song, sorry. <laughs> to test if Captain Fiddles is a real captain, I decided to give him control of a boat. I'm going to give Captain Fiddles a 9 out of 10 because there isn't that much wrong with him. I added every monster from Rainbow Friends Chapter 2 to Minecraft. First, I made Cyan, and I used a Ravager because they look exactly the same. I removed this stuff, colored her Cyan, and gave her some eyes. I added Cyan to the game, and she was actually looking pretty good. Oh wait, she's attacking all the villagers. I don't really want her to be doing that. That also made me notice that her legs look really bad when she's running, but other than that, she looks fine. She also has a really big shadow. That looks kind of funny. In the game, you get chased by Cyan, so I decided to see how that looks in Minecraft. Cyan is really fast in the actual game, and she's also pretty fast in Minecraft too, so that's pretty accurate. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. She looks really hungry. Oh wow, she also does a lot of damage. I can't let her hit me again. That would be bad. Since Cyan does so much damage, I decided to see if she can beat an iron golem in a fight. Okay, I don't even have to use the stick. They're already mad. Come on, Cyan. You can beat this guy easily. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. It looks like the iron golem can beat Cyan easily. Oh wait, why did she drop a saddle? That's kind of weird. I decided to give Cyan a 9 out of 10. She looks really good, and her chase in Minecraft is really accurate. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Yellow, and I decided to use a Hoglin to make him. I shrunk his whole body, colored him yellow, and gave him his propeller thing on his back. I added Yellow to the game, and I can't really tell if he looks good or bad. To be fair, Yellow is quite hard to make, so this honestly doesn't look that bad. He also has a big shadow, just like Cyan. That's really weird. Since Hoglins can't live in the overworld, 
I decided to go to the nether to find a wild yellow. Okay, here's a group of yellows that I definitely didn't spawn in. I found them naturally. Oh yeah, there's also a baby yellow, but I think something is wrong with him. Let me know in the comments if you can tell what's wrong with him. It's kind of hard to see. Since yellow is supposed to be able to fly, I decided to see if I can make yellow fly in Minecraft as well. Okay, now you might think hoglins can't fly, but there's actually a secret in Minecraft where if you look at the ground for three seconds and then look all the way up as fast as you can, you can make all the hoglins start to fly. It's definitely not a command, it's just a secret feature. I decided to give yellow an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, he's just really hard to make. It's time for the next mob. Next I made pink, and I made pink from a zombie. I bent his legs, colored him pink, and gave him some eyes. Finally I colored in his eyes, gave him a mouth, and then I added some small cheeks. I added pink to the game and he was burning. Okay, I should probably fix that. When pink is not burning, he actually looks pretty good. There is a slight problem with his legs, they aren't really connected, but other than that, I'm not seeing anything wrong with him. Since pink was supposed to be added to the game, I decided to make him battle cyan and yellow to get a spot in the game. First, we'll do cyan versus pink. Okay, that was kind of embarrassing. I don't think he even hit her. What about yellow versus pink? Okay, this fight is actually looking a little close. And pink still died. I guess we know why he was benched from both chapters. I decided to spawn a baby pink to see what he looks like, and he looked about the same as the big one. I will say the baby one runs a lot faster than the big one, though. This guy is going crazy. I decided to give pink a 9 out of 10. He honestly turned out pretty good, other than his legs. That's the only problem. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make orange, and we will make him from a wolf. Let's change the shape of his tail, and we'll rotate his body. Now, let's give him some arms, and we'll give him some teeth. Okay, these are way too big. That looks better. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys see the problem here. That should be good enough. Okay, his head definitely does not work, though. I guess wolves bend their head a lot. Let's spawn a baby orange. It's the same thing with a bigger head. Let's try to tame orange. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong here. Now, he just has a big red square and his tail is broken. Let's spawn an army of oranges and let's see them take down a skeleton. Okay, the skeleton got eaten in like two seconds. Come on, orange, take down the warden. Oh no, that was fast. All right, I'm going to give orange a six out of 10. He was kind of cursed. It's time for the next mob. Next, we are going to make purple and we are going to make him from a frog. Let's delete all this stuff and we'll change the shape of his body. Now let's color him purple. Now let's extend out his head and we'll make it a little bit round. Now finally, let's give him some eyes and we'll add some black pupils inside. Out of all the mobs to break, somehow this one isn't broken. Surprisingly, I think he looks really good. Okay, these vines need to get out of the way. What about a baby purple? Oh yeah, frogs don't have babies. Let's see purple eat this slime. Never mind, he's not hungry. Oh, never mind, he just attacked him. He looks so weird when he's swimming. Let's spawn an army of purples. Wow, purple jumps so high. The noise they make is really interesting. Let's see if purple can take down orange. Okay, I don't think purple knows how to fight. Let's spawn a bunch of slimes. Okay, they're all too big. I love how there's no animation, the slime just travels to their mouth. Alright, I'm going to give purple a 10 out of 10. I thought he looked really funny. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made red, and we are going to make him from a strider. Let's remove his hair, and we'll shrink his body. Now, let's make him a bit shorter, and we'll color his head red, and let's color his pupils black, and finally, we'll give him a couple shoes, and I think that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with his legs, but other than that, I think he looks good. Oh god, why does it take so long for his legs to turn? Let's go to the nether, and here we have a red walking on some lava. Okay, seriously, what happened to his legs? It's like they're backwards or something. I mean, now they're on the right side, but somehow that made it worse. Okay, that's close enough. We're just gonna ignore that. Let's ride a red. Wait, this is the wrong fishing rod. Okay, this looks weird like it usually does. Let's see a baby red. Okay, baby red just has no legs. Let's spawn an army of reds. Okay, red army, follow me. Isn't this weird? Because red is supposed to tell me what to do. Alright, I'm going to give red an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we will make green, and we will make him from the warden. Let's shrink his body and head. Now, let's color him fully green, and we'll color the back of his mouth black. Next, let's give him a bunch of white teeth, and we'll copy these to the top. Next, we'll extend out his eyes, and we'll make his eyes circular. Now, finally, let's draw his pupils, and that looks good. Let's see it in game. I don't know how I feel about this one. There's something about the way he moves that is very terrifying. He's also very tall. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm not going to lie, he kind of looks like a cactus monster. Let's find green in the deep dark. Of course, we have to see him emerge from the ground. I'm not gonna lie, that might be scarier than the warden. I wonder how this thing looks when it's angry. We'll give him a sheep that he can't hit. I'm sorry, sheep. Okay, that wasn't that cool. Let's spawn an army of greens, and let's see if the flash can beat them. Oh, he's running at him. Yeah, the flash will not win that. I give the green rainbow friend a 10 out of 10. He's honestly scarier than the warden. It's time for the next mob. Next, we are going to make blue, and we are going to make him from an iron golem. Let's make his arms a bit smaller, and we'll do the same for his legs. Now, let's change the shape of his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now, let's add his 
his crown, and we'll color it yellow. Next, we'll add the spiky parts on top, and we'll add his eyes, and let's put the circle inside this one, and we'll add the X to the other one. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll put the drool on the side, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's see if Blue can beat Gordon Ramsay easily. Let's see if Blue can beat Thor and Gordon Ramsay. Still too easy. Let's see if Blue can beat Sully. Yeah, Blue literally had no chance. Let's spawn an army of Blues. Oh no. Oh god, this is bad. I think I spawn a little too many. There's so many of them, they can't even move. Sully's not even fighting back. He knows he's doomed. Never mind. Wow, he actually almost beat them. Well, he almost beat like 3% of them. I'm going to give Blue a 10 out of 10. I think he looks perfect. I added every fan-made Garden of Ban Ban monster to Minecraft. First, I made Admiral Krusty, and I'm using a spider for him because crabs are kind of like spiders. I deleted these things, colored him red, and then I added his claws. I added Admiral Krusty to the game, and he was honestly looking pretty good. I think this is probably one of my best looking mobs I've made so far. This actually looks a lot like him. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have boots on his back legs though, so that's not good. But other than that, he looks great. I decided to spawn an army of Admiral Krusty's, and then I got them all to chase me. I don't know why, but this actually looks kind of scary, and I'm not just saying that. It's something about the way their legs move. These are probably just the crabs getting revenge for being locked in a tank at the grocery store. Since Admiral Krusty is a water mob, I decided to see if he can beat a guardian in a fight. Come on, Admiral Krusty, you're the king of the water. You got this. Okay, this fight is taking a really long time. What is going on? And after all that, he still didn't win. I guess Admiral Krusty isn't the king of the water. He lost to a regular guardian, not even an elder guardian. I decided to give Admiral Krusty a 10 out of 10. I really like how he looks. He's one of my favorite mobs so far. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mr. Grimm, and I used a warden to make him because I felt like it. I don't know why. I changed the shape of his body, colored him black, and added some ear things to the side of his head. Next, I gave him a mouth, added some eyes, and gave him teeth. Okay, I don't know why, but he looked really weird before, so I changed everything, and now he looks a lot better. I added Mr. Grimm to the game, and he actually looked kind of scary, but not in a good way. I don't know why, but this dude kind of looks like Santa. I think it's his mouth. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be a beard. I decided to go to the deep dark, and then I made a Mr. Grimm emerge from the ground. Mr. Grimm is a magician, so it makes sense for him to do that. It's honestly a pretty good magic trick. I never even noticed this before, but his animations don't really fit him. It kind of looks broken. I decided to spawn an army of Mr. Grimm's, and then I did the usual. Oh no, they're angry. Why do these guys look so weird when they chase you? Like, look at their head. What is going on? Maybe I should have connected their head to the body, because that looks really weird. I decided to give Mr. Grimm a 7 out of 10. I'm not really sure if he looks good or not. He looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Nighty Boo, and I used a phantom to make him because a bat is a little too small. I changed the shape of his body, colored him green, and then I added his ears. Next, I added his hat, gave him some eyes, and then I made his other face on the bottom. I added Nighty Boo to the game, and I honestly can't really tell if he looks good or not. It's very hard to see his faces. Okay, I guess that looks pretty good. I'm not sure if he really matches the actual Nighty Boo, though. I also don't know why he has these particles on his wings. I guess I'm not up to date on phantom lore. All I know about phantoms is that they're very annoying. Since phantoms like to fight, let's see if Nighty Boo can beat Admiral Krusty. Okay, I'm not really sure if this is supposed to happen. He's just flying up in the air. Okay, I guess Nighty Boo doesn't want to fight. He only fights humans. I spawned an army of Nighty Boos, and then I tested to see how fast they can kill me. Okay, why is it actually kind of hard to dodge them when there's this many? I must have not slept for weeks, because this many phantoms is absurd. Wait, I think I found a way to beat them. They can't catch me. I decided to give Nighty Boo an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but he doesn't really look like the actual Nighty Boo. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Patched Willy, and I didn't really know what to use for this one, so I just used the Ender Dragon. I deleted all this stuff, shaped him into a worm, and then I added his tongue. After that, I colored him in, gave him some spikes, and added all of his eyes. I added Patch Willy to the game, and I don't really know what happened to him. How did he get this tail and neck? That definitely wasn't there on Blockbench. It would definitely make him look a lot better, though, if only the tail had purple on it, too. I will say this guy kind of reminds me of when I made PJ Pugapillar. They're just so similar because of the stripes. There isn't really much you can do with Patch Willy other than wait for him to perch. That actually looks kind of good when he turns around, other than the parts with both colors. And he also looks like he's doing the worm when he's perched, so that definitely fits him. Since there isn't anything to do with Patch Willy, I decided to see if Mr. Grimm can kill him. Okay, I don't really know if he knows where Patch Willy is. He doesn't seem to be attacking him. Yeah, I can't even make them fight with the wand. This is unfortunate. I decided to give Patched Willy a 5 out of 10. He doesn't really look right, and he's also really boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Admiral Krusty's crew member, and I made him from an iron golem because he looks kind of buff. I changed his body, colored him blue, and then I gave him new arms. After that, I added his beak, gave him an eye patch, and then I added his other eye. I added him to the game, and he didn't really look that good. I mean, he doesn't really look that bad,
bad either, but he just doesn't look like the guy in the picture. He looks way less scary. He also kind of looks like that bean guy. I don't know what his name is. Since this guy doesn't have a name, or at least I don't think he does, I'm going to call him Crewmate Chicken, because he kind of looks like a chicken, if that's what he's supposed to be. Since a guardian killed Admiral Krusty earlier, I decided to see if Crewmate Chicken could avenge him. Okay, he easily killed him. I see why this guy is on Admiral Krusty's crew, but since he's only a crew member, let's see if he can beat Admiral Krusty in a fight. Okay, he can easily do that. I don't see why this guy isn't the captain. I decided to give Crewmate Chicken an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look perfect, but he also isn't that bad. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Doom Doom, and we'll use a Ravager to make him. I shrunk his legs, changed his arms, and then I shaped his head. Next, I colored him yellow, gave him some hair, and added his eyes. I added Doom Doom to the game, and he was actually looking pretty good. He looks really angry, and I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a bull, so that's probably accurate. Bulls are always angry for some reason. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be moving a lot faster, though. The actual Doom Doom charges at the speed of light, but maybe it's because he has no one to charge at yet, so let's get him to charge me. I think I'm supposed to be holding out red wool to make him mad. Okay, I was right. Now he's a lot faster. Also, his head is really glitchy, but we'll just ignore that. I already said he looked good. I decided to spawn a Smiley Miley, and then I tested to see who would win in a fight. I don't really think Smiley Miley has any chance. Doom Doom is huge. Look at his head when he attacks. It looks so weird. Yeah, Doom Doom barely took any damage. I guess he's just too OP. I decided to give Doom Doom a 9 out of 10. I really liked how he turned out. He's a scary looking bull. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Hungry Tammy, and we'll make him from a wither. I removed all this stuff, shrunk his head, and then I colored him blue. Next, I added his tongue, gave him some eyes, and added his arms. I added Hungry Tammy to the game, and he was actually looking pretty scary. He probably shouldn't be going on a rampage like this, but I guess it fits his character. Also, his legs shouldn't be floating. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to walk. But other than that list of things that are wrong, he actually looks pretty good. Oh wait, there's also another problem. Apparently, his head isn't connected. Since Hungry Tammy is probably really hungry, it says it in his name, I decided to give him some food next. Okay, I don't think he wants to eat the food. What about in living form? Okay, that's much better. Now he's eating. I decided to spawn a Doom Doom, and then I made him fight Hungry Tammy to see who would win. Okay, this is probably the most unfair fight yet. Doom Doom has no way of attacking him. He's taking a lot of hits, though. He seems pretty strong. Rip Doom Doom. But if you think of it, he is just a giant cow, so that's probably why he lost. I decided to give Hungry Tammy a 9 out of 10. He looks really good, but his legs shouldn't be floating. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Zolflina. And we already have Zolfius, so we're just gonna use this. I colored her pink, added some outlines on her eyes and mouth, and then I gave her a bow. I added Zolflina to the game, and she was honestly looking pretty good. It's kind of hard for her not to look good, though. She's not really a hard monster to make. I will say that her eyes are a little messed up, though. I don't remember it looking like this in Block Bench. Also, I don't know why every time I try to look at her, she looks away. It's really annoying. Since Hungry Tammy is in the screenshot with Zolflina, I decided to make them fight. Okay, I don't think Hungry Tammy is able to fight, and also Zolflina's fireballs do no damage, so this fight will literally go on forever. Or maybe they're just friends and it's supposed to be like this. I went to the nether to find a wild Zolflina, and she honestly looks a lot better in the nether. Her color seems to blend in a lot better here. And then I spawned an army of Zolflinas, and I made them attack me. I don't know why I do this every time. They're just bullying me at this point. I decided to give Zolflina an 8 out of 10. She looks how she's supposed to, but I don't know how much I like her. Next, I made Smiley Miley, and I used an Enderman because she's really tall. I changed her body, colored her blue, and finally I gave her some eyes. Smiley Miley ended up looking really good in game. Well, her face is a little creepy, but I'm still calling it good. Oh, her legs also don't seem to be attached when she walks, but it's fine. She still looks good. Since I made her from an Enderman, I decided to look her in the eyes, and then this happened. Okay, I think there is something wrong with her head, but I can't really tell what. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, please stop. I decided to go to the end to find some more Smiley Mileys, and then I obviously got them to chase me. When will I stop getting mobs to chase me? Probably never. I decided to give Smiley Miley an 8 out of 10. She looks good, but she was a little broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sharky Klee, and I used a warden to make him. First, I changed his body, then I colored him black, and finally I added the fins on his head. I added Sharky Klee to the game, and he actually ended up looking pretty scary, which is good because I made him from a warden. I decided to go to the deep dark to find Sharky Klee, and then I watched him emerge from the ground. I feel like this guy should be the actual warden. He seems to fit the job perfectly. I spawned an army of Sharky Klees, and then I got them all to chase me. What a nice day to go for a swim. I hope there aren't any sharks out here. Wait, where do they go? Oh, there they are. I went too far. I probably should have stayed away, though. This isn't looking good. I decided to give Sharky Klee a 10 out of 10. He honestly looks really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Slime Rancher, and I used a slime to make him because it's in his name. First, I made him bigger, then I colored him a different 
different green, and finally I gave him some eyes. I've never remade a slime before, so hopefully this works. Oh, it actually worked. I didn't expect that. And I didn't expect him to be this big. I think this is the biggest mob I've made yet. Oh, I guess we'll ignore the back here. I didn't realize that would happen. Mojang should change the real slimes to this guy. If he was in the game, I would never enter a super flat world again. I spawned an army of slime ranchers, and it was actually pretty cool because of the different sizes of slimes. I feel like the small one is the size I thought it would be. I also spawned a really big slime rancher, and this looks like something from a really bad horror movie. Pro is terrorizing the city. I decided to see if Slime Rancher could beat Smiley Miley because I honestly didn't know. Okay, it looks like Slime Rancher just doesn't attack. That's unfortunate. And the babies don't want to avenge him either. R.I.P. I decided to give Slime Rancher a 10 out of 10. He looked really good, especially the massive one. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sad Seth, and I decided to use a Wither Skeleton for this one. I changed the shape of his body, colored him red, and then I gave him some extra arms. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I like this guy that much. The bottom eyes kind of look out of place, and also the sword he is holding just shouldn't be there. Actually, I can get rid of the sword. I forgot. It doesn't make him much better, though. You're not even able to see some of his arms. Also, when he walks, his arms go through his body. That's great. Okay, I'm just hating. It's time to move on. Let's see if Sad Seth can beat Smiley Miley in a fight. I honestly think Sad Seth should win this one, because he is a wither. Okay, it appears I'm wrong. Smiley Miley is just built different. I'm sorry, Sad Seth, but I gotta do it. You let me down. I decided to give Sad Seth a 6 out of 10. He looks fine, but he's just too broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Froggy Quack, and I decided to make him from an iron golem. First, I changed his body. Next, I colored him green, and finally, I added his head on the top. Okay, he actually looks a lot better than I thought he would. I thought for sure the head on top would look weirder. I will say the iron golem animations actually fit him pretty well, too. Nothing is broken. But I don't know, he's kind of a weird-looking monster in general, so I'm not gonna say he looks perfect. I decided to spawn a Sharky Klee, and then both of them started fighting before I even did anything. I thought these guys would be friends, I wasn't trying to make them fight. I decided to spawn 5 froggy quacks, and then I made them all fight Sharky Klee for revenge. I'm not gonna lie, I still don't know if these guys can win, they're kinda getting destroyed. Yeah, I don't know, it's not looking good. Come on, froggy quack. Okay, I guess 6 froggy quacks isn't enough to take out Sharky Klee. I decided to give froggy quack an 8 out of 10, he didn't look that bad, but he wasn't the best either. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Whaley Bow. I made him from a pillager. I shrunk his limbs, colored him blue, and then I gave him some eyes. I added Whaley Bow to the game, and he seemed kind of scared. Like, why is he just aiming his bow at me? Oh, it's probably because Sharky Klee is right there, and sharks eat whales. But honestly, I can't really tell if this guy looks good or bad. Like, he looks like the picture, so that's good. But he also kind of looks like a weird cartoon character, and I'm not sure if he's supposed to be like that. I decided to spawn an army of Whaley Bows, and then I spawned one Froggy Quack to see if they can kill him. Alright, Whaley Bow already lost to the shark, but can he beat the frog? Okay, I'm not really sure if they can do it. They're just shooting each other instead of him. He seems to be taking damage really fast though, so it's possible that they could win. No way, the whales actually did it. Maybe they aren't so bad after all. I decided to give Whaley Bow an 8 out of 10. It would have been lower, but I raised it because they defeated Froggy Quack. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Toxic Gazer, and I made him from a witch because they like to throw poison. I changed his arms a bit, gave him a longer neck, and then I colored him green. Next, I gave him an eye, and finally I added these weird things that hang off his face. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this guy. His face looks kind of weird. I think it's the things that are hanging off his head. They don't look anything like the actual monster. I will say the rest of him looks pretty accurate, though. Since Toxic Gazer is toxic, let's see him throw a bottle of poison at me. That's not poison, that's slowness. Oh wait, there we go. That was kind of rude. Don't worry, I got him back. Wait, why is he drinking Zolfius juice? What is going on? I decided to spawn a Whaley Bow, and then I made them fight to see who would win. This is such a weird fight because neither of them can melee, but it looks like Toxic Gazer is gonna lose. He seems to have no interest in the fight anymore. Okay, this just isn't ending. I guess it's a tie. I decided to give Toxic Gazer a 6 out of 10. I didn't really like the way he looked. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Chili. I decided to use a Creeper for Chili. First, I removed his head. Next, I colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. After that, I added his eye, gave him some teeth, and finally, I added his horns. I added Chili to the game, and he actually looked really good. I kind of expected this guy to look bad because he looks really goofy in general, but he might be one of my favorites so far. I will say that his red nose is really bothering me though. It makes him look like a clown. Since Chili is a creeper, I decided to see a supercharged Chili next. Okay, the charge isn't really meant for him. This is kind of cursed. I decided to spawn a toxic gazer, and then I tested to see if a regular Chili can kill him. Okay, he actually survived, and I respect it, honestly. He just stood there and took the blast. He didn't even try to run. I decided to give Chili a 10 out of 
out of 10. I don't know why, but I really like him. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made evil Zolfius. I already have Zolfius, so I just removed his old face, added some white eyes, and gave him a way scare your mouth. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure regular Zolfius is evil already, so this guy must be a menace. I'm scared of what he'll do to me for even looking at him, but I will say he actually looks really good. I think the red under his eyes made him look a lot better. This also reminds me of some of the doors monsters I made because a lot of them look like this. I decided to go to the nether to find an evil Zolfius, and then I decided to have a ping pong match with him. Okay, that wasn't really fair. He was stuck in the ground. I spawned an army of evil Zolfiuses, and then I decided to see how long it would take them to kill me. Okay, off to a good start. They already hit me. This looks like something you would find in your house at 3 a.m. Okay, I'm dead, but that actually took a while. These guys kind of suck. I decided to give evil Zolfius an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but I think I prefer normal Zolfius. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sandy Jacks, and I used a frog to make him, because why not? I got rid of all this stuff, expanded his body, and then I colored him brown. I added Sandy Jacks to the game, and I'm not gonna lie, he was looking kind of strange. This guy looks kind of like a diglet with a crown, and I don't know why, but he also looks like some kind of Burger King mascot. Oh, and he could also look like Mr. Potato Head, I guess. At least he can jump high, that is something good about him. I decided to spawn a baby Sandy Jacks, which isn't a real thing, and then I spawned a tiny slime rancher for him to eat. Wow, he ate that thing instantly, I guess he was hungry. I decided to give Sandy Jacks a 5 out of 10, I don't really like him, he looks weird. Next, I made Hunky Jake, and I used a warden. I changed the shape of his body, colored him pink, and then I added his hat. I added Hunky Jake to the game, and he was actually looking pretty good. Okay, maybe his animations don't really match him, but if he isn't moving, he looks fine. I also just noticed that his head keeps going into his body, but unfortunately, it's gonna stay like that. Since Hunky Jake looks really strong, let's see if he can beat an Iron Golem. Okay, this was stupid. He obviously can beat an Iron Golem. He's a warden. Since Hunky Jake is a warden, I decided to go find him in the deep dark. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. I was expecting the animation to be broken. I decided to spawn an army of Hunky Jakes, and then I watched them all chase me. Oh no, they're getting angry. Yeah, I wouldn't want this to happen to me. They look so scary with no legs. I decided to give Hunky Jake a 9 out of 10. His animations are broken, but he looks good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made the Jester. I used a pillager for the Jester. I colored one half purple, added some spikes, and then I gave him some eyes. I added the Jester to the game, and he looked pretty good. He looks a lot better than I thought he would. His face looked kind of weird in block bench. He also needs to stop aiming the bow at me. I'm not hostile. Next, I decided to see who would win, the Jester or Hunky Jake. I think we already know what's gonna happen. Yeah, the Jester got one hit. He had no chance. I decided to spawn an army of Jesters, and then I put them all against Hunky Jake. Okay, they might be able to win this time. There's a lot of them. That is if they stop shooting each other. Yeah, Hunky Jake wins this one too. Hopefully, the Jester is more powerful in the real game. I decided to give the Jester an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but also kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Evil Bambolina. For this one, I used a piglin. I colored her white, added some creepy eyes, and then I gave her some horns. Oh, that's not a piglin. That's a pig. Evil Bambolina actually looks really good in game. She might be even better than Evil Ban Ban. Oh yeah, she turns into a zombie. We have to go to the nether. But as I was saying, she actually looks really scary, even in Minecraft. Come on, Bambolina, give me some pearls. No, that's not what I wanted. I decided to spawn a baby Bambolina, and it looked just as scary, and then I spawned an army of evil Bambolinas. Oh, some of them have drip. After that, I decided to get chased by all the Bambolinas. I won't be late for class again, I'm sorry. I guess she doesn't want to send me to the principal's office. I decided to give evil Bambolina a 10 out of 10. She actually looks pretty scary in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Sharp Claw, and I used an iron golem to make him. I changed the shape of his body, colored him pink, and then I added his eyes. Okay, this actually looks pretty good in game. Well, at least he looks like the picture. His nails are also really dirty. This guy definitely needs a shower. Sharp Claw kind of looks like Barney, so let's see if he's a friendly dinosaur. Okay, I don't think he wants to be friends. He's kind of mean, actually. Because he's so mean, I decided to make him fight Hunky Jake. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. We already know Hunky Jake can beat an Iron Golem from earlier. But what about four Sharp Claws? Okay, one is already dead. This isn't looking good. Dang, Hunky Jake is crazy. Yeah, I guess four Sharp Claws can't take this guy out. He's invincible. I decided to give Sharp Claw a 7 out of 10. I'm disappointed that four of them couldn't kill a Hunky Jake. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charlie Cake. I decided to make him from a creeper. I deleted all this stuff, shaped him into a cake, and then I colored him in. After that, I drew his faces, added these things, and gave him some eyes. I don't think this is the right cake. He doesn't appear to be moving. Charlie Cake actually looks pretty decent, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. I don't know how he ended up this small. I will say he looks like he tastes a lot better than the actual cake, though. Hey, man, I was just kidding. I'm not gonna eat you. I decided 
expected to see a baby Charlie cake, and then I realized that isn't real, so instead I spawned a supercharged Charlie cake. Okay, I think the charge is a little bit tall for him. Oh, and the head is also moving. That's kind of weird. I decided to spawn a sharp claw, and then I tested if supercharged Charlie cake can one-shot him. Oh wow, that actually did a lot of damage, and he wasn't even really close to him, so he probably could have killed him. Here you go, sharp claw. I'll fix you up. I decided to give Charlie cake a 7 out of 10. I don't really like how he looks. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Cyclopus. I used a hoglin to make him. First, I deleted all this stuff. Next, I colored him in, and then I gave him an eye. After that, I gave him teeth, added his arms, and I put the collar around his arm. Cyclopus actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm not sure why he is shaking. Oh yeah, he turns into a zombie. That's why he's shaking. I went to the nether to go and find Cyclopus, and this is how he looks without the shake. I'm not gonna lie, he looks kind of like Stinky Joel from the last video, except he's red. This guy is walking a lot slower, though, and he looks like he wants to eat me for dinner. What about a baby Cyclopus? Okay, this guy is way too small. I don't think he can even jump up one block. I decided to spawn an army of Cyclopses, and then I made them all chase me. I don't know why they're so much faster now that they want to kill me. This is unfair. Okay, I need to stop getting chased by things. This is like the third time this video. Cyclopus and Evil Bambolina are both nether mobs, so I decided to see who would win in a fight. Bambolina has a bow. She should be able to win this one. Okay, never mind. Cyclopus actually won. I decided to give Cyclopus an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Crabzilla. I made Crabzilla from a strider. I moved his legs, shaped his body, and then I colored him red. After that, I gave him some eyes and some claws. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not what his legs are supposed to look like. I don't know how this always happens. I tried to fix his legs and this is what Crabzilla looked like in game. I'm not gonna lie, he looks pretty good other than when his body randomly turns without his legs. But stuff like that is normal around here, so he looks good. I spawned a baby Crabzilla and he looked about the same, except for his feet sinking into the ground. And then I decided to ride a Crabzilla. Okay, so I'm kind of sitting on his eyes, so I'm not sure if he can see. Yeah, there's definitely mobs that look good when you ride them, and this is not one of them. Also, I like how the baby is just following us around. That's kind of funny. I decided to give Crabzilla a 9 out of 10. He looks looks good, but his body is broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mr. Smitty. I used a Vindicator to make him. I shrunk his legs and arms, colored him pink, and then I shaped his head. Next, I gave him some nostrils, added his eyes, and then I put the orange things on his back. Okay, Mr. Smitty actually looks pretty good in game. I like how his arms are crossed like that. It makes him look cool. But other than that, I don't know. He looks kind of boring. Since Mr. Smitty is a Vindicator, I decided to see if he can beat Sharp Claw in a fight. These guys kind of look like relatives. I think Mr. Mr. Smitty is Sharp Claw's little brother. He fought him like his little brother too. He got destroyed. Since Mr. Smitty lost to Sharp Claw, I decided to feed him a villager to make him happy. I don't like him as much with the axe out. He looks kind of scary. RIP villager, Mr. Smitty was too fast. I decided to give Mr. Smitty a 6 out of 10. I'm not sure why, but I don't really like him. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Remy. Remy is a dog, so I used a wolf. I colored him orange, shaped his mouth, and then I gave him some eyes. After that, I added his teeth, and finally, I gave him some feet. I added Remy to the game, and he looked a little bit better than he did in Block Bench. I'm not gonna lie, he looked pretty bad in Block Bench, though, so at least this is a little bit better. I wish I could say the same for the baby one, though. Why is his head so big? Don't worry, guys. Nothing to see here. I decided to tame a Remy, and this is what he looks like when he's sitting down. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the dog from Mickey Mouse. Maybe he's supposed to be a scary version of him or something. To see if he really is scary, I decided to make him fight Evil Bambolina. Okay, he can't be making those noises when he gets hit. I feel bad. Wow, he actually almost lost. That one was close. I'm going to give Remy a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he isn't really good either. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Last Cat. I used a cat for this one, obviously. I moved his legs, colored him pink, and then I shaped his head. Next, I colored his mouth, gave him some eyes, and finally, I gave him some teeth. Okay, this one is probably one of the worst mobs I've made, but it also looks pretty good for what it is. Like, I can't really see how I could have made this better. He just looks bad in general. What about a baby last cat. Okay, this is just too small. It kind of looks like a mouse. I decided to tame a last cat, and this is what he looks like when he is sitting down. Okay, I think there's something wrong with his front legs. They aren't really connected anymore. Since last cat is a cat and Remy is a dog, I decided to see which one of them will win in a fight. Okay, I guess dogs are stronger than cats. This settles it. I decided to give last cat a 6 out of 10. He looks worse than Remy. Next, I made fairy Aruru, and I know she's gonna be in the actual game, but I'm still making her. I colored her body purple, gave her a face, and then added her wand. I added her to the game and her head was looking kind of broken, so I decided to fix that. Okay, that's still a little messed up, but it's good enough. Also, her feet are both on the same leg, but I'm not fixing that. Only one fixed per mob. Oh yeah, I forgot that happens. Since Fairy Aru 
Ruru was made from a hoglin, I decided to go find her in the nether. I'm not usually a fan of these guys because they like to hit you from far away, but I guess for Fairy Ruru, I'll make an exception. Since Banban -Ban is also a nether mob, I decided to see who would win, Banban -Ban or Fairy Ruru. Dang, Banban's -Ban going in. Wait, Banban -Ban actually won that. I thought Fairy Ruru was gonna win, not gonna lie. I decided to spawn an army of fairies, and then I made them all chase me. Hopefully this doesn't happen in the actual game, because these guys are kind of scary. Also, their legs look kind of funny. I'm going to give Fairy Ruru an 8 out of 10. Other than the broken and stuff, she looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Tall Victor. I used an Enderman for Tall Victor because he's tall. I colored him fully green, added these things on the bottom, and then I gave him an eye. After that, I added his goofy mouth, gave him a broccoli head, and fixed his arms a little bit. I added Tall Victor to the game, and he actually ended up looking pretty good. He looks kind of funny when he walks, though. I don't really think it's supposed to look like that. Since Tall Victor is supposed to be a vegetable, it only makes sense to make him fight Jumbo Josh. Okay, yeah, Victor. Victor had no chance, Jumbo Josh eats too many vegetables. I went to the end to find more tall victors, and then I got them all to chase me. I don't even know if this is scary, his face looks kinda goofy. Okay, well even if it's not scary, it's still deadly. Tall Victor, you better apologize for killing me or I'm not looking away. I'm going to give Tall Victor a 9 out of 10, he honestly looks pretty good, especially as a meal. Next I made Nibbler. I decided to make Nibbler from a wither, cause well, I don't know, I just never use the wither. I kinda forgot to record me making Nibbler, so here Here's me adding some orange things on his arms, cause that's all I have. I spawned the Nibbler in game, and he was honestly looking pretty crazy. Ignore the black spot on the bottom, I didn't know this would happen. I'm pretty sure Nibbler doesn't fly around and attack random mobs, so I don't think this is accurate. I'm also not sure if you see it, but he kinda looks like the guy from Monsters Inc. There's honestly not much to do with this guy, so I decided to see if he can beat Jumbo Josh. Jumbo Josh is the most powerful Banban -Ban mob so far, but he might lose this one. Yeah, Nibbler's health bar is barely moving, this isn't looking good. Good. Come on, Jumbo Josh, you can win this one. Okay, I was lying. There's no way he was winning this one. I guess I'm gonna have to step in and end this. Yeah, I had even less chance than Jumbo Josh. Nibbler is too good. I decided to give Nibbler an 8 out of 10. I honestly can't really tell if he looks good or bad, so I'm just gonna go with good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Miss Luna. I decided to make her from a bee because I think she's a bug. I colored her body purple, gave her some eyes, and then I added her crown. After that, I added her dress, gave her some legs, and finally added her wings. She actually ended up looking pretty good in game. The flying suits her well. I will say her eyes look kind of weird though. She looks sad. I decided to spawn a baby Miss Luna and it looked exactly the same. I don't really know what I was expecting. Miss Luna is probably pretty good at fighting so I decided to put that to the test. Okay maybe I was wrong. She didn't even really fight. I spawned an army of Miss Lunas and then I decided to make them all follow me. Okay this one isn't that scary. Oh wait why is she upside down? Wait I just noticed that bees like to attack Zoglins for some reason. Look at them all ganging up on the Zoglin, like what is going on? I decided to give Miss Luna an 8 out of 10. She looks really good, but she doesn't really do anything. She's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Dr. Fluffy Pants. I made him from a panda. I moved his head, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next, I added his eyes, gave him some ear things, and made the heart on his chest. Dr. Fluffy Pants is definitely an interesting name for a guy like this. He looks kind of buff. Also, we'll ignore his head. I know it's broken, but I don't care. Wait, look at him rolling around. That's kind of crazy. Since I made him from a panda, I decided to feed Dr. Fluffy Pants some bamboo. Yeah, there is definitely something wrong with him. This is not okay. I decided to spawn a baby Dr. Fluffy Pants, and this is what happened. Well, the good thing is I can't break him by feeding him bamboo. The bad thing is his head is floating higher than before by default. Oh, wait, they're following me because I'm holding bamboo. I didn't even realize. Since Dr. Fluffy Pants is a doctor, I decided to see if he can perform an operation. Alright, I guess he doesn't feel like doing it. He's just gonna leave this villager to die. I decided to give Dr. Fluffy Pants a 7 out of 10. I like how he looks, but his head is broken. We can't excuse that. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Chef Pigster, and I made him from a pig. I gave him his face on his chest, added his other head on the top, and then I gave him some sideways arms. Chef Pigster actually looks pretty good in game, but I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a lot bigger. His arms also don't move with his head, but I'm not fixing that. Chef Pigster is supposed to be a chef, so I decided to see if he can cook me a meal. I probably shouldn't have chosen a pork chop. That's kind of messed up. After that, I decided to spawn a baby chef pigster. I kind of forgot that all the baby pigs have this weird thing with their head. Also, there's an eye on his back. Not sure how I didn't notice that. I spawned an army of chef pigsters, and then I made them all follow me. Yeah, this definitely isn't scary at all. I decided to give chef pigster an 
8 out of 10. His bottom head looks really good. Not the top head though, I don't know what this is. Next I made Coach Pickles. I used a strider to make him because he kind of resembles a strider. I made his legs a lot bigger, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. Next I added his trunk, gave him some weird looking eyes, and then I added his ears. Okay, I'm pretty sure something is wrong, but I can't really tell what. I fixed his legs and this is how he looks in game. He honestly looks pretty good. Okay, his other foot is attached to the wrong leg still, but I'm just gonna leave it. Also, we ignore the missing texture here. It doesn't look like that in Blockbench. Coach Pickles probably coaches some sort of sports team, so let's see if he can beat me in a snowball fight. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's see what a baby Pickles looks like. He looks just about as cursed as the big one. I decided to ride a Coach Pickles, and I'm pretty sure that something doesn't look right. I'm going to give Coach Pickles a 7 out of 10. He honestly looks kind of weird. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Nab Nalina. I already made Nab Nab, so I just took the Nab Nab model and changed it a little bit. First, I made the tongue a different shape, then I fixed her eyes, and finally I colored her pink. This is kind of weird. For some reason, she looks just like Nab Nab. I also forgot that Nab Nalina is supposed to have a bow on her head, so I added that. When I made Nab Nab, I got him to chase me, so I had to get chased by Nab Nalina as well. This looks just as scary as last time. I also found a way to make it look like Nab Nalina is chasing me on a roof, just like how Nab Nab does in the game. Well, she doesn't chase me, but it looks like she's on a roof, so that's cool. I decided to have a fight between Chef Pigster and Nab Nalina, and you will never expect what happened next. Okay, it was kind of obvious what would happen, I'm just bored. I decided to give Nab Nalina a 6 out of 10, because that's what I gave Nab Nab, and they look the same. It's time for the next mob. Next, I decided to make Hunter Tim. I made Hunter Tim from a Ravager. First, I made his head bigger, then I colored him purple, and I added some hair to his head. I also gave him a big wide mouth, added his eyes, and gave him a couple of arms and feet. Hunter Tim looks kind of strange in game, but at least nothing is broken this time, I think. Since Hunter Tim is a Ravager, let's see him take on a villager. Wow, he's fast. His head looks kind of weird when he attacks, but that's fine. Also, I'm pretty sure hunters aren't supposed to kill villagers, they're supposed to kill animals to feed the villagers. But I guess Hunter Tim is just built different. To see if he really is built different, I decided to challenge him to a fight. Yeah, I had zero chance, I can't even tell where I was supposed to be hitting. I decided to spawn an army of Hunter Tims, and then I made them fight a warden. The warden seems to be killing a lot of them, but they might actually win this. Dang, the Hunter Tims actually won. I mean, it was a 10v1, so it's not really an accomplishment, but I'm still surprised. I'm going to give Hunter Tim an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. For the next mob, I made Stinky Joel. I used an iron golem to make him. I shaped his body, colored him green, and then I added these teeth things. After that, I gave him some eyes, colored his legs, and then I rotated his arms a bit. I don't think I even have to say something is broken, because you already know it is. I fixed his arms, which took a while, because I somehow put both arms on the wrong side, and this is how Stinky Joel looks in game. He kinda stinks. I'm just kidding, he doesn't actually look that bad. I decided to see who would win in a fight, Stinky Joel or Hunter Tim. This fight is actually a lot closer than I thought. Stinky Joel won. I'm actually kinda surprised, I thought Hunter Tim had that. Will he beat two Hunter Tims though? Nope, two Hunter Tims is too many for him. I spawned an army of Stinky Joels, and honestly I'm not sure why, I didn't even do anything with them. I then gave Stinky Joel a bottle of Dragon's Breath, because that's the stinkiest thing I could find, and then I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad, but he isn't interesting enough. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Noodles Ninja. Since Noodles Ninja looks like a jellyfish, I decided to make him from an Elder Guardian. I removed all this stuff, colored him blue, and then I gave him a mouth. After that, I added his eyes, added some noodles on the side, and then I gave him some arms and legs. Surprisingly, nothing broke with this one. His legs are in the ground, but he's supposed to be in the water anyway, so that's fine. Also, the sound he makes is kind of weird, but I didn't add that. That's not my fault. Let's see a baby Noodles Ninja. Oh yeah, that's not a thing. I decided to spawn a Noodles Ninja in the water, and this is how he looked. He looks a lot better in water because you can actually see his legs. He would also look a lot better if his arms and legs moved, but I'm not doing all that. I decided to fight Noodles Ninja to see if he really is a ninja. I really should get some armor for these fights. I decided to give Noodles Ninja an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but his eyes are kind of scary. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Silent Steve. And Silent Steve is a serpent, so I made him from a warden. Because those two are the exact same thing. I deleted everything except his body, colored him purple, and then I started shaping his new body. After that, I started making his head, gave him some eyes, and then I added his tongue. Yeah, this looks really bad, but it's gonna have to do. At least he isn't broken. He also kind of moves like a serpent, so that's cool. Okay, maybe that's not how a serpent moves, but I'm pretending it does. Since Silent Steve is a serpent, it only makes sense to spawn him in the water. Surprisingly, it actually looks like he belongs here. I decided to see if Silent Steve or Noodles Ninja is the superior water monster. Okay, this fight is kind of weird. I don't think the warden can melee in water. But even though he can't melee, Silent Steve still won. Okay, that's enough Silent Steve for now. He's kind of cursed. I decided to give Silent
want Steve a 3 out of 10 because I just don't really know what this is supposed to be. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs in the Skibbity Toilet. The first character I'll make is a regular toilet, and I'm gonna use a villager. You'll see why in a second. First, let's delete all this stuff because we don't need it, and then we'll turn this cube into the bottom of the toilet. Let's color it white, and then we'll start making the toilet more circular. Now let's expand these walls up a little bit more, and we'll put some blue toilet water inside of the bowl. Now let's use the villager head as the head. I'll obviously fix the texture later, and I'll just make the back of the toilet like this, and I'll also make the toilet seat in front of it as well. Now let's color all this in, and we'll fix the villager head texture. Now let's put a little flush button on the back like this, and now our toilet is pretty much done. I just have to add an animation for this guy, just like in the actual series. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's add it to the game. This is how the skibbity toilet looks in game. It honestly looks really good. The only real problem I see is this weird spot on the neck here, but that doesn't really matter. In the actual series, when a toilet dies, there's a flush animation, so I added that to this toilet as well. Oh yeah, he also drops cocoa beans when he dies. Those are definitely cocoa beans. The skibbity toilet is also hostile towards players because a player is technically a cameraman. This is what happens when you don't subscribe. You get chased by toilets. Overall, I think the skibbity toilet turned out pretty good, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now, obviously, our toilets need an enemy other than me, so next I'm gonna make a cameraman. And I'll use a zombie since zombies hate villagers. We'll start by making a little shoe down here, and now we'll start to give him a leg. Now, let's copy the leg over to the other side, and now let's work on his body. I'm gonna give him some long arms like this, and now I'm gonna start to shape the camera on his head. Let's just put some walls around the lens like this, and then we'll give him the headphones that he wears as well. Now it's time to color this guy in. Let's start by coloring the edges of the camera, and then we'll color some parts of his suit black. And now let's just add some details to his suit as well. The cameraman I'm looking at also seems to be wearing a coat, so let's give him that as well. Now let's just add a little bit of texture to him, and I think that looks good. Let's add him to the game. This is our cameraman in game. He actually looks pretty cool. Okay, I don't really know why he doesn't stop walking. That's a problem. Okay, I fixed the walking issue by giving him this idle animation, and he also has another animation, which is this thumbs up animation. I've been told it looks like something else though. Obviously, the cameraman and the skibbity toilets naturally fight each other, and the fight is actually really even. Come on, cameraman, you can win this. Oh yeah, I made the cameraman drop a command block, because I didn't know what to give him. You can also watch a fight from inside the cameraman, since he's a cameraman. This is definitely not just a feature that exists for every mob. I decided to give the cameraman a 6 out of 10. I know I'm supposed to be on his team, but I don't like him as much as the toilet. Next, I'll make a strider toilet. And let's use a spider, because he kind of looks like a spider. First, let's remove everything except his legs, and we'll copy the old toilet on top like this. Now we can give the old toilet some texture again, and now let's make it so he only has three legs. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, we can add an extra limb to each side of the legs so that they can bend, and we'll just repeat that on each side. Now this looks pretty good, but the strider toilet is kind of dirty and broken, so we have to add that too. So let's just add a black spot down here, and we'll make the entire toilet seat black, and also make it look like it's oozing. And now we can change the villager's face. I want to give him some big eyes, so first we'll do that, and now we'll just give him a creepy mouth, and we'll also just give him some shading on his head. And that looks kind of cursed, but that's what we wanted. Let's see him in game. This is the spider toilet in game. He kind of looks like the Joker. The spider toilet is also insanely fast compared to the other mobs, which doesn't really help him look less scary. Like, look at him chasing me. This is almost a horror mod. The strider toilet is also a lot stronger than a regular toilet, as he's able to take on two cameramen at the same time. Only one player, though. He definitely didn't almost kill me. Oh yeah, I also made it so you can ride him, because you can ride an actual strider, so it made sense. I think I'm going to give the strider toilet a 7 out of 10, just like the regular toilet, because he isn't any more interesting. But the mobs are about to get more interesting, because next I'm gonna make the titan speaker man. And I'm using a vindicator, because they also hate villagers. First, I'm going to use the same leg I made for the cameraman, and just copy it here. And then we'll change the shape of his body a bit, and give him some better looking arms. Now let's start to color what we have so far. We'll make the pants dark gray, just like on the cameraman. And then we'll color the shoes black as well. Now we'll just color his arms and chest red for now, and then we'll work on making his speakers. I'm gonna make the speakers with no texture first to see how they look, and I think that's some pretty good speakers, so let's just color them all black. And now we'll start to add the actual speaker parts with the red ones first, and we'll also add a few gray ones as well. Now we can make the red thing that comes out of his chest like this, and we'll also add his plasma blaster on the side of his arm. Now we'll just add some texture all around him to make him look a little bit nicer, and that's the Titan Speaker Man complete. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the Titan Speaker Man in game. He's definitely a little bit bigger than a cameraman. I also decided to give him a boss bar so you know that he's a big deal. If any type of toilets get within range of the Titan Speaker Man, he shoots powerful plasma bombs at them. You can tell they're really powerful because he almost died from his own attacks. If the Titan Speaker Man does manage to die, he will drop a note block. And I would play the Speaker Man song right now, but I don't really want to get copyrighted. 
end. The Titan Speaker Man is honestly my favorite mob right now, and because of that, we're going to give him a 9 out of 10. But it turns out the Titan Speaker Man got infected, so let's make that next. I used a Wandering Trader as the base, but that doesn't really matter because we've already made the Titan Speaker Man. We just have to add a few details to make him infected, like this yellow light instead of red, and we'll also add some blue stuff to show he's infected. Okay, never mind, we'll get rid of that. This is the Infected Speaker Man in game. It was honestly kind of hard to tell the difference between the two, so I added these particles to make him look infected. Oh yeah, and there's also a different boss bar as well, but no one is looking at that anyway. One difference between the infected and regular speaker man is that the infected one can fly. I don't know if he's supposed to be able to do that, but it definitely makes their fight more interesting. Their fight also makes no sense because there can't be two titan speaker men at once. Okay, the infected speaker man is way too OP because he can fly. I'm going to give the infected speaker man a 9 out of 10 as well because they're basically the same thing. Next, I'll make the TV woman, and I'm going to use a witch to make her. Let's remove all this stuff, and now we can make the bottom of her leg. Let's color her shoe black, and then we'll add the top half of her leg as well. Now we can copy the leg over to the other side, and next let's work on her body. First, I'm gonna make her a bit taller, and let's put her arms behind her back. Now we can color her shirt black, and we can also change the shape of her arms. And now that looks pretty good, but obviously we have to change this head. So let's make it into the shape of a TV like this, and we'll color this outside part dark black. Now let's color the inside a light shade of blue, and next we can give her some antennas. Now finally, let's just add some texture all around her body, and I think that looks really good. Let's add her to the game. This is how the TV woman looks in game. She actually looks really good. I also don't know if you noticed, but I made her switch between nothing and the face she does every few seconds. The TV woman has less health than the Titan Speaker Man, but her attack is much faster. This means that when they fight, it's actually kind of close. It also means she can take out a bunch of toilets at once, and they literally can't do anything. I also made the TV woman teleport away when she gets low on health, just like how she teleports in the actual series. She doesn't really teleport that far away, but that's so the fight remains fair. If you kill the TV woman, she drops a piece of glass from her TV screen, which is pretty useless, but it makes sense. And she also makes witch noises all the time, which is kind of funny. I'm going to give the TV woman a 10 out of 10. I think she turned out really good. Next, I'm going to make the G-Man toilet. And since I used a villager for the regular toilet, it only makes sense to use an iron golem for this one. Let's start by deleting everything except the head. And now let's paste the head onto a toilet body like this. Now, obviously the G-Man toilet isn't the same color as the regular toilets, so let's just color them in. And now this is a pretty good base, so let's start adding some detail. The G-Man toilet has these orange glasses, so let's just give them to our iron golem as well. And we can also add the headphones he wears as well. Now let's just make the bottom of the toilet more reinforced, and we're also gonna add the dark gray shields he has all around his body like this. And that is looking pretty good. Now let's add his lasers. The G-Man toilet has six lasers in total, so that's how many I added on our toilet as well. Now for some final details, let's add some more reinforcement to the back of the toilet, and we can also add some texture to the accessories we just gave him. And we're done with the G-Man skibbity toilet. Let's add him to the game. This is the G-Man toilet in game. He is definitely the biggest mob we've made so far. The G-Man toilet is also by far the most powerful mob we've made so far. He is basically able to insta-kill the TV woman and the Titan speaker man doesn't do much better against him either. I thought that I could take out the G-Man toilet, but it also didn't go well for me either. He is too good. If you kill a G-Man toilet, he drops a totem of undying because I didn't really know what to make him draw. I also like how he makes an iron golem sound when you hit him. It actually fits him. Honestly, the G-Man toilet is one of the best looking mobs I've made so far, and because of that, I decided to give him a 10 out of 10. The only problem is that he's too powerful. We need someone that's able to beat him. So next, I'll make the Titan TV Man. And I'm gonna use a Ravager, because that's the most powerful villager-hating mob. So first, let's just get rid of this random stuff, and we'll also rearrange his body parts so they are more TV Man-shaped. Now we can give him some legs like this, and we'll color his pants and shoes black. Now let's give him his body, and we'll also use this to give him some arms as well. And now we'll also give him some hands like this, and now it's time to give him his TV head. Let's make the black outlines first, and then we'll just give him a blue screen in the middle. The Titan TV man appears to be wearing a coat, so I'm going to give him one of those as well. And now let's just give his clothes a little bit of texture like this, and we'll add the purple thing that glows in the middle of his chest. Now finally, let's just add these purple things that come off his back, and that is our Titan TV man. Let's see him in Minecraft. This is how the Titan TV man looks in game. He's honestly not as intimidating as I thought. Don't let that trick you though, because he's definitely the most powerful mob yet. Okay, there might be a slight problem with his walk. I feel like it shouldn't look like that. Similar to the TV woman, I made it so his face changes every few seconds. I also made it so he teleports away when he gets low as well, although I don't think that's happening. This is what happens when the Titan TV man fights the G-Man toilet. I don't think the toilet had any chance. Maybe like five of them could kill him. Nope, not even five of them can do that. I decided to give the Titan TV man an 8 out of 10. Even though he's really powerful, I don't think he looks as good as the others. Next character 
I'll make is the Titan Cameraman, and I'm gonna use the Warden to make him. First, I'm gonna give him a leg from the Cameraman we made last time, and then I'm just gonna remove all this stuff that we don't need. Now let's copy his leg over to the other side, and we'll just shape his body to match his legs a little bit more. Now let's just change the shape of his legs a little bit, and I'm gonna color in his pants and shirt black for now. The Titan Cameraman's arms obviously aren't this big, so let's give him some new arms, and let's just give him some fingers as well. Now let's just copy this thing over to the other side, and now we can work on adding his head. First, let's start to make the main camera like this, and we'll give him a little lens in the middle as well. And now let's just add some detail to the side like this, and we'll also put some of those things sticking up on the top as well. And I think that looks pretty good. Now let's start to give him some more detail. First, I'm gonna give him a belt like this, and then I'm gonna add his coat that he's wearing right here. And of course, we're gonna give him his core in the middle as well. And now let's just add these things that he has on his back. And I'm also gonna add some texture to him like this. And I think he looks pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is the Titan Cameraman in game. He actually looks really good. Look at him hard at work, recording yes, everything sir. in sight. The Titan Cameraman is really strong, and he is able to destroy the G-Man toilet. Well, sometimes. And sometimes he just decides to not hit him. I guess he's just being fair. The Titan Cameraman also has a ranged attack, but for some reason he only uses it when he's already meleeing, which makes no sense. But I'm not fixing it, because it would probably make him way too OP. Subscriber, the Titan Cameraman will mistaken you for a toilet. If you do kill the Titan Cameraman, he drops a spyglass, which is probably the closest thing to a camera in Minecraft. It's a lot better than a command block, at least. I'm going to give the Titan Cameraman an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good, but his fighting isn't the best. Now that we've made all the Titans, it's time to upgrade them, so next I'm gonna make the upgraded Titan Speaker Man. Let's take the Titan Speaker Man that we made last time, and we'll start by expanding his arms out and getting rid of his belt. Next, I'm gonna add these things that attach to his speakers like this, and we'll just do the same thing on the other side as well. The upgraded Titan Speaker Man has a bright red eye, so I'm going to add that as well, and we'll also make his core the same color so it looks a bit brighter. Now let's just copy his plasma blaster over to his other arm as well, and next I'm going to add these shields that he has over his ankles. The upgraded Titan Speaker Man also has some speakers on his chest, so I'm gonna add those right here, and now I'm just gonna add these antenna shaped things on the top of his head. Finally, I want to give the Titan Speaker Man a jetpack, so let's just add a cube like this, and I'm gonna add a bunch of smaller cubes as well, and I think this looks really good. Let's add him to the game. This is the upgraded Titan Speaker Man in game. This guy is actually massive. He's also moving really fast, and I'm not quite sure how that happened. The upgraded Titan Speaker Man is pretty much the same as the regular Titan, except he's way more powerful. Well, he isn't actually that much more powerful. He just shoots faster. If you kill an upgraded Titan Speaker Man, he drops a pig step music disc, and I'm not really sure why. I just picked a random music disc for him to drop, and that was the one. But I don't think you're gonna kill this guy, because he has way too much health. I think I'm going to give the upgraded Titan Speaker Man a 9 out of 10. I honestly really like how he looks in game. Next, I'm going to make Cinema Man, and I'm gonna start by using the Titan TV Man from last video. First, let's make his body a little bit wider like this, and next I'm gonna give him a new and improved jacket. Now let's just color his pants a bit darker, and we'll also make his head a little bit wider as well. I'm also going to lift up his head a little bit and give him a neck, and now it's time to start adding the speakers on his body. I'm going to start by making the helicopter speakers first. So let's just draw in a helicopter blade like this, and we're gonna copy this to the other side so he has one on each shoulder. Now it's time to give him the massive speaker on his chest. So first I'm gonna make a black box like this, and then I'm gonna copy the speaker part nine times to match the actual speaker. Now let's just change up his coat a little bit more, and we'll add these things that he has on the side of his arms like this, and finally I'm going to give him a jetpack on his back. And that's the Cinema Man complete. Let's see him in the game. This is how Cinema Man looks in game. He looks way better than the regular Titan TV Man. Oh yeah, he also does the face thing. I forgot about that. I ended up nerfing the Cinema Man's damage because the Titan TV Man was way too OP, and now he's just a little bit better than the G-Man toilet. Well, that is if they hit each other, of course. I also fixed the Cinema Man's walk animation so it doesn't look weird like the Titan TV Man did. And overall, the Cinema Man is just an upgraded version of the Titan TV Man. Because that's what he's supposed to be. Oh wait, I just noticed there's a couple bites taken out of the back of his head. I'm not really sure how that got there. Other than that, I think the Cinema Man turned out pretty good, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the upgraded Titan Cameraman. So let's just take the Titan Cameraman that we made earlier, and the first thing we'll do is make his arms a little bit bigger. Now let's change his jacket a bit and make it go all the way down to the middle of his legs. And next we'll add the shields that he has around his knees. Now let's add the thing that goes around his core right here, and we'll also add this gray piece which might be from his shirt, I'm not even sure. Next we'll give him some slightly different looking hands like this, and now it's time to add some details to his head and shoulders. First we'll add the cannons that he has on his back like this, and next let's add some of the upgrades that he has on his cameras up here. I'm also gonna add the red light 
light on the very top as well. And next, I'm going to give him a jetpack. So let's make the first part of it like this. And we'll just rotate these parts out a little bit. And we'll also add some blue ones as well. And finally, let's add a little bit more texture to him. And I think he's looking good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the upgraded Titan cameraman looks in game. This guy actually looks really good. I will say there is a little bit of a problem on the back of his arm though, but you can barely notice it. The Titan cameraman is able to fly, which I thought was a good idea, but I think he's going a little too high up. Okay, I stopped him from being able to fly, and now he's a lot better. The upgraded Titan cameraman is a little bit stronger than the regular Titan cameraman, and this time his ranged attack actually works. He also has a thumbs up animation just like the regular cameraman, but this time I actually gave him a thumb, so it isn't mistaken for anything else. The upgraded Titan cameraman is fire resistant, just like in the actual series, and if you do kill him, he drops the same thing as the regular Titan cameraman because I'm on original. Overall, I think the upgraded Titan cameraman turned out really good, so I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Now that we have all these upgraded Titans, they need some competition, so next I'll make the upgraded scientist toilet. And I'm gonna use a skeleton for him because he looks really old. So let's just remove his whole body because we'll only need his head. And I'm just gonna copy the toilet that we used for the G-Man onto him like this. Let's just get rid of all the G-Man upgrades and we'll color the toilet a light brownish color just like we did for the G-Man. Now let's give him some toilet water so you can't see into the bowl. And we're going to give him a neck like this. The scientist toilet seems to be wearing glasses, so let's just give him some of those. And we'll also put the red spot that he has on the left part of the glasses as well. The scientist toilet is wearing the upgrades that Cinema Man used to have on him, so we're going to add those next. First, I copied the main speaker from Cinema Man and put it on the front like this. And then I copied the two helicopter speakers and put them on each side as well. Next, we'll just make the back part of the toilet a little bit bigger, as it's kind of small right now. And I'm just gonna add these gray things that he has on his back as well. Alright, now we need to give the scientist toilet his arms, so I'm going to start making an arm like this. And I'm actually gonna color this lighter gray, it's too dark. Now let's copy this arm onto the other side, and I'm just gonna rotate the arm like this to make it look a little bit nicer. Now finally I'm gonna add this light thing on the side of his head right here, and I think that looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the upgraded scientist toilet in game. This guy is by far the biggest mob we've made. And he's not just the biggest mob, but he's also one of the coolest, as he's able to hover on the ground instead of walking. The upgraded scientist toilet is insanely powerful. This is what he does to a regular titan speaker man. He literally didn't even have a chance. Now let's try the upgraded titan speaker man. That wasn't much better. It's probably going to take a combined attempt from all the titans to take this guy out. Come on titans, you can do it. Okay good, they managed to kill him. If they didn't, he would have been way too OP. I also made the scientist toilet drop a brewing stand when you kill him because that's science I guess. I don't really know. And if you look closely, you can see that he shoots through the red part of his glasses because I'm pretty sure he's supposed to do that. I'm going to give the upgraded scientist toilet a 10 out of 10. I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite mob so far. He looks really good. Next, I'm gonna make the parasitic skibbity toilet. And I'll use a silverfish because that's the closest thing to a parasite. First, let's get rid of all this stuff. And we'll just start to make the shape of a toilet like this. Now let's color the toilet a backroomsy looking color. And we'll add this rectangle part that comes up from the back. Actually, I'm gonna change the color a bit. It's way too yellow. Next, I'm gonna add a long neck for the head like this. And now we're just gonna give him a villager head just like the regular toilet. Next, let's change his face a little bit to make him look more like the parasite toilet. And let's add the little pipe thingy on the top of the toilet like this. Now it's time to start adding some texture all around the toilet like this. And now let's start to give him some legs. And we'll copy these legs over to the other side like this. And now let's just rotate them a bit so they point more outwards. And I think that's a pretty good parasite toilet. Let's add him to the game. This is how the parasite toilet looks in game. This guy is way too tiny. And because he's so small, he's also really fast, which makes him kind of scary to get chased by. There are two sizes of parasite toilets, small and large. And I know the large one is supposed to look different, I just didn't feel like making the other version. If a large parasite toilet bites a titan speaker man, he will turn infected. And if a small parasite toilet bites a cameraman, it will infect him as well. I also added an infected version of the upgraded titan speaker man, but there's a very small chance that he gets bit before killing the parasite. The parasite toilets are also able to be deployed by the upgraded scientist toilet, which I actually think is a pretty cool way for them to spawn. Overall, the parasite toilet turned out pretty good other than this weird spot on the side that I'm not sure how to fix, so I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make a regular speaker man, and I'm gonna use a vex to make him because that's a villager hating mob. First, let's take a leg from the cameraman like this, and we'll just move these body parts for now because they are definitely in the wrong place. Next, let's color the speaker man's pants a light gray like this, and now it's time to add his body. First, let's expand the body out to make it a lot bigger like this, and then we'll start to give him some arms as well. Now, let's also give him some fingers at the bottom of his arms, and now we'll just color all of this in for now. I'm gonna add the speaker man's jacket next, so let's work on that, and now it's time to give him a head. We'll start by 
by giving him a neck first so his speaker isn't floating. And now we'll shape the head into a speaker. And let's just color the speaker a little bit darker than his suit. And we're gonna give him the actual speaker part in the middle like this. Okay, now that we have a speaker head, let's give him some headphones. And let's also put the headphone band at the top like this. And now I'm gonna give him some extra texture all around his suit like this. And I'm also gonna give him a tie and a belt on his shirt. Alright, I think this guy looks pretty good. It's time to add him to the game. This is our speaker man in game. He definitely looks a lot better than I expected. Okay, what is up with all the speaker men being so fast? I swear I don't know how this is happening. The regular speaker man has the same strength level as a regular cameraman, which means the only thing he can really kill is the regular toilet. But the speaker man doesn't actually kill the skibbity toilets. Instead, he just sits on top of them, just like in the actual series. It is kind of weird though, because the head doesn't disappear. The regular speaker man is also able to do the speaker man dance if you right click him, and this is probably one of my favorite features I've made so far. It looks so funny. If you kill a speaker man, he drops a jukebox, which pairs really well with the pig step disc from earlier, or you can use it to play my favorite music disc, which drops from the infected upgraded titan speaker man as well. Overall, I think the speaker man is one of my favorite mobs so far, so I'm gonna give him a 10 out of 10 as well. The dance is just too good. Next, I'll make a large speaker man, and since I used a vex for a small speaker man, I'm gonna use an evoker for the big one. First, let's delete all this stuff, and next I'm gonna use the regular speaker man's leg, but I'm just gonna make it bigger. Now let's copy the leg over to the other side, and we'll just shape his body so it fits his legs. Now let's color his legs black for now, and we'll color in his white shirt on the top as well. Okay, now that's looking pretty good. Let's start to give him some arms, and we'll just copy this over to the other side. Now let's color the arms the same color as his shirt, and we're going to give him some long fingers as well, and now it's time to add his head. So let's just color the speaker in dark black, and we'll add the first speaker part in the bottom middle like this, and let's just add a few more of these and also color around them a bit, and now it's time to add a few more details like this belt down here, and we're also going to give him some texture as well, and I think that looks really good. Let's see him in game. This is the large speaker man in game. He is definitely a lot larger than a regular speaker man, and just like the regular speaker man, you can make this guy dance as well, although it looks kind of broken because I just copied it from the original speaker man. The large speaker man is a lot more powerful than a regular speaker man by far. He is actually so powerful that he's able to one-shot himself with his own attack. I also made it so his attack animation looks kind of like a punch because it was supposed to be for his melee attack. The only problem is that he only uses his ranged attack, so it's useless. If a large speaker man dies, he drops a cat music disc because some of the other ones drop music discs, so I decided to just do that. And honestly, that's all there really is. He's just a large version of the speaker man. I think I'm gonna give the large speaker man a 9 out of 10. I like how he looks, but I don't think he's better than the regular speaker man. Next, I'm gonna make a large cameraman, and I'm gonna use a pillager because we haven't used that yet. So let's just remove a few of the things we don't need, and I'm mainly gonna use the same body as the large speaker man, so let's add the legs first, and we'll just color them in all black like this, and now let's copy over the large speaker man's body, and we'll just color this black for now as well, and now let's just copy over the arms from the large speaker man as well, and we'll color these in just like we colored in the other parts before. Alright, now it's time to turn this head into a camera. So first we're gonna make the lens part of the camera like this, and we'll add the film part coming off the back like this, and now let's just add a few more details, and we'll color the front part of the camera black, and now let's color the back part a similar color, and we're gonna color the film a lighter gray so it stands out, and now that looks pretty good, so next we need to add the detail to his shirt. I'm gonna start by adding a tie like this, and then I'm gonna add a coat on the top because all the cameramen wear these long coats, and now I'm just gonna add a bit of texture around his body like this, and I think that looks good, let's see how he looks in game. This is the large cameraman in game, he kinda reminds me of the large speaker man. I won't lie, his legs going through his coat like this looks kinda weird, but other than that, he looks pretty good. I also made the large cameraman noticeably shorter than the large speaker man because he's supposed to be the shortest out of the large variants. The large cameraman has more health and does more damage than a regular cameraman, but I decided to make it so he only melees unlike the large speaker man. It's probably for the better though, as we saw what happened before. In the series, the large cameraman has a baton which he uses to stun toilets, so I made it so he drops a stick when he dies which is supposed to be a baton. The large cameraman also stuns low level toilets when he hits them which is supposed to act as the baton shocking them. Like usual, I gave the large cameraman a thumbs up animation, and this time there's absolutely no possible confusion because I made his arm bend. Overall, I don't like the large cameraman as much as the speaker men, so I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make a TV man, and I'm gonna use an enderman because the TV man teleports. First, we'll change the shape and size of his legs because they were a little big, and now let's color this in, and we'll also give him some shoes. Now let's add the top part of his legs like this, and now it's time to make his body. The TV man wears a large trench coat, so we're gonna add that over top as well, and now it's time to change the shape of these arms, and we'll also rotate it a bit like this, and now let's just give him some fingers like we've done for the other mobs. 
knobs. Okay, now that's looking pretty good, it's time to add his head. First, I'll make the black outlines that go around the TV screen, and then I'll add the bluish screen that the TV man has on the inside. And I think that's pretty good, let's just add a few more details. First, let's add some buttons on the front of the coat like this, and we'll just make some parts a little bit darker like this as well. And now finally, we'll just add a little bit more texture over the top, and I think that looks good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the TV man looks in game. He's a lot taller than I thought he would be. Similar to the TV woman and the Titan TV man, I made it so the TV man flashes between nothing and one of the faces he does as well. In the actual series, the TV man is able to stun the toilets with his screen, so I gave the TV man a ranged attack which stuns low level toilets just like the large cameraman does when he hits them. The attack itself doesn't do much damage, but if there are other alliance members around, it allows them to easily finish the toilets off. The TV man is also able to teleport when he gets low, just like the TV woman. And if you kill the TV man, he drops an ender pearl because he's an enderman and I just didn't change it. Overall, I don't think the TV man turned out that bad, but he's also not amazing, so because of that, I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the moist critical toilet, and I'm gonna use a creeper to make him. Let's start by removing all this stuff because we don't need it, and we're gonna take the regular toilet's body and copy it over here. Now let's color the whole toilet a dark grayish color. Now let's color his neck for now, and it's time to work on his upgrades. First, we'll put this gray thing on the front like this, and let's add some of the black spots as well. And now let's change the shape of the toilet seat a bit like this. Next, we'll give him the computer part on the top. Now let's expand this part out a bit like this. And now let's add a few more details to the bottom one as well. Next, I'm going to add his jetpack. So let's add a big cube like this. Now let's add some more details to it so it isn't just a black cube. Next, let's add more armor on the bottom part here, and we'll give him the small cannons that he has on each side like this. And now let's add the big cannon here as well, and we'll just copy this to the other side. Obviously, this creeper head doesn't look like moist critical, so let's color this part in, and we'll start to give him some hair like this. Now let's draw his eyes, and I'm going to make them look like this because he has a lot of pupils. Next, we'll give him a nose, and we'll also add some facial hair on the bottom. Now let's add his glasses over top. Okay, I don't think that looks bad. Let's add him to the game. This is how the moist critical toilet looks in game. He definitely looks good. Well, the toilet part looks good, but it kind of looks like he has buck teeth. In the series, the Jesus toilet mimics the TV attack, so I gave him the same attack that the TV woman and TV man have. And this makes him pretty powerful as he's able to take out multiple large cameramen at once. Not enough to take out the Titan speaker man, though. If you kill the Jesus toilet, he drops nothing, which is weird because I thought I gave him a drop. And if you listen closely, you can hear him making a woo sound. This is the moist critical toilet's reaction to you subscribing. Overall, the moist critical toilet doesn't look that bad, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the glitch toilet, and I'll use a chicken to make him. First, we'll delete the parts we don't need, and now let's copy the toilet over from the regular toilet. Now, let's color the toilet a really dark gray. Next, let's add a plate on the front like this, and we'll just connect these plates to the toilet down here. And now, I'm just gonna add the little things that stick out on the side like this. Okay, that looks good. Now, let's work on the back of the toilet. First, I'm gonna change the shape a little bit like this, and now I'm going to add this gray thing he has up here, and we'll just add another layer underneath, and then we'll add one more layer like this, and we'll color this one darker gray. Now let's add a long piece right here, and we'll copy this over to the other side too, and next we'll add another piece on the side like this, and I think that looks pretty good. Now it's time to work on his head. First let's color in his neck, and then we'll color his head as well, and now I'm going to give him some creepy eyes like this. Next we'll add his mouth on the bottom, and we'll also put the little amount of hair he has up here. Okay, that looks really bad, so let's just change the whole face a little bit, and we'll give him some ears like this, and I think that looks better. Let's add him to the game. This is the glitch toilet in game. I'm not sure if giving him this head was a good idea. I also love how he makes chicken noises. It just doesn't fit him at all. The glitch toilet is ridiculously fast, so it kind of looks like he's glitching, and I also made his head animation look like it's glitching as well instead of being smooth like the other toilets. When the glitch toilet attacks another mob, he starts glitching around like crazy, sort of like his super speed attack in the real series, and he's actually able to kill the titan speaker man by making him attack himself because he's glitching so much. If you kill the glitch toilet, he drops nothing, but this time it was intentional because I wanted to make him drop a glitched item, but it just didn't work. Overall, I think the glitch toilet looks creepy, but he's still pretty good, so because of that, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make the ninja cameraman, and I'm going to use a husk because I'm running out of villager hating mobs. First, let's just use the original cameraman body to start, and I'm gonna remove his headphones because I don't know why I even added these. Now, let's move his head up a little bit, and we'll also make his neck bigger. Next, I'm gonna color his camera a dark grayish color, and I'll color this thing slightly lighter, and now let's work on his body. First, I'll change the color of his tie area like this, and I'm going to make the whole suit a lighter gray, so let's just color this in, and then we'll color his pants in as well to match it, and now let's move the coat back, and we'll color it darker gray as well. Next, I'm gonna color his hands black, and I'm also gonna give him some fingers as well, because the old cameraman didn't
didn't have them. And now let's start to add the light things under his camera. And we'll just add another piece and color it lighter gray as well. Okay, now let's just add some extra details to his suit. And I'm gonna give him some texture like this. Now finally, let's add his plungers. And he's going to have one in each hand, so let's copy this thing over. And that looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the ninja cameraman in game. He basically looks like a normal cameraman. The only difference is he's wielding a couple of plungers, unlike this guy who has nothing. The plunger cameraman is slightly stronger than a regular cameraman as he's able to one-shot a regular toilet. He also does good against a spider toilet as well, but the glitch toilet is definitely his weakness. I also made the ninja cameraman the first mob to drop a custom item as he drops a plunger. The plunger does one more damage than a netherite sword, making it a really useful weapon. It also means you can one-shot toilets with it, making them no longer able to terrorize me. The ninja cameraman also has a thumbs up animation, which is more advanced this time because he puts the plunger away first. Don't ask how he gets it back though, he must be magical. I'm going to give the ninja cameraman a 9 out of 10. I just really like his plungers, I don't know why. Next I'm gonna make the assailant astro toilet, and I'll use an allay cause allay is kinda close to alien I guess. First I'm going to delete all this stuff we don't need, and like usual let's take the body from the regular toilet. This time I'm going to color the toilet a brownish color, and I'm just gonna remove the bottom of the toilet to add a new bottom instead. So let's add some circular layers on the bottom like this, and we'll color them each a different shade of brown. This kinda looks like a badlands biome. Now let's give the toilet some water up here, and it's time to start working on the ring that goes around him. I'm going to color the square orange like this, and then I'm gonna make another part inside which is light gray. Now let's add the piece that connects it to his body right here, and I'm just gonna copy this thing all around his body so it's orbiting him. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to work on his head. I'm going to keep the allay head this time, cause we saw what happened last time, and we'll start adding a brown helmet all around his head, and I'm just gonna put the black stripes that he has on top of it, and that doesn't look that bad. Now let's add his cannon. So let's just copy a bunch of these squares until it kind of looks like a cannon, and we'll just color this one red like this. Now finally, let's add some texture all around his body, and I think this is looking good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the astro toilet in game. Something definitely looks out of place. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have kept his head as an allay. It looks really weird. But other than that, he turned out pretty good, especially the rotating part. It looks so cool. In the actual series, the assailant astro toilet is able to instantly warp away, so I gave it a chance to randomly warp away in game as well, which is really annoying when you're trying to record it. The Astro Toilet is the only mob that actually flies and doesn't just hover above the ground, which makes him really OP when he gets in a fight. I also made him attack the G-Man Toilet because he is seen doing that in episode 60, but I wouldn't say his strength level is the same as he barely does any damage to the G-Man Toilet. Overall, I think the Astro Toilet looks pretty good other than the Allay Head, so because of that I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Next I'll make the Speaker Woman, and I'll use a Piglin because they both like dancing. Let's start by removing all of this stuff, and we'll make her legs a little bit longer like this. Now let's give her some shoes and we'll color them pink, and now let's just color her pants a dark grayish color. Next I'm gonna change the shape of her body a little bit like this, and I'll also make her arms a different shape as well. And now let's just color all this stuff in, and now it's time to work on her speakers. First I'll make the main speaker like this, and then I'll put the little ones that she has on the side, and now we'll give her the main speaker part in the middle, and let's just add her headphones, and I think that looks pretty good. Now let's just add a few more details, like this purple part on her shirt, and this extra coat layer on top, and we'll just give her a bit of texture as well, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add her to the game. This is how the speaker woman looks in game. She doesn't look that bad. Well, she looks kind of weird with the shaders, but it's fine. In the actual series, the speaker woman dances while she walks, so I made it so that when the speaker woman walks, her arms go up in the air, so it looks like she's dancing. Well, kind of. It doesn't really work. And of course, when you right-click the speaker woman, she does the regular speaker dance as well. The speaker woman is very powerful and can one-shot the low-level toilet. And I also made her attack animation look like she's loading her speakers up with knives, but it also looks like she's hitting the gritty. If the speaker woman dies, she drops a chirp music disc because there isn't a pink music disc, so red is kind of the same. And overall, I think the speaker woman turned out okay, but she definitely wasn't the best, so I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the Mutant Skibbity Toilet, and I'm going to use the Wandering Trader even though I already used him because that didn't really count. First, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need, and I'm gonna use the large speaker man's body, so let's just paste a head on like this. Now let's start to change the shape of his body, and we'll color this part white because it's going to be a toilet. Now let's extend this toilet part out a bit more, and we'll add these outlines which will be the seat like this. Next let's give him a new tie because we got rid of the old one, and now it's time to make him look a bit more mutated. First I'm going to move his arms down, and I'm going to rotate them a bit to make them stick out. Next we'll give him a neck piece like this, and we'll start adding the pipe that comes out of the back of his head. Let's just add some gray spots all around the toilet like this, and we'll color the tie a little bit more red. And now let's add some texture on the back part and on the neck like this, and I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the
the game. This is how the mutant toilet looks in game. This guy definitely looks pretty weird, especially the head part, which not only rotates, but now it changes size as well. In the series, the skibbity man is meant to be really fast, so I made the mutant toilet run really fast in game as well. This also makes him really powerful as nothing is really able to get away from him. The only way to get away from him is by subscribing. If you kill the mutant toilet, he drops a zombie head because mutant is kind of the same category as zombies. I don't really know. It's all I could think of. And overall, I think the mutant toilet looks pretty good, but there are a few problems like this weird texture on the back. So because of that, I'm going to give the mutant toilet a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm going to make the large TV man. And I'll use an ender dragon because I used an enderman for the regular TV man. First, let's delete all the dragon parts because we don't need those. And I'm going to use the regular TV man as a base. So let's copy all of this over here. Next, I'm going to make his body bigger. So let's do that. Now let's add a new coat over the top as well. And next, I'm going to work on his arms. I'm going to make the arms a little bit bigger. So let's just do that. Now I'm going to color both of these arms the same color as his suit. Okay, now that's looking pretty good. It's time to give him his TVs. First, I'm going to add the thing that connects them to his body right here. And we'll color this whole thing a lighter gray. And now let's remove all this stuff and change the head into a TV. Now let's add some outlines on the side and we'll color them a darker black like this. And we'll also color in his noisy TV screen. Now let's just add a stick coming out from the side like this. And we'll just put a smaller TV that looks the same coming off of it. And now let's copy this over to all four sides like this. And I think that's looking really good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the large TV man looks in game. I have to say he's definitely one of my favorites out of the TV people. I will say it's kind of weird that he makes ender dragon noises though. The large TV man is really powerful as he's able to kill multiple mutant toilets at the same time. I can't really remember if that's accurate or not, so I'm sorry if it isn't. The large TV man also has the same attack as the TV woman as it's the closest thing I'm able to make to his actual attack in the series. Also similar to the TV woman, if the large TV man gets low on health, he will teleport away before he can be killed. Although he doesn't teleport really far. Overall, I think the large TV man turned out pretty good in game. I especially like his TVs. So because of that, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 because he deserves it. Next, I'll make the detainer astro toilet. And I'm gonna use a wandering trader llama to make him. First, let's remove all the parts we don't need like usual. And then I'll take some of the parts of the assailant astro toilet and copy it over. Now let's color the top part of the toilet a brownish gray like this. And now let's just add another smaller part on the bottom here. And that looks pretty good. So now it's time to add the circle part he has on the bottom. First, I'm gonna make a rectangle like this. And now let's just copy this rectangle over and over again until it kind of looks like a circle. Next, I'm gonna color in the toilet water right here. And I'll move the llama head down so it looks like it's coming out of the water. Next, I'm gonna give him a helmet because the astro toilets wear helmets. And I'm not gonna lie, that kind of looks like it's supposed to be hair, but it's fine. Now I'm gonna give him his arms starting with the one on the top. And I'm gonna add a claw looking thing that's attached to the arm. And I think that looks fine. So now let's work on his right arm. Now we'll add the clamp thing he has on the end here. And we'll copy one on the other side so it looks a bit better. Let's do the same things we did for the last arm. Except this time we're gonna give him a knife attached on the end. And let's just add the little things that come off the sides like this. And I think that looks good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the detainer astro toilet in game. I was definitely expecting the llama head to look a bit worse. It's a lot better than his knife at least. Which kind of looks like a peeled banana that is spinning. Similar to the assailant astro toilet that we made last time. The detainer astro toilet also has the ability to randomly warp away. And once again this doesn't really help when you are trying to record him. The detainer astro toilet is also able to fly just like the assailant one, but this time it doesn't really help him because most of the time he just forgets to attack his enemies. If you kill the detainer astro toilet, he drops a chorus fruit because when you eat them you teleport just like he teleports. And the detainer astro toilet also attacks the G-man toilet just like the assailant did, but it doesn't really seem like he's gonna kill him anytime soon. Overall, the detainer astro toilet didn't turn out that great, so because of that I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the rocket toilet, and I'll use a bee to make him because it can fly. I don't know, I'm running out of mobs. First, I'm gonna delete the legs off the bee. Now, let's color the toilet a dark grayish color, and we'll change the bottom of the toilet a little bit like this. Now, let's remove the toilet seat, and we're gonna change the back of the toilet as well. So, let's just make this piece bigger, and now we'll copy it a few times and rotate it like this, and let's just change the shape of the top part and move it as well. Now, that looks pretty good, so let's add the wall he has in the back, and we'll color the wall the same color as the toilet like this. Now, let's also give him a floor just like the wall. Now this is looking pretty good, let's add his rockets. I'm going to make a small square like this, and then I'm gonna make a smaller one on the inside. Now let's copy this until we have three of them on each side, and now let's color the middle piece a slightly lighter gray, and we'll also add a little bit of texture like this. Now let's give the bee a neck, which makes no sense, but it looks better than if he's floating, and we'll also add a helmet just like the astro toilets had. Now let's just add some fire coming out of the rockets, and I think that's looking really good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the rocket toilet looks in game. 
something about this looks kind of weird. Using the bee as the head was fine, but it kind of looks like the bee has Elvis hair, I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, the rocket toilet actually looks pretty cool. The rocket toilet is incredibly powerful, and he's able to one-shot most of the mid-level alliance members. He also makes an explosion every time he attacks something, and the only real problem is that he dies most of the time he attacks. That's similar to what happened in the actual series, though. If you kill the rocket toilet, he drops a firework rocket because that was in his name and it's kind of funny, but I have a feeling you won't be killing the rocket toilet, as he does a ton of damage. Overall, I think the rocket toilet doesn't look that bad, but he just looks kind of boring, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll make a speaker strider, and I'm gonna use a strider to make it, because it's in the name. First, let's remove the hair, because we don't need it, and next, I'll change the shape of the legs a bit like this. Now, let's move these legs way further apart, and we'll shape the main strider head into a speaker like this. Next, I'm gonna make another part of the leg, and we'll make this part a bit thinner, and we'll also add a thinner part on the bottom. Now, I'm gonna copy this leg onto each side like this, and next, let's add some cubes on the back of the speaker as well. Now, I'm gonna color the entire speaker dark gray, and I'm gonna color the legs a little bit lighter gray, and now it's time to work on the details on the speaker. First, let's add some walls on the sides like this, and we'll add the main speaker thing here in the middle. Now, let's just add a few more walls going the other way, and we'll just add a cube on top of the speaker part like this. Next, I'm gonna color in all these parts different colors of gray, and I'm gonna add a few more black parts on the side. Now, let's give the speaker some extra detail like this, and I think that's looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the speaker strider in game. He actually looks really good. Not that it was very hard to make him look good, though. It's not a very complicated design. Similar to the strider toilet I made a while ago, I made it so you can ride the speaker strider as well, which looks kind of weird, but this time I had a reason to do it because the speaker striders are controlled by speaker men, so this is kind of the same thing. The speaker strider is also able to climb walls like a normal spider can, but the only problem is I forgot he takes fall damage. If you kill a speaker strider, you get a jukebox, which I'm pretty sure I've used as a drop before, but this time it makes a lot more sense. And if the speaker strider gets in a fight, I just gave him the regular speaker attack, but for some reason he waits until he is really close to use it. Overall, I think the speaker strider looks really good, so I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the airstrike toilet, and I'm going to use a blaze to make him because they can both fly. First, let's get rid of these things because we don't need them, and I'm going to use the body from the regular toilet, so let's copy that on. Next, let's put the shield thing that he has in the front here, and now let's start to work on the first rocket underneath. Now let's copy this thing over to the other side. Next, let's make a fan like this, and we'll just copy this fan all around until there are six fans. Alright, now this body is looking good, it's time to give him some color. First, let's color these shield things a little bit lighter gray, and we'll color his rockets a few different colors as well, and we'll just color the toilet water blue, and now it's time to give him a head. Now we'll give him some hair like this, and I'll just give him a mouth and some eyes, and finally, let's give him some headphones on top of his head. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see how he looks in game. This is how the airstrike toilet looks in game. This guy actually looks pretty cool. I will say it's kind of weird that he makes blaze noises though, they are a bit loud. The airstrike toilet isn't the most powerful toilet in the game, but he's still pretty good, as he's literally able to one-shot a large speaker man. It's not the same for a titan speaker man though, as he's actually immune to his attacks, just like in the actual series. Subscribe if you want to be immune like the titan speaker man. The airstrike toilets are usually seen working in groups, so I made it so that there's a chance that three of them spawn when one of them gets attacked. This makes it really annoying to kill them, especially if you are using your fist. If you kill the airstrike toilet, he drops a TNT because that is the closest thing in the game to an airstrike, and overall I think the airstrike toilet turned out pretty good other than the blaze noises, they are very annoying. So because of this, I decided to give the airstrike toilet a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the new police toilet, and I'll use a guardian because it has guard in the name, and guards are kinda like police. First, let's remove all this stuff that we don't need, and we'll just copy a toilet body with a jetpack over top like this. Now let's color this entire body a greenish gray color, and I'm gonna add one of these shields in the front like this. Now let's work on the thing that goes over top of his guns right here, and we'll just copy the gun underneath like this. Alright, now let's add a cube on the top that is gonna be his lights, and we'll color one side red, and the other one will be blue. Okay, now this is looking good, so let's start to color some stuff in. We'll color a bunch of stuff dark gray like this. Now let's color his toilet water blue, and we'll color his neck in as well. And now it's time to work on his head. And now let's add his hat on the top. Next, we'll give him a mouth, and we'll add a mustache on top. And let's give him a nose, and we'll also give him some eyes above that. And I think that is looking good. Let's add him to the game. This is the police toilet in game. I would say he definitely looks pretty good. The police toilet also makes some pretty weird noises, just like the airstrike toilet, except this time they are kind of scary. The police toilet is really powerful when he's able to attack and isn't just missing all his hits. And he even freezes his enemies when he hits them because he's placing them under arrest. Officer, I didn't kill those skibbity toilets, I swear. The police skibbity toilet is pretty 
pretty fast as you can see which makes it really difficult to run from the police as well. I guess the only way to avoid going to jail is by fighting back. If you kill the police toilet he drops a debug stick which is supposed to be like a police baton, I don't really know. And overall I don't think the police skibbity toilet turned out that bad. The only thing that really needs to be fixed is the scary noises he makes. I had no idea Guardian sounded like that. But yeah, I think he looks good so because of that I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 as well. Next I'll make the knife speaker man. And I'm going to use a piglin brute because we made the speaker woman from a piglin. So let's delete all this stuff because we're gonna use a regular speaker man's body. Next I'm gonna color his suit a way darker gray. Now let's color his undershirt a dark reddish color instead of gray. And now let's just make this layer dark gray as well. And let's add some red detail to his arms like this. Alright now it's time to color in his speaker so we'll just make his speaker a lot darker. Now let's color the actual speaker part a really dark red. Now let's give him a knife in his hand right here. And we'll also copy this knife into the other hand as well. Next we'll start to texture his speaker again just like we had it before. Okay I think this guy's looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the knife speaker man in game. He actually looks pretty good. He also looks a lot more intimidating than a regular speaker man despite being made from the same body. The knife speaker man seems to follow the trend of the previous two mobs as he makes weird noises as well. I don't know how I keep picking all the weird sounding mobs. Similar to the other speaker men, if you right click the knife speaker man he does the speaker man dance but this time he's holding knives which seems kind of dangerous. The knife speaker man also sits on regular skibbity toilets after killing them just like the regular speaker man. There is a new animation for the knife speaker man though and it happens when he spawns. This makes him 10 times more intimidating. Imagine seeing someone do a backflip before they start chasing you. The knife speaker man is pretty powerful as he's able to defeat some of the higher level toilets easily. And if the knife speaker man dies he drops a knife. Not an iron sword, that's a knife. Overall I think the knife speaker man turned out pretty good. I especially like his backflip. So because of this I'm going to give the knife speaker man an 8 out of 10. Next I'm gonna make the jetpack claw toilet. And I'll use a cave spider to make him cause he has spider like legs. First let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. And I'll just copy a toilet body onto him like this. Now let's color the entire toilet light gray like this. And we'll start to make his legs a lot smaller. Now let's copy this leg until we have two legs on each side. And now it's time to give him some arms. Now we'll just add this thing that he has on the front of the toilet right here. And we'll start working on his jetpack on the back like this. And that's a pretty good body so let's color everything in. First we'll make some parts a little bit lighter gray. And we'll put some dark gray parts on the jetpack. Now let's just color the toilet water blue and we'll color in his neck. Alright now it's time to give him a head. And let's add some hair on the top like this. Now let's give him a mouth and we'll add his eyes. And next we'll just give him some eyebrows and a nose like this. Now finally we'll just add some ears and we'll give him some texture. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the jetpack claw toilet in game. It kind of looks like an upgraded version of the strider toilet. Also just like the strider toilet, the jetpack toilet is really fast making him pretty scary to get chased by. In the actual series the jetpack claw toilet ripped the head off a cameraman so I decided to make it so that the cameraman drops his head when he dies to the claw toilet. The cameraman's head can then be used to one hit a bunch of different mobs and also break every type of block pretty quickly. It's definitely a very balanced item. If you kill a claw toilet he drops a goat horn and you might be wondering why I made him drop this completely random item. I did it because it looks like a claw. That's the only reason. There's nothing special behind it. Overall I think the claw toilet turned out good but it's definitely not one of my favorites so because of this I decided to give the jetpack claw toilet a 7 out of 10. Next I'll make a helicopter speaker and I'm gonna use a bat because they both fly. First let's remove everything except the body because that's all we need and we'll make this body a lot larger like this. Now let's start to add the outline part around the speaker right here. Next I'm gonna add a thing to connect the propeller to it. Now let's make the first part of the propeller like this and we'll copy this propeller around until there are six different propellers. Alright now the body is pretty much done so let's start to color it in. First I'm gonna color this part dark gray and next I'll color the entire outside an orangish color and we'll make the actual propellers a lighter gray like this. Okay now it's time to add the actual speakers to it and we'll color the speakers a little bit lighter gray. Now we'll make a few more speakers above this one. Now I'm gonna add a light gray outline to all these speakers we added and I think this is looking good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is the helicopter speaker in game. It actually looks really good. Obviously it wasn't that hard to make it look good though. It's not a very complicated design. The bat noises that the speaker makes are also really loud but it kind of makes sense because that's how the helicopter speaker attacks. The helicopter speaker is pretty powerful as its sonic boom attack is able to one shot low level toilets. But since the helicopter speaker uses a sound based attack it is only able to attack when there are no alliance members around to make sure it doesn't accidentally kill any of them. The helicopter speaker is also able to be ridden just like the strider speaker but this time you can't really see anything so it's kind of useless. If you kill the helicopter speaker 
speaker, it drops the jukebox because it's a speaker, so that's the only thing that makes sense. And the helicopter speaker is also not able to be infected by parasite toilets because apparently that isn't possible. Overall, the helicopter speaker turned out pretty good for what it is, and because of that, I decided to give it an 8 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the upgraded mafia toilet, and I'm going to use a wither because the wither is probably in the mafia. First, let's delete all this stuff because we don't need it, and I'm just going to use the body from the claw toilet I made last time, and I'm just going to color the entire toilet a blackish brown color. Now let's add one of these armor plates on the front of the toilet. Now let's color these armor plates dark gray. And now it's time to add some stuff to his hands. First, I'm gonna add the saw blade that he has on his right arm. And now let's add the acid cannon at the end of his other arm. Now let's copy paste a jetpack on the back as well, because I forgot he has a jetpack. Alright, I think this is a pretty good body, so now let's give him a head. First, I'm gonna color his neck and his toilet water. Now let's give him some eyes and a mouth. And we'll also give him a nose and some eyebrows. And now let's just add his hat on top like this and i think this is looking pretty good let's see how he looks in game this is how the mafia toilet looks in game this guy actually looks pretty good i will say that the wither noises are kind of weird though but they also kind of fit him as you can see the mafia toilet is massive and he's also very fast possibly even faster than the jetpack claw toilet that we made last time okay i wanted to make them have a race but i somehow made it so they attack each other by accident the upgraded mafia toilet is also super powerful as he's able to poison his enemies using the acid gun that he has on his arm. He also gives you nausea with it as you can see, but this only affects players. I'm pretty sure the titan cameraman doesn't mind. Subscribe in the upgraded mafia toilet won't give you nausea. If you kill the mafia toilet, he drops a poisonous potato because he has an acid gun, so it's kind of like he poisoned the potato, I guess. And overall, I think the mafia toilet looks pretty good, and I think his abilities are pretty cool. So because of this, I decided to give the mafia toilet an 8 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the surveillance camera woman. And I'll use a zombie pig because I made the speaker woman from a regular piglin. First, I'm gonna remove some of the stuff that we don't need. Now, let's start working on her leg, and we'll copy it over to the other side. Next, I'm gonna change her body a little, and now let's work on her arms. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's time for us to add her head. First, I'm gonna remove these things, and let's just change the shape of her head like this. Now, let's give her a neck, and now it's time to add some color. First, let's color her flashlight blue, and we'll color the whole outside of her head black like this. Next, I'm gonna color her shirt gray, and we'll color her pants a slightly darker gray. Next, I'm gonna give her a coat, so let's make a big cube like this, and let's color the outside parts of her coat gray, and we'll just draw the rest in right here. Next, I'm gonna add the gun on the back of her head, and I think this is looking good. Let's add her to the game. This is the camera woman in game. She definitely looks pretty cool. I will say the piglin noises don't really fit her, though. I probably should have changed it to something else. There's also a random pink spot on the back here, but we'll just ignore that. It's not there. The camera woman is pretty fast, just like the mafia toilet is, and just like the mafia toilet, the camera woman also has a ranged attack that puts her in attack mode, as you can see. Her attack also freezes her enemies, making the camera woman actually super powerful. The camera woman can also TP away if she gets low on health, because there is a theory that she is able to teleport in the actual series. If you kill the TV woman, she drops a redstone lamp, because it's supposed to be like her flashlight, and just like the other camera people, if you right-click the camera woman, she does a thumbs up, but this time it's double. Overall, I think the camera woman turned out pretty good. She has a lot of cool features. So, because of this, I decided to give the camera woman an 8 out of 10 as well. Next, I'll make the glitch plunger man. And I'm gonna use a drowned, because I made the original plunger man from a husk. First, let's get rid of this stuff, because we're gonna combine the glitch toilet and plunger man from before. Next, we'll add one of these wing things he has on the back. And we'll just copy it over until there's four of them. Now, let's add one of these leg things in the front here as well. And now, let's add these things on the side of the toilet where his arms are supposed to be. Okay, now the glitch toilet is looking a bit better, so it's time to add the plunger man. So, first, First, we'll color the plunger part of the plunger red, and we'll also color the handle black. Now let's color the plunger man's camera in light gray, and I think that's good, so now let's change the colors of the glitch toilet a bit. First, I'm gonna color the actual toilet a lighter gray, and I'll color all the shields a lot lighter gray as well. Now let's color these leg things in the front really light gray, and I think this looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how the glitch plunger man looks in game. He looks really good. Just like the other mobs, he makes really weird sounds, but this time it kind of fits him because it's sort of like a plunger. There is also some kind of bite taken out of his head, but once again, we'll just ignore this. I never make mistakes. You've probably already noticed that the glitch plunger man is able to fly, and he also flies really fast, which makes it super annoying when you're trying to record this guy. The glitch plunger man is also pretty powerful, as he has a ranged attack that is supposed to be him shooting the plungers. Since the glitch plunger man is a repaired version of the original plunger man, I made it so that when the original plunger man dies, the glitch plunger man spawns and takes his spot. This makes him probably one of the most most OP mob 
drops in the game that isn't a titan. If you kill the glitch plunger man, he also drops a ranged plunger attack, which when thrown does a ton of knockback. And overall, I think the glitch plunger man looks pretty cool, so because of this, I decided to give him a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm gonna make the scientist cameraman, and I'll use a giant to make him because the regular cameraman was a zombie. First, let's get rid of all this stuff because we're just gonna use the regular cameraman's body. Next, we'll add this little flashlight thing that he has under his camera, and I'm just gonna make it so his arms bend as well. Okay, now this is a good body, so let's start to recolor him. First, I'm gonna color his shirt a whitish gray like this. Now, let's color the shirt underneath a lot darker gray like this, and now let's just color the outside of his camera white, and now it's time to start giving him his parasite disabler. I don't really know where to put it, so I'm just gonna put it on his back, and we'll just add a bigger part in the front here. Okay, now let's color this part light gray, and this one will be a bit darker, and I'm just gonna add a few more pieces on the outside like this, and let's just rotate it like this, and I think this is looking good. Let's add him to the game. This is the scientist cameraman in game. He basically looks the same as a regular cameraman. There is one slight difference other than the clothes though, and that's the parasite disabler gun that he has on his back. The scientist cameraman can use this gun to either cure alliance members from infection, or he can use it to permanently freeze parasite toilets on the spot. Yeah, this guy is not so scary anymore. Oh wait, he can still infect them. I also gave the scientist cameraman this cool animation when he shoots the parasite disabler, and there's also another animation which is the basic thumbs up that all the cameramen have. If you kill the scientist cameraman, he drops a parasite disabler gun, and when you have this weapon, you can become the scientist cameraman as it literally just does the same things that he does. I guess this means that we don't need this guy anymore. Overall, I think the scientist cameraman looks pretty good, and his gun is definitely a cool addition to the game. So because of this, I'm going to give the scientist cameraman an 8 out of 10. Next, I'll make the scientist TV man, and I'm going to use a zombie villager because we haven't used that yet. First, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff because we'll just use a TV man's body instead, and now it's time to color him in. So first, I'm going to make his coat a really light gray color, and we'll just redraw the front of his coat like this. Next, I'm going to recolor his TV to make it a little bit darker, and we'll just change the TV screen to make it way brighter as well. Now, let's change the color of his shirt underneath to be a darker color, and I'm just going to recolor his pants as well to reset the texture. Next, let's give him some pants right here, and we'll add a belt over top as well. Now, I'm going to add the little thing that he has on front of his shirt right here, and I'm also going to add the antenna thing that comes from behind his TV like this, and I think this turned out really good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is the scientist TV man in-game. This guy doesn't look too bad. I'm hoping this is what he's supposed to look like though, because you can only really see half of him as of right now. Just like the other TV people, I made it so the scientist TV man's screen flashes between nothing and a face, but since it's unknown what face this guy makes, I just made it the smile like the regular TV man. The scientist TV man also has a teleport ability, but unlike the other TV people, he just uses it instantly after being attacked because the scientists aren't known for fighting. According to theories, it is possible that the scientist TV man heals alliance members with his TV screen, so I decided to make it so that he can heal alliance members when he hits them as well. It's kind of weird because it makes them attack him back, but at least he's able to teleport away. Overall, I think the scientist TV man looks pretty cool, but he's definitely not one of my favorite mobs. So because of this, I decided to give him a 7 out of 10. Next character I'll make is the new Titan TV man, and I'm gonna take the old Titan TV man and upgrade him. First, let's get rid of some of his previous upgrades, and we'll change the shape of his body a little bit like this. Next, I'm gonna change his arms a little bit, and we'll also make his main TV a little bit wider. Now, let's start to add some TVs on the side of his arms. Now, let's add the smaller TVs that are behind his main one. Alright, now this looks pretty good, so let's start to color him in. First, I'm gonna color all the TV screens a light green, and we'll just color the sides of the TVs really dark gray. Now, let's color in his belt even darker, and we'll also color in his shirt a similar color to the sides of the TVs. And now, we'll start to add some detail to his coat. Next, let's give him a core in the middle like this. Now, let's add a bit more detail to the top of his head. Alright, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is how the upgraded Titan TV man looks in-game. He honestly looks really good. He's definitely a lot better than the previous two versions of the TV man. No offense to them. The upgraded Titan TV man is incredibly strong, as he's able to destroy the G-Man Toilet 3.0. I also added an attack animation that is just his head flying off, because he does this in the actual series. The Titan TV man also strikes lightning when he attacks, as you can see, and this is kind of annoying with how fast he attacks. Just like all of the other TV people, the upgraded Titan TV man is able to teleport away if he gets low on health. But I don't think that's ever gonna happen, as the Titan TV man has 500 hearts. If you manage to kill the Titan TV man, he drops an energy blade, and if you use this energy blade, you will find that it does a ton of damage. And it also strikes lightning just like the Titan TV man's attack does. Overall, I think the upgraded Titan TV man turned out really good, even though the shaders removed a lot of his details. 
detail. So because of this, I'm going to give the Titan TV Man a 9 out of 10. Next, I'm going to make the G-Man 4.0 toilet. And I'll use the G-Man 3.0 that I made as a base. First, I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. And let's change the shape of the back of the toilet like this. Next, I'm going to remove some of these cannons that he has. And I'll just add these platform things that he has underneath the top cannons. And we'll also copy the old cannons to the bottom like this. Next, I'm going to change the bottom of the toilet a bit to make it more thick. And I'm also going to add these things that he has on the bottom as well. And I'm going to put even more cannons on the top of the toilet like this. And I'm just going to add his core in the middle here. And I think this is good. Now it's time to color this guy in. First, I'm going to color the back of the toilet really dark gray. And I'm going to color the actual toilet part a lot lighter gray. And we'll color the core light yellow. Next, I'm going to color in a few more of these random parts like this. Now let's add a bit more detail to the bottom right here. And I think this is looking pretty good. Let's add the G-Man toilet to the game. This is how the G-Man toilet 4.0 looks in game. I think he's significantly better than 3.0. I will say the back of his toilet looks a little bit weird though. I definitely prefer the old design. The G-Man 4.0 is really fast as you can see, and he is also way more powerful than the G-Man 3.0. Despite him being very powerful though, he is still no match for the new upgraded Titan TV Man. The Titan TV Man barely lost any health. It's gonna take like 10 of these guys to take him out. If you kill the G-Man toilet, he drops his sunglasses, and upon wearing these sunglasses, you will become immune to low-level TV attacks. Just ignore the fact that the glasses are over top of my forehead, though. I honestly have no idea how this even happened. Overall, I think the G-Man 4.0 looks pretty good, but there are a few things I don't really like about him. So because of this, I decided to give the G-Man toilet an 8 out of 10. The next character I'll make is the real scientist toilet. And since I've made the toilet mech already, we'll just start from this. So first, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. And I'm gonna rotate his arms to turn them into legs. Next, I'm gonna make the toilet bowl a lot wider. Now let's change the shape of the back of the toilet a little bit. And I'm just gonna start adding his cannon on the top like this. And I'll just copy a jetpack from one of the previous toilets on the back. Okay, now I think this is looking good, so let's start to give him some color. First, I'm gonna color the entire toilet dark gray. And I'll just color in the jetpack a bit darker gray. Now let's color the details on the jetpack a lot lighter gray. Now let's color in a few more random things. And I'll put a yellow spot in the middle of the cannon. And I'm just gonna remove everything from around his face because I can't really tell what his face is supposed to look like. And I think this is looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how the scientist toilet looks in game. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like this guy. It's probably because of the default skeleton head that I gave him, even though it actually kind of looks like his real head. But this is the scientist toilet and not the scientist toilet mech, so he's not really expected to look as good. Since the scientist toilet controls the scientist toilet mech in the series, I decided to make it so that when the upgraded scientist toilet dies, the regular scientist toilet spawns in. The regular scientist is also afraid of most alliance members, so he will just run away instead of fighting. He is able to use a ranged attack on some of the enemies that he finds easy to kill though. And as you can see, it actually does a lot of damage. The scientist toilet is very slow when he's walking as you can see, and this is just because I read that he's slow, I'm not really sure if that's even true. If you kill the scientist toilet, he drops an enchanted golden apple, and overall I don't think the scientist toilet looks that good, he just looks kinda boring. So because of this, I decided to give him a 6 out of 10. Next I'm gonna make the G-Man clones. The first clone I'll make is the laser ring G-clone, and for this one we're obviously going going to use the G-Man to start. First, I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff we don't need, and I'll move these shields to the front of him like this. Now let's change one of these cannons up a little bit, and we'll just remove all the other ones and replace them with the new one I made, and we'll just start to add a jetpack on the back like this, and I think this is looking good, so it's time to add some color. First, I'm going to make the cannons slightly lighter gray. Next, I'm going to start coloring the actual toilet a lot darker gray. Now let's move these cannons around because they're kind of close together, and we'll just make the glasses the same as the G-Man 4.0, and I think this looks good. Let's see how it looks in game. This is how the laser ring G clone looks in game. I'm pretty sure I made him a little too big. But other than that, he looks pretty good and also scary. This guy is armed with way too many cannons. The laser ring G clone is able to move pretty fast as you can see, and he also has a ranged attack that is similar to the regular G man toilet. Actually, it's exactly the same. I didn't bother changing it. If you kill the laser ring G clone, he drops the G man sunglasses just like the G man 4.0. And overall, I don't think the first G clone turned out that bad, so I'm going going to give it a 7 out of 10. Next, let's make the Quad Rocketeer G clone. So first, let's start from the Laser Ring clone. First, I'm going to remove all of his cannons like this, and we'll just give him a new shield in front that is a little bit more flat. Next, I'm going to add the big thing on the side like this. Now let's start adding the Quad Launcher on the bottom, and we'll just copy this over to the other side so there's two. And now it's time to color this in. First, I'm going to color these strips dark blue, and now let's color in the Quad Launchers. Next, I'm going to color his shield dark gray, and I'm just going to change the shape of the back of the toilet like this. And I think this is looking good. Let's see it in.
in game. This is how the Quad Rocketeer G clone looks in game. I definitely think he looks a lot better than the previous clone. Not much is different between this clone and the Laser Ring G clone other than the appearance. But the Quad Rocketeer G clone actually has a slightly different attack, although both of them look pretty similar. The Quad Rocketeer G clone also drops a piece of TNT when it dies because he has a bunch of rocket launchers, so it just made sense. Overall, I think the Quad Rocketeer looks a lot better than the Laser Ring G clone, so because of this, I decided to give him an 8 out of 10. Now let's make the Quad Buzzsaw G clone. First, I'm gonna remove the things on the side like this, and now we'll start to give him an arm on the side, and let's add the buzzsaw on the end of the arm like this. Now let's color this arm a bunch of different grays, and we'll just copy this arm all around until he has four of them, and that's literally all we had to do. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how the Quad Buzzsaw G clone looks in game. I'm not really sure if I like this guy or not. I will say that he looks better than the first G clone though, but that's probably because I can actually see him and not just a bunch of cannons. The difference between this G clone and the others is that this G clone is only able to melee attack instead of a ranged attack, which makes sense considering he has a buzzsaw toilet. I don't really know how he would be shooting anything. If you kill the quad buzzsaw G clone, he drops a netherite sword, and this is because it's supposed to be like a saw. I don't really know. Overall, I think the quad buzzsaw G clone looks a lot better than the laser ring G clone, but not as good as the quad rocketeer. So because of this, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Next, I'm going to make eight of the characters seen in episode 69, and some of the first characters we see in this episode are the skull toilets and the burning toilet. So first I added the skull toilet to the game, and I have to say it was looking kind of goofy. With this one, I actually tried to give him a custom skull instead of just using the regular skeleton like I've used before. I also colored this toilet in slightly darker than the original Skibbity toilet, because I think it fits him a lot better than bright white. As for the burning toilet, I decided to keep this guy bright white rather than coloring his toilet gray. And as you can see, I also removed his eyes to make him blind because apparently he's blind, and I also gave him a little bit of hair on the top of his head because it looks like he has hair in the series. The burning toilet is always on fire as you can see, and the trail of fire will follow him wherever he goes, and he's actually burning so hard that not even water can save him. A cool feature that the skull toilet has is that you can feed it a golden apple to cure it and turn it back into a regular skibbity toilet. And if you want to revert this change for some reason, you can also just kill the regular skibbity toilet and it will turn back into a skull toilet like this. I guess we just have to put these guys in jail, there's no other way to get rid of them. When you finally kill the skull toilet, I made it so that he drops a skull, and the skull is actually just a troll item because it freezes you forever and also gets curse of binding applied to it when it's worn. I guess that I'm the one who's in jail now. Overall, I think the skull toilet looks a little bit weird, but I think the burning toilet actually turned out pretty good. So I decided to give the skull toilet a 7 out of 10, and I'm going to give the burning toilet a 9 out of 10. Another character seen early on in this episode is the blue suited cameraman, who is seen holding some kind of hacking device, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be used to open the doors. So I made the blue suited cameraman drop this hacking device, and instead of opening doors, because that's a simple task, I made it so that this device can just destroy everything very fast. This is sort of like hacking, it's just a different kind. As for the design, I basically just took the regular cameraman and turned him into a blue cameraman. The only difference is that the blue cameraman has an actual thumbs up animation instead of what we gave to the regular cameraman. Now obviously the blue cameraman is cool, but there is actually another colored cameraman in this episode, the green suited cameraman. The green suited cameraman actually comes in a pair of two, apparently they are supposed to be twins. And these guys are kinda dumb, because they probably died trying to fight the Michael Jackson toilet. I don't know how they even thought they had a chance. The green suited cameramen are seen holding paralyzer laser rifles, so I decided to make it so that these guys drop one of those when they die. And if you shoot something with this rifle, it just paralyzes it, just like it does in the actual series. Except this time, for some reason it does a ton of knockback, I don't know why. Overall, I think both the blue and the green suited cameramen look pretty good, and the features they have aren't that bad. So because of this, I'm going to give them both an 8 out of 10. We talked about the Michael Jackson toilet earlier, so that is who I added next. The only problem is, this doesn't really look like Michael Jackson. I honestly tried really hard to make his face and just couldn't do it, I don't know why. But that doesn't really matter because the rest of him looks good at least. Since this toilet is based off of Michael Jackson, I made it so that when you right click him, he actually moonwalks. Well, he's really just walking backwards, but it's the best I could do with a giant toilet. This toilet is also very fast as you can see, and this is very similar to the Mafia Skibbity toilet that we made in a previous video. The Michael Jackson toilet is also one of the strongest toilets that only has a melee attack, as he can one hit a bunch of the Alliance members. He could probably even one hit me, this guy does more damage than a warden. If you kill the Michael Jackson toilet, I made it so that he drops a Michael Jackson hat, and when you wear this hat, it gives you permanent slowness 5, which you may think is a bad thing, but it's actually supposed to help you moonwalk just like him. Overall, I think the Michael Jackson toilet looks pretty bad, I mean it doesn't even really look like him, 
so because of this I decided to give him a 6 out of 10. In the episode, the zombie mutant Skibbity Toilet randomly appears and rips the head off a cameraman. So the zombie mutant toilet is the next mob that I added. We've already made a mutant toilet in a previous video, so I just based this one off of the original design. But this time I actually gave him a custom face instead of the mob head that I gave the original mutant toilet. The zombie mutant toilet is a lot slower than a regular toilet is, and I did this because the zombie mutant is supposed to be sneaky, although I'm not really sure how this helps him as he's still really big. The zombie mutant toilet is also able to rip the head off a cameraman when it kills one, as it makes the cameraman drop its head when it dies. If you kill the zombie mutant toilet, he drops something called mutant flesh, and if you eat this, you just have a chance to either get a good or bad potion effect, so eat this at your own risk. Finally, I made the regular mutant toilet transform into a zombie mutant toilet when it dies, and I know this isn't accurate, but I just did it because he has zombie in his name. Overall, I think the zombie mutant toilet doesn't look that bad, and it has a couple of good features. So because of this, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. A very large cameraman with a minigun is seen for a second in this episode, so next I decided to add him. The armed very large cameraman is very similar to the regular large cameraman, except for the obvious giant minigun that he is holding. And I also added a few more new details, and I made it so that he is a bit larger than the large cameraman because it says very large in his name. Unfortunately, due to the giant minigun that is occupying both of his hands, the armed very large cameraman is not able to give a thumbs up, which really makes me wonder if he's okay. The very large cameraman is also so big that explosions and fire can't hurt him, which doesn't really make that much sense, but I figured he deserved it since there's no thumbs up. Since he's carrying a giant minigun, the armed large cameraman's movement is also very slow, just like the zombie mutant before. But that doesn't mean this guy isn't scary, because if he gets in a fight, he will rapidly shoot the minigun until whatever he is shooting at is dead. He also seems to have stormtrooper aim, though, maybe he needs to get his lens checked. If you kill the very large cameraman, I obviously made it so that he drops his minigun, and the minigun pretty much works the same way that it works for him, except this time my aim is not nearly as bad. It also makes this popping noise, which sounds nothing like a gun, I have no idea why I chose this, and overall I think the very large cameraman is a pretty good upgrade from the regular cameraman. So because of this, I'm going to give the armed very large cameraman a 9 out of 10. The medic cameraman is also seen around the same time as the very large cameraman, which is why he was the next mob I added. The only difficult part about making this guy was trying to give him the repair tool on his right arm, and that's because the only image I have of it barely even shows what it looks like, I mean what is this? Everything else was pretty easy though, which is why he actually looks pretty good in game. Unlike our last cameraman, I made it so that the medic cameraman is able to give a thumbs up with his left arm instead of his right. And now we know that this guy is okay, despite having one arm. The medic cameraman is also strictly meant for repairing cameramen, so I made it so that he just attacks cameramen, but instead of hurting them, he's actually giving them healing. But this means that there is no one to heal the medic cameraman if he gets hurt, so I made it so that when you right click the medic, it heals him as well so that he isn't left out. If the medic cameraman dies, I made it so that he drops his utility repair device, and upon hitting a cameraman with this device, it heals him, passing the medic cameraman's job onto you. Unfortunately for him, I don't really want to be stuck healing cameramen forever. Overall, I think the medic cameraman looks pretty good, and his features are exactly how they should be. So because of this, I'm going to give the medic a 9 out of 10. Finally, the highlight of episode 69 would probably be the new titan cameraman. So of course I had to upgrade our old titan cameraman next. The difference between between this titan and the last is of course the missing arm that I added right here, and also these brand new cannons that I added on his back, and a few more minor details to make him look a little bit better. There is one major difference in game though, and that is that the titan cameraman can no longer thumbs up either. I know I could have just moved the animation to his other arm, but honestly it's funnier this way so I'm keeping it. You may have also noticed that this version of the titan cameraman can no longer fly, and this is because it was more of a problem than a good feature, I mean where was he going? The titan cameraman is still one of the most powerful powerful mobs in the game, and if you kill the titan cameraman, you can get this power for yourself as he drops a titan cameraman core. The titan cameraman core basically just gives you a bunch of different potion effects that make you super OP just like him. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it actually turn me into a titan though. Overall, I think the new titan cameraman is a lot better than the old, and because of this, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I added every character from Wednesday to Minecraft, starting with Wednesday, the main character of the show. I made her head and gave her some hair, and then I spent 20 minutes trying to make her face. After making a face that didn't look terrible, I colored in her clothes and added her braids and finally I put a little more detail in her clothes and I was done. I added her to the game and she had these massive arms that I couldn't figure out how to fix so I gave her some new arms instead and it just made things Bruh. worse. 
Eventually, I figured out how to fix it, and this is how Wednesday looks in game. Having her arms on the side like this actually looks more accurate because she walks like this in the show. Also, because I made her from a witch, I decided to recreate the opening scene by turning the potions into piranhas and then having her throw them at me in the pool. Next, I'm making Thing, who is my personal favorite character because of his advanced dialogue. He said Bruh. it, not me. I bent his fingers, gave him a thumb, and then added the wrist thing on the top. After that, I colored him in and added some cuts and stitches all around him. I kind of forgot that Spider's legs aren't straight, so I had to remove the original legs and add them to the body instead. But after that, he was still walking sideways and floating, so I had to fix that as well. Finally, I added him to the game and nothing was wrong. Well, except for the fact that his fingers don't move, but it's that or this. Also, Thing is massive when compared to Wednesday, I'm not really sure how this works. Next, I made my actual favorite character, Eugene. Eugene is this kid who really likes bees, so I decided to make him from a bee. I squished the bee into a body, and then I gave it some legs and a head. I added his puffy hair, and then I gave him a face, and next I added his glasses. I then gave him a gray shirt, and added some detail to the shirt, and I almost forgot to give him arms, so finally I gave him some arms. I think if you ignore the fact that he's able to fly, he looks pretty good. Eugene usually takes care of the bees, but now the bees will take care of him. Now it's time to make my actual, actual favorite character. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester is this weird guy who can make electricity, so I made him from a creeper. You'll see why. I turned the creeper body into a human body, and then I colored his shirt and added the collar on top. I then gave him a face, and I tried to blend the dark parts around his eyes into his skin, and it ended up looking kind of weird. Next, I gave him some ears, and finally I colored in his pants. I'm not going to lie, he kind of looks like the McDonald's villain. Because Uncle Fester conducts electricity, I decided to edit the charge creeper to fit him, and it was surprisingly easier than I thought. In the show, Uncle Fester is also shown downing an entire bottle of ketchup, so I retextured the potions to ketchup bottles out of respect. For him. This is how Uncle Fester looks when he's surrounded in electricity, and this is how much damage he does when you aren't paying attention. The charge made Uncle Fester too dangerous, so I decided to put him in prison for the various crimes he committed in the show. Next, we'll make Enid, and she is a wolf, so I'm going to make her from a wolf. Creating a person from a wolf isn't the easiest thing to do, so I basically deleted all the body parts and made her body myself. I then added her hair with the fancy colors on the side, and I gave her a face. After that, I made her a striped sweater, and finally I put her hands in a claw position or something. Surprisingly, she isn't too broken in game except for her fingers. I'm trying to find out why I put both thumbs on the same side. I put Enid next to Wednesday, and there is a really weird height difference. I mean, look guys, she's even taller than me. I also tried to tame her because she's a wolf. In the show, there is a monster, and it looks kind of goofy, but it's supposed to be scary, so I made it from the scariest mob, the warden. I gave it a big hunchback, and then I repositioned all of its body parts. I then gave him a big mouth and some funny looking eyes, and then I filled his mouth with teeth. Finally, I colored the rest of him blue, and gave him a little bit of hair on his head, just like he has in the show. Okay, it seems there is a little bit of a problem with his body parts. I fixed his body and he still looked terribly messed up because of the warden's animations, so I decided to just leave it, mainly because I don't know how to change animations. Alright, now we can see who will win, Wednesday and Enid versus the Hyde. Okay, this is a really good fight, guys. The next character we'll be making is Tyler, for no reason, of course. I made Tyler from a piglin because, well, I don't know, I just did it. I gave him some hair and then I drew his face and I decided to make him from the coffee shop, so I gave him a brown shirt and then I added his apron and finally I gave him some black pants. I added him to the game, and I noticed that I made his head way too big. Also, there is something wrong with his apron, but I'm not fixing it. I don't care. Now that I had made Tyler, I decided to recreate the dance scene. I had to build it in the nether because, well, you know. I used quartz and black concrete to make the checkered floor design, and then I added the stage with speakers on it. After that, I added these tables on the side, and I filled the entire roof with black concrete. Next, I made the walls blue, and I added these chandelier things on the roof. I edited Wednesday's model to make her wearing a dress instead, and then I edited Tyler's model to make him wearing a suit. Finally, I spawned a bunch of random people on the side, and then I spawned Tyler and Wednesday. Oh yeah, I forgot about her arms. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to make Wednesday dance, but I do know how to make Tyler dance, if that helps. Next, let's add Xavier. Xavier? I forgot how to say it. Xavier is a magician or something, so I decided to make him from an illusioner. I added his long hair, and then I gave him some eyes and a mouth. Next, I colored his shirt blue and added some details to the front. The school uniform has a bunch of stripes on it, so I added some black stripes all around his shirt, and finally I colored in his pants. 
I spawned him in the game, and this is how he looks. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I think his head might be a little too big, but I keep Bruh. doing that, so it's fine. In the show, Xavier is shown doing archery, so I decided to see how good of a shot he is. Okay, that's one hit. Alright, now he's missing every shot. Oh, he hit me again. Let's see what happens if I hit him. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, that's probably why they never added this mob. Next, I'm going to be making the Adams Family characters. We'll start with Gomez, who is a very successful businessman, so I made him from my favorite businessman, the Wandering Trader. First, I removed his clothes, and I don't know what I was doing here. But next, I made his body a little larger, and gave him some hair, and added his mustache, which makes him look like he has rabbit teeth. I then colored in his clothes and gave him a fancy collar and finally I added some stripes all around his suit. For some reason his arms are kind of busted and his teeth look more like rabbit's teeth than ever but I think he looked fine. Okay maybe that's a problem. Apparently Gomez is worth two billion dollars so I went to check what he was selling to try to be like him but I just found a bunch of useless items. I guess the secret to being a billionaire is selling lily pads and also having a llama that's taller than you. Next, let's make Morticia, and Morticia is supposed to be a witch, but I already used the witch, so I used the evoker, because that's kinda similar, right? I removed all this stuff and gave her some hair and some face, and then I colored her dress fully black and extended it down to the floor because it's very long. I don't really think this one looked that good, and the dress on the floor really doesn't help. Why did I do that? Her neck is also not attached, but that's probably normal for the Adams family. I also tried to spawn her with Gomez, but she just tries to kill him. Next, let's make Pugsley, and in the show, Pugsley gets bullied, so I made him from a chicken. I moved all the chicken's body parts to make a human body, and then I gave him some hair and added his face. Next, I gave him a black and white striped shirt, and unfortunately, I decided to change the chicken legs to human legs instead. I added him to the game, and he was still flapping his wings like a chicken, but his head was completely broken, so I had to fix his head. I'm honestly surprised that he looks pretty normal, other than the flapping wings. Even baby Pugsley doesn't look broken. I then decided to put Pugsley in a locker just like in the opening scene. Wait, I didn't mean it. Next, we're going to make Lurch, and Lurch is a really tall butler who kind of looks like a zombie, so I had to make him from a giant. I gave him a thin and tall head, and then I gave him a little bit of hair. Next, I added his face, which doesn't really look like him at all, and then I colored his clothes. Finally, I added a bit of detail to the collar area, and I added him to the game. I have to stop making giants, they literally do nothing. Also, we're just ignoring the hands, there's nothing wrong with them. Next, instead of making a character, I'm going to turn the Ender Dragon into the Adams Family car. First, I deleted all the dragon body parts and then I added some windows and a grill on the front. Next, I added some tires, and then I extended out the sides above the tires. Finally, I made the back of the car slant down a little bit, and then I added some lights to the front of the car. I tried to make Lurch drive the car, but I don't think that will be possible. Also, the car is flying, so that's kinda, yeah. Alright, now that we've created all the characters, it's time to put them all against the hide. Okay, I guess they don't really like each other, so we'll have to do it like this. Alright, this isn't gonna work. This is completely useless. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into popular horror movie characters. First, I'm going to make Pennywise, and we'll make him from a pillager. Let's color his shirt light green. Now let's color his face white, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him a nose, and we'll give him some hair. Now let's make his forehead bigger, and we'll add the thing around his neck. Now let's extend his sleeves out a bit. Now we'll add the red things on his chest. Now finally, let's give him some shoes. And I think that looks really good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks really good, but his face is off by a bit, unfortunately. This guy actually actually looks really scary. I'm not really liking him pointing his bow at me like this. Let's spawn an army of Pennywises. Okay, why are they all pointing their bows at me? Let's watch these Pennywises attack a villager. I'm sorry, villager. Yeah, they're all gonna kill each other before they kill him. Okay, they finally got him. Okay, they need to stop pointing their bows at me. Let's spawn an iron golem to take care of them. Oh wait, this is not an iron golem. I'm using a spooky texture pack, so I guess they made a pumpkin golem. Oh god, he just took a ton of fall damage. Oh, the iron golem couldn't kill them all. Alright, I'm going to give Pennywise a 10 out of 10. He's literally terrifying. It's time for the next mob. Next, we're going to make Michael Myers. For this one, we'll use a piglin brute. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his head a bit smaller. Now let's color his body blue, and we'll color his head white. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a mouth as well, and we'll give him some brown hair. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll add a neck to his shirt. Now let's give him a pocket and a belt, and we'll color in his hands. Now finally, let's give him some shoes. And I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Oh, that is not him. Okay, that is much scarier. He's going to turn into a piglin though, so we have to go to the nether. Okay, this is better. Let's spawn a baby, Michael. Oh, piglin brutes don't have babies. Let's get chased by Michael Myers. Oh god, he's kind of fast. Okay, we got away. Let's see if Michael Myers can beat Pennywise. Never mind, they both just want to kill me, I guess. Let's spawn more Michael Myerses. And let's see if they can beat the warden. Okay, seriously? They won't fight the warden either? They'll fight me though. 
Seriously, Pennywise too? I don't even have a weapon. Can't kill me now. Oh god, not the regular piglin. Alright, I'm also going to give Michael Myers a 10 out of 10. He looks really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Jigsaw. For him, we are going to use our regular piglin. Let's change the shape of his head, and we'll color his body black. Now let's color his head white. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll draw his mouth. Next, let's give him a nose, and we'll extend his cheeks out a bit, and we'll draw the circles on them. Now let's give him some hair, and we'll extend it out on the sides. Next, let's draw his red bow tie, and finally, we'll give him some red shoes. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in-game. Okay, he has gold pants. Why is he flexing on me like that? Okay, this actually looks really good. He's definitely not as scary as Pennywise, but he's pretty scary. Let's see a baby jigsaw. Why is his head in the roof? Let's spawn an army of jigsaws. I think this guy needs to take off the helmet. I don't think he can see. Let me wear some drips so I blend in with them. What are you looking at? Why do they all want to go over here? Sorry guys, I'm not actually one of you. Oh god, this is bad. Never mind, they don't know how to jump. Alright, I give Jigsaw a 10 out of 10. He looks really good as well. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Ghost Face. For this one, we'll use a Vindicator. Let's color his body fully black, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's color his head white, and we'll add his eyes, and his nose, and his large mouth. Now let's add his hood over his mask, and we'll make this part look like it's ripped. Now finally, let's extend out his shoes, and I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Finally, we can go back to the overworld. Okay, his mouth is sideways, and there's also some problems with his hood. Let's watch him chase a villager. If I gave him a knife, this would be 10 times better. Rip villager. Is that an orange creeper? Speaking of orange creepers, you should subscribe. We are so close to 300k. Let's spawn an army of ghost faces. And let's see if they can beat the pumpkin golem. Okay, the pumpkin golem literally had no chance. What about two pumpkin golems? Okay, Ghostface is just too powerful. I'm going to give Ghostface an 8 out of 10. He's kind of broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, we're going to make Jason. For him, we are going to use a skeleton. Let's make his arms bigger, and we'll do the same for his legs. Now let's color in his head, and we'll extend out his mask. Now let's add some red details to his mask. Now let's give him some brown hair, and we'll color his pants a darker gray, and we'll put his yellow jacket on the outside. Now finally, we'll extend out his shoes, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks pretty good. His head is a little big though, but I actually actually like how his mask turned out. Okay, why is there scary chickens? Let's see if Jason can take down a wolf. Okay, he's just running. Maybe it's because we gave him a bow and not a sword. Nope, he still runs with the sword. He runs from the wolf, but he won't run from me. He's getting destroyed even with the other mobs chasing me. Maybe next time he should run from me. But honestly, he looks pretty cool with the sword, I won't lie. Let's spawn an army of Jasons. And let's see if they can beat the pumpkin golem. Oh no, why did they shoot the creeper? Okay, they're literally all just fighting each other. Oh, there's zombies coming in. They have backup. The zombies stole the kill from them. That's embarrassing. Alright, I'm going to give Jason a 9 out of 10. His head was a little big. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Frankenstein. For this one, we're obviously going to use a zombie. Let's make his head a bit bigger, and we'll color his body black. Now let's color his head green, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and we'll add his red scar on his forehead. Now let's give him some black hair, and we'll give him a couple of ears. Next, let's add the screws coming out of his neck. Now, finally, we'll give him some shoes. And I think that looks good. Let's see him in-game. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He kind of just looks like a zombie variant, though. Well, I guess that's basically what he is. Let's see a baby Frankenstein. Okay, baby Frankenstein is very fast. Let's see what he looks like with speed, too. Okay, now he won't move. Oh my god, that is way too fast. Let's spawn an army of Frankensteins. Okay, now these are just zombies. He's not special anymore. Let's watch them all try to kill a villager they can't reach. This is Frankenstein IQ. Is Frankenstein supposed to be stupid? I'm not even sure. Alright, I give Frankenstein a 7 out of 10. He looked average. It's time for the next mob. Next, we're going to make Dracula. For this one, let's use a villager. Let's color his body black, and we'll make his head a bit smaller. Now let's color his head, and we'll give him some red eyes. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll add his vampire teeth. Next, let's give him a nose, and we'll add his eyebrows. Now let's give him some hair, and we'll add his cloak. Next, let's give him a white shirt, and we'll give him a red tie. Now finally, let's color in his hands, and I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Okay, there's something wrong with his arms. But other than that, he looks pretty good. I'm sorry, Dracula. Okay, he's already dead. Wait, this Dracula is still running away. If only he could turn into a bat and fly away. Let's see what baby Dracula looks like. Yeah, this looks like a kid in a costume. He's so small. Let's spawn an army of Draculas. Okay, I don't know why I did this. I just wanted to bully them. Surprisingly, they're actually getting away. And the Pennywises are just killing each other. Wait, what is this yellow thing in the tree? Okay, the tree literally has an eye. 
Alright, I'm going to give Dracula an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we are going to make a mummy. And for this one, we'll use a husk. Let's color his body grayish yellow. And we'll give him some red eyes. Now let's draw a bit of a mask around his eyes. And we'll add different color stripes around his body. Now let's give him some different color hands. And we'll do the same for his feet. I'm actually going to change the first color we added because I don't really like it. And we'll make sure to color the inside of his legs and the inside of his arms and finally let's add some detail on his back and that doesn't look too bad let's see it in game okay how did i go from the other mobs to this i mean to be fair there's not much you can do to a mummy let's see a baby mummy i think the baby looks a bit better i wonder if minecraft will ever add mummies they could defend desert pyramids or something they could add something like this okay maybe with less mummies but still let's spawn a dracula in here oh he has desert clothes on i don't know why i did that that was mean Who who can catch Dracula faster, the mummy or Frankenstein? Apparently neither of them, they are very slow. Oh no, Dracula is stuck. How is he still alive? And the mummies win. I mean, it was a baby, so it wasn't really fair, but whatever. Alright, I'm going to give the mummy a 6 out of 10. Compared to the other mobs, it wasn't that good. I'm going to be remaking Minecraft mobs into the entities from Roblox stores. First, we're going to make Seek, and I'm going to use a warden to make him. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's also shrink his legs, and we'll make his arms smaller as well. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully black now let's draw his eye and we'll expand his face out on the side a little bit finally let's add some red spots on his body and we'll put a few on his legs all right that looks good let's see it in game we'll just act like i didn't forget to texture the bottom of the head honestly i think this looks pretty good i think his proportions are kind of off though yo why is he attacking the sheep what did the sheep do let's find seek in the deep dark and of course we'll watch him emerge from the ground oh he's kind of stuck in a block this would be way more terrifying than the warden Imagine you're walking around in a cave and then you see this thing chasing you. Let's spawn an army of Seeks. And let's see if they can defeat the Wither. Oh no, they're already surrounding the Wither. Oh my god, the Wither is getting launched. Yeah, the Wither literally has no chance. I don't think the Wither even killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Seek an 8 out of 10. He could have been better. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Figure. And I'm going to make him from an Enderman. Let's color him brownish red. And we'll extend his face out a bit. And we'll also extend out the other sides. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll move them to every side of his mouth. Next, let's color the back of his mouth, and we'll add his white ribs, and let's copy those down two more times. And I think that looks good, let's see it in game. I'm not going to lie, the particles kind of ruin him. That looks better. Now if you look in an enderman's eyes, it will get mad at you, but Seek has no eyes, so what will happen? Okay, the same thing happens. I like how his head is just floating now. Let's go find figure in the end. Okay, there's a ton of these guys in here. Let's see if figure can beat Seek. Okay, figure had no chance. I honestly thought he would teleport away at least. Okay, Seek has to go. Oh god, they're catching up to me. Okay, I see why this guy is scary now. Oh no, I got stuck. I give figure a 9 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Screech. And I'm going to use a guardian to make him. Let's remove his tail. And we'll also remove these orange spikes. Now let's make the body a bit smaller. And we'll color it fully black. Now let's give him a big red mouth. And we'll add some darker lips. Next, let's draw his teeth. And we'll add the black spots oozing down. Now let's add his eyes. And we'll add the squiggly things coming from his body. And I think we're done. Let's see it in game. Oh my god, he's moving really fast. And the way he's bouncing around like this honestly makes him 10 times scarier. Like, what are you doing if you see this thing coming after you? Okay, he's dying. Oh, well, I guess he's in the water now. Honestly, he might be even scarier underwater. Let's spawn an army of screeches. That looks so weird. And let's see if they can kill me. Wait, what are they all doing to me? This is actually terrifying. Oh god, I'm on half a heart. Yeah, hopefully nothing like this is ever added to the game. I'm going to give Screech a 10 out of 10. He was scary. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Glitch. And I'm going to make him from an iron golem. Let's make his body smaller. And we'll also shrink his legs. Now let's do the same for his arms. And we'll color his body fully black. Now let's add some purple spots around his body. And we'll add some on his arms and legs as well. Now let's add some blue spots too. And we'll also add some yellow spots. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, part of his face is not part of his face. But honestly, he's supposed to look glitched out, so I think that's fine. Somehow, I actually think this looks pretty good. Let's see if Glitch can beat Screech. Never mind, it looks like Screech didn't want to fight. Let's try this again away from the cave. Okay, that was too easy. And he dropped raw cod. That's kind of weird. Let's see if Glitch can beat Seek. Okay, that was a really unfair fight. Let's spawn 10 glitches and see if they can beat Seek. Okay, they're not doing too bad. Oh, they got him. Only four of 
of them died, surprisingly. Alright, I'm going to give Glitch a 9 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Rush, and I'm going to use a B to make him. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body thinner. Now, let's extend his body out a bit, and we'll extend out the sides to make him look circular. And we'll also do this on the top and bottom. Now, let's add his dark gray mouth, and we'll add his eyes, and his nose thing. Now, let's give him some yellow teeth, and we'll add some teeth on the bottom as well. Now let's add some detail to his face, and we'll make it a bit darker under his teeth. And I think that's good, let's see it in game. Oh, that is not what we want. Okay, that looks better. Honestly, this might be the scariest mob we've made yet. The way he flies is terrifying. Let's see a baby rush. Okay, that's not as bad. At least it looks like I could beat this one in a fight. Let's spawn an army of rushes. And let's see if I can get away from them. Oh god, I'm still on half a heart. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, he's not as scary now that I know how slow he moves. This would still be terrifying if I saw this in the game. Alright, I'm going to give Rush a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. Next, we'll make Jack, and I'm going to make him from a skeleton. Let's color his body fully black, and we'll add his nose, and we'll shape his mouth and eye. Now let's add his teeth. Okay, this doesn't look good. Let's add his nose again, and we'll also draw his mouth. Now let's add his eye, and we'll add some small yellow teeth. And now we'll color the sides of his head half white and half black. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Oh yeah, nighttime. Okay, that's better. Honestly, I don't know whether I like this or not. I feel like the yellow teeth kind of ruin it. Like, it just looks like he hasn't been to the dentist in a while. Let's spawn an army of jacks, and let's see if the jack army can beat Glitch. Oh god, they're all shooting each other. Glitch is just down here getting free kills because half of them are fighting. Okay, Glitch basically won. It's up to these five jacks over here who don't seem to be interested in fighting him. Oh, they actually did it. I'm surprised they won that considering half of them killed each other. Alright, I'm going to give Jack an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that good in Minecraft. I added Pokemon to Minecraft. First, I made Lugia. Let's remove his legs and we'll make his body a lot smaller. Now, let's give him a neck. Now, finally, let's add the blue parts on his back. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Whoa. Oh, he is really big. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. There is one problem with him, though. He literally just doesn't move. It makes him look so menacing when he's flying around, though. Let's find Lugia in the nether. Oh, there's one literally right there. This is so weird, because normally Lugia would be found in the water. I guess this is a special Lugia, then. Let's spawn an army of Lugias. It's hard to spawn them, because they're so big. Okay, I think there's a few too many Lugias around here. Let's catch a Lugia and a Pokeball. I don't think it's working. What about a Master Ball? Nope, still won't work. Alright, I'm going to give Lugia a 7 out of 10. He can't move. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Quaxly. Let's move his body. Next, let's color him white, and we'll color his beak yellow, and we'll give him some eyes, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arms. Okay, that only made the problem worse. Okay, I don't know how to fix this. This is good enough. Alright, his head moves really weird as well, but other than that, I think he looks fine. Okay, I'm lying. It's definitely not fine. Let's spawn a baby Quaxly. Okay, this is even worse. What is wrong with his head? I'm getting rid of this one. Let's see if I can catch Quaxly in a Pokeball. Okay, this joke really isn't funny. Let's spawn a Quaxly army, and let's have them all follow me. I finally have my own duck army. Subscribe to join the duck army. Alright, I'm going to give Quaxly a 5 out of 10. I like him, but he's too broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Magikarp. Let's make his body smaller, and we'll color him orange. Now, let's color in his fins, and we'll color his back fin white. Now, let's give him some eyes, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I should probably spawn him in water. Honestly, I'm surprised with how this turned out. He looks really good. Let's spawn a Magikarp army. Is there a baby salmon? No, there isn't. I wonder if these guys will fight an axolotl. No, but the axolotl will fight them. Let's try to grow him into a Gyarados. Okay, this isn't working. I guess Magikarp is boring in Minecraft as well. I almost forgot the Pokeball test. This doesn't even make sense. How am I throwing snowballs in water? Alright, I'm going to give Magikarp an 8 out of 10. He looks good, but he's boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charizard. Let's color his body fully orange, and we'll turn these spikes into his ears. Now, let's color his head orange, and we'll make his mouth light red. Now, let's give him some teeth, and we'll also add his eyes. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Although I have no idea why he has two tails. He didn't even have a tail in block bench. Also, his neck looks different as well. That's so weird. Let's see if we can catch Charizard in a Pokeball. Alright, it's not working. Charizard is probably more of a Master Ball type anyway. Okay, Charizard is perching. Just imagine he is breathing fire right now. Alright, I'm going to give Charizard an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mew. Let's remove the legs, and we'll add a head. Now, let's color the head and body pink and we'll add his legs. Now let's add his arms, and we'll rotate his arms and legs a little bit, and I think that turned out pretty good. Let's see it in 
game. Okay, that doesn't actually look bad, but the eyes are off center somehow. Out of all the Pokemon I've made, Mew definitely looks the best. The sounds he makes is really weird though. Let's see a baby Mew. Oh my god, it's literally so small. This is probably an accurate size for a bee though. Let's spawn an army of Mews. Okay, the sound has gotten way worse. What if I attack a Mew? Oh god, this is not good. The sound has gotten even worse now. It sounds like a tiny airplane trying to take off. Alright, I give Mew an 8 out of 10. It turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charmander. Let's delete his back legs and we'll change his body shape a bit. Now, let's make his mouth look open and we'll color the back of his mouth pink. Now, let's give him some eyes and we'll give him a couple nostrils as well. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, this just doesn't look like Charmander. I think this is the Digimon version, honestly. He looks kind of like the car insurance guy. And of course, the texture is broken in random places. Let's see a baby Charmander. I don't know why I always try to spawn a baby creeper. Let's spawn a Charmander army. Now, let's see if Charmander can defeat an enemy Squirtle. Wow, this fight is amazing. Pokeball test. Nope. Let's see the supercharged Charmander. How is he burning? He's literally a fire Pokemon. This is probably the best the charge has looked on any custom creeper. Charmander, use self-destruct. Oh no, he killed the other charged creeper. Wait, that dropped a creeper head though. All right, I give Charmander a six out of 10. He looks kind of strange. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Squirtle. Let's color his head and arm thingies blue, and we'll also color his legs. Now we'll add a white outline around the shell, and I'll trace over the shell with different shades of brown. All right, just one more color left. That looks pretty good. Now we'll make his head a bit bigger, and we'll give him some purple eyes, and we'll add white to the outside. Next, let's give him some tiny eyebrows, and we'll give him a smile that doesn't look weird at all. Now let's make his spirally tail, and that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, let me know if you guys see the problem. It's kind of hard to spot. I don't really know how this happened, so I guess we'll just ignore that. But other than that, he looks fine. How does the baby look? I was hoping the baby was the size of a regular Squirtle, because this guy is clearly too big. Alright, Squirtle army. Okay, I have to fix the floating thing. Okay, that looks a lot better. Squirtle, use bubble beam, or whatever move he has. Oh wait, I have to catch him first. Nope, the Pokeballs still don't work. I wish I had made him smaller, because right now he's bigger than Blastoise. Alright, I give Squirtle a 6 out of 10, he just doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Psyduck. Alright, let's delete all this, and we'll just get rid of his eyes as well. Now let's try to shape this into a duck, and we'll color it all in yellow. Now let's give him duck feet, and we'll color them a lightish yellow. Now we can give him a beak, and we'll color this the same color as his feet. Now we can add some little arms on each side, and we'll make his lizard-like tail. Now we can add the black tufts of hair to the top of his head, and we'll give him some eyes. Alright, that doesn't look terrible, let's see it in-game. Oh my god, that actually looks good, other than the walking animation. Okay, that might not be normal. To be fair, the walking animation would kind of fit him if it wasn't broken. Let's see a baby frog. Oh yeah, that's a tadpole. Let's see Psyduck eat a slime. Okay, the slime probably has to be smaller. Oh my god, that is so cursed. Isn't this an achievement or something? Oh. I give Psyduck a 6 out of 10, he's just too cursed. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Pikachu. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll make his nose black. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him his red cheeks, and a little pink mouth. Now let's shrink his ears a bit, and we'll color the top of them black, and now we can add his lightning bolt tail, and we'll move this there. That shape looks pretty good, now we just need to color it in, and we'll make sure the bottom of his tail is brown. That looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, he actually turned out pretty good. Look at the baby one, look how small he is. Pokeball test, why does it never work? Pikachu army, one fox could ruin it all. Pikachu, use thunderbolt. Oh, what is he doing right now? I just can't believe how small the baby Pikachu is, it's like a mouse. I give Pikachu a 10 out of 10, I mean how could you not? It's time for the next mob. Next I made Snorlax. Let's color him in greenish blue first. Now we'll change the shape of his ears, let's make his face whitish, and we'll do the same for his belly. Now we can add his sleeping eyes, and we'll give him a smile. With a couple of teeth, now we can color his legs the same color as his face. And we'll add little brown circles to them as well. And now finally we can give him some claws, and we'll color them white. I think that looks decent, let's see it in the game. Yo, that actually looks pretty cool. And baby Snorlax? Yo, he's doing a roll! Ignore the missing texture on his head. Let's give them some bamboo. Apparently the small ones don't eat it. I don't know what you're talking about, the head is fine. I'm pretty sure Snorlax is supposed to be sleeping. We have to do a Pokeball test. Nope. Alright, I give Snorlax an 8 out of 10. It would be a 10 if he could sleep. Time for the next mob. Next I made Gengar. Let's delete his body and back legs, and we'll move his head down. Now let's color him light purple, and we'll add some tiny arms on the side. Now let's add the spiky parts on his head, and we'll give him some red eyes. Now let's draw his mouth, and we We'll give him some angry eyebrows and finally let's give him some pupils and i think that looks good let's see it in game okay i don't know if that looks good or bad i have no idea why his face is off center oh god why does his head move like that when he's walking let's see if ash can catch gengar okay i don't think he's interested let's see if i can catch gengar nope it's still not working 
Let's spawn an army of Gengars. Okay, now Ash is interested in the Gengars. Let's see a supercharged Gengar. Oh god, they're all on fire. I don't know why I keep doing this. It never works. Let's see if Gengar can kill Ash. Yeah, I don't think that's what happens in the show. Alright, I give Gengar a 6 out of 10. I don't know why his face isn't centered. 